Hello and welcome to the Kill Stream. I am your host, Ethan Ralph, the owner and the editor in chief of the Ralphator.com. Wow, this is a I should I say a kill stream special. You know, this this wasn't a planned event. Um, maybe I guess I could tell you guys how this came about. Uh, we were waiting on uh we were waiting on Sargon uh, for a bit, and uh, I've been told he's in the hangout, by the way. Uh, so I'm not in there right now because finally I just said, fuck it, we're gonna start the show. Who cares? Uh, so that's what I did, uh, and he's there though. He's there. I haven't actually talked to him myself. Apparently, he messaged me on Skype last night. Not apparently. I mean, he did. I didn't see it till today. And he said, "What did he say?" I hope, I hope this is not unethical, but uh, it's not. It's nothing that big. He said, "I'm happy to come on your show." This was during the actual show. I didn't see it because I don't use Skype all that much anymore. He got a DM from V today, and he said, uh, "Sargon wants you to check Skype, basically." And then I check Skype, and, uh, well, here we are. <laughs> That's what happened. Uh, let me do something real quick. Uh, well, maybe not that quick. Uh, uh, these super chats. Fash Bandicoot. Carl cheated on his wife with a tranny. Disgusting. SMD, SMT Dane says, the UK is dumb with a guy like Sargon doing politics. Here, take some shekels. Fox Mulder, Peacefully Sunset the Liberalist. Colin Stevens says, Wheelchair Intro. Baron Barbados says, More people are waiting here than watching Kumite. Salty Pickle says, Sargoy of Arlock and his band of Boulder Boys. Vishamist says, I'm on vacation with the family, and so I'll miss this. Make this stream awesome. Salty Pickle, Soygoy, depends on the child or lock. All right, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm going to get back to these. Uh, I just feel, and I appreciate every super chat. Please uh, continue supporting. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but... I think, should I just bring him on or should I keep reading Super Chats? I mean, it's up to you guys. All right. I, think, I think I should just bring him on. I, I will go back to the Super Chats though for sure. Okay, let me do something really quickly. Uh, okay, they're saying bring him on. I just don't want anybody to feel uh, cheated or anything. I, I will definitely go back to the Super Chats for sure. All right, let me let me do something real quick. Let me make this window go away, just in case. We don't want that link getting out. That would be bad. Uh, okay. Uh, hello, uh, Sargon. How's it going? Gator's also here with us. Yeah, that's fine, man. I'm really good. How are you? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Now let me uh, check the audio here. I think I think it's fine. It sounds good. The audience uh, can let me know if it does not. Okay, mm. so uh, again, I, I think I laid out the story of how this program came about fairly, fairly accurately. Do, would you agree with that? I don't know if you heard it, but uh, no, I didn't hear it. Sorry. Okay. Um, so well, I'll just take your word for it that you did. I mean, you know, I don't, okay. there's you'll no take my word for to it. Misrepresent it is uh, okay. Well, I mean, I guess I could just be a complete salty fucker and say, "Well, you didn't take my word on the emails thing." If we just <laughs> that's right, just... I didn't, and I was wrong. All right. Uh, well, I wasn't going to lead off with this, but, you know, since <laughs> since it just naturally happened, uh, you did put out a video on the Thinkery. No, 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 uh, no, let's, let's not, uh, I don't know, I don't have to go over, like, you know, everything that's happened, because it's going to take ages. We've known each other for years, so, like, let's let's not, like, have to go through, what, four years of, of stuff. Um, well, I, I, well, we don't go over every single thing over four years, but I, I think the email thing is kind of, because you put out a video and it was a correction. Uh, basically saying that Ralph was right, but you spent most of the video. Um... I was really bunker mentality, man. Right, like like Thomas Smith had, in fact, the year before. And I, I, you know, you you slip into it without even knowing, and it was it's difficult to understand that when you're in there because people are saying things to you that aren't actually wrong, but they're also not right or they're not necessarily contradictory to the things you're saying, and so you don't really know exactly what to do because they're not actually contradicting what you're saying but that doesn't mean there isn't also some truth to what they're saying and often you have to make a mistake before you can see what those people are saying and that was the position i found myself in right so the reason the this is this is the reason i'm doing like the phase two thing and that the reason the phase two thing is and the the, the main change is stopping this week in stupid because it occurred to me that like I was, I was getting like 350,000 viewers a week on This Week in Stupid. I mean, that's a fucking colossal number regularly. You know, every fucking week I get numbers like this. And I was thinking, shit, man. And it, it's, not that it's, it's not that it's a pressure, but you, there's, there's always the worry to perform 
when you're doing that, you know, you you start worrying about the numbers. And I didn't like worrying about the numbers that, you know, suddenly it becomes like a weight around your neck. And I don't like that. So I decided that I'd stop it. And I, I realized that, like, we, we did this uh, interview with Banning yesterday, and I was, I was talking to a few of the liberalists there. And this has helped them, and I'm sure, like, other people in other communities as well, tremendously. Because now that, like, people aren't going for, like, a, a you know, like a, a regular weekly roundup show. You know, they, there are lots of people doing them, but I think I was kind of monopolizing it in a way. And and now I'm not doing it. They're they're doing much better. You know, everyone else around is, you know, people are people are getting their news from that sort of uh, location. And it saves me the hassle of having to do that because, I mean, I think people understand that making a regular weekly roundup show is not like an easy job. I mean, sure, you know this yourself. You know, you've got to you've got to spend a lot of time researching and reading stuff and putting things together and finding things. It's not no effort. And so for me, it's a great weight off my shoulders. And for everyone else, it's it's like a big new thing that they can get their teeth into. And I just feel that this has been a, a great solution for everyone because now I don't have to be burdened with it. Because it, it does it does become a burden after a while. And uh, and it, it get again, it gets you into the sort of like bunker mentality especially when you're the one who thinks you have to do it all on your own and i think i learned at mythcon that i don't and i i I'm, it's not just i don't have to do it all on my own. i don't think i can do it all, all right now let me even let, as far as i can get right let, but, let, let me let me get in here because yeah, uh, sure. you know your famous uh your famous debate with richard spencer uh you and richard spencer are <laughs> you reminded me of richard spencer here with your with your ability to talk so long without without me breaking in but uh, l let me go ahead and break in here. Uh, sure. You mentioned MythCon. Uh, by all accounts, that debate, I haven't actually watched the whole thing, but I watched some of it. I think Richard Carrier was the guy that you uh, well, went up I against. I can give you a quick rundown. Um, Richard Carrier had no arguments, and I crushed him on every point, but I was a really belligerent twat. And Richard, it, it, I, at the end of it, I felt as if I'd basically been kicking a puppy, and I felt really bad about it. Okay. So is that what... Uh, you know, spurred your change here. The phase two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, yeah. what what does phase two actually mean? Because uh, I mean, it sounded well, almost did like you, a, like did you not watch the interview with Bannon. I actually have not. I did see a couple oh, of clips man. from it. it. Um, last night we were doing some other stuff. I didn't get a chance to watch it. So, dude, do it. Bannon is like you think I'm a talker. Bannon Bannon can talk forever, but it's so interesting and engaging what he's saying. And unlike like if you watch a bunch of his, I've watched a bunch of his interviews with like. Um, you know, like ABC and CNN and all that. And the interview is constantly, every two seconds, interrupting him and saying, oh, no, no, that's not my narrative sort of thing. You know, they don't give him time to, you know, they don't allow him to actually lay out his points. And so when when you do allow him to do that, then suddenly you get this absolutely fascinating worldview that he presents. It's really, honestly, I'm really proud of that interview. It's really interesting. Well, look, I mean, you know, we've... We've taken plenty of shots at you, no doubt. I, I won't, you know, I can't. I, I don't I, care about you that much. I won't, I won't take anything away from getting banned. I mean, that, that's good. I, I can't even, you know, yeah. be, you know, hate on that or whatever. Um, well, okay, so let me, let me, let me pick up from that, right? Because this is the thing, right? So. No, wait, wait, wait. We did say we we're gonna talk. First off, let me let me say a couple things. There sure. were no there were no conditions put on this appearance, correct? No. I just I just want that put out there. There's not there was no conditions put on you showing up. Or anything no. I couldn't do, or anything that couldn't happen, right? I just want that to be said out in the open. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I also said we were going to talk about some of the stuff that we've been talking about, but you came to me and you said you had an idea. That was that was your yeah. pitch uh, yeah. to, to do the show. Um, I, would you, so we can either do this one or two ways. And the, my original way was let's just cover all the you know drama and stuff we've been talking about, and I had a few other questions and topics or whatever you want to call it. And then uh, I was going to let you get the idea. If you would like to do the idea part first. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, the, it's up sorry, to you. Did would I you cut rather, off there, did I? Yeah, yeah. You cut off for a sec. So oh, right. we can either do it one or two ways. I can go through this this list that I have, and then you can do the idea, or you can just do it now if that's what you're about to well, roll into. Is, well, what's the list? If it's just like drama grievances, then I'll just agree that you're correct on them all if you want. Well, I mean, they're not all. Oh. I mean, some of them are drama, but uh, uh, I mean, <laughs> well, what, are the, what are the ones? So that aren't drama? obviously, we have to talk about Medicare, right? I mean, uh, really? Why? Well, I mean, it's 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 just been it's just something that's not really. Why is he playing with fairies or something? Well, we had to. We tried to get you guys on stream to talk forever, and a matter of fact, well, we did. Email me. He, he knows how to contact me. 
If he wants to talk, I'm happy to talk to him anytime. Okay. All right. Um, but what, what, what are the actual things, the, the, the things you want to talk well, about? Well, okay. That's just drama, you know. Let's not bother with that. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, what, what is drama, though? Like, what is your, how about this? <laughs> to go philosophical, what is your definition of drama? So, I mean, you can look That's at almost any question. topic and, and say, well, you know, this, this, this displeases me. This is just drama. I don't want to talk That's, about that's this. a great question. I don't know. Um, oh, I excuse suppose, me, waiter. I suppose I would waiter, just say, uh, waiter, inter- uh, uh, where are my appetizers? I've been waiting. Yeah, for 30 I, I would minutes. say I would just say it's 30, uh, 30 minutes, waiter. Where are my appetizers? Actually. My frittatas are going to get cold. Can I That's speak to your, Can I speak to your manager? No. I, I this Maybe service is this service is horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> I heard I heard I heard <laughs> you were going to be pitching a, a big brained idea, so I wanted a front row seat to watch it. Yeah, actually, I'm kind of glad you're here, Jim. Oh, I, I'm sure you are. I am actually. I, I'm genuinely. Hey, hey Ralph, can I say one thing before here? before Please. we hear this amazing idea? Uh, yeah. 20, 20, viewers, and look who shows up in chat. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing, Ooh. Carl? How you doing? I'm good. Um, so, you know they keep talking about Gamergate. No, who's they? The left. Uh, <laughs> the collective left have they all yes. gotten together to discuss this okay yeah they they go on about it all the time um the latest one was you know the, obviously kavanaugh the guy who was alleged to have been in the room with him was a guy called mark judge he apparently wrote two articles in support of gamergate citing mr Repsion, a youtuber i did see and that obviously they, we talked about on the kill stream i don't know how many times you know how often you get to catch yeah that was show, like two but, weeks ago i think we, yeah. we did talk yeah. about it on the show yeah. yeah it was like two weeks ago um, but that's pretty recent, really. And then you think, like, all the other ridiculous... Well, I mean, it, I mean like, it's, it's recent if you don't watch Ralph. But if you watch I mean, Ralph Weekly, you you heard about it when it was breaking those. That's, okay, that, that's great. But no, it is great. Is, the audience loves it. We love being on top of current events. That's what makes it so delicious to watch Ralph. He's sumptuous. Ralph, he's sumptuous, don't you know? <laughs> I'm sure it does. But it's not just that, is it? You know, there are there are loads of other, and we could we could find a huge list of things that they've said about GameGate to magnify it. I mean, I I have seen the most colossal overreaches in the description and sort of influence of GameGate coming from the left. You know, like the Guardian, the Independent. You know, like shit like this. They bring up all the time, and they're always making GameGate out to be this giant fucking boogie monster. And the FBI investigated Gamegate and found that Gamegate did nothing wrong. I, I'm, I feel like I'm in a time warp. We're in 2018, right? This this hashtag yeah, is dead yeah, at this point. It's been yeah, four yeah. years. I mean, I yeah. feel like we're talking like about chinology. Yeah. Should I get my guy Fox no, no, mask no, no, off to no, talk no. about this gay Listen, shit? No, no, you're missing the point. You're missing the point. We're not talking about Gamergate, right? It doesn't really matter about Gamergate. What matters is the boogeyman that the left have conjured up. And they've conjured up a fucking hell of a boogeyman. And you know they're still afraid of it. It's still there, there under the surface, right? They have this kind of subconscious fear, I think, that some, and that's why they keep bringing it up. I mean, fuck, Justin Trudeau condemned Gamergate. <laughs> it's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my fucking life. Well, right? now, Carl, I have to be fair. I have to say, oh, it really, Carl, it, it, it really depends on the politician, now, doesn't it? <laughs> I guess it would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really does. I yeah. mean, you've got to take it on a case by case basis. You do. Yeah. And you what, do. Who, who, do. Uh, who on on the other side might actually support Gamergate? Who uh, on what what sides are we talking about? Democrats and Republicans. Uh, who supports Gamergate in the Republican camp? Mm. I fucking don't know. Mark Judge. I, I don't. Pay, I, don't yeah, I can tell you literally, <laughs> Mark Judge, the guy who was alleged to have been in the room with Kavanaugh, supports Gamergate. <laughs> Congratulations for Mark Judge, I guess. Yeah. But what? I guess just where, where are you yeah, going with right? this exactly? Isn't that, isn't that funny? Isn't that just oh, fucking yeah, amazing? Like the idea that there's a game yeah. game supporter, like in the room with a guy who's alleged to have sexually assaulted the woman, who is then the center of the entire fucking like world's media for a week. That's that's fucking incredible. <laughs> it was a bit surreal, but but what I mean, what like what? Where are you going with this though? That's what I don't. Well, where do you think I'm going with this? I have uh, I have no so idea. I'm gone, I literally it. have no <laughs> idea. Really like, I'm not, I'm, 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 you can do this. I, I I'm not even both. being sarcastic. I, I, like you message me. And, I, I, can I just one. say you messaged me? and You seemed like really hype about whatever the idea was. Uh, oh, I'm I, fucking hype. And I have I'm no idea what you're talking hype. about. And then you start this talking is, about Gamergate, and I'm just like, what? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, this is this is why I'm thrilled you're here, Jim. I am fucking thrilled you're here, right? I'm thrilled that you guys, the some of the core people in Gamergate, are here, so I can talk to you about this. This is exactly what I wanted. Do you not think? 
it would be really interesting to see how far we can make this go. Who's we? I, that sounds very collectivist. Collective I thought we were individualists here, Carl. <laughs> the collective internet. Do you not think that would be funny? Do you I mean, think anybody on the internet gives two fucks about Gamergate at this point? It's it's no, become a joke. No, like I, no, I don't, Jim. That's the point. That's the that's the entire point. <laughs> what is your what pitch exactly? Get get the band back time. together? Is that what is that what you're saying? I mean, like I don't I don't understand. What, what would look? They think Gamergate is a tremendous universal and categoric evil, right? Who else do they think is a categoric evil? Uh... I feel like I'm fucking lost. What are we talking? What is your plan? I what is your? I guess I what's your idea? Hit, you hit us with it. Try and use a bit of just, just try and look a bit ahead. Just look a bit ahead. How if, if we're if talking you, about Gamergate? I'm looking progressing. behind me, not ahead of me. <laughs> no, you're not. You're looking way, way ahead. But you just, I don't know. You can't seem to do it, can you? But I know I can't. I need you to shine a light think on of it from the left wing's point of view. Right? They mm. are genuinely afraid of Gamergate, which is why they keep talking about Gamergate. Is the punchline here Gamergate did 9-11? Because we made that joke already. No, but it could it could be something <laughs> nearly like that, like effectively like that, right? So <laughs> But what so, what, right? what are you saying? Like no, is it is it what I said though? What what are you are saying? You saying Gamergate raped and killed a woman behind an Arby's in nineteen ninety nine? No. That was just I, me, saying, Gator, Gator, not Gamergate. Yes, right? yes, yes. So again, if Gamergate is the eternal boogeyman. What would be the worst thing that Donald Trump could do? Uh, He's I mean, not going to co-sign Gamergate. He doesn't even know what to do. What, he could most, tweet out hashtag Gamergate? Is that what you're like? <laughs> most people have no idea what Gamergate was or is. I don't think you, you realize that it's a thing on the internet, but most, most people have so, no yeah, idea. So yeah, we, we talked about this before. I, I of course know exactly what Gamergate was, because I was in it. Yeah, we all know. I wouldn't, of course, I wouldn't, we, I wouldn't yeah, start presuming we, what people are thinking like that. We, we all know. I'm just saying the public at large probably maybe 25. percent Yeah. Of now everybody on Twitter don't. knows what the fuck it is. You know, a lot of yes, the you know journalists and stuff know what it is, but uh, yeah. as far as the public at large, they don't. You, okay, how do you get know. black people to join the alt right? Give them watermelons. <laughs> Fried chicken on, and Kool Aid helps too. Appreciate that humor. Come on, my fellow white nigger. I know you like those. <laughs> that, that was a, honestly, I thought that was a bit slow. You get Hillary Clinton to denounce the alt right. Wait, sorry, was there a punchline? I can only hear crickets. It's not. <laughs> oh, you're being serious. I'm sorry. It's already <laughs> happened, Jim. This is documented and verifiable. When Hillary Clinton denounced the alt-right, loads of black people took to Twitter saying, well, I guess I'm alt-right then. And I was speaking to a few of the alt-right people, and they were freaking the fuck out, thinking the idea that a bunch of black people are going to invade a white supremacist movement, because nobody really knew. And so Hillary Clinton kind of set the narrative on it. I mean, did I, I? I don't have like official membership numbers from the alt right, but did I mean, is there any evidence no, no, that caused a spike? Okay, okay, yeah. But it was just you know, like you know, people. You'd see a lot of people on Twitter sort of freaking out about it, and understandably so. I mean, if you're a white supremacist, the last thing you want is black people stealing your movement or something. You know, that that that's pretty. Uh, yeah, pretty I mean, funny. I remember her speech and everything. I actually thought that that was a yeah, tactical no, no, mistake. That, that she she wasted the whole day of campaigning, you know, bitching yeah. about, you know, fucking Ma massive, Breitbart massive and shop. Pepe the Frog. <laughs> so like, I mean, what was that all right. about? You know, anyway, but yeah. yeah but ima imagine them whinging about that to the point where Hillary Clinton feels the need to, and Justin Trudeau feel the need to like denounce Gamergate effectively, the alt-right. How does this, okay, how does this help? How does this help you? How does this help you, Kip? It's, it it's sounds like you were helping you, Kip. Well, but this, you're talking in American context or Canadian context. How does, I mean, I thought you were like, you know, kind of jumping in the political cycle over there. How does this help them? I'm not saying it helps anyone. Are you guys about helping people, are you? I, I don't, I, I legit have no idea what you're <laughs> I going for. I would come here. to you if I wanted help, Jim. Let's be honest. I mean, like, I saw the last thing <laughs> you did where you're like uh, saying, oh, I don't care about anyone here. I don't care about Ralph. You know, you, you don't come to you for help, Jim. You know, we well, come you, to you. For you already did, control. and I told you no. Sorry. Like, listen, listen, right? If someone comes to you at all, it's because they want a god almighty troll, a troll to end all trolls. That's what they come to you for. Okay, I, I just want to hear the pitch idea because uh, okay, yeah, be I'm still you, the I'm last like, I'm really the last time that. you pitched me an idea. Okay, and I, I you can go reread the conversation was on Skype. 
I, I and Google care. was. I, I don't care. I, I want to just make the record clear. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll was, tell you exactly Google what was, was crushing. Going. When I'll Google was crushing. Why, why would you let me finish my finish. point? When Google because you're was, making a silly point. What's you just you don't want to be about? embarrassed? I know you don't want to be embarrassed. Jim, let me finish my story. Sargon, then you let me talk, won't you? Yeah. Yes, let, let's talk one at a time. Yeah, thank you. It's a big boy conversation. Do, we don't do you want the pitch or not? You really don't want this story out there, do you? Jim, you've done a stream about it, haven't you? No, I haven't. I, Jim, just release it. I don't care. Just release it. I just want to go over the conversation. The last Wait. great idea you had, the big brained idea you had before about Google and how you could fight back against the apocalypse. Was oh, by taking, what was it? I can't you, 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 you were so excited. You told me, Jim, we just have to tell everybody. Uh, that we're Google's friends. We have to, if we appease, you You quite literally yeah, went to the that if we it. appease Google, yeah. Google will fight for us and give us our money back. Well, and it I turns told out you that, that was retarded. We didn't have that. Did, did that come out afterwards? Well, who told you it was a bad idea, though? I, I told you that's how it was going to play out. And you were yeah. so convinced. I was like, go for it. Because okay. <laughs> it's this terrible idea. All right. so I, so okay, I want to hear, yeah, 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 hear your next right idea. I want to hear your next Google see the Did you see the good sense of thing? I did. Yeah. We read the yeah, entire we, we article read the, on our We read the yeah. Breitbart leaks. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Was that all out when I had that conversation with you? Well, it's just kind of common sense. Why would you expect to make a corporation to give two sense? fucks a, 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 a bunch of little YouTubers? I don't know. Maybe. Sir, maybe you, thought if, you thought if you were their friends, they were going to protect you. It was the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. Maybe. Maybe it's not. Who knows? You well, know, no, we, obviously we it, it was because we've seen how it played out with the leaks. Okay. That's, okay, that's great. great. So yeah, I, now we, I want to hear we, what we your next great idea is. That one thing was true, one thing was false. Okay. I want to hear what your next great idea is. So I, how does Gamergate I, help yeah. us take? I'm not gonna lie. I'm world. actually interested. Like I don't know what where you're going okay. with this, man. And I really just don't know. Like I'm, I'm completely okay. lost. I'm lost. I, I can't believe that you haven't figured it out yet. Well, I'm the only thing I could figure out, it sounded like you were talking about resurrecting Gamergate. That's the only thing no, I could figure out. No. But maybe I'm off base. I don't know. Gamergate, it, obviously, it doesn't exist anymore, right? It's not an activist not movement really, on no. the internet anymore, yeah. right? We all understand this, right? So whenever I say Gamergate, I'm not saying us as activists doing things for ethics and video games journalism or against, you know, you know, for any, we're not participating in Gamergate anymore, right? Uh, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah that's, I, I pulled the yeah, shit yeah, on that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bravo, bravo, well done. Yeah, you, you, you guys are fab, right? Now, now wait, you quit that... Gamergate too, Sargon? Don't act yeah, like you did. You said it was over. <laughs> you oh. made a big public thing about quitting Gamergate. Don't act like we did the <laughs> only ones. Did right, I okay. make a big public thing about quitting Gamergate? You sure there wasn't Jim? Oh no, I, I, I made. You... A, I wanted people to know how many faggots were involved in that movement. Yeah, you're okay, no, you're yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You're no, but you did. You actually that. did. I mean, you put out a video like "Gamer Gets Over," work done. I mean, am, am I off base? Like, I mean, yeah. if, if I'm wrong, you yeah, can't... but that doesn't mean I'm like quitting anything. It just means okay. Well, right? you said so. But any, okay. Anyway, all right, go anyway, ahead. Right. Okay. Getting, getting back to it, right? So, but the idea of Gamergate is now imprinted in the narrative of the left, right? It's, I, I mean, I still see see people talk about it from time to time. Yeah, it's it's usually like scare tactics from from the media yes. and stuff. Yeah, it's scare tactics. They're they're worried about another Gamergate coming along. I I don't really think they are, to be honest with you. I think they've <laughs> got their own fuck, agenda Jim, going you're forward. Just saying it for the sake of saying it. Sargon, what's dumb as fuck is saying let's do Gamergate two point oh. I'd rather I'm fuck myself with a rake than do that. Have, but you know, I know that's where you went. You you don't know what the proposal is yet, but you've made assumptions. What, what you're building up to sure sounds dumb, but okay, I guess I can admit I'm wrong if you've got a better angle. Let's hear it. Yeah, I do. I do. You ready? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, we are. Yeah. I reckon we can get Donald Trump to defend Gamergate. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Why not? But why, why not? would he, though? You just said Gamergate was well, over. Like, why would he? Why would he? The fucking troll in chief. <laughs> Why would he defend Gamergate? Oh, there are lots of reasons. <laughs> I mean, it usually he kind of gets involved in stuff that's like breaking well, news. You know what okay, I mean? Like, yeah. it seems to what be kind of the, okay, What would the benefit yeah. even be to that? I mean, he's already made comments about Charlottesville, uh, where he said there was violence on both sides. They got angry for like a week or two. It was in the mainstream media, and then they didn't give a shit. So what? Like, he, let's say he does they go and say Gamergate that. wasn't a big deal. It, it, you got uh, you got a new blurb, and then nobody cares again. They still talk about Charlottesville all the time. So you want to you want to try to trick 
Donald Trump into talking about Gamergate. Why would I need to trick him? Well, because he's not obviously done it himself, so you're going to have to spur that along. I don't think he knows anything about Gamergate. Of course he doesn't. Most people don't. <laughs> yeah, but you, you literally implied that he knew something, right? He, I, obviously, my, listen, Sargo, my, listen, point, listen. my point is, let me say this real quick. My point is, he usually gets involved in stuff. He very much avidly follows the media, but he usually gets involved in like breaking news stories or hot cultural topics, Dude, like kneeling at on. the NFL he, games he and stuff like that. This is kind of a... Twilight. About not getting back together with the girl who cheated on him, like Donald. Yeah, Trump but that was before he was president. So now he picks his Donald battles Trump a little more. Understands carefully. the importance of culture. Sure, I agree with that. Right? Yeah, and he gets involved. He gets directly involved, belligerently. In also true, cases. but Gamergate's I, not really a thing now, though. I, I know. I do you want, look. The fact that the left still remembers it like a wound is why it's important, right? For them, I don't think they were expecting this kind of consumer revolt. This this revolt from the bottom. I really don't think they were expecting it. And I think it's really freaked them out. I mean, like, I'll, I'll probably go through, like, you know, the Guardian coverage in the last year or something on Gaming Gate and, like, the independent coverage, because they still make articles about it. They still talk about it. They still fear it. And if we get Donald Trump just to tweet out, I mean, it, you know, d just a tweet that mentions the hashtag Gaming Gate, it, it, it doesn't even necessarily matter how he uses it. Man, the blue check marks are going to shit their fucking pants. It, you are going to see the spurging of a lifetime. Donald Trump supports gaming. They are going to flip their fucking shit. I, I'd rather see him. I'd rather see him talk about Veronica's. Hey, you hear me, guys, gangweed? Huh? What's up? <laughs> What's up, my fellow gamers? Rise up! <laughs> I'm for the Joker's to take it back. But who cares, man? Don't don't you think it would be so fucking funny to watch them do this? Like the reactions. Well, how do you so propose bad. to do that? Like, uh, I, I don't know. I, I just think it's unlikely to see him go out and sure, do the hashtag saying, Gamergate. I'm not saying it's guaranteed, you know. And this is this is why this is why I'm not saying I can do it on my own. Are you trolling but us I, right now? Like, what is this? Like, this I, I don't reminds know, me of that Millennial trolling? Woes conversation you had, where you're like, "Dude, Millennial Woes, you should act like an SJW. That's a super smart thing." Yeah, this I, like I think like an SJW shit. would get the white nationalists' legitimacy. <laughs> oh, these are some big brain ideas. I, it's I just, undeniably true. Holy shit, man. <laughs> Do you have a they're war bringing back segregation to college campuses, dumbass. I mean, like, it legitimately ends in the same results. But anyway, that's not what I don't want to talk about that, right? No, I'm so, just saying this is the same quality argument. I'm really enjoying this. So, you, okay, so let's say you're right and you get Donald Trump. Yeah. You obviously do. Why are you here pitching the idea to people if you don't yeah, care? Well, yeah, but you're, you, whether you're like, oh, I don't like it, okay, fine, don't like it, but you haven't even let me finish it. Oh, there's more? Fuck, questions. I'm sorry, I'll let you go. No, no, okay, okay. you're right, you're right. If you, there's more, I want to hear more. The, you're the crab at the bottom of the bucket that can't see the rest to get out, aren't you? I, I don't know. I mean, do you want to compare well, straight numbers, know, Carl? You keep saying I do don't you, know, do you but wanna, that's Do you want to compare straight numbers? What did you do you last night? Was it, was, it 16, was it 1,600, Carl? And when Ralph was hitting eight? That's pretty sad. That's why you're here, isn't it? I don't nobody, know what about. nobody wanted to listen I, I didn't to the idea on your sentence hundred viewers talking, stream. Jim. But you come onto the Ralph retort no, after saying it's shit for I'm months talking. because he's got eight thousand stars. I don't you know. You should be sorry. Talking. That's really embarrassing. I mean, it is super I, it's, embarrassing. It's tremendously, tremendously. You're, it is. You're, the, you're, 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 you're the crab at the bottom of the bucket. Ralph's sitting on top yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're pinching his ass trying to get attention for your Gamergate two idea. Holy shit. Jim. Do you mind? Uh, do you mind? Let me finish Ralph's. Oh question. no! I want to hear this, please. More. Why are you talking so much then? Don't ask me questions if you want to speak. I You're going to get answers. Go, go, you go. Interrupted. Why did you? Why did you interrupt <laughs> when I was trying to answer Ralph's question? <laughs> Being silent so you could talk. Go. Yeah, but I'm asking you a question now. You, you're asking me why, why I'm did answering you your questions. When I was trying to ask Ralph's question. Why did you do that? Sometimes you say shit that's so stupid and stunning that I, I have to say something. It's like it's like a tick. It's almost impossible not actually, to say something. I didn't actually finish my sentence before you jumped in. Okay, well, I'm very sorry. I guess it's like your debate at MythCon. Oh, shut, up, shut, up, shut up, shut up, Carl, shut up, shut up, Carl. Shut up, shut up, shut up, Carl. Let me talk. <laughs> that's kind of how I feel that you're acting, yeah. I'm acting like you? Yeah, I better stop. I don't want to, I don't want to pull yeah, that look off. Do you think that that's a good idea? Maybe you should stop. To, to act like you? No, fuck no. I agree. Next Completely thing you know, I'll be giving out of context quotes about the age of the child. No, let's go. <laughs> I Look, Jim, you can carry on interrogating teenagers about the size of their boyfriend's penises all you want. I, it's just 
Hey, yeah. Carl, I don't Weird. don't get upset. I mean, I, mean, I it, don't even know what the I, I love how you tried. Mean. I love how you tried black PR and it blew up in your face because you're fucking retarded. Black PR. black PR. Yeah. Oh, I don't get the conversation Jim's having. And oh, I'm getting accused of the same shit that I tried to use. Against <laughs> Depends on the child, doesn't it, Carl? OK, Jim. Yeah, it was, on, does it, was, it depend on the child, Carl? Does yeah, it depend it, it, on the it child? All black PR, it's all it's all, all by case by case basis. So you're you're cool. It's case by case basis. We get you, champ. We know what you're talking about. Jim it is scientifically verifiable. That people hit puberty on the case by case. Oh no, no! Process. Please tell me about your it's your genius ideas terrible. about ten year olds and twelve year olds having sex. You're so smart. You're so smart, Carl. Thanks, Jim. I appreciate that. Now, Ralph, oh, no, you're um, what was your question again, man? Sorry. Um, you said there was more to the proposal, I guess, and and yeah, um, okay. yeah. This this one, I can't do this all on my own, obviously. Um, basically, okay. So the way the way that um, the way that it seems that the political sphere works is that all of these people act within bubbles, right? Um, and obviously they're very sensitive to perception. This is why social justice activism has worked so well, because the SJWs act as a mob, they email, they, they tweet, they shame, you know, they, they, they are constantly filling the sort of inputs, the, the social media input of these people with the sort of thing that they want them to hear, obviously. And this is how they end up kind of influencing and like washing over an institution. And that's part of it. You know, another part of it is they have activists that go and speak to these people directly, like Anita Sarkeesian. You know, she ends up going to, well, she Intel. I mean, she's she got like the UN, you know, she, like how the fuck did she get there? Well, I know how she got there now. You know, I've actually been doing it myself. This is This is how this works. And you can make this a remarkably, um, efficient and effective thing if you have a kind of victim narrative and if you have a particular like group that is opposed to you politically who you can demonstrate have interactions with you it's very very easy to get people already opposed to them to be sympathetic to your side and with good reason i mean obviously you know it, it's sensible that that would be the case you know why wouldn't you want to find allies and stuff like that um and so I think that with a kind of combined effort of the internet, we could essentially craft a narrative because you have to, to sell to people, you know, explain that this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened. That's a lot more fair about what happened in game against. And I think that we can effectively get um, very important people to say that game Gate did nothing wrong. I, I just, Look, I came yeah, here. I know, it is. It is. This is blowing my mind. I'm not gonna. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. You're, you've blown my mind. I, I was sitting here. We had a lot of ideas of just about. You know, what, what is he up to? What, what is he planning? <laughs> oh, this this, was not, this yeah, did not this, come up on the list. Not at all. What I was. This expecting. did not come up the list. But you know, one thing I did when I said I said I'm gonna come in here. You know, even though we've been you know talking shit about Sargon, he's been talking shit about us. Like I'm gonna keep an open mind. If, if it's a great idea, uh, it's a great idea. You know what I mean? No matter who it comes from, I just don't. I don't know. I just don't. I don't see what what you're doing here with this, really. I mean, I think that I've made myself quite clear. I I want to. You want to see, get people to I, come I, I out and say Gamergate did nothing wrong. Biggest but... troll. I I won't see. I mean, there will be nothing more autistic than watching the response to them seeing Trump support Gamergate. That, why that be... why why would anybody? Okay, but, but so what benefit is that to Trump? You want Trump to to create a situation where Gamergate looks good? That sounds fucking how, retarded. How is that not beneficial to Trump, Jim? Tr because uh, what I <laughs> I feel like I'm I'm having a fucking short circuit, Ralph. We am I, I, I on alone on this? No, no I, I really don't. And I'm not, I'm not even I'm not even trying to be mean. Like I said, I'm trying to keep a fair amount. I just don't understand. Like yeah. if, if okay, Gamergate okay. was happening today, like if this was the heyday of Gamergate, I have no doubt that President Trump would probably be right in the middle of that shit, fucking around, right? Because he's a huge troll. But Gamergate yeah. is like smoldering. You know, we talked about earlier. It's dead. Now there are some people no, 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 hanging don't, out don't, on don't Kotaku in action, Gamergate. and they don't, actually don't. think it's still going. It's not going. It's no, been done for a long time. Gamergate. Gamergate is gone. Okay, we're not dealing with an organism of people on the internet called Gamergate. That's not what we're talking about. What we're talking yeah. about is the perception in the journalists' minds and in the verified checkmarks' heads of what Gamergate is, because they don't just think Gamergate was an activist movement, right? They think that Gamergate is a latent part of every community that there are going to be people who are going to say no we don't care about your moral shaming we're pro-racism or something like that and then you know fuck you because that's how they perceive it that's what they think 
It's not what we think, obviously, because that's nuts, but that's why they're nuts. But that's I'm, their perception. I just don't think there's any real juice in it, if you know what I mean. Are so, so when Trump there's, does this, he tends to do it for electoral benefit. Yeah, he loves trolling the left. He loves fucking with these journalists. Serious? Dude, but, he trolls them all the fucking yeah, time. Yeah, but it's for it's for voting purposes. So you see the NFL. The NFL is the biggest fucking sport in the country, if not the world. So when he jumps into something like the, the kneeling thing, he knows that's going to roll up his base and actually benefit him electorally. Um, the cultural issues he jumps into, uh, he, he tends to be thinking about, you know, winning elections and, and riling up How the base. And I don't know that. Well, I mean, How I'm, you know? I, I, well, I'm just making an observation. I mean, of course, I can't You're read guessing. the man's mind, but. You're guessing. Well, so. Uh, well, yeah, well, that's all I anybody guessing? can do when we talk about somebody's well. action. Am I actions. guessing, or have I had conversations with people who might know the man personally and figured out something? That <laughs> what degree away? Yeah. <laughs> Bannon has no clout in the White House anymore. You do know that, right? I didn't say Bannon had clout in the White House. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who you talk to. However, if you do know who I talk to. Look, I, you know what? I, I won't even you know dispute exactly I'm, I'm sure Bannon probably still does have conversations with Trump. I'm not going to like dispute that. But I, I, I just think, you know, the idea of the Gamergate, I, I, just, I just don't see why Trump would do that. Now, of course, Bannon was well, intimately involved with the Gamergate you, behind no, the no, scenes. Hang on, man. Hang on. You Trump is that. a giant troll. Trump is a giant troll. You said it repeatedly in this conversation, and you're right. Yeah, he you're is. But no, no, just... but you don't. No, no. Listen, right. I can't tell you what I've been told, but you don't even understand the depths of how much he enjoys trolling, right? <laughs> and I can't. I'm not. Gonna, it was all off the records. So I'm not going to say anything. But this is a this is a fact. Trump is a troll, and we know he is. He likes to make them scream. You too. understand you're coming on a stream and making a public statement that you've talked to people in the Well, maybe you should try and sabotage it by Sargon. sending it to whoever. Sargon. Go, Jim, go. Oh, Send my the God. You're ratings. such a pretentious cunt. Will you Fucking just let me talk? You're, the, you're not listening. You're the idiot saying you want to set up this trolling op, and then here you are openly talking about it because you're fucking stupid. And then you're saying you know people that know well, Trump and that he's in on the know on it, you dumb fuck. I didn't say he's in on the know at all. Jim, you keep doing this. You make up shit. God, you're stupid. I you're so fucking dumb. It's painful. It. What is the matter with you? I didn't say he's in on it. How many I? things do you have to fucking murder and touch and latch oh, onto and you kill? Get into that, Jim. You're currently in the no, middle really. of murder. How many things do you need to fucking murder? And yeah, co -op you're the one does that. I'm trying to actually. How many burnt bodies need to be in the pyre for you to be satisfied? I don't know. How big's your pile? Uh, way less than yours, man. I don't think it is, Jim. Uh, you're I the fucking... fucking you're, okay, oh, listen, listen to Chatelet, my, uh, you know, you listen to Mr. Chatelet one, here. Okay, you are the, the guy okay, who yeah, let's a have series a of people with character statements against your character for you being a bully all the way through. I am such a bully. Name the bully, Sargon. Has Boy Hunter 77 shown up? Has Boy Hunter 77 shown up? Has Boy you have to do that because you work up so many people. And, you know, it's fine, Jim. I don't care. Oh, yeah, I worked you up. This is what you I worked do. you up, and then care. you quit the internet for a while, didn't you? I uh, know. I don't recall quitting. Uh, guys, uh, I need to take a break from YouTube and from the drama, and I need to stop. Yeah, I've already this explained this. that. Did you miss it? No, I, yeah, right after I kicked your ass and made a fool. No, at the beginning of the stream, did you miss it? Oh, no, your rationalization for getting made to look a fool? Yeah, no, I heard that. Do okay. you remember the stream yeah, I did okay. where 30,000 okay. people laughed at how retarded you were? Do you, do you right, remember right, that? Right, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. So you agree. That you're retarded? Yes, we agree on that. Okay, point. yeah, we agree. We agree. Right. So this is this is the thing, right? So okay. Ralph, you're completely right. Trump is a troll and he enjoys trolling. And he's good at trolling too. Uh, um, I would argue Trump might be the greatest troll of all time. Oh, honestly, yeah. I think you might be right. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. think we may have underestimated the man's trolling abilities, yes. right? So I, I genuinely think that he will see the value if we can present the right view of Gamergate to Trump. And I think the, pro the primary way of doing that is the FBI investigated Gamergate and they found they did nothing wrong. Because they did. Uh, yeah, I mean, I remember the report and all that stuff, but I mean, okay, so where do you take, where do you go from there? So like, I, I don't, so you take that and, and what... I, well, the, the, the ultimate goal is to get Donald Trump to defend it. Because I mean, that, I mean you, imagine, you realize imagine this already happened a couple years ago when that report came out and everybody made videos about it and talked about it. Um, Which one was this, sorry? The FBI report. Didn't that come? Are you talking about the old report? Yeah, is there the a new FBI, one? Yeah, but we need, what, we need is, what we need is Donald Trump to tweet something like the FBI report out and say, the media smears about Game Gate false. You know, the FBI investigated Game Gate and found that they did nothing wrong. It, it doesn't have to be exactly that, obviously. But that, that would be like the perfect you know, scenario, but, um, 
you know, I just, mean, if that don't, happened, would it, I even laugh? Even yeah, most likely I would. Moment, just, right? just from the sheriff's just insanity of of him mentioning Gamergate. But I, I, I just yeah, don't. Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> it would. I mean, yeah, I would laugh at that. If that it would be fucking incredible. I mean, the response would be apoplectic, wouldn't it? But how do you propose? Like, so how, how do you propose to to do that though? And well, and, and I, then I've okay, kind of, say that does happen. What what is the ultimate benefit of that happening? I mean, just for the laugh oh, itself. Yeah, laughing, laughing at the verified check marks. <laughs> That's the point of this, just so we can have a laugh at the verified check marks spurging out about Gamergate. Not all. First, let me, let me do hashtag not all check marks here, since I have one. Myself. Oh yeah, sorry, I do apologize. But, uh, the, the the you know you know the ones I'm talking about though. Yes, yes, the Jews. No, I'm just. Um, wouldn't wouldn't that be amazing? And then the the coverage as well. And not only that, I think you'll find a lot of people on like the sort of out of touch Republican types, like Ted Cruz. They understand that social media is important, and I think they can be made to understand that things like Gamergate are an, an inherent resistance to the far left. And I think they'll support that. I think I think they'll run with that. I think they'll I think they'll like it. You know, especially as we can you know we can we can have different ways of framing it that are all true. Obviously, I'm not suggesting we lie at all. We need to be completely honest about what we've what we've got and what what is going on, but I think we can be, and I think it will have the 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 results of freaking them out, and I think it would just be a funny ass thing to do. So, how do you propose to? I guess what what I'm getting, I don't know. Maybe maybe if you said that there, I didn't I didn't really catch it. But how how do you propose to make it happen? Like what what are you going to do to make it happen? What are you okay. what are you trying to tell other yeah. people to do? To yeah, make th it happen? This is this is another thing, right? So. The way the way things happen is by connections. It's someone knows someone knows someone, and you have to ask them to get get their email to send to you. You know, so you can email them. Networking, like basically. Yeah, it is networking. Yeah, and I don't really like it. I would prefer if everyone had a public email, like I do, but they don't. A lot of people keep their de contact de details secret, and it's annoying. And you have to go through agents and things like this. But um, but what I'll try and do is talk to people and. You know, try and get emails for people, and and um, and try and get them to pay attention to a cultural phenomenon. But there needs to be a cultural phenomenon, and that's why, um, that's why I need you guys. Okay, so let me get this straight. Your plan is ninety percent us doing the legwork and ten percent you sending out emails. No. What have I misheard then? How does this? What's the All breakdown? I'm not going to explain to you though, Jim. You're just wrong. So, what do you reckon, Ralph? You just literally said I'll email people to get them to pay attention to a cultural phenomenon, and then you guys. Yeah, that's, that's one thing I will do, Jim. That's one. Okay, thing. well, fill us in on the rest of this twenty-year plan. Well, I don't think I should, given this is a live stream. Okay. Oh, now you're taking my advice. That's good. I think it was good advice, don't you? Yeah, it is. Okay, well, well I'll I... take it then. Thanks. I did consider. I did, I did think about that maybe keep it on the low, but I mean okay, it's well, too late now. Delete the stream like, afterwards if you have to or whatever, you know. Ah, but, no, you know, but the thing is, you know, it's not like be sensible though. None of the people who are listening surely want to alert the far left that we're about to make them look stupid. Well, you know, I, I will say this. Um, you know, I actually, you know, there are lefts who watch this show too. I mean, it's not just all. You know, well, then they can. People. Yeah, but hang on. How much funnier will that be if they start raising the alarm that we're going to try and make Donald Trump endorse Gamergate or ask him to endorse Gamergate? How funny does that sound on the fucking face of it? Like, <laughs> you paranoid freak. And then Donald Trump might respond to it naturally without us doing a fucking thing. I mean, perhaps. Uh, so, so you're saying collect? You're going to collect emails of people who might, you know, be in it's touch not with so. leaders. You, you have to. Meet no, I mean, you you mean like contact that. data, but I, I'm asking. So, you're talking to a broad based audience here. You know, we're we're the number one late night show on YouTube. Uh, oh, I hate to, hate to toot my own horn here, but uh, uh, Dude, oh no. but but uh, so what 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 should the people do? I guess. In, in your idea? Okay, so the 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 thing that I think we need to start doing. And not, and I, I will be doing this as well. Um, is finding everything that they've said about Gamergate that makes Gamergate sound scary, right? Makes it sound impressive and big. Like you know, you remember when they were like Gamergate's going to end up on Mars? Gamergate put Trump. I mean, didn't they say Gamergate put Trump in the White House? Uh, yeah, I want to say it was Sarah Zhang that said that. Actually, the uh, the racist the uh, New York Times. I believe that was her that said that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was. There was one on. Every day, every Joe.com. Yeah, not... she's not the only one that said it, but I, I, I think that's where I first saw it. Yeah. yeah. 
Right. Okay. So, um, I yeah, want to say that. I mean, don't, you know, I won't bet my left nut on it, but I think that that's who said it. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll put it in the sidebar so you can see it. But again, we can use all of this, right? Because them printing any of this is just a bonus to us. Here's, here's the link. Okay. Let me. So we find everything like this, like, you know, everything where they say Gamergate did this, Gamergate did that. We make it sound like Gamergate is really capable and really competent. You know, it's everywhere. It's, and it's, we'll use their sources. They're the ones building this narrative. And then all we need to do is present Gamergate was invested by the FBI and found to do nothing wrong. And then like, I don't know, you know, find, you know, in fact, Mark judges, Mark judges articles on it are perfect because Mark judges a political, you know, involved in a political narrative. And he was in defense of Gamergate. And we, there we go. You know, oh. in fact, they, they all say that Gamergate's like a movement of Nazis that have put Donald Trump in the White House. In fact, Gamergate was a grassroots move, movement of people against the far left. Here's some articles that Mark Judge wrote, you know, the guy with Kavanaugh. The, the FBI inve investigated Gamergate, found they did nothing wrong. They're lying. You know, we'd like President Trump to use his platform to help us redeem our name or something like that. However you need to spin it, you know, however you need to sell it. Just like that, that. And the thing is, nothing about that is untrue. Nothing about that is untrue. That's a completely true narrative. And that's frankly what's happened. And this is not only a way we can, I mean, there are people in Gamergate who probably still aren't happy that the name is being smeared by the far left. Because I mean, at the end of the day, you you know, you might, Gamergate, fair enough, you can say it's full of faggots and, and twats and, and people trying to make money out of it and all this sort of stuff. But it wasn't a movement full of Nazis, you know? And that's how they've tried to portray it. It wasn't a, it wasn't a movement for the woman haters and all this sort of stuff. And so don't, that's... Don't, don't you think, though, honestly, because I, I do think it, it had a lot of faggots in it, but at the same time, you're proposing using something that people are still, some hangers-on are still involved in. I mean, I don't... Are they like, still? Uh, I think we, there definitely talk, are some still. Yeah, yes. talking about gamer, I, I you want to use them as like a political cudgel to win points uh, with Twitter arguments with journalists. It kind of seems dickish. Oh, does it seem dickish? Well, uh, yeah, I left the movement because I was sick of people using it for their own games. Why would I agree to do that now? Because this is a way that Gaming Gate can win. Can I ask you a question, Sargon? Sure. Okay. Are you trying to resurrect Gamergate because that's when your YouTube career was at its peak, and now that it's dead, <laughs> it fucking no. gets cratered? No. Because that's what it seems like to me. Let's okay. let's all do I, fucking Gamergate again. I I really don't think my YouTube career was at its peak during Gamergate. Well, I do. Okay. Well, I, I want to say this that uh, I just want to point out that the whiskey has not killed all my brain cells, and that I was absolutely correct that uh, it was a Sarah Jean quote. And here's the quote: Breitbart played a key role in Gamergate. Congratulations, America! You put Gamergate in the fucking White House, and Perfect. and that's in the article that you linked. Perfect. So Th this is all out. stuff that we can just you know mesh together and say, look, Mr. Trump, they think that we elected you, and they're smearing us all over the place. We did support you, probably. I mean, I know I did. You know, like. We support you, and we'd, we'd really appreciate it if you could just clear our name. So, so you're telling you're saying people here tweet at Trump or send letters, or not, it, not, it's going to take not or, Trump particularly um, or officials, I, I would, you know, elected officials. Perhaps I would I would tweet them and say, look, you know, we were activists who supported Gamergate, and uh, you know, assuming you were obviously, um, and you know, they they smear us all the time. They think we put Trump in the White House. We do support Trump and the FBI investigated us to find we did nothing wrong. Could you please get Mr. Trump to just tweet out that we, you know, that he supports us or something because we're sick of being told that we're terrible people. You know, it can be anything like that because this is all true. You know, I, I've talked to so many people who are sick of being smeared for it. They've just, you know, gone, oh, whatever, I don't care. But I'm sure there are loads of people who'd love to see fucking a bit of redemption in this regard. So, you and know, part God. of the problem with Gamergate um, is... I mean, I guess a problem and a benefit. There was a wide tent, uh, especially at the beginning, and a lot of people had no problems, you know, keeping that wide tent and just letting people do their own thing. Um, but but the the coalition, the Gamergate coalition, quote unquote, there were a lot of uh, leftists in that. Uh, there are a lot of people who um, used to support Gamergate now who are raging anti-Trump people. Um, sure, but and so I, I don't really know that a lot of these people so. would be on board with it. I mean, I guess that's what I'm getting at. Yeah, but I mean, they don't have to be. It's, you know, we don't, it does, you know, if someone doesn't want to, you know, try and redeem Gamergate's name in the public dialogue, then that's fine. You know, I mean, I don't mind if they don't care. Um, but this is something that, A, we could do, and it, man, if we did it, it'd just be so fucking funny to see the reaction. And B, it would be nice to be able to say, well, you know, 
Trump acknowledges that Gamergate did nothing wrong, blah, 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 FBI, blah, blah, blah. You know, wouldn't that, um, wouldn't that be interesting? I mean, it, it would be, yeah, I, I would laugh if it happened. I just don't, I, I just tend to think, um, like, like I said earlier, Trump, Trump usually gets involved in, in stuff that's hot. You know what I mean? Like stuff that's, that's cult. He gets well, involved I mean, in culture, he gets involved in trolling, uh, definitely all the time, but it t it tends to be hot button stuff. You know what I mean? Right. That has juice uh, among his voter base. And uh, okay, I, I just okay. really don't. Let's, let's pause there. Cause that's a great point, right? Um, I'm not saying I know how to give this juice initially. And that's, that's probably beyond what I can manage anyway. Um, again, this is why I'm coming to you and the people listening, right? Mm. Don't worry about how you feel about me. This is, you know, don't worry about how you feel about Ralph or Jim or anyone like that. Right. But just think, how can we achieve the end result? Um, you know, what, what would need to go happen? What is plausible that would need to happen for us to create a kind of, I don't know, online, not this, an online scandal, but create the atmosphere for them to give a shit about gaming. Cause they do still bring it up, you know? So like, you know, I'm, I'm sure someone listening to you, you probably got, I, I can't, I haven't got the, the thing. We have almost 8,000 people, people right? almost 8,000 so people watch. I'm, I'm sure there are some fucking amazing ideas in, in the people listening. And I'm sure that, like, you know, after after the stream's over, like, you know, like people will talk about in the comments and say, okay, I'm sure know, I hate, will, yeah. hate Sargon, but if we did X or, you know, whatever, and then, you know, a good idea will come out and then we can run with that. And because, like, like you say, it needs to be something hot. So we need to, I mean, I haven't looked at whether they actually, um, you know, what, what's been put out about Gaming Gate today or anything, but um, it'll be very interesting to see. And or and not even just to see like if if something does happen that involves Gamergate, then holy shit, why why not why not get Trump to endorse Gamergate? I mean, why wouldn't he? Like what you said, and I admitted that yeah, I would laugh if if Trump tweeted about Gamergate. I don't think that that's I mean it's it's so it's so crazy and absurd almost that I would have to laugh. But um, and I'm trying to be completely fair to your idea. I saw a couple people in chat. Ralph, you're being too nice. Well, I mean, I'm trying to I'm trying to hear it out. I I just don't see. So this sounds like a lot of effort when the whole like so I asked you what the benefit was and it's like well it's a laugh. I mean it, it seems like it a lot of effort. So so when I was sitting there thinking about you coming on and you're like you got a great idea. I don't want to go into every single thing you said, but basically said I have a big idea. It's great. And I was like, okay, what could this be? Me and Gator were kicking it around because the damn wasn't wasn't he was at work. Sounds like he skipped out of work uh, for this, but uh, I did. <laughs> and we're like, well, what's he talking about? He just talked to Bannon. Maybe the trump tv thing bannon's gonna do it himself like we're sitting here thinking that and then you came in with the gamergate stuff and i'm just like what is that i mean this is almost uh, it almost it's almost like you're trolling us like i, I don't know i mean it, you seem really sincere about it i don't think you are I, i'm i'm 100 serious when i say i think we can get not just i mean we like for example i wouldn't go straight for trump i would probably you know try and get trump jr or stephen miller or someone well, can, like can that. i can i ask you something i mean you keep saying uh, we like, and then you say, well, you guys might have the juice to do this. I just oh, like that. Yeah. yeah, I'd like to clearly state to you, I'm not going to use my audience for your retarded plan. Now, maybe that's, Ralph that's will go along that's with that. Great. Yeah, that's no, that's great. right. It's not going to happen. Great. It's okay. stupid. Okay. And I'm not going to try to get them to, for great. your chuckles, great. your smug chuckles. This is that's, so dumb. That's great. That's great. Awesome. I, I'm glad we're clear. So when you we're, say we, totally make sure that we is a royal one. It doesn't include well, it's, me. Yeah, it's, it is the royal one. I mean, I would never try and include you in something. Good. Happy? I mean, I, I don't know. I guess, I guess my point is, it it seems like you would be sh shooting for something higher. You know what I mean? Like, okay. When, when, I, when I say we, I just want to say like anyone who's interested. Well, yeah, in of course. And I, I'll trolling. go with what Jim said. <laughs> like, I, I, I haven't, this, this I haven't is, signed on for anything. I, I just, I'm just hearing you out. You said I have this big well, idea. I haven't, and, I haven't initiated anything. You know, okay, I, yeah, I, I'll put that out there too. I haven't. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't signed I, yeah this is just all you know, shit posting. I'm just trying to be fair like, and let you get and you know, extrapolate yeah, yeah, on your this points. Is just and stuff. throwing out ideas, right? But the the thing is, I've noticed that. Like from the perspective I have at the moment, I can see a path to achieve a particularly hilarious goal that does nothing but benefit people who oppose the far left and does nothing but enrages the far left. And I don't think there's anything wrong with us, like you know, following this path. I think it'd be, I think it'd be good for. In fact, I can think of several good reasons why it'd be a moral good to do this. But you know, you guys are generally just here for the laughs and stuff. So I figure. This well, will be a massive fucking laugh. Seriously, if we can get Donald Trump to like defend Gamergate, oh man, the sky's gonna fucking come down. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Just imagining it is incredible. You know what would be better if he tweets out hashtag White Lives Matter? 
No, he won't do that. He won't do that. It's it's. it's I mean, he did talk about the South African, uh, you know, farmers getting killed. I mean, I I don't know if you know he's already kind of almost went there at at that point. Um, No, no, no. The the thing is, right? I'm certain that Trump and the people around him are not white nationalists, right? So, the they're definitely. I'm certain they're not white nationalists. Um, they they are they're like American nationalists, you know, um. And they, yeah, they will. They are. They're definitely concerned about, like, you know, South African farmers, as they should be, which is laudable of them, obviously. But they're, they're not going to tweet out "White Lives Matter" because it sounds too much like an alt-right slogan. They're, they will see it as being too. I mean, he I defended think. people at Charlottesville. That was that was fairly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So that's that's uh... not the same as tweeting out "White Lives Matter." I think. Mm-hmm. I think Gaming Gate's the one we've got the best shot with because the SJWs keep bringing it up. <sighs> If this was 2014, I would say absolutely. He, you know, he was president then. I'm pretty much certain he would be in the middle of it. Uh, it since it's 2018, and Gamergate's been dead for a long while, I, I just don't know uh, that he would actually, you know. I understand. Just just have a think about it. Just mull it over. Because, it like, <laughs> it, it would be seismic if Trump were to tweet the t- just the hashtag Gamergate. Just regardless of context, it would be fucking seismic. And if if it was pro, understanding it as being a cultural force against the the authoritarian far left, man, they would they would just piss themselves. And it would be the funniest thing in the world. And he could vindicate Gaming Gate, which I think, frankly, deserves to be vindicated. So, um, and all I'm saying is, I think I think I can actually see a path to it. But it, it requires us to like you know m- you know people who are interested in doing this. Like it would require some kind of understood coordination that you know we're not going to worry about interpersonal drama. It's not about our own egos. It's about getting the job done, you know. So if stuff needed to happen, like we'd all have to do our part, you know. Um, but that's I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll leave it with you guys there. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna head off because I've got other things I've got editing to do, which is amazing fun. Um, but um, I look forward to look forward to send me a, send me a message on Skype when you've when you guys have talked over and had a think. And uh, you know we can talk further and stuff like that. Is that cool? Uh, I mean, yeah, we had other topics, but we went so deep at this. You know what? Uh, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just let it go with that. I guess. Uh, cool. This, this yeah. is a good one, though, right? Well, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm on. I, 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 I'm, I'm. I don't know what to say about. It, to be honest with you, but well, that's that's the thing. Have a have a think of it, and uh, and you know, give me a shout on Skype when you want to. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you for coming on, Sarah. Right. Take it easy, everyone. Bye. Right. Yep. Take it easy. Um, yeah, uh, what just happened here? I was just about to say fucking nothing. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Like, uh, is he trolling? It? Like, I still can't, I don't know. Well, I, I, I brought this up. I, I, really, folks, if you get a chance, go listen to that millennial woes conversation that Sargon had with him where he tried to convince him that, no, no, if the alt-right want to be powerful, you need to act like SJWs. It's super smart. Trust me. It's a good idea. So, so you keep saying, well, wouldn't it be funny if Trump tweeted about Gamergate? Well, I mean, would I laugh? Yeah, but like, I, why would he do that? For, I, I would laugh from the sheer absurdity of the President of the United States tweeting about Gamergate in 2018, years after it was over. Like, I would, I would more laugh at, you know, I, am I, this is life actually real? Like, what's happening right now? Not from the trolling leftist aspect, you know what I mean? Just like, what, I don't know. This was just dumb all over. If this was like <laughs> a, a tr- this is a troll attempt, it was really stupid. And uh, if this was uh, genuine, it's even dumber. Like, I didn't pick your poison, I guess. I don't know. Do you think he was trolling us? Or? I, I, have I no hope idea. he was. I, 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 I really kinda, hope he was. I, I'll agree with him. I really do hope this was his attempt at trolling because it's painfully a bad idea. But I will say, I have heard somebody el- uh, else in his circles uh, mention to me that they wanted Gamergate 2.0. One of his capos specifically said that. Do. They, 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 they literally word for word. We need to do Gamergate 2.0. Can you help me? <laughs> so and, uh, you be my and this, this was this was about a month ago. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I won't call that individual out because I, I want to. You know, I know he gets real upset when you share DMs. Oh. I'll leave it at that. Oh. Well. I have a couple ideas. I, I won't. I won't make any speculations here while we're on air. But yeah, I. Uh, so that's so when he was giving his pitch, like I said, me and Gator were sitting there thinking, "Oh, this is something big." You know, he just talked to Bannon. Maybe there's like something actually going on here. And then he starts talking. He starts talking about Gamergate, and I, and I finally just said, "Are, 
are you are we trying to what, what are you trying to get the so and then you showed up and he's like great you're here too it's like what are you trying to get the band back together what, what is this it's like oh, it's so dumb it's so dumb i don't i don't I, you you pick your angle it's it's a really bad troll or it's a, a really horrible idea i don't know i was expecting i was really hoping for like year two of the 20 year plan i was i wanted a front seat to be able to listen to that yeah i I don't know. I just, I, I just wanted to make sure. Like, I, I was sitting there and I was talking to Gator. And I was like, "Look, I'm gonna keep an open mind. You know, if it's a great idea, it's a great idea. Even if it's from Sargon." And then, and then we went to to Gamma Eight Two Point Oh. This, like, like, this, this is literally that fucking image macro of the guy that goes, "Her, I'm um, retarded," and they're like, "You're a retard," and he's like, "I was just trolling you." <laughs> like that's what we just witnessed in this fucking call. <laughs> like the end result is you made yourself look like a fucking retard. Oh, I just, yeah, I don't know. By the way, I just saw JF message me earlier. Sorry, man. I just now saw it. So I was on air. I was just completely befuddled by what was, <laughs> what was going on. So uh, I apologize, but yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, and then, so he's making such a big point of coming, you know, literally we've been, you know, badgering him for months to come on the show, call him a pussy and, and this and that. He wouldn't even come on the charity stream. And no, this is this is dead. I, I told you this uh, earlier. This is yeah. the exact. This is a joke, and uh, you know, uh, Ice Poseidon's audience makes this joke all the fucking time. It's like, oh, you know, ten thousand viewers, uh, twenty thousand watchers. Look who shows up in the chat. It's once you started getting viewers. Now suddenly, I bet you said it was last night. I bet it was those comments. I told you he really hates it when you bring up numbers because they are important to him. He may try to play it off like it's not, but it is. And those jokes last. Uh, Last night or the night before, whenever the fuck it was, when you had eight thousand people watching and you only had sixteen hundred. Yeah, I saw those. I didn't even, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what? I didn't even bring it up on air, but I definitely saw them. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You I, and I said you had eight Sargons watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, maybe I did read your comment. Yeah, maybe I did. Now that I think about it, but yeah, that's uh, that's funny. I don't know. I just and he was so excited in the, in the Skype though. I was like, well, oh, this must be something good. Like maybe maybe some type of big idea, and then. Hey guys, I've got a great idea. Despacito too. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically how it went. God, it felt like the underwear gnome of fucking plans. Like part one, I email people. Part two, part three, Trump tweets about it. <laughs> you know, like what the fuck was that? Uh, I still, I mean, Gamergate is so dead. Like if Gamergate actually had, like I said, juice to use the term. If it had some juice, if there was, you know, a lot of stuff going on, you know, maybe he would. He'd probably already be tweeting about it. You wouldn't need to come out and, and try to do that. But Gamergate's fucking dead. Like, what, 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 I don't know. I was about to make a joke that I shouldn't make on, on YouTube about it. Did it does it peacefully, involve trains? Does yes, it involve trains? Peacefully yeah, sunsetting someone. Yeah. Maybe that would be a good way to start it back off again. But that's about the only way I could think of. Uh, I, I really don't. I don't see it popping back off ever again. It's, it's pretty right, much well, dead. Well, this, this was this was fun. I'm gonna go yeah. uh, hit my head with a brick and get this <laughs> stupid idea out of it. I think. <laughs> it's just, uh, wow. Okay, that was uh, that's something new. All right. something well, hey, else. hey, when yeah. you guys go fight the good fight under Gamergate 2.0, um, <laughs> I'll be there laughing. <laughs> so, like, Thank you, Jim. Easy. Appreciate it, man. Oh, I would rather drink bleach. Yeah. I'll work early for Gamergate too. <laughs> I guess I'm just trying to see the like what's the point? Like I I don't know. So you made such a big point of coming on the show for like oh let's troll the lefties by getting Trump to tweet about it. I I don't know. It just it seems like there would have been more there there. It's but. the dumbest thing ever. I I can't believe he actually I you know I don't think it's a troll because I don't think he's that smart to make. This no, he a troll. seems like, gonna, sincere about it. Yeah, I, like you know what I mean. Like it doesn't seem like it's a fake thing. He didn't come up with this idea. I was like, oh, I'm gonna do this. It's gonna be funny. He's genuinely like this is his genuine idea. Like he thinks this is some grandiose idea. Year two, start GamerGate 2.0. Uh, yeah. By the way, they said uh, JF's in the chat. I sent him the link, so if he's listening to this, check your DMs. You could pop in and give your take. I'm still, I'm still kind of blown away. Just what exactly just happened here? I do like how he dismissed my question real with a smug chuckle. Cause and I, I, I and I did, I did I did point out that there was no conditions for his appearance, and that and then he just happened to say he volunteered that and said, um, I you know I'd love to talk to Jim anytime, and then 
Damn, right after that, Jim popped on. Impeccable timing, Jim. I meant to say that while you were here, but... Excuse me. Impeccable timing. Uh, what are we even doing now? Uh, I guess we should chill the show tonight. Uh, we'll see if JF pops in here. Oh, there's JF right there. Hello, people. How are you doing? I'm doing good, man. What, what were your thoughts on what we just witnessed? I mean, I had a lot of thoughts. First, I want to give you some insight, Ralph. You've been just master trolled by Sargon of Akkad. You think so? He's been doing I it for so. years. I, I use not to detect it. Uh, and I'm pretty good at detecting it, but Sargon does that. He just he just spills bullshit on a show, and he's just doing it for fun. He's probably chuckling right now in English with, with the English accent. I mean, I don't think it worked out as well as he thought it was going to. He looked. I mean, let's face it. I mean, you you were in the chat. You saw what the chat said. I can only imagine what the reactions like on Twitter and elsewhere. Um, and again, I was trying to play the host role and be completely fair, but it was it looked pretty retarded, right? I mean, that's not. One thing that I take away is that he was in good. He, he, he was having fun with Jim, and he was returning to Jim what Jim does always, which is to troll. Uh, and let's not forget that everyone in this discussion seemed to be kind to each other, and it was beautiful to see, uh, essentially, guys being guys. Uh, it's a form of white unity that was beautiful to see, and I thank you for putting it together, Ralph. Well, it, this shit keeps falling in my lap, JF. I, I mean, I, I didn't really do all that much, but uh, well, I did. I did send send a link around, but uh, that's about it. But yeah, I don't know. I I think he looked. It just looked a little crazy. Um, my my whole thing was. If you're going to make this big, you know, move, um, make it for like something bigger. And I guess his point to that was that, well, you guys are all just here for laughs anyway. So I came to you for something that I thought would be just a laugh. So um, I guess that's his retort. But And by the way, <laughs> somebody said JF is joking. Maybe maybe I'm missing. Am I missing your sarcasm here? Somebody. <laughs> <laughs> did, I, did I completely miss it? I'm sitting here trying to react and analyze like like that was all real. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> well, let me quote uh, my friend Mikey <laughs> Nuck, who once said about me, look, you have to understand something about JF. This guy is deeply autistic. I mean, you won't realize it because of his French accent. But if you talked English normally, you would realize just how autistic he is. I'm going to take that as a yes. You were being sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I'm still on the cloud of my recent genetic test, which came out, which came out and revealed that I'm really 100% white European. And I, I couldn't help but look at the uh, Mr. Mitaker and Sargon of Akkad discussion through these lens. I really saw it as an act of pan uh, European white unity. You're still and they, they were You're just, still glowing just from those buttons, test results. Just fucking around. And and they got you. They they, they got you into actually buying their, their stuff. Sargon was joking all the way. There there will no there will be no return. Man, of you know what? Gate, Honestly. Right? It's well, over. I know that there's not gonna be a return. I dude, I have no desire. Look, I mean, you know, I kind of got known off Gamergate, but there was so much autism and just ridiculousness. I would never want to go back into another Gamergate. Fuck that. Like, no, absolutely not. I have no desire. Now, I was trying to be fair to Sargon while he was here because, you know, I have to be the host and stuff. And, you know, everybody else is roasting them. I was still fairly uh, skeptical, to use a skeptic community term, <laughs> uh, if you could tell by my questioning. But, uh, you know, I wanted to let him get it all out. But, yeah, I just... I don't see. I don't see much. But well, I'm just, starting I, to wonder about Sargon's truthness. I mean, didn't he give up his YouTube career and now he's a, now he keeps publishing videos? And I was like, man, I published a news item saying Sargon is gone from the internet, and, and a few days later he keeps publishing videos. Well, we did a stream about it too because hard. he said, um, he pretty much trying to say he was taking a break basically, and then. He was still putting out videos on, you know, a couple of days later. So I don't know. I just report as it happens, and as 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 circumstances change, so does the so does the story. So it was like the thing with the emails. Actually, I want to thank you here 
uh, you know, back when we were getting a thousand viewers, Sargon tried to smear me and say that I was lying about those emails. And JF actually had me on his show and said, no, it checks out. It checks out. And Sargon eventually had to eat those fucking words, including on this very broadcast at the very beginning. Uh, so, yeah, I want to thank you for that. Uh, now, the Ralph Retort, those who know uh, the story of the internet will remember that I am the author of the Sargon of Akkad report, which found him to be non-guilty on all claims back in the days, I think it was two or three years ago, where he was getting smeared a lot, and I found that he had committed no act of uh, lack of ethics in his journalism. But unfortunately, I look at the last year and I have three cases of my, on my end of Sargon of Akkad violating journalistic ethic, your case being one of them. Uh, another case was the Coach Red Pill Report, which contains false statements that are demonstrably false and that he did not retract. I'm starting to get pissed and I'm starting of thinking, withdrawing my authorship of this report if he brings back Gamergate, will that change your mind? If he brings back Gamergate. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't hold the poker face to this ridiculous idea. <laughs> Gamergate 2.0. This I might just put that in the title at this point because that's pretty much what this stream is. And look, man, I spent so much time on Gamergate. This is this is almost surreal that it was him and me and, and Jim in this fucking stream and he's literally pitching gamergate 2.0 i just oh, i felt it was a time machine it was man. it was like what is happening is this real life right now I, i'm still blown away it's still it's still not quite sunk in to be honest by the way i sent uh i sent andy worski the link i don't know how you guys uh i don't know if he's still awake by the way oh, but you it's know been a while. i haven't thought thought about andy worski i'd be happy to talk to him yeah, you know, and I guess maybe I, you know, it's kind of my job to stir the pot a little bit, but uh, I've seen some people, <laughs> you know, talk about why not a uh, Worski JF re reunion, if not permanently, you know, some type of uh, reunion program. What do you think about that? Oh, boy. It's hard. The economics of it are very hard. I'm making so much money alone. It's well, really you know. hard to pair with uh, someone who will dilute both the creative quality and the money. Well, maybe a one-off, really... you know, just for old Tom's sake. Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, I, I think it it could only be disappointing. Nah, it'd be fun. Or you could do it like we did, you know, do it for charity. Even I mean, if you want to do that, or or yeah, probably you probably want the money. You know my but position on charity. Yes. <laughs> Uh, but I don't know. I mean, be, I, I think it'd be fun. Maybe, you know, some type of special event or holiday or something, or, you know what I mean? Christmas with Andy and Jeff. Yeah, exactly. Something like that. So you're not against it. Not a hundred percent against it. You would at least, it. you would at least consider it. I mean, if I make one more dollar that way than I would alone, I can't say no. <laughs> All right, I'm just saying there, there's an undercurrent of people that I've seen. They're like, man, I really, those guys are great together. I'd like to see some type of reunion program. So I'm just putting it out there. Very good idea. All right. Well, we'll see if, if Andy's still awake and, and he, and he pops back on, uh, we'll ask him about it. He's been doing pretty good with his, uh, with his morning slash afternoon show these, these last few days. So. Um, we'll yeah, see. I've criticized this thumbnail making and people <laughs> in my audience are now pointing that the day I criticized it, he changed his style, but I haven't had time to review. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. What else you got, JF? You, you got any, what, what do you got coming on tonight? I know, I know you come on before we do, so I'll, I'll go ahead and let you promo it. If, if you were on at the same time, I would, I would probably just not do that. But. Yeah, so I was live <laughs> uh, just before you came live. I revealed out of my 23andMe DNA test, zero person Jewish. I can confirm it today. <laughs> zero. I repeat, zero percent Jewish. And uh, tonight we will be talking about the Fate Goldie Toronto uh, race, and someone, an insider of the Fate Goldie te team, will be talking to us. And what is up with Faith? I, I don't know if you have some in with her, but I actually messaged her a couple times. We follow each other on Twitter. I don't know if she's ducking the kill stream or what, but I try to get her on. She'll hang out with Laura Loomer, but she won't come on the kill stream. I'm starting to get a little salty about it. I won't lie. I mean, Faith is ascending 
toward the the sargon sargonistic layer of the universe she is there isn't might she? be a point yeah there might be a point at which you, you just can't you DM can't. fate she won't well we follow each you other that's can't. another thing i don't know just anyway I, 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 would, I would like to have you on faith if you're listening but uh somebody in chat said ralph she's running for office lol no chance all right that might that might have something to do with it we are a fairly controversial program but still Still. All right. Well, Raph, uh, give me a sign if Andy wakes up, but uh, I'll be leaving. To yeah, you know, I was going to have an unofficial reunion here on the program, but uh, I, I'm not sure he's awake. I did send him the link. If not, if not, and if you don't want to do it on your own, maybe we could do the reunion on the kill stream. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, sir, for joining us. I appreciate Bye-bye. it. Bye-bye. Later, Jeff. Wow, what is that? <laughs> Speaking of controversy, do you know who's, uh, who's watching us? Who? Our favorite guy, Jared Holt. Really? Yeah, I, I linked his tweet in our in our chat. Oh. <laughs> Did he? Yes. Oh man. Jared Holt's oh god, he's ragging on. Yes, he is. He literally on. is. <laughs> it's funny as fuck to me. Oh man. Stopped into this podcast because old Sargon of Akkad is online. He's arguing that the left is still scared of Gamergate and that he could get Trump to defend Gamergate. To ch- Sorry. To trigger the libs, the hosts are just mercilessly mocking him. Sargon never grew out of 2015. <laughs> oh, man. Why doesn't Jared Holt pop on? I mean, he's obviously here. Should we send him the link? I actually DM'd him once to get on the show. He said, fuck no. What a pussy. <laughs> He literally responded, fuck no. What a, fears f- the what a fucking pussy. I already knew he wouldn't come, but... Type pussy in the chat for Jared Holt. I'm pretty sure he'd rather have dick, though, if you know what I mean, but... Lighten the loafers on this motherfucker. All right, so... I don't even know what we're doing now. Is there is there something we're supposed to be doing, or... I don't know. There's one more... Thing I sent you in our chat. If you scroll down, okay. Oh, Marissa's oh. struggle. Hmm. And maybe we'll drag him on. I mean, honestly, we're this is an overtime stream here. You know, like Saga. You know, I had a whole. You guys would not believe. You guys would believe because I sent. By the way, thank you, chat. I just, I just looked back over. Thank you. You guys would believe it because I sent you. I had. I mean, it's not that detailed, but I had like I don't know, twenty. You know, little topic points to go over with Sargon and we just got so right into the shit and it was just Gamergate 2.0 that I didn't even I didn't even waste my time with it I just I just let it go at that point what he's supposed to do he's digging his own grave well what what can you say to that really I mean that it's retarded that, it's well I mean I mean don't interrupt him though I mean I had a lot of other topics it's like okay whatever when somebody's oh, making, I, when your enemies are making a mistake you let them dig their own grave right you don't the, uh, give him an out just yeah and look i don't even know sargon's gotten so mad at us because we were just laughing at him i don't even know if i'd call him an enemy he said some fucked up shit about us i mean we said saying. some mean things about him too but i don't know that's, that's how the saying goes i'm pretty sure so no yeah yeah you're right you're right and no, I, I agree with the with the points like well if somebody's making a fucking fool of themselves like why would you why would you interrupt uh i don't so, know that it's kind of like point. should we take some calls i guess we could take a few calls if, if people want to call in yeah i want to go get the thing set up yeah what i was going to say real quick was it's like the kid in, in class that's always like making a complete ass of himself like you don't you don't hate the kid you know you're not you're not you just you're just sad you just look at him and you just well, laugh and i mean he like, finally Man. he came on the kill stream what can i say i i'll, I'll give him that i, I just I, I didn't expect it I just thought it would be something like more substantial. Like maybe he had some type of announcement. Cause it's almost like he's reaching across the aisle to a, you know, section that's, you know, pretty much anti Sargon. So you're thinking, well, maybe he has something concerning free speech or concerning, you know, YouTube censorship or whatever that he wants everybody to hear. And it was literally, let's resurrect Gamergate. Hey guys, want to go back to 2015? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I can't believe that. Hey guys, the game. This game is going bad. Let's hit the reset button. Reload from a previous save. 
All right, we'll see. Oh, yeah, I should read some Super Chats. You're correct. All right. Thank you for the Super Chats, by the way. Oh, God, let me scroll down. Uh, Show more. Oh, these Super Chats are pretty brutal. Good. They're very brutal. Uh, Okay, let me try to start uh, where I was. Oogie Boogie says, Nora confiscate Ralph's coat. Old Angry Normie says, early show yet late as always. Andrew P- Panarella says, late gay vape and soy. Sunset yourselves. Old Angry Normie says, Sargon has suit related issues. Please be patient. Solva says, Sargon finally appears after Killstream hits higher viewers than his own streams. Yeah, Jim mentioned that. And I noticed it too. But Old Angry Normie says, the show has actually already started. Ralph is just waiting for Sargon to figure out his mic's been turned off this whole time. Troy Troy Gowler says, we live in a society. Gamers rise up. Old Angry Normie says, in before dicks on the table. Troy Gowler says, I'm Ethan Ralph and Matt Jarbo donged my wife. Hill Turn News says, hey, Carl. God damn it. I meant to ask him this too. We just got so lost in Gamergate 2.0 that I couldn't, I couldn't really take away from that. There's nothing I could say that would, anyway. Hill Turn News says, hey, Carl, what do you think of Payne's interpretation of Locke's view on the right of revolution? Also, I forget, which of his two theses is this from? Uh, Dave D says, hey, guys, do you think Sargon is hot and thick? Paul Chowder says, Crowder, 200K, new subs in 10 days. Wow. WT says, F hyphen says, Ralph lied, 6 trillion Jews died. Salty Pickle didn't say anything. Professor Worthless says, stop delaying Ralph. Brent Herman says, this is why you don't trust Euro trash. <laughs> Joha Wa Al Himar says, I disavow this lateness. Drevin says, late and muted. Enlightened Apple fanboy says, already six dongas of derelicts. Hashtag, hashtag Killstream derelicts. KTTK says, Sargoy, I want you to sunset yourself in Minecraft. Baron Barbado says, this was the stepfather's plan all along. Set up a stream with Ralph and then not show up, only to cause chat to turn on Ralph. He's the real Machiavelli. Yeah, you know what? We discussed that, too, at the beginning. It's like, oh, so what is he... You know, there's a possibility he's just trolling us and he's not going to show up at all. And then I, I told Gator, I was like, well, how does that make me look bad? Like, if he literally messaged me and says, let me come on your show, let's do it, confirms to come on the show, I set up the show, and then he doesn't show up, well, who looks bad there? And, you know, I have all the Skype messages, like, how do I look bad? Like, I mean, that's him looking bad, so... I, I wasn't really even worried about that. I mean, it did occur to me that maybe he, you know, was trying to do that, but okay, do it. Uh, Taylor Jerje says, Boomer Sargoy making my workday annoying. I'm waiting for this stream to help me as a cherry on top of getting fully hired. A Jip of Wop 47 says, Dead air is fine as long as you start on time. That guy from that thing says, Scrub Wave. Matt Field says, Sumptuous stream, qua- stream Squad. Viva la Streamos de Kilos. Viva la Ralfo de Alfo. Viva Zidane de Butanese Bucheros. Viva la Gator de Gamer. And I did take two semesters of Spanish, and it still sounds like shit. Uh, Slimec the Bear says, Long live the retort. Jessica Usa says, Let's be on our best behavior, kids, about our heaven. Sargon has been kind enough to lend us the time he'd be using on a Coke bench to talk with us. Now press S to smugly chuckle. Eddie S says, Ralph, stop shadow banning me from top chat. I'm with Herpes says, Roses are red, vials are blue. I'm jerking off Ralph, all because of you. Hashtag Sargonomics. Ryan Cavett says, Jessica, don't tell us what to do. Tankfish says, is this a bizarre world? Yes, it absolutely is. Barrett Schaaf says, it's 5 o'clock somewhere, Ralph. I would agree. And I already have agreed, if you know what I mean. Ali says, why not make this another heel stream? Uh, well, we did our heel stream. I'd rather I'd rather just take, get the money from it, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, okay, let's take a couple callers. I'll get back to Super Chats. Uh, let's see. Uh, Blackface Kermit was in there. I don't see him now. So I, I was gonna, oh, damn. I was gonna make funny. it a full Gamergate flashback, but he, but he left. Sex for favors. I can't do it like Sex that. Sex for favors. Yeah, you can though. Uh, Mike Nolan, you're on the air on the kill stream. Jesus Thanks. fucking Christ, mate. God damn. I wanted to fucking tear in to suck in fucking Sargon because he said, like, uh, what, liberalism was his heritage? It was like, oh, wait. So uh, you, you sent fucking me and uh, Rand's great, great granddad, Bully. If you can get Rand in here, please. For the yeah, love I, don't, of God, I think I saw Rand, Rand in the chat. I don't know if he's at work or doing whatever. He is in here. 
Yeah, I, I don't think he's no, in no, the... he, he's fucking. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Finish your thought. He's not in the green room. Go ahead. Well, I wanted also to tear into Jim because I said like, um, well, they're not well, here. They're gone. Oh yeah, I, I know. <laughs> Fuck it. I wanted to fucking tear into him, mate. Jesus Christ. Okay, um, see, I used to be, I used to be charged of the, uh, the offense of an attempted misogynator. Um, I saw those, like, uh, those photos of, um, Jim that was like the fake docs of Jim fucking failure. And I looked at those photos. I knew it wasn't Jim because for one reason, those photos was of a self-respecting white man. No yeah. self-respecting white man would date a chink. All right. There thank you, go. Mike. Thank you. This guy is so stupid every time I bring him on. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Uh, at least Rambot's funny. He just always says something like completely retarded. And he's bitching about people who are not. I mean, I know he wanted to troll Jim about his whatever, Chinese girlfriend or whatever, but he's just always. He's not even. Jim's not even here. <laughs> like, what, what are you doing? Like, I know, I know you're telling it for the benefit of the audience or whatever. And I know I'm race mix at Ralph, so maybe I'm not the right person to give this message, but it's just retarded. All right. Uh, Marissa Struggle, you're on the air on the kill stream. Hey, how's everyone going? How's everyone doing? Uh, I'm up, still buddy? in disbelief. What even is going what even is going on? Well, I was watching and I think what Saga might have just done to you is filibuster for an hour and then just leave. It didn't make him look any Better. I mean, if that's what he did, I look. I'll take. I don't know. It was hilarious. Uh, yeah, like you. Like well, you know, I, I did think about that because, like I said, I had a whole topic list of you know little things I wanted to go over, big things I wanted to go yeah. over, and none of that happened. Um, and it was just I mean, Gamergate two point oh. I mean, I mean, think about it. Sargon already looks retarded to almost anyone with half a brain cell. Now, what looks worse? Sargon looking retarded, which everyone already knows. I mean, you saw Steve Bannon's face. Or Sargon looking like a pedophile. <laughs> yeah, but but he initiated this, Mauritian. Like, I, so he could have just not come yeah. on. So 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 what are you... You're saying he did this just so he could say he came on, we had our shot, and then he could just check that off his list? Is that is that what it is? Or Yeah, I mean, look at Sargon's ego. I mean, it's famous. His ego is famous. He he needed for his own ego to come on. I think. Well, he came on. I I just I, I don't I don't think it was a it was a win. It wasn't going to be a win regardless. But I think he needed to do it for his own ego. I mean, he's done all sorts of stupid things for his own ego. I mean, the whole liberalist thing, on mass trying to you know bum rush the party. Like this is not like if this is in fact the case, which I think it is. It's not exactly out of the ordinary. Yeah, I mean, what you're saying makes sense, but I don't even know if I if I would think it was that deep. Um, so, like I said, he messaged me and he seemed genuinely excited about his idea, and I'm sitting there thinking, "Wow, maybe you know, maybe there's something here." I know I've had beef with Sargon. We've been you know talking shit back and forth for months. And like I said already, I was like, "Okay, I'm just gonna keep an open mind. Maybe this is something that I could actually support." And then he came out with with Gamergate 2.0, and that's. Okay. Maybe, uh, maybe, but I think I I think I mean hell. I haven't seen the DMs and I and I never will. So I'm just sort of piecing things together here. But I think he was probably more excited to kind of say, well, I've already talked to him. What more could he possibly want? And then get him off, get you off his back. Because if you'd want, if you had recognized it was or seen it as filibustering, you could have annihilated him back there. Like there's so much shit on him. He. He could have probably been crying into the mic if you'd had the if you'd like. Yeah, maybe. I mean, so so what he would have done though, he'd be like, "Wait, I had this great idea, and you're cutting me off, and you're going through all this and that." I don't know. I, I just felt like it was so absurd that I, I just had to keep letting it go. So um, I don't know. Fair enough. Fair enough. But if I if I was on that, I would have really pushed him on it. Well, was, for, well maybe he'll come back. I don't know. We'll see. Gamer get two point oh idea. <laughs> didn't do him any favors i'm not gonna lie yeah that's that's my that's my uh take on it too but uh mm. i yeah, mean jared holt's rolling like, on him right now um, yeah like i've had pe multiple people dm me it's like this song actually fucking just say that yeah he did and, yeah but 
Yeah, he, he just fucking said that. But the thing is, is that Sargon is known as a retard, so no one's really surprised. Well, so by that measure, I don't know. It's, it's like, well, if he's gonna look like shit no matter what, then it does. It didn't even matter. To, like, if we went into it or not, I don't know. It, there's, there's a bunch of different ways you could look at this. But uh, thank you, man, for calling in. By the way, check out his channel, Mauritian Struggle. Check out the you. UT, the UKIP uh, interrogation you gave of Sargon was excellent. Matter of fact, that was on the list as well of things that I was gonna ask him about, but. Well, we didn't, we didn't get to it. I'd but, love uh, to have asked that about it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Appreciate you. No problem. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Sorry, I cut you off a little early. Go ahead. Okay, he already left. All right. Yeah, I mean, I don't think, Sar I mean, Sargon pretty much wasn't going to answer any question you asked him. Like, every time you tried to ask him anything, he would deflect. Be like, well, yeah, oh, so don't you want to hear my idea? Don't you want to hear my great yeah. idea? So his tactic was just to say, oh, yeah, I concede. I pretty much concede all your points on in any of that. I, uh, are we really going to talk about drama? Even though I had already said, well, look, I have some things I want to talk about. I don't care about, you know, I'm fine with you talking about your idea. And then so when I started actually bringing him up, he's just like, yeah, you know, we've known each other for years and we don't really have to go through all this and just I'll just concede it all. I mean, yeah, like you asked him about the email thing and he pretty much just said, yeah, I was wrong. And and if you had gone down the rest of the list, like talking about like his appearance on Spencer, he'd just be like, oh, well, you know. Yes, yeah, so I, I had stuff about, about Spencer. I had a, the letter to the alt-right, um, just all kinds of stuff that UKIP. So he talked about, he pretty much took credit for the, you know, quote unquote, rise of UKIP. But if you look at the polls, there has been no rise of UKIP. Uh, I mean, maybe a couple points in the polling in the UK, they've they bumped up. Still within the margin of error, there's been no real large, rise of you. Can, yeah, that's largely because Theresa May just keeps fucking up and just cannot stop fucking herself over. Yeah, but even with that, there was not. It's not a real bump, so it would have to go up over ten or something to actually be credible. And most of the polling still has them. So they they were at four or five. Now you see them at like six to eight, uh, and still some fives and sixes. Uh, you know, fours and fives mixed in there. So it's, there's really no bump whatsoever. Um, you know, at the most one or two points. So, uh, just kind of a. And that's not saying we wouldn't want UKIP to. Uh, no, nah, I mean, it's not a rundown of UKIP. I'm just saying the numbers don't bear out what he said. But uh, anyway, uh, Josh, impresario of Kiwi Farms, you're on the air live on the kill stream. Hey, um, I took notes. I was trying to get on, but that didn't happen. Well, I actually took you notes know, we kind of just said that. Yeah, go ahead. It's a fucking madness, actually. Uh, the main thing that I wanted, to, that I was screaming in my fucking head while this was going on, is that the the reason why people bring up Gamergate is because it's a smear. It's it's fucking retarded, and nobody wants to be associated with it. That's why that's why they bring it up when somebody has some tangential connection to Gamergate, because it's a, it's a smear. And trying to get Trump to associate with that almost seems like sabotage from his part. Um, it's no benefit to anybody. And it made me wonder first when he started, is this call in like a follow up to the gym stream? Is this him humble bragging again about meeting Bannon? Because when he just started off, that's what it sounded like. It sounded you know like what? I even conceded that we talk about conceding. I was like, well, I mean, I'm not going to shit on him for meeting Bannon. That's kind of cool that he, that he got to talk to Bannon. Now, I haven't watched the actual well, footage. Some people say certain parts of it are goofy. But, I mean, look, if, if I got to talk to Bannon, I'd probably be promoting it too. But then he immediately comes on here and talks about Gamergate 2.0. Like, uh, well, know. it made me think, like, I, I just imagine this in my head, this conversation where it's like, Bannon, wouldn't it be great if we got Trump to tweet out Gamergate? And Bannon just like, ah, yeah, sure, I guess that'd be funny. And he's like, I'll, I'll prove it to him. I'll get, it, <laughs> get him to do it. Or, or, um... It, like the entire conversation was just like a stoner thought. Like, wouldn't it be funny if Trump tweeted Gamergate? It's, it's like, no, <laughs> like not really. It's just it'd be fucking weird. And the the final thing I thought this might be is like a prank. And you guys went over this. You thought it maybe. Yeah, that was of one of my main thoughts. thoughts. Like, this is a tr he's trolling us right now. It has to be. I, I actually I asked. So. Um, in his Discord, I asked, like, what the fuck do you think this is? Because even people who are listening from his Discord were like, "That's this is awkward. This is stupid. I don't understand why he's doing this. And one of his uh, higher up, his role is a hoplite. I don't know what the fuck that means. But he's a <laughs> hoplite, right? Yeah, he has different categories um, based on, like, ancient military formations and stuff, yes. 
But Anubis said, uh, it looked to me like he was practicing dealing with journal interviews, taking control of the combo, leaving the combo, and sliding the combo where he wants it to go, giving them nothing real and only controlling the combo. I'm like, do you actually believe that? And he said, yes. So the idea that um, that he was just trying to get on the stream and fuck around with it and not answer any real questions, that has some candidates. If he, if, uh, if they actually think that that he was just practicing dealing with a hostile like conversation, which uh, is probably the most credible thing going on so far in terms of theories as to what the fuck he was doing. Oh, and uh, theory number twelve is a uh, cocaine. I would. That agree was with that was hot on the list of of uh, chatters uh, thoughts as well. So, well, if you're, if you're <laughs> trying to block like or road rail uh, reporter, you don't give them a crazier fucking idea. You know what I mean? You don't go, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make Trump tweet about Gamergate. Let's make it 2015 again. Because Trump would do weird shit like this. Like that interview he did right before the Kavanaugh uh, meeting where it's just like he gave the media a bunch of shit to work with. I think he was trying to do that. That seems like the most logical, least retarded idea. But even then, it's just like all I'm thinking now is. That this guy, like when he just started off, it was like this guy is a confused old man out of his yeah, time. No, that's what I <laughs> thought too. I was like, what the fuck is he doing? What is this? It's not like boomer shit. It's like you're sitting there on the bus and the guy next to you is like 70 and he's trying to talk to you about some shit and you have no idea what the fuck he's saying. And so you're just like, uh huh, yeah, mm hmm. <laughs> you know, there's nothing to contribute yeah. to it because they're disconnected from from reality. It's it's just mind bending. Yeah, I don't know who who said it. Uh, the, oh, it was Jim, I think, that said that he had uh, somebody DM'd him about Gamergate 2. Actually, somebody who publicly tweeted about Gamergate 2.0 quite recently was the quartering. Oh. Yeah, I as saw the quartering that. Turn, as the, as the quartering saw the, turn? That was, no, yeah. no, he was, he was saying that Gamergate 2.0 is, uh, is close. Yeah. And that's a public tweet. That's public, and... Uh... I don't know if it was him or not, but that was one of the first people who popped in my mind, yeah. The, the only question I'm left with, really, is did he actually think he would go along with it? Did he think that he would win you over and Jim and you would be like, yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> like, regardless, of, regardless of what prompted this, my fucking brain is, is rattling around trying to figure out if he actually thought that this would fly over. I can't. I I cannot understand. You know, I I started you know analyzing Trump's actions. He's like, well, what? Can you read his mind, Ralph? And I was like, well, no, obviously not. I can't. I can't. You know, but I can still make you know, you know, educated uh, takes on what I think he's doing. As far as what Sargon was doing, I really don't know. I can't. I, I don't know what was going on there. As a as a Trump voter, as somebody who happens to have a MAGA hat in the middle of the fucking Slavic wasteland, I can tell you that I would not want my president, my candidate of choice, to tweet hashtag Gamergate. <laughs> I would prefer, just uh, me personally, I would prefer if he did not do that. All right, just just hang with us. We're wait, gonna bring wait, in some wait. It's part of his twenty year plan, though. Oh, Mister Worski. You know what? We had JF JF on a minute ago, and one of my suggestions. And I know I, I know you guys probably don't talk get along anymore, but I've seen some people commenting they they want a JF and Worski reunion show of some sorts. And I put it what out there. What did he say? What did he say? He was open to it. He was. Oh, he didn't go low like you and D. he did. He did take. He, so there was a couple little shots, but but he he did say that he was open to it. Uh, and and I said if you guys don't want to do it on your own, perhaps we could do it on the kill stream. Yeah, why not? All right. Why not? All right oh, so by the way, Ralph, thanks for dropping that fucking bomb today. Holy shit, my show. Oh, oh, fucking oh I saw you guys had anything box. for views. Come on, after that too. Yeah, anything for views. It's kind of. Give me the the full seven minute video or audio leak of of Aria. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oof. If, if people didn't see uh, audio of a cam ho talking about how Philly D. So uh, he said he was Mike... going to give you the whole the whole clip. Yeah, man. Oh, I'm jealous now. I'm not going to lie. God, Oof. that's right up my alley. Yeah. <laughs> Philly giving her the D. Am I right? God Fuck. damn it! Yeah, he sure filled her in. 
Oh I, my god! I, I so did he contact you, or did you like send him a DM, or what? Oh man, I'm getting jealous now. I'm not gonna lie. He he come uh, Asian Andy made a group chat with oh. Aria. Anything for views and and me. it was Asian Andy. Yeah, did you hear? Did you hear like Aria? Like, did I? Tell, were you there when Aria got all all pissed off? Yeah, when she left the group chat or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, was, yeah. I was still and there. then she blocked me. Oh wow. <laughs> Oops. Uh, yeah. So that's geez, well. Like, just, this is twice in a row that you fucking came in with marital infidelity. <laughs> <laughs> just like, all right, Andy, I have to go now. I go straight for the tabloid uh, angle. So yeah, I just tossed that out there. You know, I don't know if you saw it, but uh, I guess I could pull this up on stream. Somebody changed. Uh, I don't know if it's still like this or not. I have to check it, but I did check oh, it before, before I traded. Like, oh, JF's here. JF, what's up? Hello, man? I guess, MB. It's the what unofficial up, here. Oh. How you doing, I'm so man? happy to see you again. Happy to see you too, man. You doing good? Yeah, I'm doing good. Good, good. It took me a while, but I'm all right now. <laughs> <laughs> Kept falling on my face like a fucking retard, but I figured it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. That's cool. Well, yeah. I'm proud that this happened. Uh, yeah, man. I, I, I found my niche, which is pretty much just uh, destroying people in a roast form. So it's fun. Uh, working with people I like and it's fun. I see you're doing well, so yeah, man. I, I, I'm down for a, a reunion show. We could do it on yeah, the, we could on do here, that. Man. Yeah, man. Why not? But what do we talk like? This is now. I'm not like this is uncomfortable now. It's like now what? You know? I mean, I don't know because what works between us two is I'm an asshole, and you are a naive individual who I guide through the black pill, and I don't know <laughs> if I want to do it anymore. <laughs> I just want to cuddle you. I want to be kind to you. And uh, yeah, I <laughs> wait, I heard you took some shots. Where were they? Was it mild shots? I mean, he wasn't. It wasn't mean. He just he he talked about your thumbnails and uh, my thumbnails uh, are fucking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> mild shots, mild shots. Yeah, no, no, that's cool, man. Yeah, we could definitely. Well, if it's not guiding through the black pill we'll figure it out i'm seeing a lot of pineapples in chat by the way a little flash oh here. the pineapple <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's funny that's funny uh for people who don't know the pineapple was our safe word <laughs> which didn't work evidently <laughs> <laughs> i think it made things worse pineapple fuck you <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I had some, you know, I had a, you know, I kind of just threw that out there because I've seen it a lot in comments, especially, you know, we did the heel stream. You guys were on at different times and they're just like, man, you know, I'm still, God, that reminded me how, how good those guys were, how funny they were, especially when they're together. I've just seen a lot of comments about it. So I don't know. I just figured I'd bring it up. Uh, you know, not, not permanently getting it back together, but maybe a, a one-off, yeah, but you know how, how bands do a reunion show or, yeah, play yeah, some definitely. of the hits, have have a fun time, and then you know go back to doing what they're doing. I think it'd be cool. Yeah, well, well, I, I definitely have to uh, uh, speak. Uh, JF, I, I mean JF, you might want to you know unblock me or whatever, oh. and then we'll figure it out from there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, unblock me on Twitter. Yeah, and then uh, we'll DM. We'll figure out a a show, and uh, yeah, man, that's gonna be fun. It's interesting. I want to say now kiss. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of brotherly love, JF, here you go. We got some well, brotherly love. I cannot love going unblock on. you because you blocked me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll, I'll unblock you, man. I do that too, though. To be fair, if I see somebody that has me blocked, I immediately go block them as well. I'm just like, "All right, fuck you." But sounds good. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll unblock. We're bringing people together on the kill stream. But if it just ends up even worse, like it ends up fucking. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's it entertaining when we're. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, it's unbelievable wait, what's wait, happening wait. in the YouTube business. Wait, I, I can't Your unblock you. The stream is either. rising. Dude, I can't unblock you. So we, we both blocked each other. So now we're permanently blocked. Oh, okay. Now I can block you. Uh, you have to click on the three little periods. Ah, sweet. Yeah. All right, there we go. So you were saying what's happening in the YouTube business? Yeah, it's pretty impressive. The audiences have exploded. They are jumping from stream to stream. The kill stream is rising out of all the freaking It's streams. doing okay. 
<laughs> just kidding. <laughs> we're being modest. Ralph just sitting there like, fuck yeah, dude. We're, do- we're doing pretty good. I mean, yeah, we'll see. You know, yeah, things can be temporary. I-, I don't like to just sit here and, I mean, you know, I have bragged a little bit, but you never know. Shit, you know, shit can blow up at any time. But yeah, we've been doing pretty good. So. We've been blessed with a lot of material. And we just got more today, at least another week or two's worth off of Gamergate 2.0. So. Oh, aren't you excited for that though? Yeah, I was gonna ask you. You know, we kind of <sighs> jumped in. You know, you jumped in, and we had you and JF going. Well, what did you think of uh, Sargon's appearance? Uh it's 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 just he's just trying to revive it. Like in my opinion, he's, tr- he's trying to revive it because he needs that spark. Like I thought, like like what two weeks ago he quit politics. Now not only is he not quitting politics, but trying to get Trump to. You know, to retweet Gamergate, hashtag Gamergate. But, but this isn't politics, Andy. This is this is trolling. This is for the lols, as oh, they say. Hilarious. <laughs> Fucking dead serious. It's not for Good. the lols. Oh, it's, yeah, no, he, he obviously, if, he, if he's the one who gets Trump to actually tweet it, it would bring back some relevance or whatever, I guess. I don't know. Medicare was going hard on him. Jeez, yeah, he that was, was awesome. His the, smug the laugh is pretty funny. Sargon talking though is that they they both scrapped at each other so much. There's there's nothing really they can say, and they just mm-hmm. kind of act like they don't care about what, what the other person has to say. It, it, it's like a stalemate because they're uh, they're deadlocked when they talk to each other. Yeah, I uh, I don't. But the gamer Kate thing, he's like, oh, won't it be funny? Won't it be funny? I don't know. How about think of a, a new one. I don't know. Figure it Somebody, out. Somebody like, even the chat was like, "Well, maybe Comics Gate. At least that's going on." Like, I, I don't know. Gamer Gate. That's no, what I kept no. asking. Well, no, look, the whole thing's retarded. Look, I'm just it. saying. But maybe pick something Bro, that's no. still hot. I'm Why just not? saying, pick something that's still hot. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not. I don't want any part of Comics Gate or Gamer Gate 2.0 or any of that. We have talked about Comics Gate once or twice. I don't want to be personally into any type of gate ever again. Yeah, uh, yeah, unless, it, unless it's heaven's kind of gate and i'm anyway. about to drink the yeah. fucking kool-aid or whatever the fuck they did maybe i'll be a part of that one but uh, other than that no i'm not i'm not interested like, in like gate. comics gate from what i know i don't read comics but from what i've seen the people making like masculine comics are, are actually financially successful this time around because they're 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 putting out products that people like don't don't throw sargon into that these people don't deserve that <laughs> oh, I see why you don't want to be that. <laughs> Not because of Comics Gate itself, because you don't want Sarkon to friggin' ruin it. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah, no, people, get out of people here. are having a good time, Andy. We don't want that on them. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, he's already been sniffing around that a little bit, uh, if you've seen the comments. Uh, but yeah, I won't. Oh, fuck. But what, all, <laughs> Gamer Gate, stop it. Oh my God! And Trump, he's gonna look at that and go, "No, no." He he's like in the middle did. of like a war, <laughs> like, like almost starting a war. Like he's like, "Do I want to like you know, talk about like you know the military and people's jobs or some YouTuber's fucking dumb thing?" Well, there's uh, no electoral. Know. That's what I kept asking Sargon. I was like, "Well, I don't really see a benefit for Trump. I mean, he likes to troll, yeah, but I mean, there's no." This is this doesn't motivate voters. I don't I don't really see why he would do this at all. It just, it just I know doesn't why. make sense. Cause he wants to be the one to get him to to retweet. And then everyone's like, look what Sargon did. And then boom, it gets that nice boost for a little bit. You know? That's why he like in my opinion, why he left the, the whole politics scene or said he would. He because like, you know, it's like the gamer gates, feminism stuff, you know, it's it's dwindling. So how? So then he tried to, you know, start liberalist and then boost that up. That really shot him. So, like that was shot like fucking right out of the air. And then he tried being a politician. Then everyone makes fun of his suit for like two and a half weeks. <laughs> and he's like, shit. Now what? Gamergate. Get Trump to retweet it. But his thing wasn't even that. He said he'll send a couple of emails and then Ralph, well, Jim, you guys have to do the. That's what I kept asking. Him. I was like, yeah. well, okay. So first off, what do you want people to do? And then you know, what are you gonna do? It's like, well, you know, I collect some emails, some you know, network, some people you know that I know or whatever. It's like, wait, are you not? Well, make a video or do something like Adam. You know, your biggest owl is fucking YouTube, and you got to. I guess you got some people on Facebook and stuff too. Like, are you gonna put out material? Or are you gonna? I mean, I don't want to do it anyway, but I'm just saying, just for sake of argument, what what are you gonna do? It's like, oh, I got some emails. 
I guess that is in the gamer. Game, I guess like that is the Gamergate tr- tradition, Josh. If fire up those old emails, that's the old, <laughs> but, uh, and then and then what? And then, <laughs> yeah. Then what? Like, is it, oh, it's funny. No, because he just wants that, like that fucking surge of subscribers, dopamine. relevance. In fact, I, I'm in your chat here. A B says he needs that dopamine rush from the Trump retweeting. Like I, I, it's no. It's I disagree. Silly. I think what he's done, what what he was doing, had everything to do except with actually with with Gamergate or trying to accomplish what he was saying. There's some some fucking weird coke induced gambit going on that hey, 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 is completely befuddling to mere mortals. Don't don't insult <laughs> cocaine. Don't insult <laughs> cocaine. Come on, like that's way like, <laughs> low blow, low blow, blow. Get it? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I just ruined the fucking. Save game. that for the reunion no. show. And you can, don't you waste know, all your material. No, go ahead. As as far as the stupid fucking idea goes, now that you mentioned Comics Gate, if if Trump like showed a picture of like the family during Christmas and Baron had one of those comics that that they're producing to counter the the, the faggotry in Marvel and DC, I don't I don't remember the name of it, but like if if Cyberpunk. Baron's holding one of those comic books. Yeah, any of those, any of those things that they're producing to counter it. If Baron's holding one of those, people would lose their fucking mind, and that would be funny, and that would be relevant, and that wouldn't be fucking gay. Um, it's not going to happen, but as like as far as ideas go, that would be that would be interesting. I don't know. I'm still. Did this even like happen? Less- this was like the that. idea. Like I just can't. Yeah, I'm still having a hard time comprehending what just happened. But what is he still? Yeah. Fuck yeah! But is he still in? Is he still trying to run for some like politician thing or like I mean, still, no as, Yeah, as far as I know, he's still you know promoting UKIP or whatever. He mentioned oh. he might try to run for office. He he did kind of allude that he might stand for parliament at some point. I don't know if he's actually going to do that. But. Run for office? Look at his physique. He's going to be <laughs> scrolling the highlights. <laughs> <laughs> a brisk walk is yeah, yeah, run for office. <laughs> hey guys, fucking Sargon and his. Yeah, and by the way, saying his secret plan on like he's like, like trust me, guys. Yeah, uh, off the record, six thousand watching off the record. <laughs> fucking yeah, eight thousand. Like, oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's so like that, like the saying secret plans on a stream. That's my thing. It, no, because that's that's why I think it has nothing to do with with what his goal was. He he came on here just to fuck around and to try and dodge drama. So that, like what Ralph was saying, so that you can say I went on the kill stream. They didn't ask me then. He fucking left when he realized that the whole idea had failed and you guys weren't buying it. That's when he fucking left because he knew the hard questions were going to come immediately after. As soon as he said GamerGate 2.0, it fucking failed. Let's get this shit started. No, 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 because no, there, there came like he kept pressing the idea for like thirty minutes, and then when it came clear that he's retarded, like, nothing, yeah, nothing more to say. It's like <laughs> it's it's, damn, it's fucking savage. <laughs> what are you? What are I supposed? We to don't say? call him the butcher for nothing, man. Yeah, that's the dumbest thing I've heard. I left work early to hear fucking Sargon try to jerk off to Gamergate oh, two point oh. Oh yeah, people are asking me by the way, Ralph, are you going to compensate Zidane for the time? <laughs> 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 Oh man, yeah, I don't. I was excited. I was excited, Rob. I'm like, oh my god, Sargon finally on there. You know, oh against Medicare. I I I I opened the stream and I hear like, what Gamergate two point? Like, did I hit like a stream from like three years ago? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> like, that's what I thought, and that's why I asked him if it's just to bring it back so his YouTube career doesn't go up in flames. Hey, hey guys, I, I've got a oh. special announcement. I'm sorry to interrupt. Okay, I just talked to some people in the know. And um, I don't want to name any names here, but um, expect Trump tomorrow to tweet out Sargon's newest video. It's happening. He's, he's he's won. No, he's won. Yeah. Trump is going to tweet out Sargon of God's newest video. He's a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't, I, that didn't come across as a joke at first. I was yeah. worried. Did <laughs> 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 you bullets a little bit there, were you? <laughs> I might have to disavow my fucking president. <laughs> Reno, it isn't true. I need the fucking embassy tomorrow with my passport. Like, take it, motherfuckers. Get it out. I'm done with this shit. I, I just had to come back in because it, it I, like, I've been letting it sink in for like 20 minutes of how dumb that was, what I fucking heard him talking about. And um, I, yeah, yeah, I'm really split on if he was attempting to troll 
or if it's real, because I know people he associates with were pushing the idea privately months ago. I mean, I'm leaning towards real. But and that's just, really scary. Yeah. If that was, that's terrifying, to be honest with you. But, I, but part of me, it's just so absurd that I'm thinking, man, he's he's pulling our legs. Like It has no, to be. Jen, but did you just, hear what I said? Uh, I quoted some guy from his Discord who said that this was like practice for journalists asking questions so that he can control the conversation. Oh, that, that's that good. Any... Yeah, I, you know, like I want to learn how to sword fight. So I go, ch I go challenge somebody. I'm like, no, no, let's use real swords and no protection. <laughs> <laughs> I'll learn. No, no, did you see, way. Jim, in did you see? politics, the stream doesn't really matter. No, wait, right? did you see Is Jared that, Holt making fun? One of them, like everybody's laughing at this. Like, uh, well, yeah, but I mean, look what happened last time. Like last time, he he made one comment about a suit, and he's been referred to as a waiter for a month now. <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, so well, he started serious though. Like when you oh, were talking about at first, he was like, "No, no, um, like it will make this um, um, it will blow it up and make everyone take it seriously." And then by the end of your conversation, he's like, "It's just a troll." Like you've you you made him like like make it from serious to by the end going i'm just fucking around guys relax Sargon is only <laughs> pretending to be retarded if he's being serious this is legitimately one of the most sad and confusing things i've ever seen in my entire life i, I with no exaggeration i've seen a lot of fucked up and confusing shit but this is unbelievable you, you need to get on his level it. Okay, of 24 hour ops. I don't think you can appreciate yeah, I, what you're I'm getting that, that image of the big brain Sargon floating around the galaxy. Like, this is just incomprehensibly above me. I, I can't even look up and see it. It's 20 year ops. Fucking get it. He's well, yeah, I mean, the, the, the terrifying thing to me, though, is okay, um, he's, he's associating with people in UKIP, he's associating with people that are ex Trumpers. All right. Even if this was just practice for uh, politics and dealing with reporters, he's coming on here and making statements like he's in the know of what their communications are. Right. That that's something like about when it comes to politics, it's not about what's true. It's about what it appears to be. So all they need to do is start clipping things and be like, oh, I, I you know, uh, somebody related to the Trump White House or somebody related to the UKIP party. And now Sargon has entrenched himself into giving stupid quotes for that. That'll be used as ammunition. Like he, that's so dumb. That's so dumb. If you want to go into politics, I don't understand why he would do it. Because <laughs> he said it was an email people. And now they're going to email back and be like, "We were watching those clips, and you said it was a troll." What the fuck? No, no, get out of here. I bet he's blocked. He went to email them, and then he's like, "Well, like, why isn't it being sent? Why is the emails not being sent?" He's blocked. I'm gonna. Yeah, here's here's the plan, guys. I'm gonna send out an email. You go do all the legwork. <laughs> that's, that's the plan. By that's the way, the, the capos. No, go ahead. No, go ahead, JF, and I'll interject with the news later on. But yeah, because Mr. Mithaker just said a word that he, he doesn't use usually. He's terrified about Sargon. He's he's really shook by this. And the last time I saw Mr. Mithaker in this condition was when Erin arrived on the internet. And I had said to Mr. Mithaker back then, is it possible that Erin is the the coolest kid on the internet the last cool kid on the internet i believe that what we saw today happen is that not only mr metaker had been uh, surpassed by erin and her ability to be the coolest kid on the internet making mr metaker second place on this dimension but sargon just out trolled mr metaker breaking his dream of being well, I, I don't the know last if you cool can, kid on the internet. Well, Jeff, I don't know if you can call it like if you're talking to somebody and you're trying to you know run a troll on them if you're trying to fuck with them, and their first reaction and I think three I think I'm pretty sure Ralph and Zidane immediately said yeah. this is are you trolling? <laughs> I think it defeats the purpose of what you're attempting to do. <laughs> you say you say the troll was not perfect. I, I'm saying if that was a trolling attempt, that was awful. That was really well, bad. Well, don't forget, there was like a, a 15 minute build up. Is it European trolling? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why we're missing it. I'm not sure. Well, it, by the way, is Aaron still alive? Uh, I, haven't, I haven't heard. No from idea. Her. I heard oh, from I have an update her. on her. No, uh, she OD'd actually uh, <laughs> about two and a half. I'm not joking. Two and a half weeks really? ago. No oh, shit. No, no, no. You can check the Ice Poseidon. Uh, no way. So oh, no, was... no. The founder uh, dead with a heroin needle in her arm. Oh, yeah, no she, had a, she had a note. She had a note on her chest that said, "Why would JF have babies with me?" <laughs> <laughs> Poor Aaron. 
rest in peace. We'll always honor her memory here on the kill stream. Oh, but what I was going to say is the Capos are already disavowing this. Uh, you see the quartering on Twitter. Huge waste of time for Sargon. He should know better. He should oh. know better. Ooh, short fat Otaku uh, disavowing it as well, uh, saying it's a bad idea. I haven't heard what V said. I did oh, talk well, the to... dude that LARPs is a fat disabled lesbian says that's a bad idea. Maybe you should listen to him. <laughs> Yeah, so he said bad idea. Quartering said bad idea. I talked to V before the stream, and he he claimed he didn't know what was going on because actually, you know, I was sitting there thinking, you know, what what is he up to? So he just messaged you know messaged me out of nowhere. So I'm thinking, you know, he's got something. Like, what is he trying to do? And originally, I was you know I was kind of questioning, like, what are you up to, Sargon? This is kind of strange. He just emailed me, you know, whatever, Skype me out of nowhere. And V claims he didn't know what was going on. I haven't heard what he said since, but uh, at least two of them have uh, disavowed. So, I have a better question for the panelists. I want to get your uh, your ideas on this. Um, what's the best possible outcome for this? Is it A, Sargon saying it's real and he really wants to do this, or B, saying it was an attempt at a troll? What do you think is the best possible way of gracefully bowing out what the fuck just happened B. today? Yeah, it has B, to be B, no right? Doubt. Yeah. Because if he, he, he doubles down on this, he he's going to look like the most retarded person to ever live perhaps <laughs> like I, I can't think of anything worse than saying that this was an actual attempt at, at some kind of ops because that <laughs> defies belief no nope. so he, he has to say that he was fucking hammered oh, oh i was just drunk guys no no no, no. I, <laughs> he has to say, I, I, I almost od'd or whatever. yeah yeah guys yeah. option c for cocaine right yeah yeah no oh, no I, even on coke you wouldn't fucking think of this shit you'd be like you have a better idea, probably, to be honest with you. Yeah, I mean, Andy is right. I mean, he did light his nipples on fire, but he never said, hey, guys, let's do Gamergate 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want him to double down, to triple down on this. I want him to go as far as he can. To, this is the <laughs> dumbest fucking thing ever, and I really want him to fucking burn himself to the ground with it. It's funny. Option C is winning the chat, by the way. <laughs> this keeps falling in our laps, Jim. I, I, really I didn't do anything for this. Tomorrow. That says Gamergate 2.2, how to do it. Please I hope he just avoids this entire, like, he just pretends like this never happened. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about, guys? <laughs> <laughs> For three days, comes back, oh, feminism. And you're just like, what? what? <laughs> I like how after it was pointed out that maybe saying all this publicly is a bad idea, he, like, tried to say to Ralph, hey, maybe you could delete the stream. <laughs> 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 That's not happening. <laughs> not happening. Uh, no, as a matter of fact, I might just leave it. You know, usually we put them on the archive. I might, I might just leave this one up on the channel. Actually, I uh, just, I don't know. And I'm, I'm lurking his Discord channel. You know, following up people on Twitter talking about it. There's nobody in his Discord channel that we're talking about it. And those motherfuckers were defending the live stream about Jim. And <laughs> even to them, this is indefensible. They're just saying this is a complete waste of time. This is do drama. we have any even liberalists? Like Where's V? Oh, Somebody yeah. grab V or quartering. Do we have? Do, are one of these guys going to come on? Like, what's I going would, on? I would love to hear V's take on All this. Right, are you him. kidding? I want to hear what the carrier pitch and has to. I want that insight. We have when to. V came on after the gym stream, he said it was retarded. <laughs> so I can't wait for for his take on this. All right, I, I messaged him. Let's see. Well, let's just ping one of them. One of them's got to show up, right? V too. <laughs> All right. All right. Now, did see. you use the? Uh, did you use the code? There's a code word you can use with V that will instantly get his attention. Just say, "I have Coca-Cola." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen pictures of his apartment, but that'll snap him right into it. Uh, let's see. I'll message quartering too. I, I mean, thought it was surely, anal war. Like, am around. Surely somebody has to come on and talk about this. Well, you least... could you could you could try to you know combine the two. Like I put a, a canister <laughs> of Coca Cola in a snake. <laughs> Come get it. <laughs> Come and get it. Oh man. All right. So I messaged those two. Uh, I just love how we all had these big brain ideas of what this was about, and and it came down to GamerGate 2.0. <laughs> I, I thought this was going to be like you know here's like the new political thing I'm yeah. doing. Like I thought he was going to come out and be like. I, I've been I've been uh, messing with everybody, and I've been uh, you know laying in wait, and now you're going to see my magnificence. I was really expecting that. Or and or I, it would have something to do with you know YouTube censorship, or you know something like that. Maybe maybe he's been talking to Bannon, and he had some type of idea he wanted to pass along. 
because uh, he knows obviously this is a hostile you know this hostile area for God, him. you know the scarier idea is this wasn't sargon's idea this was bannon's big brain idea Please, God, don't let that be true. <laughs> oh that's the night that's the fucking nightmare scenario that is right a there. nightmare scenario to be honest with you yes this no, kind no, of this he, kind he, of he, he... That would explain it, it was his idea, but it was a joke to get Sargon to fuck us over. <laughs> <laughs> that would explain why he's not in the White House. Could, could you imagine if the Mercers were like, okay, Bannon, we're going to give you a million dollars. Why don't you go tell Sargon of Akkad to start Gamergate 2.0? Don't, don't ask any questions. It's a really good idea. We can't use Milo. He has AIDS now, so it has to be Sargon. By the way, I saw that. Does he... Was he was joking, right? Or does yeah, he it's, really obviously, have, it's obviously. Yeah, he's joke. trolling. Like, so I've seen so many people like, oh, he's really got AIDS. He, I think he was just kidding with that. But I mean, no way to know for sure. But I thought he posted a picture of his medical bills. Yeah, but he, it was all blocked out, and he just said, "Oh, oh I thought that was AIDS. I thought that was a receipt from the restaurant he went to." Yeah, I don't know. It was some receipt. I don't know that it was. Yeah, it was just some receipt with like two thousand. Yeah, how meta can we go? Do you, you, people in chat are like, maybe Bannon is yeah, just trolling Sargon. Maybe this is just maybe Bannon <laughs> hates you so much. He is thought Bannon, it'd be funny. Bannon's in the chat right now, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, I see him right there. He's like, <laughs> don't blame me for this. This isn't my retarded shit I did. Oh my god! All right, so I, I message those people. Uh, what about Jim? I don't know if you saw the program last night. I know this is off topic, but did you hear any of the? Uh, Leaks from uh, Brittany Venti and her ex and stuff. I don't know if you've listened to those yet, but I am not even touching this. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. I, all right. Here's the thing. Um, I my uh, hard drive died on me, so I had to replace it, and I got to replace it and get all my shit back up. But um, I wake up to uh, Jade just fuming mad, like fucking really mad. She's listening on her phone, I guess, to the kill stream. She was she was going to make a Discord account to come on and call you. No, she wasn't. Yes, she was. She was pissed. Really? She, she is not You're a fan of it. You're about to get a full sumptuous she is, she appearance? Is not, oh, she was man. not a fan of it uh, for releasing those videos. Oh, man. So I have to live with her, so I have no opinion on any of this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, guess what? We're going to have Venti on tonight at 11 p.m., so if, if she still wants to create the account, I come on and talk to her in person. No, let's not encourage her. Let's not encourage her, man. <laughs> Let's, let's do that. Yeah, let's encourage her. Yeah, Ralph, man. your your stream would probably get flagged down. She told me what she wanted to say, and I'm pretty sure in about 30 seconds from the speech alone, you would have been gone. Yeah, she's going to be on here tonight at 11 p.m. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess don't weigh in on it then. What, Andy, did you hear anybody? I guess I'll toss to somebody else because that was my think, topic to fill Tom I, until somebody showed up. Yeah, yeah. well, I heard the uh, her boyfriend... Like leaked out some stuff. Is that what? Well, I um I doubt that he leaked that. It seems more likely that that she put that out there. Yeah, she she actually um seemed to intimate that she had more for the program tonight. So so what what yeah I, I know that the audio got dropped. What was what was the why? So why did you release it? I don't yeah. know. I thought it, it was him that's talking the shit question. about her. That's what I thought it was. Yeah. So it's just him you know, spurging out and like hitting, hitting himself and talking about, oh. I look great a year ago and just like yelling. And there's video footage where he's underneath the desk crying. And, um, yeah, it's pretty, I mean, it's funny at first filming? and then it started She's getting filming? set. Yeah. Well, she recorded it. Yeah. So I don't think she, I don't know that she's taking like full responsibility for putting it out there. But yeah, it's 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 obvious. She's the one that <laughs> well, well, obviously it had to come from her. Well, it's I mean, it had to. Phone, right? Yeah, I mean, there's no other way. Uh, <laughs> it's now, not like I, I think somebody else. Phone. I don't know if it was last night or somebody in DM said, "Oh, she sent it to one of her friends and they put it out." Which I don't know. Obviously, she's the one who originally recorded them. Yes. I, I oh, haven't yeah. seen this. But you know what this reminds me of is uh, the Schmorky tape of Mandy freaking out. I don't know if you've ever heard that, but oh, you're taking uh, it way back. Yeah, okay. Just a quick rundown. Uh, Schmorky was an artist working for something awful, and Mandy's a schizophrenic girlfriend. Uh, Schmorky sounds like a muppet, and Mandy was having a schizophrenic breakdown. Uh, Schmorky recorded it, posted it on something awful to show people how awful Mandy was. And people are like, why are you recording your schizophrenic girlfriend having a mental breakdown? And it made him look like a fucking an asshole for doing so. But I'm, I'm getting vibes just like that. It's like she takes a video of him to show him how bad he is. And people are just going to think, why are you doing this to him if you guys were together? Yeah, but like he probably had like what? Like 
I'll like you know fight with her. They almost broke up or something. He went all emotional. She films it, sends it to her friend. Look at this thing, and now she like releases it. I don't know. That's I, I'd have to watch the actual you know thing, but it sounds like he had like a little bit of a mental breakdown. Yeah, and I guess I could understand why Jade might be upset. I, I've heard this from other people in the chat too. Like, wow, you're recording this and you put it out. This was this guy's low point. I have, I'm not repeating any talking <laughs> points. <laughs> your, your fucking stream will get flagged instantly. I'm just, if I, I'm if just I even speculating. One sentence of the shit she was saying last night. <laughs> did she like? Uh, did he do something to her for for you know like? Really so they had a dispute. I mean, this all blew up in public a couple months ago, where she told some of these stories in public, and she came on this program actually and talked about it. And he did a stream later on that I popped up on, and he kind of gave his side of it. And then all of a sudden, these leaks came out, two, I guess about, what, two days ago now. I don't know what the impetus was for the leaks coming out. I don't know why they were released now. It would have made more sense, I guess, for them to come out, you know, two months ago. But Maybe maybe she just waited for, you know, time to pass so it didn't look as obvious. Yeah, that's what, to, exactly. Know? That's what somebody said, that if they would have came out originally... It would look, you know, it looked even worse Yo, you know, right, now. I love that fucking thought process. Oh, look at my boyfriend, my ex-boyfriend having a mental breakdown. What a fucking idiot. Well, I mean, it was weird timing, though, considering what yesterday was. Mental health. Ooh. Yeah, World Mental Health Day. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, I mean, that stuff's too too juicy to resist. Of course, I had to play it on the kill stream. Uh, oh, you're going to play anything you can. <laughs> no, we don't We don't expect otherwise. Yeah, exactly. And so she didn't send them to me. They were posted elsewhere and people, you know, said, well, hey, Ralph, take a look at this. You know, actually, Kermit, Blackface Kermit was in the chat earlier. He sent it to me. A couple other people sent it to me. You know, if I see something like that, of course, I mean, it's going up on the stream. Uh, and what I'm was sure... the reaction, by the way? Was she like, as she commented, like, was she like laughing about it, serious, or like, oh, sorry? Like, what? How was her reaction? Uh, so she she tweeted out an egg, which was uh, part of the clips. If you listen to them, that was him. I guess he had made some eggs, and then he came in there like crying, and then he grabbed the plate and like broke it and started screaming and stuff. He made her a plate of eggs. Yeah, it sounds like, like a V meme. Yeah. <laughs> it's insane uh, uh, have you still not heard them all i i heard uh one partial one where it's like he's like crying and then she's like crying and it's filmed at her floor or something like that and that that's what i heard but apparently like three of them yeah actually there are five vocaroos and then there are three video clips uh, so it's, it's I don't understand what is it with people and their compulsion to put up their uh, fights with significant others onto the internet. Bunty does it, doesn't work out for him. Everybody, I don't understand why would you why would you bring personal shit into the public sphere? It never works out for anyone. And did you see we we also played Bunty's latest video talking about his uh, was it his I don't know was it his first masturbation, gentlemen? I don't remember. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's his latest video, and it had like, I don't know, thirty five hundred views or something like that. He he put that out there for thirty five hundred views. And my point was was, of course, it's ridiculous to put that out there, regardless. But you know, if you had a hundred thousand views or whatever, at least you could maybe understand it. He put that out into the public, z public space to use AJF term, for fucking thirty five hundred views. Is it yeah. funny? Is it interesting? <laughs> No, it's, it's not funny at all. I mean, by his dad. it's is funny that, that laughing a, at him, a, but yeah. it's a new one, right? Yeah, yeah, it's new. Hey, see, I think at this point he's trying to play up to it. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe I, just, I do. Uh, <laughs> just playing into the gimmick that, that he's already had established. Because well, yeah. that's a hot new thing to talk about. If you're talking about him getting caught by dad jacking off, you're not talking about the fact that he wants to literally eat shit out of people's asses. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? You didn't hear? Oh, don't, that don't pretend you don't know. Oh, I swear to God, I swear to God, I don't know. You don't know that he likes the poo poo pee pee. No, oh, but and, and he oh, likes yeah. period. He likes period blood too. He just wants oh, to. Be I mean, who that. doesn't? But go back to the first thing. Oh, God. <laughs> the just, I'm, kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, no. Wait, what? You made a video about this shit? Oh yeah, my god! You oh, didn't oh. see this, Andy? Oh, he has all this shit and fucking you know period blood all in his beard. It's just stuck nope. there. Oh, he <laughs> talked about he talked about the smell of it. Yeah, getting stuck in his beard. The uh, was it the poop or the period blood? One of the two. 
It was he, likes, he, likes, he likes to savor the flavor, Andy. He, he also talked around. about, uh, you know, yeah. e- eating pussy from a chick that was cheating on him, and uh, he'll eat yeah, no, pussy. I, I that yeah, one. Yeah. yeah. He likes those sloppy fucking gagging. He's Speaking like, of shit, I was talking to my buddy. I was like, "You check this out," and he's like, ah, "It's probably not as bad as it looks," you know. He, he's like, like twenty minutes later, he phones me. He's like, "Holy fuck, what an idiot!" <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, man." <laughs> Christ. And he, he apologizes to her. Oh my god! Uh, period. The uh, the only thing I know about Venti though is that her cat shits in the bed, and it's like, if, like a woman's cat was shitting in my bed every night, I'd have a fucking mental breakdown. Get this fucking cat <laughs> out of my fucking bed where I sleep. Like, I, I don't know. I think people who live in like hoarder conditions are are mentally ill, and anybody that would live with them is mentally fucking oh, ill. You know, actually, Jade had a theory on this. I can share this, I suppose. <laughs> um, because wasn't it alleged he was using steroids? Yes. Okay, and what's the disease you get um, from cats when they? they oh they... yeah, I forget. But basically, I think if if you're exposed to their, isn't the their shit, I think. Uh, yeah, because like, I know that she was saying that, like, uh, does it, don't steroids, like, immunosuppress you? Like, you're more susceptible to infections and shit? I believe so. Is yeah. it toxoplasmosis? Somebody yeah. just said it in chat. chat. That's it. Yeah, yeah I, I, all I know is, like, yeah, she was saying that, oh, well, maybe the steroids made him susceptible and there's cat shit everywhere. And that's what fucked with him. Uh, it makes it, yeah. Toxo, toxoplasmosis is a disease that results from infection with. Toxoplasma. Yeah, inf- in- yep. yes. infection. There we go. Yeah. Usually occurs by eating undercooked contaminated meat, exposure from infected cat feces, or mother to child transmission. So, yeah, maybe that's possible. Dirk V asked me if I had seen the conditions they were living in. No, I, mean, I don't know who Brent, uh, Brittany Venti is. Dude, it really. Was a shithole. There was shit on the ground. There was like garbage. Is it like it actual was... hoarder here from like the TV show? I don't not hoarder. It just was a complete pigsty. Well, sometimes yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it sounds bad. It sounds like something like that would drive me insane. Piled up or anything like that, but the the fucking dishes were piled up. The ground was just covered in garbage. Yeah, like I can't work if I have bottles on my desk. If there were cats shitting in my bed, I would have to fucking kill somebody by the way i message quarter i message v they are radio silent at least oh DMs. what a shock what uh, a shock shocking i just messaged probably- short fed a, a taku we'll see if we i'm trying to drag one of these guys on they're probably on a fucking skype call with sargon right now yeah i doubt i doubt if they're gonna take up the challenge but uh Hell yeah. him. stupid <laughs> we're trying to back you up you moron what are you doing <laughs> No, I'm sure uh, he's going like, don't you understand? This was just training. I was I was training on the plebeians for for media inquiries, and he's like, oh yeah, that's a great job. You really showed him. You didn't let them take the conversation. I think yeah. he's gonna defend this to like his grave. He's like, no, no, like yeah, I think it's a good idea. He's gonna keep going. He's not gonna back down. He's done this so many times. I hope so, because that would be the best possible outcome. That would be actually fucking funny. If if the last person to let Gamergate go was the Sargon of Akkad. Yeah, it's just weird to think that it would be a real idea. I mean, we're four years past it. I don't... <laughs> it's so weird. It's so weird. It has to be an attempt at trolling. I, I mean, think he's serious, man. Like, I, I don't know. I think so, yeah. Yeah. And then he switched tunes when he's reading the but, chat, going "fuck." Oh no! Well, Ralph, Ralph, I don't know if this is true, but somebody just said that Q was asking for a Gamergate 2.0. Is he trying to like jump on the Q bandwagon now and kill that? I would believe that. That would be so. We'd have all the based megapedes and the Facebook soccer moms <laughs> talking about <laughs> gamers rising up. Oh, that would be amazing. I played Tetris once. Gamers rise up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I, honestly, I don't follow the QAnon stuff because that stuff's stupid. I mean, I, Shadow a. I'm sorry if there's any QAnon people in the chat. I don't, I don't mean. To how, be how did all these people we got into QAnon? Like, how have they not heard of like Cicada and shit? That still blows my mind. Yeah, I just that stuff's silly to me. That's why I don't. I, I don't really follow the Q stuff, but. 
So, well, there you go. I, I was going to ask you. He he said he wanted you to give it a think. Have you gave it a thunk? Have you have you? Yeah, I'm good. It over? I'm good. Actually, I was good on it the whole time. By good, I mean no. I, I didn't want a piece of that. Uh, but I just you know I'm the host. So I was trying to you know be fair and let him get his talking points out there and stuff. But yeah, I'm absolutely great on not participating in another gamer god damn i actually stayed in gamergate and participated in that way too long as it is and i have no desire to to go back to that so why not ralph come on uh, guys no, i'm good let's go back into time i'll just say i've had way ago. more success outside of gamergate than i ever did within it uh and yeah just not interested just complete no not at all so Oh, I, I misinterpreted. It's not Q, it's Quarter Pounder. <laughs> they, they use Q and then the pound sign. I thought they were just talking about Q. That damn, makes Josh. a lot more sense, Josh, no. actually, I have to say. <laughs> but yeah, I saw Quarter Pounder tweeting and, oh, excuse me, quartering. Uh, but uh, but I didn't see him say anything. And also see that Short Fat Attack, you saw my messages. I, I try to drag him in. But I don't see him in the green room. I think that they're all. Well, I will. I will respect the privacy of the capo that I spoke to. But yes, uh, that there's a conversation that happened, and they seemed very interested in making, a, a, as they refer to it, GamerGate two happening. I just. <laughs> and I I gave no answer. <laughs> I just <laughs> fucking ignored it. They came to you with that. Uh... Why would you ever, of all the people, to bring something like that? To why would you come to me? You would be what the would absolute last person. Yes. You've literally shit on all his ideas. I got it. I'll tell Jim. <laughs> like what? Oh my god. How do you think this is a great idea at all? From the first, like the like the conception of it to bring it to you. Oh, I, I, I have no idea. I, I, so I guess our carrier pigeon's not coming on. He's suddenly well, into, he's indisposed. I see Short Fat Attack who said no thanks. Uh, v hasn't said anything. I don't know what's going on in Romania. Um, quartering hasn't responded. Uh, I think that they're all... Oh, I know how you can get Quartering to pay attention. Just say you're doing a charity stream. <laughs> oh, and then he'll yeah. start his own stream and you can talk back and forth. You know what? I kind of <laughs> let him slide on that, but he, he seemed... He legit seemed mad about it, didn't he? I don't, I don't know. It was just kind of strange. You know what else was strange? You know, uh, just as an aside, not related to our previous uh, couple of talking points, but sure. that clip, uh, what, what subreddit was he on when he uh, said that? Kotaku in action, actually. Uh, what, are they, what are they known for? Mm, Gamergate. Oh, weird. Okay. Uh, just <laughs> pull that out of the blue. All right. What? What? You tweeted out something from Kotaku? No, when he was salty about the, the heel stream, he was doing a stream at the same time. And I guess some people came in his chat and they're like, well, Ralph's doing the heel stream. Why don't you you know, hop on there, or go check that out? And he started getting really mad about it. He's like, fuck that, I'm doing my own stream. And why don't you go shill somewhere else? And I don't know, said a couple things like that. And then on his actual screen at the time, what he was broadcasting to everyone, he was surfing Kotaku in action. You cannot make this stuff up. He was surfing Oof. Kotaku in action at the time, yeah. Oh, who like just, what? Like which is just the lowest of the low, like a complete oh. joke. Other articles are always fucking... has been a joke. I piss all over wow. Kotaku in action. Fuck that place. Um, but yeah, he was actually surfing that that website. <laughs> Not only was he surfing <laughs> it, but idiot. surfing it in public where everybody else could see it. Which was is he even bashing worse. it though? Was he bashing it? Or no, was he, he was he... citing it for the stuff he was talking about on air. Oh, how do you fucking like his editor? Like, oh my god! Yeah, well, all right. I don't know. Almost like he was planning a little something there. Maybe he was priming the pump for Gamergate 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> right. who, who would even be involved in that? Like uh, the thing fractured so much. Well, yeah, that was kind of the point I was getting at, at at a certain part of the conversation. Where it's like, yeah, you know what, Gamergate at, at the beginning, everybody was kind of I don't know about on the same page, but even if people were on different pages, they just let you know the others do their own. God, thing. you know who I feel like right now? Yeah. I talked to the dude that started um, uh, the Chinology shit. Yeah. You know when it moved into real life, yeah. and he was talking about Gamergate, and I remember him specifically saying it's going to basically end in tears. <laughs> He was like, it's going to just <laughs> fracture apart. People are going to fight. And trust me on this. And I was like, oh, maybe, maybe not. He was completely fucking right. 100% right. Because completely called it. 
so it's it's you know there are benefits to having a big tent and people from different ideologies uh but the 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 negative from that is they're gonna start fighting each other over what the true meaning of you know such and such means and we don't want to be associated with these people and we want to prove that we're there are leftists there's leftists leftists in gamergate what are you talking about it's not all right wingers and so those same like you can just look back and i mean they still i still see sad people who are tweeting the gamergate hashtag put out that political compass poll They're like no gamergate wasn't right wing take a look at this some random fucking twitter thing they did i don't know just there is a guy i know from the forum from the philippines and called homer who once yes, ate a sandwich on yeah. you know homer <laughs> yeah. yeah dude he actually raised money for a new laptop or computer or something for gamergate some of the stuff jim was talking about let, let me let me get my new teeth off gamergate let me get a wheelchair lift and just complete fuckery but yeah he still tweets it every he day ate, as far as I know. Yeah. he ate a sandwich on live stream <laughs> to get get back at feminists i i don't know how that <laughs> works but whenever people talk about homer on the site still there there's just there's this like people made emojis out of him where they took snapshots of him looking smug while eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich <laughs> as a gotcha to feminists <laughs> He's a fucking treasure, and he's the he's the last uh, god king of uh, Gamergate. He owned them. <laughs> he owned those feminists. <sighs> I know Monday and Matt's down. Come on, guys. Yeah, he's oh, down god. at the quarry picking up rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Matt. Oh. So who looked goofier, Monday and Matt or Sargon? Oh, Sargon, hands down. Yeah. I think. Matt's Matt's was just uh, you know uh, it was a different thing entirely that that wasn't like that wasn't this level of self embarrassment. Well, plus he kind of got caught off guard, you know. He kind of came into the you know lawns den or whatever and got and got roasted. This was this was pretty planned. Like this wasn't my idea. I want to just get that across. He he came to me. I didn't pitch anything to him. He came to me. He's like, hey, I got this idea. I want to I want to give you the scoop. I want to want to put it to your audience. It's like okay. I'll be the dissenting opinion because Monday Matt destroyed himself with what happened to him. This is not going to affect Sargon because I, I figured it out while talking to people who liked him. Uh, nobody actually gives a shit about his politics. They watch that weakened and stupid thing, and it's it's sort of like their podcast, and they don't pay attention to anything else he does. He, yeah, he actually, ended no, that. He ended that, Josh. Well, uh, <laughs> I know he did, and I think it's going to bite him in the fucking ass. His Patreon dropped like four thousand dollars. Did it really? Yeah, I, I think it, that's going to hurt him. It, it dropped to like eleven thousand. Now okay. it's back up to twelve thousand. Like okay, so I think there's. Oh my god! Let's let's all say a prayer for Sargon. Oh shit! Only twelve thousand <laughs> compared to six. Eight. Hopefully, he makes it through these tough times. <laughs> I'm just saying that I don't think I don't think the majority of, of people subscribed to him give a shit about what he's doing at all outside of that we can well, stupid. I would just say uh, that Sargon has yeah. a bigger foothold than Monday Matt could could have ever dreamed of. So, uh, you know, I don't think it'll destroy him or anything. I do think people will be laughing about this for a long time to come, and that this is going to be clipped and posted everywhere. And our, our people will, but his people don't care. Like they're just like, oh, that was a waste of time. That was stupid. Let's move. Ba let's move back onto the serious issues of saving the West. Like, for, for, uh, forgive and forget as far as we're concerned. Well, serious issues. Yeah, trolling the libs is really going to win today. <laughs> if he's smart, he will completely just never speak of it again. Uh, I'm hoping that he makes a video for Gamergate 2.0. That's what I think you should do, Carl. I uh, hope he keeps going. Yes, please keep going. Oh, with this. Fuck. So but funny. if he if he's smart, maybe I shouldn't give this tip over the air. But just never speak of it again if you have any sense. But. Well, don't worry, you're deleting the stream immediately. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> yes, this is getting deleted. This this won't be posted on the podcast site or the archive channel. Don't go to those places. Uh, let me check back in. I'll give the liberalists another chance. No, they're not. They're not coming. They're not coming. Somebody said that Sargon tried to recruit sticks. Or something. I don't know the story to that, but they wanted me to bring it up, so I thought I would. Um, Somebody said Sticks was in the chat earlier. Is he still around? We drag him Sticks, in. I want to hear. I want to hear his Gamergate 2.0 recruitment pitch. If he got it, I'll message him. Yeah. See. Yeah. You know him. I, I don't. So I talked to him once. Uh, could, let me see if I can pull it up. I won't. I won't quote it verbatim. Uh. <laughs> uh. But. Uh, I said, uh, 
I said, Medicare mentioned your video last night on air. Well, I guess I will quote everybody because it's one where he's just like, nice. Uh, <laughs> and now I didn't tell him that he completely trashed your video and kind of took a shit on you. Uh, but he seemed excited that, that it had gotten mentioned. Well, I didn't really shit on him. I just well, you didn't shit, shit on him. You shit on know. the idea, we, not we him should, personally. We should be friends. Yeah. yeah. You didn't shit on him, just the idea. Uh, yeah, when he put out the video, I guess but that no, was if, if Sticks confirms that he got an invite to do this, then that makes this legitimate. <laughs> right? Then there's no question of it being So what a are really you leaning troll. towards? Troll or? If, if I hadn't received DM messages uh, way ahead of time, people bringing this up, I, I would say a complete troll, but I'm like 50-50. Yeah, I, I, I would lean towards real. What about you, Zidane? I think it's real. Yeah, that's me. It's, it, because he was so fucking happy to say it as soon as he said it, and then he sort of shut him down real quick, and he got really mad about it. If you if you notice, his tone changed immediately. His tone changed whenever Jim spoke. I didn't notice that. <laughs> what? No. He's, I just wanted my order brought to my table. I don't understand. The service is fucking so, terrible at this he restaurant. Was so mad. And honestly... You didn't go as hard. I mean, you you went at him, but you could have went a lot harder. But just any time you spoke, he was just you could just tell his whole demeanor changed from like happy and kind of friendly to just God, ugh, why am I? I have to deal with this person. And I like how. <laughs> so I made sure to say there's right there's no conditions to this right no problems this and that and then he's like no no problems and I and I kind of brought up Medicare. He's like, sure, I'd love to talk to Jim anytime. No big deal. You know, anytime we could talk. And then within 30 seconds, uh, there comes Jim, just perfectly right on cue. Uh, I just I just wanted to get it out there so he couldn't say, you know, you were ambushed or there was some type of rules Ralph didn't follow. There were no rules. Oh, no, we all saw how clever you were when you said there are no conditions, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, very subtle. That's my trademark, subtlety, yes. You got the rope in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Was that you, Josh, trying to say something? Yeah, I, I thought I, – I, I think he expected Jim to come on. Maybe not immediately. but You know what? That was my original it. thought, but, but but his reaction, I didn't – I don't know if he did. Like, I, I don't know. So. I think Jim just gets to him. I think he was, he was steeled for it, but he's still – That could be. Annoyed, yeah, that could definitely be. I mean, you have to be an idiot to think – I mean, it it wouldn't happen. <laughs> that you I wouldn't mean, do that. Too. Yeah, I mean, you have to be, especially because there was no agreement that I wouldn't. You know, so you would have to be stupid uh, to not think. But just, <laughs> just the way I maybe, think he he hoped to get a little bit more out in that first yeah. first fifteen minutes. Like when he was building up to it, like where do you think I'm going with this? Where do you think I'm going with this? Like it it was very strange. And I, I called it though right away because he he literally was. So he keeps talking about gamer. He's like, where do you think I'm going? I'm thinking, uh, well, it sounds like you're, you know, you're trying to get the the band back together, you're trying to start Gamergate back up. He's like, no, no, think harder. And then he kept talking, and that's exactly what he was trying to do. I, I legit had no idea what the fuck he was going. I kept waiting for it. I was like, okay, yeah. where's this? You know, I thought that yeah. was like a small component, like the like the intro to the yeah, story yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, like there has to be something else. Okay, he's building this up to something else. He just it made me feel like I was drunk and I couldn't follow the conversation because it was just so so fucking weird that it didn't make sense. It was almost like he was high. I, I hate to put it that way. <laughs> but it was like, I said it's like a stoner thought. It's like, dude, wouldn't it be awesome if President Yeah, Trump but he was so excited. He's just like, that. wait, you just don't get it, man. Like, wait, just think, man. Hold up. I, I don't it would the libs, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's basically what it was. Yeah. <laughs> Troll the lives with a dead fucking thing. Congratulations. And now now Jared Holt is on fucking Twitter laughing at him. <laughs> I know, it's great. Everyone's laughing at him. It's an idiot. Uh yeah, I had an idea. Is he still laughing? Oh my god. He's retweeting Kekistan articles now. I don't I don't think he'll get on. I had an idea to get Jared Holt on, but I don't, I don't think he'll come on. Zidane, what did you say he told you? Fuck off. Fuck off. Okay. I mean, probably oh, probably a good call, to be honest. But 
Dark V said in chat, he just wanted to hear a, a take I had real quick. Uh, I don't know who the fuck that guy was in the last kill stream or the kill stream before that was like Jim just steals his shit from the forum. Um, any, it's a public forum. We have no hidden boards that are on topic. If you want to take content from the forum and make a video about it, you go fucking right ahead. I do not care. You don't need to credit us either. So that guy taking issue on my behalf and on the user's behalf, uh, please fucking don't. Because uh, I don't think anybody wants wants what they say to be hidden away. Yeah, what's it supposed to be secret? Publishing on a yeah, public no. forum? Yeah, that makes no sense. I've actually he, used Kiwi Farms before. I, well, I, was, I don't. Wait, yeah. wait. I don't know why he's lying. Okay, as an administrator of Kiwi Farms, <laughs> uh, there are many hidden boards uh, with everybody's information on them. Oh yeah, the, the, I, I've downloaded the entire fucking white pages, and I've basically got threads <laughs> on everybody. <laughs> you really? Yeah, no, but, it's but this, uh, people spend hours on their threads and stuff, and they want it to be appreciated. They want people bit. to so see it, right? So the, it. Yeah, the more yeah, people they, they talk they about, the better. Have yeah. a good time. I don't so, yeah, no, 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 no pressure. To, like, even like PewDiePie sourced us, which is, I, I appreciate That's amazing. The fucking big guy. Li- he like, didn't just mention the kill stream. Chat. Fuck you, PewDiePie. What the fuck? But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Oh yeah, I was gonna ask you, Jim. What about the? So I don't know if you said this specifically, or you're just talking about in general. Are you gonna do a video on the BetterHelp stuff, or was that if people are are they no, off no, base? No, no, yeah, I that? planned to really say it yesterday. My hard okay. drive, because I have a shitty little laptop right now. I've been okay. using it for like the last six or seven months. Uh, it shit out on me, so I had to replace it and re-download everything. And <laughs> I've either got to redo the video now or just do a stream about it. I don't know which one I'm gonna do. Okay, so that's still happening though. So I've seen some people messaging yeah, no, me. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I, I'm definitely doing it, but I had to go. Like, I, I don't have anything backed up, so I had to yeah. go download my own videos to uh, get my intros to shit. So it'll be like a VHS copy of a VHS copy. <laughs> so the quality continually goes down. All right, I was just making sure because people message me and I've seen comments. No, and, and, and it's not. Video, and again, it's not. It's not the main focus. Is not better help. It's DeFranco. That's the guy I have issue with. Yeah, yeah. focusing solely on him. Did you hear what happened today? Did you hear how uh, there was audio leaked from Arya Nina? No, was that the audio that Ralph played before where it was like the dude talking to some chick and she's like, yeah, I fucked him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that dude was on the show this morning. He didn't send me this seven-minute clip. And then we were in a group chat while we were live this morning. And she's like, why am I in this? And Asian Andy's like, come talk. To Andy about uh, uh, about Philip DeFranco, and then she left, and then blocked me. I'm like, oh boy. And then any, I'm anything for views jumped on the guy who had it recorded off one of his his mods recorded it and leaked it. And it, apparently, there's six more minutes of the of the audio, so we're gonna hopefully get that soon. DeFranco, and she's the girl who uh, who fucked Chick Carl, by the way. And when she was in the DMs with Shay, uh, Shay and she was like, uh, oh, I want to meet your uh, your kids. And he was like, no, what the fuck's wrong with you? And then she's like, oh, my God, you're being rude. And then leaked everything and fucked up his marriage for a little bit. So she's apparently a, a YouTube star fucker. So, yeah, why, why, are, why are YouTube stars, quote unquote, why are they fucking, you know, like cam girls? Why aren't they like go buy a hooker or something? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody doesn't know who the fuck you are. What are They're you doing? They're a little more discreet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. So I don't yeah, man. So I don't well, like obviously everything is just alleged off, you know, her. Uh so but I don't know, her reaction was pretty interesting. But we'll see what happens. I want to see what the rest of that uh the audio is. I do too, and I want you to let He'll me know. Phone better help after this. I'm I right, want guys. you to let me know oh, so yeah. I can play it on my show as well, because uh, I don't know if you saw the Wikipedia page. I think I talked about it earlier. You tweeted it out, yeah. Yeah, the one that where says, they, it's where they me look is it still after like that? Franco did his video I was afraid that that's where it would kind of fizzle out and I mean thankfully the only person bigger than Philip DeFranco to shit on Philip DeFranco came out and, and did so and that's I think that reignited it because oh, I checked yeah, that, the comments that, on PewDiePie's video that's what the dude said on Andy's stream um the guy uh, wasn't the guy you were talking to the one that was part of the audio right said something along that caught my attention where he's like yeah other YouTubers don't trust him or get a bad vibe from him yeah, they were saying uh, when he goes to uh, the parties and stuff, it's always business, business, business. You know, he doesn't ever 
like try and be friendly with anyone. Apparently, uh, I'm sure you guys already talked about this, but uh, he didn't even go straight to Boogie or any of those YouTubers who had his affiliate link. That's why yeah. Boogie, when he was on your show, he was like, what? Uh, I have no idea how that's on, you know, um, or my manager did that. So basically, Philly, instead of going up to his own buddies that he knows, went through their managers and he's trying to make it, oh, you know, you know, that's nothing. It's it's how business is done. Yeah, sure. All right, fair enough. But like, come on, like let people know. It's just pretty sketchy. Now this whole Patreon thing about his news network, he's making between 50 and- what, Oh yeah, that's what grand. the guy said. That was really fucking interesting where he confirmed basically or alluded to the fact that the Patreon elite shit that DeFranco was doing, mm -hmm. the money from that didn't go into a news program. It went into his own ad agency, the same yes. ad agency that partnered at a company level with better help so the patreons that's a fucked up thing that's what got my attention his youtube fans are paying for him to take advantage of other people watching his youtube videos he's found a way to create a cycle to get you to donate money and then use that money to fuck you for shit therapy and your information yeah and it's interesting how a uh, memeology you know me you guys like, everyone just needed one day as you look through like terms of service I, I found that actor who we now know his um, his uh, Fiverr account is out there. All this one day, and then he on his videos said, "When we pick up a sponsor, we uh, uh, check them out for four to five weeks." Really, it took you four to five fucking weeks to, and you didn't find anything sketchy with this. And now that you're caught, you want to switch their terms of service like it's just he's he, like honestly it's just scummy like fucking uh like man up dude just go okay like this is fucked i know you know maybe my team fucked up just fucking like he's trying to twist it and twist it and twist it and now more and more shit i think this is why that audio was leaked of aria because people are just like fuck this guy if he's not going to be taken down with his better help stuff we're going to keep throwing him like fucking under the bus because they've all had enough Right. I don't know who exactly, but you did hear on that uh, show this morning that it's just like apparently, what was it, like six or seven big YouTubers are just fucking had enough of him. Uh, so, like, he's like sweating balls and he should be because, like, fuck this guy, man. How much, how big does your yacht have to be, you fuck? Like, come on, man. So, it's so disgusting. He needs two. Ah, uh, I, 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 I <laughs> it, it, it's just that there, no matter how you look at it, there's something fishy going on. Like there's a billion different it's angles to take on it. It's and, not and uh, one of the other tier one affiliates, uh, the Influence Logic Creator Health dot org thing. Uh, I actually looked at the Influence Logic people, and they had removed uh, huge segments of their of their site. From, from the public. They not only mutilated their creatorhealth.org site, removing all their other sponsors and stuff. Uh, on the influencelogic.com site, they removed the About Us page that had the list of the people involved in the project. They had the uh, How We Do It page removed, and there was a little blurb about the company at the bottom of the footer that they took out for some reason, too. See, he, so, here's, he, here's my hot take on it, and uh, if I want to go all conspiratorial with it, um, I think DeFranco is more closely tied into this BetterHelp thing, but Going with the logic that they have information and data to try to, you know, create profiles on what makes people depressed and how they react to certain stimulants. Imagine if Fran or DeFranco has financial ties to better help and he uses the data they collect on how to make people depressed and then uses that information in his video to drive more people to use the service to get more money from the affiliate links. Hmm. Well, he, he should do a series about uh, furries fucking animals to death. <laughs> 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 Here is to add to your conspiracy theory. So BetterHelp's parent company, Teladoc, teamed up with CVS. CVS merged with Aetna, an insurance company. Oh, it's just getting, it's just getting <laughs> deep. Do you, want, do you want some life insurance before you throw yourself off the roof? Or and, some better health advice. Sector.ai, which is their like Bitcoin company, the other uh, side company, is out of the Cayman Islands. What? Just saying. Yeah. Spectre.ai, what like you didn't see that? Is it, oh, oh, that's yeah, that's one of the, uh, the the other influence logic sites. 
Well, not, I don't think that's, I don't think the other shit they sell is related to BetterHelp, but that comes no, no, but their no, but shady. but the guy, the guy, what's his name? Uh, uh, Jordan. Fuck, Joel have, Robinson. Joel Robinson. I have him like, actually on Skype. I should phone him up, eh? Uh, anyway, did, like, he, Joel, did he say anything to you? Nah, but may, like, uh, like uh, I have no idea. Like, he's probably upset with me, maybe at this point. Uh, when I gave the fucking. <laughs> Uh, one of the Kiwi Farms guys, my email that had the affiliate password for him to log out on and find the four names connected to all these companies. But Joel, and uh, who came up to me directly last year, uh, yesterday, last year, um, and uh, who was it, Sh like Shane or, or Sean or something? I'll, I'll find the names or whatever. But those four dudes, we found... Uh, one of their websites that has the connection for Spectre.ai, which I also sent the emails that they were trying to get me after to promote Spectre.ai, but they offered me in like fucking Ethereum. And I was like, I don't know how to fucking use Ethereum, so fuck no. Oh which yeah, I mentioned to you that uh, since you the Ethereum me. has gone up a thousand, I, I wanna make sure it's known. I think it went up, it was like a dollar at that time. Now it's about $600. I'm just gonna throw it out there. there. You should have taken the fucking Ethereum. You're 1500 in Ethereum. I'm like, nah, fuck that. That's Andy doing the smart <laughs> business decisions. Fuck it. Yeah, but then that would have been like, oh my God, Andy knew. So he got the Ethereum. Like, exact. So I don't give a fuck. Anyway, um, th yeah, so their companies that they own, so it's the four of them, might not be exactly attached to better help. But how do these four dudes work? Or, or own BetterHelp and these, uh, you know, side companies attached to BetterHelp and this Bitcoin operation that's attached to other uh, um, uh, Bitcoin operations, as well as one advertising, uh, like, company that closed down, I think, in 2015. But the interesting thing was the Spectre.ai and a few other companies, when we researched uh, deeper into it, they're from the Cayman Islands. If people don't know in the chat, Cayman Islands is a place where there's no banking laws. So you could pretty much just fucking like dump money in without uh, them checking, you know, where it's from. So there's no audit on, on your company. If, if there's any, you know, sketchy, you know, money, uh, you know, cause here they would have to do, I would call it, oh my God. Oh fuck. What's the word? A laundering. A, uh, here it would be money laundering so what if they were because what if alleged whatever you want to say what if they were getting you know large quantities of money and using these side companies that weren't attached um over to better help to put it into the cayman island fucking account right yeah, you could invest into this company and then transfer the money elsewhere and all and also with better help I went through every testimonial. I was just like, oh, it, it was the uh, second day I was doing the better help thing on my stream last week. And I'm scrolling through. That's where I found that actor and all that stuff. And I was laughing at how everyone's reading like scripts and shit. So I'm scrolling through and some of the chat uh, uh, people in the chat were like, yo, read the actual like, you know, testimonials, not, not the video ones, but the ones that are text. So I'm reading them. They're very similar. It's just like, you know, very similar sentences, but like mixed around. And I'm looking at, at the names, the very, you know, like fucking John Doe, basically, you know, like, like just obvious, you know, Jeff Sm uh, Smith, like shit like that. Right. And it's all the same talking points. It was uh, the same five talking points, but mixed around. So were the, um, uh, the video testimonials, right? So they have 55,000 testimonials on there. Right. So if they're putting testimonials that are not real there, may it will make that um business seem like it's making more income than it actually is so i'm not gonna finish off what i i'm thinking on this because you all know where i'm going with this but you know what i mean like i'm just gonna say that so why do you have fifty five thousand? Why why are you working so hard on fake testimonials? Once you have fifty thousand, or let's say like ten thousand, you stop. Whatever, maybe throw one or two to keep it fresh. Fifty five thousand? Are they trying to make it look like that a company is making more income than it actually is, and then having Cayman Island accounts? You all do two and two. I'm just saying 
None of it fucking adds up. None of it fucking adds up. If you have fake, fake, uh, what do you call it? Uh, um, uh, counselors. By the way, uh, that uh, fat chick who eats a bunch of fucking food on on YouTube and then goes, "I'm going on a diet." Uh, Ashley, what was her name? Ashley, something. I'll I'll find the link for you guys. But she said that BetterHelp had a counselor who who actually diagnosed her with a binge eating disorder which and Amberlyn Reed by Amberlyn Reed Amberlin thank Reed. you thank you uh who uh, yeah, with a um, binge eating disorder which first of all I was going to say like like anyone you don't have to be even a like, fucking doctor to figure that out but but still counselors and therapists cannot fucking you know um what we call a uh, diagnose you it's like not allowed like it has to be like through a doctor in fact in their in yeah. their um well, PewDiePie, PewDiePie went over all this, the uh, the testimonies and stuff. But one thing that they did change just recently, which was interesting, is that I think they, I think Alan Matta, the CEO, said something like they had treated like millions of people, and somebody did the math saying with this number of counselors, divide that by the time that it's been up, and the number of patients he claims has been treated, um, it would be literally impossible for it everybody impossible. to get it. Everyone's but they would use that number. <laughs> Everybody, uh, they reduced that number to whatever it was before to five hundred thousand. So they they're like they're yeah, fudging four million to four hundred thousand. They took a zero off. Here's uh, the thing: like, look, people are going. Andy will be sunsetted tonight. Look, look. I want you to all know one thing: if I fucking die, I was right. Suck it. Please don't kill me though. Like, <laughs> but I'm just saying I was right. Yeah. I'm not saying I was right about anything. I'm just throwing out here's all what happened. Here's all the facts. Here's and and then Philly D's like, oh, we changed the terms of service. Yeah, what about this, 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 this? He's sweating fucking bullets now. And now every fucking YouTuber is like, all right, if he's not going down now, Aria, oh, you sucked his dick, right? That's it, man. Fucking Philly D. Oh funny. yeah, Andy, I can't wait to talk to you about that information you have on Hillary Clinton and John Podesta tonight. They're it's going just, down. It's exciting. Yeah, yeah. I thought Jim was supposed to do that. I oh, know I'm busy. Uh, <laughs> Someone else is gonna have to take that. Thank you all for the invitation. I'm gonna go prepare my show. Love to you all. Yeah, have you. a good one, man. Peace out, Jeff. Oh one more thing, by the way. I may and by May, I I most likely do, and by the most likely I do, have something, but I have to just go over all the information tonight that might make Sargon not look good. You could have just played back clips of him talking. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I have to confirm everything. I don't want to just go, you know, here, here. no, no, I'm not going to do that, but yeah. So I'm going to keep... Uh, I'm gonna keep uh, you know checking it out, scanning it. But it looks pretty bad from what I've seen. But um, yeah, we'll double check. We'll double check first. <laughs> well, yeah, but I have to go over everything uh, tonight because if I like, I don't want to look like a fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, you know if you can Andy, if you can know. make him look worse than he did today. I'd be uh, legitimately impressed. Yeah, I I oh, it's you know I'm not gonna say anything just just in case just in case I'm not gonna pull a old andy or a new sargon fucking idiot i'm sweating now i'm scared <laughs> no no well, i'm scared about the last thing i just dropped but you, th you think philly d hates me anyway uh how good is it let's just say if 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 all this like i've seen it i just have to put it like in chronological order and make sure that it's all legit, you know, all that. If this is true about Sargon, he... you said you weren't going to try to hype it up, and here you are oh, trying yeah. to hype this up. I'll say one thing. I'll say one thing. Hashtag Sargon new 2.0. Oh. oh, Jim, it involves you too, man. Uh oh. You too. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, are there any felines involved, Andy? What? Okay, yeah. if you're not getting that, then we're talking about two different things. All right, that's good. Well, I'm looking forward to your information. <laughs> <laughs> there's emails, there's uh, emails, some some messages, some stuff, and now, Andy, I just have to warn you because you weren't around in 2014. 
Mm-hmm. If if a queen happens to tell you she verified something, throw it away. It's not going to be any use to you. Or maybe tomorrow we'll fucking do some other things. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I like how he walked that back the moment you threw in the queen. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe it's not fucking a thing. It's, it's the rhythm of the night. <laughs> Maybe it's just a picture of him sucking a dick. Hmm? Is it? Is it uh, Nigel Farage's dick? Let's hope so. See, I was gonna say you have a picture of him at VidCon with Blair White, but see, you took it a different direction than where I would have went. Oh, oh, then never mind. Yeah, they think, all right. Yeah, tomorrow's still on. <laughs> By the way, I was, I was muted. You guys could hear me. The stream couldn't hear me. So yes, the nicely meme is true. done. Ralph. The meme is true. I was muted for about five oh. minutes. So. No, sorry, sorry. Okay, now that you bring it up, uh, that up. Okay, then never mind, because like you'll know what I mean tomorrow. It all makes sense. This but is- yeah, it it it's pretty like, it just pretty much shows uh, that he doesn't. All right, here it is. All right, here's a little hint. If it's true, he doesn't give a fuck about the facts and will use something to throw certain people under the bus. Yeah, he said that he lies when it's convenient. Yeah, he said that already on the stream. Yeah, I know, but I have evidence of a lie. No, it's gonna be a se- it's gonna be a, a segment of this, and then we're gonna make fun of him. Probably make fun of his suit. A You're giving us a little tease, then, huh? It sounds like it. Mm-hmm. It's better to be good. This better be better than a boogie saying six million Jews on live stream trying to yeah. talk about his views. <laughs> yeah, he did say that. I don't know. I don't know if you guys saw it, but he was doing a live stream talking about the heat he had gotten for showing up on the certain Holocaust denial live stream. And uh, he was talking about his metrics for some reason. And just I, it was a Freudian slip. He was looking at his views and said, yeah, well, you know, we're, we've gone down to six million Jews. And <laughs> it, it, oh, yeah, no I remember that clip. Do we have a link to that? Because I would like to play you that. You gotta play that because it's it's fucking hysterical. Uh, there's a I sent you a time code. I think. Let me try uh, is it in my? Okay, let me look. I know you posted in the chat earlier, but I don't have that like uh, fresh. Yeah, give me. A... Okay. Yeah, boogie. I mean, it's really short, but it's pretty funny. Okay, we'll see. And then I think we might we might end up with the with the six million. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to jump. Yeah. I, I'll tune in tomorrow. Uh, looking forward to the to the reveal, Andy. Should be entertaining. All right. Thank you for uh, joining uh, us, man. Appreciate it. All right, are you, are you, are you, are you right? doing a show tonight, or is this your yeah, show? Yeah, I think we're going to do a show tonight, yeah. Okay, so, tune in for that, too. All right, take it easy, guys. Right, Later, Jim. Have a good one. All right. Do you have the clip, Josh? Let me see. Uh, I'm, I'm scrolling might... through my chat history to try to find those, because it's worth it. Hold on, let me look. I have it timestamped too in chat if I can find it. Uh, I think Ooh. the the is link that, that I have that, is timestamped. Let me try this. Was well, that Sargon in the chat? Is it? It's not a it's not a video, dude. It's it's literally a a nice little like it's like a ha 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 fuck yeah oh my oh, god oh sorry yeah that? that's actually his account I think yeah. I think that's a the one I just sent you. Okay, yeah, I think this is it right here. Let's. I'm play not saying it. it's gonna ruin his life, okay, guys. All right, let's play it uh, right now. Uh, not everybody has it, but I'm just going to play it anyway. Let's play it right now. Uh, down to like 6 million views a month, which is fine. What? That's more than enough to su- survive. Hold on, on, hold on, hold on. Uh, down to like 6 million views a month, which is fine. Down to 6 million Jews per month. That's Perfect. Boogie. Boogie himself speaking. <laughs> oh, my God. The tragedy. One more time, just for fun. One more time. Things are positive. Some things are negative. Uh, down to like six million Jews a month, which is fine. That's six million. Down to six million Jews. Wow. That is that is a textbook Freudian slip. That is. Oh yeah. All right, gentlemen. Oh wait, go ahead. Finish your thought. I was I was listening to it in the background, and when he said that, like <laughs> everything I was doing came to a. Came so to were a you listening like, to that stream like, normally? Because or did somebody send that to you? 
<laughs> they sent this clip of like, hey, you oh, know, okay, Boogie okay, was okay. talking about talking about his appearance on the kill stream. I'm like, oh, oh I'll put okay. it on in the background. Yeah. Eleven minutes, and then it said six million Jews. <laughs> 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 like boogie no six million per month oh. <laughs> mr worski thank you for joining us thanks guys uh peace out i appreciate it gators dan josh thank you gentlemen as well thank you anytime as always all right peace out we're gonna do as of now we're gonna do a stream tonight i haven't fully committed but i do believe we're gonna do a kill stream tonight so might be a shorter one though we'll see i don't know Anyway, thank you guys. I appreciate it, man. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Uh, oh, there. We'll, we'll show that meme. I do have some stuff to do. Read these super chats. Oh, my God. Can I get through them all? Uh, Lord Akira says, Only after Boogie, Sam, Hyde, and Keemstar make appearances on the kill stream does Sargon decide it's worth his time. Really activates the old almonds, doesn't it? HH says, For Sargon, why do you, did you use a video of Jim exposing a pedo as evidence of him being one? Kaner says, Uploaded, upload this before bedtime. I'm freaking working. Lime says, Carl Smug, Chuckle, Brainlet, Benjamin needs to take a long walk off a short pier. Press 1 to chuckle. Press 2 to forget your mic was muted. God damn it. I just did that a few moments ago. So, uh, Jessica Ustas says, Ryan, press S, you whore. RES says, can you ask Sargon if there's any opening in his Applebee's branch? I'm looking for a new job. Schmeebs says, how dare you stream during the Kumite's time slot? Lord Rap of Rap Mountain says, Sargon, are you an NPC? Apocalypse Lemon says, how to admit you're wrong without admitting you're wrong? That guy from that thing says, excuse me, waiter, I ordered a side of word salad, not an entree. Mike Nolan says, Colonial versus Mainlander, Nolan versus Sargoon. C3O says, for fuck's sake, Jim, are we burn chat down? FF, or for fuck's sake, maybe, I don't know. Sock account says, what prompted this? Sponge says, good to see you giving smaller streamers a chance on your channel, Ralph. I wanted to read that out earlier, but I just got caught up in the conversation. I was going to read that out while Sargon was here. Uh, Das Pooch in Gulf City says, it's a burden. That's what we call a job, you lazy fuck. The thing for you do for the Patreon shekels. Good lord. c says, faggots press one. Literally nobody says, get Jim. Akujin says, I take Gotham from the corrupt, the oppressors of generations who have kept you down with myths of opportunity, and we give it back to you, the people. Gotham is yours. None shall interfere. Quan R.M. Klein says, Jim or Riot. Thick Wid says, Sargon, you're not as smart as you think you are. Slymek the Bear says, Soygon is a compulsive bragger. Please get Jim on the show. Indigo White says, yay, Jim. Hiram Wood says, I'm glad my job isn't as, stressful, is, isn't as stressful as Sargon's. All I have to do is control air traffic and active military airspace and keep helicopters from flying into live artillery. artillery. Sargon is the real hero. Pia Werfel says, Jim for the win. KTTK says, look at Sargoy trying to change the subject. Brent Herman says, Sargon, they're more concerned with real politics and politicians and leaders of nations, which you are none of those. Declan Reed says, Carl, if they come up to my waist, I'm getting a taste. Oh, my God. Benjamin should not be allowed a platform to spew as it is idiocy. Hashtag big brains matter. Problematic polar bear says, is he coked out for real? Uh, I don't know. Joha Al Wa Al Himar, whatever. Says, go easy on Grandpa Sargon. He's demented. Lord Akira says, Gamergate, one last world tour. David Supernor says, Sargon is like a jock who peaked in high school and wants to remember the good times when everyone else has moved on. Rick Nakeda says, Chuckles and Smugness. Phoenix76 says, What the fuck is he on about? Lead Pill says, Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Terrible coughing. Didn't say anything. Antarctic says, Ralph, it's been 15 minutes and now Killstream plus Sargon plus Hal. I love you. Lucky Contrarian says, This is just like the Rogan interview. Sargon bringing up some irrelevant bullshit like Gamergate and looks like a sped. Pure autismo. Spun says, Sargon talking to Jim as if he didn't call him a pedophile. Das Pooch in Gulf City says, This is what someone burned out on hard drugs sounds like. Get help, Carl. H Works says, He's learned nothing. This man's ego makes him a dangerous liability, not an asset. Go back to your lock spark notes and appetizers, Carl. Kai says, Ralph, bring on Mike Enoch. Gojira says, Sargon, yell that you need more dopamine. Havoc Rain says, what's he on about? Andrew K says, cocaine is a hell of a drug, all right? Mayo 101 says, my fellow white niggers. Uh, Siri say my name says, Bannon talking with Sargon, Kanye talking with Trump, and Jim still hasn't uploaded that Better Health video. Message deleted was the next one. Lord of Curious says, so is this, th is this stream just for Sargon to pitch his weird Gamergate slash 2016 election fan fiction to 
script script to us or is there some real point to this um no as far as i know that was the actual that was the idea, yeah. Tavid Andro says, I'm feeling, I feel like I'm listening to the ramblings of either a washed up rock star trying to get his mojo back or a raving lunatic. Cindy T says, Sargon, when they get tired from beating you, hit them with the self defense chuckles. Definitely Lex says, Sargon, you're a moron. Fatal Oath says, Sigh, Sargon. Sargon. Kill Moose says, I guarantee Sargon has no idea there, are, there is fe a federal Canadian election coming up soon. Joey Jojo says, Your race is done. I'm taking over along with some undesirables, and that is cool. High five. I will remember to pay homage to the people who built this place. Thank you, Whitey. Hack the movie says, Sargon, you'll never be queen of England, you loser. Also, someone said I kind of look like you, so please shave so I never get compared to you ever again. Dragonzord69 says, this is just brutal. Carl's totally oblivious to everyone making fun of him. My Gamergate. The Flush says, Sargon, you're a backstabbing homo brainlet. Still remember you using Sarkeesian tactics, Sarkeesian tactics on GG Revolt at the end of Gamergate because scary right wingers. It Weeb says Sargon wants to bring back Gamergate and, ha and have them commit the next 9/11. Can't say I saw that one coming. Simon Scola says Sargon is like the uncle from Napoleon Dynamite. He's reminiscing about when he wasn't a complete joke to everyone that even knows who he is. Shadow Angle says Gamergate is small as fuck, but it's still going. Uh, Amber Oxide says, love the show. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Hyphen says, Sargon's low IQ intervention. Optic Decay says, I just want to know if Sargon's, Sargon is for dinosaur nationalists. Gang, gang. Old Angry Normie says, Gamergate 2.0. I might actually die from the cringe. Sweet, sweet knee child says, say no to Coke, kids. Akudin says, you're one step from Trump. You met Farage. Why don't you do it, Sargon? Yeah, why don't you do it? Uh, Hyphen didn't say anything. Deleted. I think it's hyphen. Somebody deleted. Brightroot says, This idiot wants Trump to defend Gamergate LML. The Mao says, You stopped talking about Sargon for a week and now he wants to be on the show. Really activates those almonds. Merlot Williams says, This is why no one takes you seriously, Sargon. Aaron Kokenauer says, Cold takes so bad they destroyed the global warming. KTTK says, Igor V wants in. Let him join his master. Did he? I didn't see him if he actually wanted in. So... All right. Let me see here. Uh, where was that? Cheddar Cheese says, How does Soygon dig himself deeper in the autism hole with every word? Sparkmeister says, Jim hurt Sargon's feelings. Baron Barbatos or Barbados says, Sargon went full, full, <laughs> excuse me, Kurt Eichenwald. Uh, I misspoke there for a second. Holy shit, he said. CPB221 says, Please ask him what he meant when he said after the Spencer debate that he felt like he was kicking a puppy. Yeah, slip of the tongue there on the, uh, on the last uh, super chat. Pa apologies, of course. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, you, you read so many in a row sometimes. Sometimes it slips happen, you know. All right. Plantation Sensation says, Carl, get help. Paul says, Sargon deserves respect for putting his head above the parapet. He's on a lot of UK SAW groups radar now and could end up like Tommy R. and Dankula. KTTK says, it's Sar Sargon, the rock and roll skeptic. He does cocaine. IT Weave says, member Kekistan, member YouTube atheism. Karanak says, Paul, no one gives a shit. Dragonzord69 says, go for the juggler, Jim. His gypsy handler can't help him. Old Angry Nomi says, wellness check on Gator. He may have OD'd on Bleach. Yeti Freight says, gee golly, Mr. Spencer, ruined this man permanently. What a dumpster fire. I feel bad for Carl now. Hashtag God Emperor Medicare. Hashtag Ralph is real. Hashtag Balvini12. Son of Tiamat says, Sargon acts like an ex obsessive ex-girlfriend trying to make Jim jealous by conspiring to fix himself up with Trump senpai while plotting to destroy the popular girls, a.k.a. the alt-right. Chris Hill says, stop getting so triggered at Sargon, Jim. Addicted420 says, Carl wants you guys to help start Gamergate again so he can be relevant again. Laughing my fucking ass off. Ha ha ha. And then a bunch of shit emojis. Lord Akira says, 24-hour collective internet ops, guys. Quan RM Klein says, Carl Puberty has nothing to do with age of consent. Lucky Contrarian has a smiley face with a gun pointed next to it. Laura Harvey says, did Bannon put this in your head, Sargon? I, yeah, we wondered that. 
IT Weeb says, Jim wanted to go at, at Soigoy for the grooming shit, but then he realized letting Carl talk does far more damage. Uh, Alarius says, if he was going to do this, wouldn't something ongoing like Comus Gate be a better choice? Excuse me, Charlie Willis says, I hope Jim finally wipes the floor with the, so floor with the soy father. Get bent, Sargon. Ali says, Coma may be Miss Gamergate, so I want a version 2. I do not. I, I don't know. Version 2, no. It's just... It's just not, I don't know, it's kind of insane. Uh, Mark Don says, Dion says, Sargon wants to make a new enemy because he fears the gym and the alt-right. Daniel Minifrego says, Soygon of Bubbles is a big brain nibba. You brainlets just don't understand the depths of his 20-year plan. Chris Cross says, old man boomer Sargon. Gamergate is dead and Trump will not gain anything from a dev dead movement that Jim helped create. Move on, old man boom. Old man boom. I've never heard of that before. Apocalypse Lemon said, I can't afford this Sargon. 7,000 people are watching you plot an op on the biggest video platform online. If it happens, they'll all point to this. You'll be an idiot. No one will care. Nick Kicken says, Jim is sounding like a cunt and Sargon is being a pushy. It's like two Vag men having a sleep boxing fight. Leapshin is lolling at this. Winner, Leapshin, loser, all of us. H.R. Uh, Hacken says, hello, this is Bully Hunter 1488. We're about to start a bully hunt. Dizzy Dizzle says, wait, what? Just tune in. What the fuck? Why did I miss this? Antarctic says, Ralph, launder the shit out of this, daddy. Andrew Benz didn't say anything, but gave a super chat. Thank you. Definitely Lex says, is this a troll? I don't think it was. No. WT says, why? W why? FBI investigates Gamergate. Why? 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 What am I even listening to? Why is he chuckling? Pluto says, in the media says, idea discussed and streamed by racist British man makes it to Trump Twitter feed because you're talking about this publicly. Yeah. Apache Chief says, so how often do you think Sar Sargon Sargon says, will you let me finish, Jim, while jacking off to his wife getting railed? The Dacian chronologue says, I stop hating on boomers. Y'all over 14 already. Alex Blackfoot says, I come back to talk of Gamergate. What year is it? 2014? Groovy Snake says, Trump bringing up Gamergate at this point has no strategic value whatsoever. Sargo is a, is a disruptive agent at this point. Disavow. Chikai says, Sargon looked disgusting. Smug chuckling in his cheap suit before the EU. Very disrespectful. Too Many Cuck says, is this a UKIP PSYOP? Akujin says, cocaine is a hell of a drug. 68 Toast says, Sargoon, you are a degenerate idiot. I like the Spikeman says, Jim, internet, <laughs> internet insanity, Sargon win. Ali says, Baron Trump is a gamer. Use him to get to Trump. Lucky Contrarian says, this is more autistic than that time you had some guy on. Lord Akira says, guys, I think I'm having a stroke from all of this. CPB221 says, Sargon, I'm very serious. I have a suit. Sargon gets rejected from politics. Sargon, let's own the libs and bring back Gamergate. Beaner Brigade says, Sargon on 24-hour coke ops. Chikai says, I think we've hit peak gay. Omer Oknod says, Ralph, how does this level of content just fall into your lap? Is this fucko really begging openly for a personal army? Yeah, we've had a lot of good content just absolutely just fall in our laps, and it continues to happen. And I really hope it keeps happening because it's been great. <laughs> uh, Cedon Desert says, Jesus Christ, this is so dumb. Sargon really can't get over Gamergate, can he? I don't know. It appears that way. Simon X says, Sargon is trying to destroy the alt-right. Redeem him plus skeptics by juxtaposing the alt-right with them and using media scrutiny that Trump would get my tweeting Gamergate leading to pur to a purge big picture. Uh, WT says, this will either be the worst or the best Ralph retort this week. Jesus Christ. LF Quest says, Sargon sounds like Charlie trying to explain Pepe Silva. He's trying to use a corpse of a movement to prop up his dying channel. Joey says, doesn't Sargon realize that Gamergate is dead? It's four years old now. The movement doesn't exist. Asking Trump to comment on it is like asking him to comment on Watergate. Does Sargon have Alzheimer's? Yeah, that was my whole point throughout the whole conversation that... Yeah, if Gamergate was on and active, getting him to comment on it might be feasible. I don't really think it's either feasible or, or really wanted at this point. It just doesn't seem that logical. I, I talked about this while he was on. I just, it just doesn't really make sense. Uh, Euler108 says, Sargon, you're retarded and insane. Zemeckis Lebowski says, old Gamergate head here. Just let it die, Sargon. Dobu says, Sargon of Applebee sounds a lot like Brianna Wu, but gayer. <laughs> 
Next, he's going to bring up Moon Rocks. Seriously, Carl, nobody cares about Gamergate anymore. Build it, says Sargroom of a kid. John R., Super Chat, didn't say anything. Tog Professor says, digging up Gamergate just sounds like Soygon trying his hardest just to be relevant. Him and Monday Matt riding on their old Gamergate fame. It's pathetic. Dad92 says, put chat in slow mode, you fuck. I will never do that. Chat's not going in slow mode. Chat, tell them to fuck slow mode. We'll never do that. Just let it out now. Slow mode. What? Huh? Never. I mean, sometimes I won't be able to read it because of that. But no, we're not doing slow mode. We are not. Now, I did, I did take one room on the Discord and put that in slow mode. So one chat I put in slow mode on Discord just so I would. Uh, there were people, you know, doing a bunch of image stuff. So I did do that at one point, but. Uh, Chakai says Sargon has gone full circle and become Brianna Wu. Bex Fire says, "Come on, Carl must be trolling you guys with this goofy covert op idea of that, or he's gone full retard." Dicker John says, "SJW's games are dying on the open market. Is GG even needed?" Heather S says, "Carl's ideas equals interview with mainstream media. It'll be great. Create a new party and let's call it Liberalist. It'll be great. Pick a fight with Jim. It'll be great. Get Trump to tweet about Gamergate. It'll be great. Also, no, I cannot be bothered to support Tommy Robinson." Fuck you, Google. This is just sad. Shauna Olson says, leave our president alone. Fix your own country. Uh, Debrika Goodman says, someone needs to shoot Sarkoon of Farcod on the joke is on them when I was just pretending to be retarded meme. Do it, Reddit. Old Angry Nomi says, 4 p.m. PM and I've started drinking, thinking about this half-ass public op. A few dozen shots and it might start sounding like a good idea. Samantha Hyde says, look on the bright side, gentlemen. At least he's not trying to bring back Kekistan. Well, he still talks about that all the time. So, Karen Nealon says, Sargon's gay Trojan horse attempt to distract from his sheer stupidity. Uh, Langer Lord has a bunch of pictures of... I can't tell what that is. It's out of fucking... What is that? A brontosaurus? Oh, a sauropod. I didn't even realize that was a fucking emoji. A sauropod emoji. Dinosaur emoji. Oh, it's for the dinosaur. Okay, I got it. His wife's dinosaur. Uh, Nani Dotto says, we are anonymous. We are legion. Piss off Sargon. Chikai says, not your personal army. Guns down in hell says, what is the payoff? Uh, what is the payoff? A laugh is not good enough. Lone says, Ralph check DMs. Demand 7777 says, come on, gay ops. Apache says, Sargon, Carl, please stop. Richard Spencer is right, but who cares? I know your feelings are hurt between him and Jim, but it does get better. It's not your fault, man. Step away from the ledge. Still burning studios says, Sargon, we ordered mozzarella sticks. When we got here and still haven't got them, I want to see your manager. Asho says, this is the makeup shotgun of movements. Uh, Shabo Shekel says, anything Sargon touches turns to death just like his career. Dave says, Sargon is a fucking idiot. I can't believe I used to respect this guy. PC Principal says, ask Sargon how many days he's been awake snorting cocaine. Tog Professor says, ideas like this got Soygon fired from Applebee's. Commodus X says, tweet at Trump that Sargon's a terrorist. Okay, thumbs up. Spurgon of Kokostan says, why come to Ralph? Just do it yourself. Criss Cross says, Soygoon is that old man that is shaking his fist at the moon. Soygoon. Booker T. Booker T in the chat, five-time world champion, says it would be funnier to see Trump denounce Sargon. That would be pretty funny, too. Recovery Nama says, this is a ploy by Sargon to get you guys to stop making fun of him. He wants you to focus on this Gamergate 2.0 instead of going after him. What a faggot. Dave says, lost all respect for him forever. Cheeseburger, Walrus didn't say anything. Weston Redwood says, Sargon needs more dopamine. Oswald 2020 says, will Sargon deny the fact that he drinks foreskin tea on Sabbath? Dizzy Dizzle says, who can say where the road goes, where the day flows? Only Tom. And who can say if your love grows as your heart chose? Sargon, no. Jaker uh, 17 says, let's forget about our egos. Is hilarious coming from fat gay Riker. <laughs> Uh, Andrew Panarella says, I need a drink after that cringe fest. Sargon, what the fuck? Chris Hell says, Sargon, not trolling Ralph. Trolling the SJW article writers that watch your stream. There are still media place pieces talking about Gamergate. It's alive for the left. Conran Black says, he's doing it to get shielded from trolling. Uh, not a good, I don't think that's going to succeed, but if that's the case. Zeitgeist Official says, not many shekels today, lads. And I joined at the tail end of the Soy Father's call to arms. Is he trying to fuck the dead horse back to life? Uh, yeah, he is. Google is bad. It's his theory. Sargon Spurgeon has alienated him from 
many groups, and all he has left is to try to start Gamergate again. Imagine how desperate he must be to go back on everything he has said. Hugs and kisses. He'll turn news, says, Where's my $5, JF? Asma Hound says, UK fan, finally awake to throw money at you. Love your stuff as a fellow Ralph. I fully support your Ralph Amel status. Thank you, Asma Hound. Kenny Jones says, Sargon's plan is theoretically possible, but the overall benefits wouldn't justify the trouble would be involved. I'm confused. Dractonus, good video, Dractonus, minus the audio. I turned it up a little bit. Says, JF and Andy could do a charity show next heel stream. Yeah, I really think that would be fun. Keon Green says, how about instead of Gamergate 2, we do NSDAP 2. Chikai says, show us your grabber, grabbler, JF. Noble Savage says, JF equals 100% Pakistani. I might have to hit on him if that was true. But Dave says, Sargon is so out of it. He is just embarrassing us from the UK. Now, if I'm part, I am part of UKIP, but Sargon is an embarrassment now. Love the kill stream, Ralph. Thank you very much, Dave. I appreciate that. Mr. Man says, JF doesn't want to share his potato chip money. Lord of Curious says, Sargon's... Hold on. Uh, <laughs> 1,200... Wait, 1,020... Wait, 100... 125,617D chess. Very easy for me to say. The Dacian chronologue says... A Dakian chronologue, excuse me, says you let Jim feed him so 19 points out the window. Let me search and save that because I have more to read. Let me look and see where that was. Uh, how far was that? Uh, ah, fuck it. Let's finish. Puppet Pal Clem says, Sargon, I think your problem is you're full of shit. Andrew Connor says, your volume is kind of low. Is that on my end? It might be on my end. Uh, sometimes with this new mic, if I'm not right up on it, it'll be it'll be even lower. Uh, Valkyrie Slayer 11 says, Sargon came out as an autist on National Coming Out Day. Spike Tra Strat 13 says, Shillop De Shekel. Ear Juice says, Come on, Boogie 1488 song for outro after that clip. OBGYN Kenobi says, Where will this be posted for those of us who are at work earlier? It'll be posted right there. I'll probably leave it up here for at least 24 hours. But it'll be posted on that archive link that I just now put out. And it'll also be on the podcast site. Uh, see more. And, uh, and there's links in the description, too, for other podcast places. You can get it. Stitcher and iTunes and all that. Seymour says, Sargon, the NPC that sends you on the most useless quest. Apple Fritter says, Better help said Andy Stutter would all be gone. Kyle Dawson says, These shekels are for Mr. Medicar. Forward it. Um, I'm not... Uh, well, uh, okay. Next time I see him, I'll super chat him. How about that? Uh, I mean, next time I see his stream. Give her the D says, The better help guy should go to Comet King Ping Pong. The Bone Zone says, Laughter is stored in the balls. Mr. E-Man TK says, Conspiracy. Remember how the courting called the cops on Boogie for asking him to hire a hitman? I don't think they said he called the cops, did he? I don't know. What would he do if a Magic the Gathering ref asked him what was the best thing about fucking 28 year olds i don't know soft insubordination says this is awesome you guys need to have that law and order sound queued up for every time you guys put shit together the anime alliance says quartering shilling for philly d shekels now h work says andy don't be a brainlet Buggy asked for ne negative experiences in exactly the same way defranco did also kept saying how trustworthy DeFranco is. Salty Pickle says, Philip the Platform, D Platform. Salty Pickle says, Soy Goy of Arlock wants to, the Gamer Gators to restart Gamergate and get Daddy Drump to tweet it to his own libtards. Oh, excuse me, to own the libtards. That makes more sense, yes. Anime Alliance says, Can Jim recommend a lolly anime with decent plot? I don't know if he can. Maybe I'll try to remember that next time. Evan Mollering says, should have gone with it to try and get him to upload a announcing Gamergate 2.0 video. Alternate Keck says, Sargon and Medicare fan. I don't care about drama. I watch both. Too Many Cucks says, Ralph, remember when you said you'd be the last person to leave Gamergate? I don't remember that at all. You're That's fake news. No way. Fake news there. Thank you. Too Many Cucks. Not like I've known you for years, you fucking faggot. All right. Joey Jojo says, I put money... <laughs> I put money... Wait, I put money to that lift because Shannon had big boobs. Yeah, Ferd Reich says, The cats at my rescue are smart enough to know not to shit where they sleep. Of the hundreds I've run fecal exams on, I've never come across one with Toxo. When I do, I may weaponize it in pets too, of course. Some people in chat actually remember that too. False memories. Obviously a false universe that you guys have slipped into. 
like the the Berenstain. Is it the Berenstain? I may be quoting wrong. <sighs> Apache Chief says, looking at the Venti leaks, holy fuck, this is a flashback to that guy making coconut bread with a katana. Spike Tra Strat 13 says, Venti's apartment smells of cat piss, socks, and soil pads. Big Guy Project CIA says, uh, Sterans also mess up, mess with... Mess up your head. Okay. It, it's it's choppy. Not my fault. Hormones are going haywire and affect the mood. I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't do PCT and had high estrogen. Uh, Yeah, we did talk about... Uh, well, I have some info on that. Anyway, I can't talk about it right now. Lord of Cure says, Is a 10-minute video about some Pajit Canadian rubbing his Canadian... Rubbing his genitalia against a television screen entertaining? The answer is no. Salty Pickle says, Niger Ralph. Skelton says, Jim, let Jade come on the kill stream. You can't deny your lady the right to patrol e thoughts. Kaner says, Trump tweeting he enjoys kill stream on YouTube. Oh. Sano Sanoski says, Jade versus Venti tonight at 11. Make it happen, Ralph. Flamenco says, Get Jade on. Blood for the Blood God. Groovy Snake says, Ralph gets sticks. Carl tried to recruit him earlier. Lord Akira says, I hope Sargon flies to Jim's house and nails his 95 theses on how even more ethics and journalism that need to be employed to Jim's front door. Hashtag GG2. Apocalypse Lemon says, What if he got Bannon to push it to Trump and Trump is already going to tweet it just so he could smugly chuckle? That might be the plan if we give him a lot of credit. Yeah, maybe. Old Anger Normie says, A troll revolves around getting people to take you seriously. Sargon failed from the jump. Jetson says, Everyone tweet, Hashtag Gamergate at Trump. The look on the lib's face will be epic. Quote Sargon. Plantation Sensation says, Still leading him along. Mr. Man says, He won this interaction. He came to get you to talk about him, and he succeeded. Stop talking about him, and he fails. I would argue that the whole show has been a massive success, but uh, Yerman's Bucks, your mom's Bucks, God damn it, your mom's box, fuck, says time to add a new door to the Sargon Reaper image. O, O two one two says Gamer Eight Two Point is actually being talked about on Twitter. What the fuck? This is weird. Maybe part two of his plan is working, or like the rest of us, people are laughing at his stupid. RC smug bastard self. LOL band says Worski sucks jick dick. JF likes special girls. Universal and Pretty says Gamergate, Gamergate, Gamergate. You just don't understand Gamergate. Mike Nolan says sorry for the personal words, cunt. Uh, TJD says JF and Andy, star cross lovers reunite. Dude bro, McYellow swag says 100% a bad troll. Notice all the time spent on Gamergate too. Uh, 0212 says as a Brit, let me inform you that Sargon is a joke over here in all circles. I, we, wish he'd sawed off completely. He's a laughable turd. Not even funny, really. What a prick. Master Grey 25 says, Null and Marissa struggle one on. We had them both on. Linatar says, You guys would like Sargon if Jim told you to. Try having an original thought once in a while. Jonas Traber says, Soygo interviewed Bannon. He's now one degree of separation from Trump. And uh, I think that's all the super chats. Oh, I need something to drink, not liquor, just something to moisten my palate I got through them all though let me check Streamlabs just to double check by the way people who are still here thank you for uh, sticking that out and thank you for the super chats and thank you for watching as well I think did we I don't know if we broke the viewer record we got really close let me look so we had 8100 so we pretty much tied the viewer record we had another 8100 tonight or this afternoon for sorry, imagine if it was at our regular time slot, we probably would have had 10,000 uh, watching that. If we'd had all day to promote that, there's no telling. No telling what we would have done. I would say that's pretty good for an unannounced stream in the middle of the day. Uh, let's see. Yep, we read them all. Oh, wait, two more. MZ says, cast in the name of God, ye not guilty, and for Donga. Puppet Pal Clem says, Sargon, I think your problem is you're full of shit. I think I already, I already read those. Okay. I read them all. Thank you. I haven't decided. We may or may not put off tonight's show because this ended up being a little bit more of a marathon than I envisioned. I'll, I'll let you guys know on Twitter within the next hour or so whether we're going to do the 10 o'clock show. Uh, I know Venti's scheduled to come on, but we might have to move that to Friday if we don't do it. So, anyway. Oh, I see some people saying do it. Can't do another, do another three hours tonight? Uh, yeah, maybe we'll do it and move it back to 11. I don't know. Oh, what, Randbot's here? 
You know what? Just for just for fun. Rambo, what are you doing? Oh, hey, to him, mate. What are you dragging up the rear here? You know the show's over, right? Oh, well, you know, I've been having a little bit of a personal crisis, mate. A little uh having a night of the long soul, a little bit of personal doubt. Oh, well, what's what's happening? What's going on? Well, I just I I just think I've um I've lost my mojo. I've been out shone, mate. I mean, after seeing Diogenes absolutely um, strip, you know, strip your hide off in an unambiguous, unqualified victory over you, and then That's having tough. Sargon come in today and just blow you out with his superior ideas, I just, I just don't think I can cut the mustard. You know, it's been a hard week here on the kill stream. These people, you know, they keep, they keep coming in and, <laughs> you know, breaking our viewership <laughs> records and, uh, you know. Helping with the super chat uh, contributions to the health of the program. They're really hurting my feelings every single night. I just, I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to continue. Uh, it's, it's, look, it's been, it's, look, it, it, it's sort of blowing my mind because they just, um, they just seem to keep just wandering through the door. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like, all right, Ralph, I'll fucking fight you. Boom. All right, here comes the next jump. All right, Ralph, I'll fucking fight you. Boom. It's, <laughs> It just keeps like, falling like, in my uh, lap, man. It's crazy. I mean, I I do believe there's a there's a sh certain shamanistic um, inclined man who's a big fan of um, oiling himself up and getting near naked and wrestling other men who claims to have a hundred to hundred to zero victory streak. But uh, I think you might actually have a good shot at having that title for real. Well, the kill stream is qu on quite a roll. I have to say, uh, we'll, we'll see how long we can keep it going. But yeah, it's been, just, just think about this week. Okay. So last week was insane. Boogie came on. We had insane show mm. after insane show, you know, big numbers. And it's not all about the numbers. I mean, the shows were actually, I felt like they were quality as well. And then you look at this week and shit's just blown up even further. How it can't, at a certain point it has to stop, right? It can't keep going like this. Can it? Well, that's the thing. Yeah, every time I thought there was, it was going to stop ramping up, something else had land. I mean, the the better health thing just came at the tail end of of uh, the other stuff, and just as everyone's everyone sort of um, done done better health to death, then it turns out, um, you know, I don't. I suspect the Philip DeFranco thing is going to keep rolling on for a while. I think it's going to become a lot more about him. But uh, then Sargon just come. And it just comes running into the room with the mysterious white white powder under his nose, uh, letting everyone know that he's got a brand new idea and he really needs all of you to hear it. But shh, it's a secret. And if you think we ought to keep quiet about it, it's all right. We can just walk it back in front of thousands of people. Yeah, I, I don't know. He was he was so happy and excited about it. I don't think it was a troll. Uh, uh, we talked about this a million times already, but I, I I really think he was he was serious about it. Well, Allow me to be the 100th and 45th person tonight to um, speculate that that uh, happiness may be somewhat chemically stimulated. Yeah, that's, that's been speculated. Uh, I don't know. You know, they do say it causes a little, a little temporary euphoria there. Maybe. I don't know. It you does. know what's funny that's is the, I had a whole uh, list of drama yeah. topics and one of the topics was cocaine. Uh, and we, we, didn't, we didn't get a chance to talk to that, but you know what? I might actually Don't tweet worry. out. I have, a, I have a feeling that topic might be getting revisited very soon. I might actually <laughs> tweet out. Cause I had like, I have a list here. It's nothing huge. It's just a few. Cause I only had two hours to prepare and really only had about an hour. Cause I had to go do something real quick. So I just sit there Man, and fuck, jotted down I'm, some that, stuff. Why even bother with show content when people are just going to keep rolling nice juicy apples your way like this? Yeah, I mean, you really I, mean, I, suppose, do like, I guess you can't. You can't really rest on your laurels and just expect Sargon to walk through the door with a brand new retarded idea every 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 day. But uh, yeah, well, I <laughs> mean, good stuff keeps happening. Um, yeah. Rand, thank you. I'm glad you know well, what. I'm glad I pulled you. Wait, oh, is Negro Joe? Are you actually yeah. still here, Negro Joe? Hey, I saw him in the green room. Oh, I pulled. Hey, him what's in. up? Yeah, what's up? Hey, is, yeah, what's going on? Not much. Let me get uh, my headphones on real quick. Okay. You sounded different. I thought that was fake Negro Joe for a second. That's actually him. Help us close it down, Negro Joe, because I was about to sign off, and I was like, oh, Negro Joe's still there. You need to drag him in for a minute. I just got uh, two things to say. Uh, one, PewDiePie is a child rapist. No, God. I disavow. Go ahead. What's the second one? 
18 naked cowboys in the shower. <laughs> Ram, Ray. <laughs> Big hard dropping cops wanting to be sucked. 18 naked cowboys wanting to be fucked. Oh, yeah, dude. Fuck. Cowboys in the showers at Ram, Ray. All right, that's it. That's it. We're closing it down. Thank you, Negro Joe. Oh, Thank baby. you, Ram, Ray. Thank you all. Farewell. It's just me now. All right, that was pretty good. I have to say. That was excellent, actually. All right, where... Where's the, should I play the, I, I know we still have a, a lot of Aussies, you know, we just had Rambot here as well. So I feel like we should play the, the Aussie <laughs> Negro Joe. That was pretty good. All right. Let's see. I, th I feel like we should play the Aussie farewell. Uh, if I can find it. Ram Ranch. That was the perfect way to end this stream. Just a complete sur surreal environment. Let's play it. Thank you guys. Uh, you know what? You kind of shame me into doing a show tonight, so I guess we'll do another one. I mean, I don't know if we can do a full one. Yeah, we probably can. We'll probably do a full one. I don't know. Fuck it. We'll figure it out. But we might do it at 11 instead of 10. Even though we've moved to the 10 time slot officially, just to give an extra hour. Because it's so... It's just three hours in between, so we'll probably do it at 11. Not at 10. If... If it happens, I'm leaning towards yes. We'll do it at 11. So. All right. Thank you guys for being so generous and supporting the show with your super chats. Thank you for just having fun. Uh, it's It's been another, it's been another event here on the kill stream. I'll see you guys at 11 p.m. Farewell. Flaggings uh, happen. Okay, okay, we're oh, here. Are, we're are here. we live now? Yes, no, we're live. No, we're. Oh, oh wait, wait. I, I can't. We're, I, I, we're, okay. we're live now. We're live now. We're live now. Yes. We're, we're we're live now. Okay. Yes. All right. Didn't want to speak out of turn. Sorry okay. about getting your fucking channel nuked. Yeah, I mean, it's not even really your fault. I mean, I don't no, know. It's, if... it, it's Monday and Matt's fault. Like, I I I just want to outright say that there's no way. That I'm 100 percent certain Matt did this. One hundred percent. I'm not no benefit of the doubt. Bullshit. Matt did this. I've seen this happen six or seven times. I've seen it happen repeatedly to people that put up videos criticizing Matt. That near instant fucking taneously they get pulled down. There is no way that Matt didn't do this, and I suspect that he did it on all the other ones too. And I, I'd almost encourage people to go look when he got verified. Or he got his little check mark or whatever on YouTube. It seems to be when it really kicked into high gear. Like, you know, once he kind of established himself, like the 100,000 mark, whatever, it, it just seems like over the last year and a half to two years, he is, any video that's really critical of him gets instantly pulled down. I put up videos shitting on diaper furs. I put up videos shitting on autistic people, on crazy people. And the thing that floors me the most is one of the videos that on my channel that got flagged was a 30 second stream bump. For mundane Matt, and it was considered to be um, not age appropriate for anybody under the age of 13, you know, that fucking warning they put up. And all it is is a clip of the boondocks with ad block put over their face. That's it. There's there's no way the, the fucking boondocks clips are up on YouTube by themselves. So I know that they're and they're not in a special category. But if for whatever reason that mysteriously gets nailed. Uh, is it you know, somebody was bringing up earlier, uh, Dame Pesos or whatever? Yes. His videos always getting fucked with. His tweets always getting fucked with. There's, I'm 100% certain it was Matt. And it's just, it's such fucking bullshit. You know, all the shit that he's talked about people like, what, Dick Masterson? Yes. And uh, uh, Alex Jones talking about, oh, well, you're violating the toss, man. Or, yeah, the shit you're saying where there's smoke, there's fire, you're racist, and all this kind of crap. Oh, well, what about your funny little clip videos, Matt? Are you a fucking racist? Do you hate black people? Because how do I interpret the video where you're talking about, uh, I don't even want to say it. I don't want to get you flagged again. We'll call them basketball Americans. <laughs> so Matt, when you're talking about the basketball Americans, uh, are, is that is that a joke? Or are you being serious? I don't know. Maybe you're a dangerous individual. I'm seeing clips of you suffocating people on Twitter and YouTube. I don't know what to make of that. Uh, you're you're to write letters to Nicholas Cruz, apparently. I'm scared, Matt. I, I don't know there, where there's smoke, there's fire, right? But the insane thing is, this was a video. Okay, we played a video. Of course, the video is a little blue, I guess we could say. Uh, but this was a video that was up on Monday Matt's main channel until what? I don't, I don't know what when your tweet came out. Maybe like 
I don't know. This afternoon, late afternoon, it came oh, out. Well, he, first off, I'd like to say that you can thank Kiwi Farms for that because they found it. <laughs> that That's okay. the first thing I'd like to say. Two, okay. I probably should have waited to tweet it because the moment that I tweeted it out, instantly he took it off his fucking channel. I'm certain he has Google Alerts set up for his fucking username. That anywhere that it appears, he's instantly alerted to it. I've, I've known people like that. Um, but no, that was Kiwi Farms that found that. And then I, I saw it and I was like, this is fucking... <laughs> this is great. How can I not, you know, talk about that? But yeah, instantly pulls it down. Uh, the page is archived, though, so he can't deny that the video was ever up. It totally was. It was on his channel for six years. Six years! And he instantly pulls it down once people start paying attention. Probably because he talked a bunch of shit, you know, about other people making jokes and stuff like that, and then you know, how bad it looks for them. Uh, by the way, Monday and Matt, speak of the devil, has has tweeted, and he said, "I'm sorry, I did what? Now I've been hanging with my kid all evening." Yeah, I, this is the story every fucking time. It's weird, right, Matt? You're never around when it gets flagged, but you show up instantly afterwards to say that you didn't do it. Hanging? So if you're so fucking busy with your kid <laughs> and doing shit in real life, how the fuck are you responding to this allegation in the first place? Shouldn't you be busy? Well, Why look, do you always pop up afterwards instantly to say that you didn't do it? Dude, I've given him the benefit of the doubt and some other stuff. Like, oh, well, you know, people fuck around. Maybe, you know, there's no direct proof or whatever. But the quickness that the stream was taken down with and just, you know, and we've gotten DMs that Dan's gotten some DMs that said he was in the actual chat, that he was he, he was there. No, Matt. No, 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 Ralph. Matt was hanging with his kid. Yeah, no, exactly. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. Matt was like... trying to hang a kid? What? Yeah, he was out doing hangings <laughs> with his kid? <laughs> oh, shit. The polar bear is one thing. Come on, man. I'm a... <laughs> You're taking it too far, buddy. Actually, I've let a lot of shit go with him, and I, you know, I talked about this earlier. I'm not going to go into it completely, but you know, he slandered me. He slandered my wife, um, and you know, he apologized, quote-unquote. You know, He came on kind of groveling about it, and I was like, all right, let it go, let it go. Because I'm just that, I'm kind of that kind of dude, and for him to do this strike, I mean, it's just... Uh... Well, am I, am I crazy here? It just, it feels like, I, I swear to God, it feels like every time a video comes up that shits on him or makes fun of him or points something out, it's pulled instantly. Your stream played that video, and within 30 seconds of the video ending, your stream instantly goes down. It's just, it's, it's too much of a coincidence, you know? Parenthesis, parenthesis, parenthesis. <laughs> I, it's just, it's a little too much for me to take. If it was once or twice and or oh. three or four or five or 17 times, maybe it's a coincidence. But when you're sitting at like number 4,832, it's about time you say, maybe Matt's got a fucking hand in it. Uh, he's not tweeting that. Uh, he says, quote, nothing quite like being accused of something you didn't do. And then the threats against your kids start to pour in. I don't Jesus. give a fuck. I'm I didn't say terrifying. What, what, oh my God. what threat against your kid? What the fuck is he talking about? That's Why are all these people turned into Anita? Why do why do I feel like I'm on the other side now? It's so fucking weird. We threats against your kid. Put down the pipe. <laughs> That's what threat. I don't even understand where that comes into play. A, a threat against your kid. I mean, obviously, you know, I'm sure. You're gonna be like, oh, some anonymous Twitter user that nobody knows with a random account said something. Oh, okay. I mean, look, assuming that is even actually his kid. I mean, that might be a big assumption. Uh. And of course, I have nothing. I have nothing hanging, but hanging with his wife's son. Yeah, I have nothing but sadness for that child in the first place. If it's actually his kid, and just I hope the best, you know, you know, please. But I, I don't know, man. The, this the whole thing. And the oh, wow. I, I want it. I want get. Can you get him on? Would you bring him on? I want sure. to hear his side of this. I want I to hear him 100%. try to defend himself. I, I really do because it's too much of a fucking coincidence. Jim, I've, I messaged him earlier. So once you did your tweet, it was hilarious, and we haven't seen you, you know, in over two weeks. I guess one day, so about fifteen days, we haven't seen you. People were legit speculating, oh, Jim, you know, maybe he's not coming back. Maybe he's, you know, you had some problems or whatever. Like maybe he's passed away. I mean, you saw this stuff too, and. So, so you come back in your first tweet back is, is that Monday Mad video. And so, you know, it's funny. And I'm laughing about it. I quote tweeted well, yeah, him. Yeah, that's, that's a fucking thing I don't get about Matt. I'm sorry to interrupt. But like, that's a thing I don't get about Matt. You know, he has these old videos and people find them and they actually chuckle. They're like, okay, I didn't know he'd yeah. do something like that. Or there's leaked audio where he's shitting on people, calling them plastic whores. And people are like, oh, okay, that's more interesting. I'm looking at his metrics and he's getting... You know, between a thousand to ten thousand views a video on a hundred and sixty thousand account. 
maybe it's time to drop the I'm the nice guy middle of the road shit and just talk like a normal fucking person and just talk like you obviously do when you're not making a YouTube video because I don't see how that's working out for you. You've, you he's complained himself about how his view count is just it's it's fucking tanked, right? It went from like 2 million a month to 1 million a month and he's worried it's going to dip below that. Like why why keep up the pretense? Why play pretend? Why not make content and be yourself and you know, uh not this cookie cutter mundane individual. Like I don't understand why he sticks to it. Yeah, that's what we were talking about before we went live is that he rides the fence sort of like like Philip DeFranco rides the fence. The difference being, of course, that Philip DeFranco gets guaranteed 1 million views per video and uh, Monday Matt gets like a thousand and a half if he's lucky, right? So I understand people riding the fence and sort of being middle of the road, mainstream presentable if you're making a ton of money doing it. But if you're someone like Monday Matt who's going going to his studio every day to, to make four or five videos to get a cumulative 20,000 views and you're getting like nothing in return for it, what why even keep doing it? It's obviously not not a passion project. What what motivates you to keep going? Why not just just actually be a real person? Well, it that's more, like, it's better when he does that. I mean, he actually has something to offer. He's actually funny when he when he cuts loose. Yeah, go ahead, Jim. No, I was gonna say he reminds me of Wings. Like he he reminds me of a dude that's trapped and feels like he's trapped. Like I can't break out of the content that I do because the people that are loyal won't watch it, and. If I try to do something different, I run a risk of it not going well. But like, there has to be a point you reach where you're not getting anything in return. Who cares about the loyal people that show up when your your channel's dying? I mean, he's using it. He's it, like, this is his profession, right? Or this is his job? Yeah. So like, I don't understand why he'd stick to what he's sticking to. It just it, to me, it doesn't make any sense. hear me but um so I, i'm actually he he's sending me messages right now um sorry wait okay. so you muted yourself on stream so they can't hear you no they can hear me now they can hear me now i i, I just did it because my keyboard is so fucking loud oh okay. i was gonna say like how do i respond to that if i yeah. respond to you they're gonna like, be like click click click, click click yeah it's just <laughs> click 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 um but yeah he, he's messaging me now um I, I still feel bad about revealing. Anyway, he's saying it's not him. That's, that's That would be the gist of it. I'll send him the Hangout link. By the way, outside of this circle, so I just want to point this out, if, if the Hangout link gets leaked, you know, he's the only other one that has it. Um, so if he if he would like to come on, just... Well, just... wait, Ralph, I, I posted the link on Gab and said, hey, <laughs> uh, this is a live stream of Jews talking about banking. <laughs> Uh, here's the hangout link, and I don't know if that means they're going to get anybody or not. I don't know. We'll you see. Know, the vibe on Gab. Yeah, we'll see what happens. They're Never pretty chill over there. Back. Yes, we'll see. <laughs> so we'll see. Reasonable he, people. He, he basically said, "Oh, he's just chilling with his daughter." Look, man, if it was just if it was just you know me, uh, there's just so many instances, and I've resisted. There's been so many people. Dane Pesos, you mentioned him. There's been others, and they say, well, You should bring that guy. Have you had him on yet? Yeah, we had him on uh, a while back, but yeah, he was on. And, you know, he was saying, Monday Matt flagged me, Monday Matt flagged me, and, you know, honestly, I pretty much believed him. But well, yeah, if you look at the timing of it all, it's too... Yeah, but I couldn't, co like, I couldn't say 100% he did it, you know what I mean? So I wasn't going to co-sign it with everything, but I let him come on, he said his stuff. But it's not just him, it's other people. Godwinson. Got flagged, uh, and by the way, Godwinson hasn't even been around for a while, but he got flagged a lot. Um, and it's just easier when you have that check mark to to get in touch with people, and just the quickness, man. With oh, wow, who put it, up that Kilroy video that got flagged? Oh boy, here we go. Which video? The the video about Kilroy that uh, had Matt in it that got flagged. Was that you, Jim? I, I had one so, Kilroy video go down. Yeah, right before it. Well, it was right before the ball pit video. It was. It started off with the crowd video, and then there was a second crowd video, and then right before the Kilroy video, uh, shit started getting flagged on my account. Which I suspect, honestly, in that one, I think it's based Mama, but I can't. I can't prove that shit. Matt, you're here. Yeah, apparently people have been uh, been saying some shit about me tonight. That is uh, really not fucking true. Well, let me repeat it verbatim so you can hear what I've said. I okay. suspect that you flagged Ralph. I find it to be too much of a coincidence that it seems like any time a video goes up, 
uh, that's shitting on you or making fun of you or pointing out something that you've already done, that it really very quickly, sometimes within an hour or less, gets pulled down. Now, Ralph has a stream. We play some audio and some clips from you. And within 30 seconds, it goes down. Now, you could say, well, it's a, it's an algorithm. There's something in the video triggered it. I but don't believe you, it's an algorithm. Yeah, because you had that video up on your channel for six years that yeah. nothing ever happened yeah, exactly. to exactly. Exactly. That's the whole thing is like, I don't think it was an algorithm, but there are people out there that like were doing this shit. Like, I look, there are, there are tons of videos people have made about me over the years, right? I can't control what anyone says or anyone thinks, right? I have no push over that whatsoever. I don't, I, if I flag a video, I admit that I flag it and I flag cognitive thought because that was a straight fucking rip. And that's the whole point. So if shit like that gets taken, I'll take it down. But if people have opinions and crap, that's a different story. I have no I'm not, I'm not even that. talking about like I, I, uh, with the no. cognitive thought one where he, he just straight uploaded something again. I, I, I'm not even talking about that one, no, but it no, seems I like don't. any, any time a video that makes fun of you, uh, I, I made pesos, uh, Ralph's stream. I, I've seen it with like, six or seven videos now and that was the first time i've seen it with the stream and the weird thing to me is you'll say stuff like i'm not around when this happens it wasn't me that did it but then almost immediately after it happens you're suddenly available to say that you didn't do it which is really weird if you well, weren't around if you were doing something how are you responding so quickly to people saying you did because generally what happens is i spend most of my day online and then in the evenings i hang out with my girlfriend and my kid and then around nine o'clock this is when they go to bed so that's usually when people are like, oh, hey, can you come on a stream? I'm like, yeah, I have nothing else going on. I'll jump on because I'm up until two o'clock in the morning doing other shit. So I'm generally around most nights. I don't really leave my house much because I work from home and I'm with my kid like 90 percent of my day. So earlier tonight, I went out like Ralph messaged me like when you posted that little video clip or whatever, I was getting ready to go run errands. Did that for a couple hours, came home, had dinner, watched so Rachel Maddow. So you saw Maddow. that message. You saw that yeah, message. I saw the message. Wait, you watched wasn't... Rachel Maddow? Anyway, yeah, holy, just, wow, that's so, the biggest so, admission of the night. I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, I'm just saying, I'm just, look, I'm I'll just saying, I'm that, look, I messaged you earlier, and yeah, I was just fucking around. Earlier. First off, I was dead serious that if you actually brought back this fucking polar bear. This fucking that, thing is so goddamn stupid, too. No, Jesus, but that would be the best thing you could ever do. Anyway, I messaged you. I yeah, no, you. I, I got it. I got it as I was out. You didn't respond was, though. You didn't respond. I, was, no, I said, "Look, I, I said, that. Matt, we're gonna talk about this tonight. No, I you're gonna talk we about have it. to I, talk I, about it. Jim's <laughs> been gone for you know two weeks, over two weeks. He come he comes back yeah. with that. Of course, we're gonna have to yeah. talk about it. It's, no, it's fine. Hilarious. I figured, I know you were gonna talk about it. I was just sitting there going, but like, you I didn't respond. But you didn't respond at all. Because I, so. I wasn't home when I got it. I was on my way to go like pick rocks, literally. You know, so it's like I'm fucking serious. It's just I've been busy all night, and then. I get home, I hang out, I watch a little bit of news, see what's going on, help with my my daughter, and then all of a sudden my fucking Discord starts blowing up my phone with these messages and Joaquin drawing my name on his nutsack. And I'm like, what the fuck is happening? I literally have no goddamn idea. I check Twitter and it's just like, you fucking took down Ralph's stream. Like, no, I didn't. I literally didn't, man. I have no fucking idea. Now, Jim, I understand what you're saying. And I've, and I've actually publicly stated this on Twitter a couple of times. There was a time period where people were making videos like Godwinson and Dane Pesos, and those videos did come down. I did not have anything to fucking do with that shit. Somebody's going out there and flagging this crap, and I swear to God, I have no idea. I publicly said on multiple streams, stop doing it. I've tweeted, stop doing it, and people keep doing it, and then I keep getting blamed. And there's literally no way for me to, to prove I didn't do it. But I can honestly God tell you, like, there's videos that are still up there from last year when Dave Cullen made his video response to me that people are calling me a pedo supporter or, or a pedo apologist those are still up there you think if someone's making fun of me crying over getting a silver play button i would rather have that thing go down than someone calling me basically a pedophile like well, there's well, okay let me ask you this matt because i, I want to switch topics here for a second then we'll get sure. back to it um i mean you've made statements in relation to, to alex you know, i've been gone for a while so I'm, I'm going on here so maybe it's wrong but uh, where you you stated, from what I understand, that you think Alex Jones violated toss, so it was rightful that he got dismissed. Yeah. No, I was pulling. I was pulling out the. Uh, it's more of the reference to the James Gunn situation, where like I don't think he should have been fired, but people are just like he'll live by the sword, die by the sword. So then, when their hero gets busted for something something similar, I'm kind of just you know asking for consistency. I don't think Jones should have been pulled down from anything. Uh, I just find it to be really funny. And then with Dick Masterson, um. Did you make statements? Of, I, I don't know if what people were saying. That's why I threw it at the end of the little PSA thing where there's smoke, there's fire. Were you making statements about Masterson's sense of humor and some of the shit that he said and saying that maybe that's indicative of uh, behavior on his part? I have said that I don't think he's a good person. 
Why don't you think he's a good person? Because I, I, because I just don't think he's a good person. I've seen, uh, you know, I mean, I was wrong about the fucking lawsuit. I'll admit that, but I don't, I don't have to like the guy as a person. So I don't talk about Dick Masterson. He gets brought up to me all the fucking time. You know, like the other day I was like, look, I'll talk to you privately about this if you want to handle it. And he's like, come on my show. And then Ralph's like, come on my show. And then Ben from DP is like, come on my show. And I'm like, I don't want to come on anyone's show to fucking talk this shit out. We can talk this out like adults and just talk it out. And that's the whole point. So it's like ever since then, I and then I deleted that video and I've just been moving on. I don't engage. But he with has it. no relationship with you, right? So why he, no, wouldn't he's got, you want to no, handle he's got no relationship. Public. So I'm like, so I'm like, why wouldn't you want to handle in public? Because, because things can as be I've said, because as I've said before, as I've said before, the whole point there is that someone I view someone like Dick as a person who will not be able to actually control himself and who'll go into that particular temper mode, right? Because he loses his fucking shit. I know I've heard his rants against me. So and it's like, you know, he just goes off on the fucking hand. I'm like, look, if you want to have a so conversation, why don't you just this, come on and I'm talk fine. to him? Because like, I don't think that's going to I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think we're going to get a legit conversation. I mean, what's it going to hurt your channel? If anything's going to uh, help you, why don't you? Just I don't go really, on and I don't really care about that at all. It's not about that to me. It's like the same thing with with, uh, uh -huh. you know, going on what the Kumite for fifteen hundred dollars. Like, I don't give a shit about that. Like, it's more fun to watch people get mad about that than it is actually go on there. But. Yeah, I'm more or less I more or less keep to myself. I might have made some statements. I'm honest to God, just trying to keep the fuck to myself recently. And that's really about it. But somebody out there, I think somebody out there knows that there are people out there that don't like me. And so when shit comes up, they fucking act. And then it looks like I did it. And there's no way for me to, to, to claim that I didn't do it. But I've literally just been like trying to fucking keep to myself. Like, let me just do my thing. And that's that. Okay, you understand how this looks, though, right? No, I do. I get the optics. But Jim, you've known me for four fucking years, right? Like you've known me for at least you've known uh, at least who I am for four years. Well, yeah, I know of you, Matt. I mean, it's no, not like we're we're no, not like we're friends or not like we've ever really hung out. But you you generally tend to know. I would like to think you generally tend to know my character. Yeah, but Matt, what I, what I'm saying to you, and I, again, I'm being straightforward with you here. I get it. It feels like too much of a fucking coincidence that every time a video goes up, it gets pulled down. And I've seen people do flagging campaigns. I've seen people bot spam. I've seen people. Do I don't. Shit yeah, I know. I know. Man. Wait, 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 to get channels and videos taken down, and I've never seen it happen that fast. It never goes down that fast. The only thing that gets something pulled that fucking fast is somebody having an in at YouTube, or somebody having a, a verified high sub account. Trust Those me, if, if you if, or maybe if there's like nudity or something, you know, you don't, like here's, here's the thing. You don't get you're being verified on YouTube. You don't get anything. There's there's no special treatment. You the only thing you get is like you get an email to like contact them directly. But you get that at 100. Well, well, well yeah, let's be honest here, Matt. Yeah, there so, are there are special perks when you hit a certain number on YouTube. You get an in with a direct person at YouTube that works with you if you want them to. You get a direct chat mm, feature with YouTube if you want it. This is shit that shows up on my account. I don't use it, but it's I there. haven't. Got, well, I've gotten the the direct person to work with YouTube is like, I did that one time and it was like the stupidest thing on the planet. The guy didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. So that was like, that's just someone they have there. Who's like, it's meant to be this like, Oh, can we help you? But they don't do shit. Uh, the one-on-one -on -one communication aspect that is nice, but uh, I've only hit them up bitching about like monetization issues. You know, I don't have any. Yeah. Yeah. Know. But, to, but to say that there's not an end, there is. Well, what I mean, what I mean by that is like, there's no special treatment. Like I, this whole, like, you know this this theory that I have a, I have a verified check mark on on YouTube that means that I'm gonna go and I have special treatment to take shit down. You know what I mean? Like one of my videos got uh, got community guideline strike. I had to go to trusted flagger to get him to help me try to get it undone. Okay, I couldn't go through YouTube myself. I had to go through a third party. So it it, it everything I've witnessed. If there is that perk, I don't fucking know about it. I'm not with a network anymore, so I can't contact the network to like protect my ass. Or whatever the it's fuck built into your, it's built into your account it's a it's a ingrained feature in your account yeah also that's what I'm talking about. It, 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 it gives you reports when you report something with a verified account that has a check mark oh, it really? gives a lot more weight to your yes it does i didn't know and that it, in fact I, just, I, just I, last I, week they just last week they rolled out the like content recognition feature after your account reaches a certain threshold so there are perks and they do oh, value yeah. well that yeah that that, that they sent me they sent me about but that only that only applies though that doesn't apply to uh i because i did i i wanted to see what was up there and it's just people who have wholly ripped my content like a wholly uploaded right. video content right but the, the point being though yeah. that it changes the nature of your account within the google system oh, see, i didn't so know that it gives more weight to your reports okay that's see, that's new on me i didn't know i literally see, but Matt, i mean e even with you saying that uh you know like you you talk a lot about knowing the ins and outs of youtube didn't you write a fucking book about it about social media and shit 
I, that was like six years ago. Yeah, yeah but I mean, you yeah, studied this, so it's weird for me to yeah. believe that you wouldn't know about these features on YouTube when I you know, wrote a book about social media and you're so invested in analytics. I'm invested in analytics, but, but that's the thing. I'm only invested in the analytics. I'm only invested in the hard data. Other than that, I don't really care. Like, I mean, I did the VidCon Pro badge or industry badge to go and learn more about where things are at and what's going on. Other than that, man, like I, I generally just tend to do what I do. Uh, people out there have had problems with me. I got into it with Ethan and Skyver last week, made a public apology over that thing because I was wrong. And like, all right, cool. I'm like legitimately just trying to like, you know, fucking just keep to myself at this point. Like, and then somebody is doing this shit and then I'm getting the blame for it, which sucks because there's nothing I can do. So, I mean, that's it. I don't fucking flag anything. If you're doing it, stop it. Okay. Well, I mean, those, those those are my questions, and I mean, this is this happened to Ralph, so I want Ralph to have his. Yeah, his I just set. don't understand how you can sit here and say, "Oh, I don't know." I mean, you have James House, we have Medicare; those are also you know big you know sub accounts yeah, I'm, here. And, I'm not, and, and they know all this stuff, and you're and you're just saying, "I don't even know what they're talking about." Oh, oh, what really? I I didn't understand. I, I didn't know that was the case. Dude, um, I haven't it, even it, migrated over to the new custom studio yet. I like the old one. You know, like I, I, I just stick with what works for me. I do what I do. And that's that. Uh, I mean, you know, like if if I if there were videos I wanted to take down, like I probably could. There's been some videos out there that I've like, all right, you know, whatever. I don't do this shit because I just don't care enough. Like if you want to fucking talk about me, talk about me. That's fine. Like I'm a public person. I put myself out there like this shit. Sometimes it gets annoying because I see some stuff that's blatantly untrue. But it's like, all right, whatever. I'm just going to move on with my fucking day. Like, that's what I was just going to do today. I'm like, all right, the fucking forgot about those stupid ass Polly the Polar Bear videos from like December of 2012, you know? And I'm like, all right, well, I might as well fucking pull those things down because they're stupid for one. And two, it's like way old shit. So there's that. And then I'm like, I'm just going to let that be. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to tweet about it. I just put out my statement and then I'm going to go do my thing. And that's that. And I'm then just saying, it's, really, it's really hard to believe what you're saying. I mean, I mean uh, so I, somebody in chat said, uh, Matt, you flagged Nick and you admitted to doing it. Well, who are they talking about? They're talking. Oh, they're talking about uh, Nick Coleman when he posted the climax for my feature film uh, under the title Monday, Matt kill someone. And I had been talking with him on Twitter leading up to that moment where I'm like, will you just pull that thing down and then add some add some fucking shit to it at make it fair use. Otherwise it's not fair use and it's misleading because you titled it Monday and Matt kill somebody, which is clearly not tied to me as Monday and Matt. It was a movie that I made. Uh, and that's the thing I kept asking him. I kept asking him. I kept asking him and he kept being a dick about it. I'm like, all right, fine. You know? So, but the thing is I there, I was openly vocal about it. I told him exactly what I wanted him to do. All he had to do was just, he could sit there, pull it down, re up it with fart noises over it. And I would have been fine with it because at least it's transformative. But he refused to do anything. And so I said, all right, fine. I'm taking it down. And there's that. I'm, op I'm, I'm open about this shit. If I, if I fucking take something like this down, I'm open about it. So why didn't you just, okay, so you're here now. Yeah, you I'm saw here. My if message, if I fucking, you, you saw, if I but wait, but wait, but wait. You saw my message earlier. Of course we were going to so, have fun with it. I mean, it was, it was a yeah, crazy ass video that fun. you uploaded. Uh, I know. Of course we're going to play it. So, so why weren't you earlier? That's the thing. It, it almost seems I, like, oh, I'm going to come in and try to spin afterwards. No, and you I could have just came in at the start. Of course, I, we're going to talk I, I'm about not it. I told you. At the I told yeah, you personally we were going to talk told about me it. me personally. I know that. Like okay, I said, why didn't you respond out. to that? Why didn't you respond to that? <laughs> because I was fucking out. If you saw was, the message, you could, you're saying you couldn't just, you know, shoot off. Dude, dude I live response. in the state of Washington. I live in the state of Washington. It's illegal to be on my, to touch my phone while I'm driving. Oh, I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding oh you. I had I, I like Come I went on. down and picked up boulders today for my front yard. We found a dude in the middle of fucking nowhere who's giving away boulders and went down and got them. So I was out of cell service for a while. Then I had to drive home, unload everything, get dinner. But you're just magically back. here when all this because, shit breaks out. Like that this dude was like fucking oh, this was dude. You messaged me, you messaged me about what uh, five and a half hours ago? Um, I mean, I could look. It was around that time. It was about five yeah, and a half hours you, ago. I was out at five and a half hours ago, and then I came home, and I was doing my shit. I'm going to log online, and then I'm like, just going to let things go, let you guys have your fun, because that's fine with me.
yeah, those videos are stupid as shit. But do you do you realize so, wait, the amount wait, of people? Matt, go ahead. Yeah, Matt, go ahead. Matt, were you in the chat? Somebody said they had a screen cap or a picture of you in the chat while Ralph's stream was going on. Is that true? No. If you have a picture, here's here's how you know it's me. If there's a verified check mark next to it, because well, we don't know because the stream is flagged, so the chat is no longer no, available. Then if you have a screenshot, then post a fucking screenshot. Because this has happened before with some other asshole is pretending to be me, and it went around on some other stream. It was like causing all this shit. Then all of a sudden, I get bombarded with messages on Twitter talking all this shit. They send me screenshots, and I'm like, where's the fucking check mark? I take a picture of my channel, send it back to them, and they're like, oh, sorry, my bad. As if it's super difficult to make a YouTube account with someone else's fucking name and avatar. So you're here it's to not. talk. So I, I want to just <clears throat> throw out some names. You tell me if you flag them or not. Uh, Dami Pesos. Nope. You, and, and not just on YouTube, but he put a YouTube video out that went down when he tweeted about it and called you a faggot. That instantly went down. You didn't do it on Twitter either. I do. I don't give a fuck about that shit. I barely. Uh, okay. I God, Godwinson. Godwinson. Nope. Uh, Kronos. No. no. Okay. So you've never, you've never flagged any of those people. No, I talked to Kronos, uh, on a vid IQ stream, uh, after his channel was taken down, we were kind of going back and forth a while back. Uh, no, dude, people look the, the Kronos upload those, those fucking channels and shit. There was um, those are those those are the clip things for other shows. I have no control over any of that shit. So it's like those are those are their own thing. Godwinson, I know, did a video because, you know, I saw it be tweeted at me and whatnot. And then that was taken down, which I didn't fucking do. Just for the aforementioned reasons, you can have your opinion of me. Uh, and then Dame Pesos did one. And I know that it got taken down again. I didn't do it. And here's the thing, here's the thing, just to kind of back that up, because I know, because I get tagged in this all the fucking time, too. He has a show called The Soyless Matt Show. <laughs> yes, I know, I've seen that. <laughs> yeah, which is, okay, whatever, fine. Now, wait, you tried to say you didn't see that, though. I I've seen no, no, I didn't say I didn't comments see that. were like, I don't know what they're talking no, about. And... No, I'm saying, like, I know that it exists. You know about I mean, it, you've seen it, and you've yes. watched it. But there's, I, I don't watch it. I just, I just get tagged every time a new episode comes uh, up. No but you've seen me. You, you, you've I'm saying it. I know what it is. I've, so, I've say you through. haven't watched some of here. I've, I think don't I've skimmed lie. through. No, now you've skimmed through. Okay. No, because right. I look, well, because no, because those are one of the ones actually where I look to see. Yeah. Uh, how much content? Because I'm just kind of like. Well, why even care? So look, people. I don't. That's the thing, though. That's the thing. I ultimately don't what do you care. Mean I you look through I, to to try to flag. Like, what are you no, talking about? No, not try about? to people... flag. I look through to see what he's talking about because it's like he calls it. Here's the thing I don't get about that show too. He calls it the soyless Matt show, right? And if he's trying to indicate that I'm soy beta cuck because I cried at a fucking plaque. Well, you that, know, he's English second indicate... language. He's, it's it's yeah, funny. I know he's, 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 he's an idiot. But the whole point there is that, like, wouldn't you want to call it the soyful Matt show? Because, like, that would indicate well, that I'm no, full Matt, of soy. There, there, there's no more soy left. You've eaten it all. <laughs> oh, it's Jesus. I, 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 I figure I would be thinner than if I had all that soy. Jesus. I think I'm doing it wrong. I'm just saying, uh, who cares? No, Look, people know, upload ultimately, clips ultimately, of my yeah. show all the time, and yeah, I put this no, out I, there. I'm not going to strike people. I could take people down, I don't strike people. I do. I, I know shit exists. I just kind of go, okay. I might like check out a minute or two of it. And that's you about it. You watch the whole thing. I don't watch. Actually, I never watch the whole thing. I never mm. watch the whole thing on anything. Mm. Um, Because I just like, I go, all right, you know what? It's not worth my time. Because I know that if I watch it, I'm going to get frustrated because some stuff's probably going to be out of context. And I'm like, all right, I just know not. It's just not worth it to check it out. So, but I do know things exist because people tweet them at me. Uh, I have Google Alert set up for my name because I have to check the C Oh, you do. Oh, By the way, it's just, there it is. <laughs> yeah, obviously I do. I've talked about that before. Uh, so I know if those things pop up and shit. And so there's that. And that's about it. So if so, I say your name on a forum, you you get alerted. Once uh, sometimes. Sometimes. Not every time. Yeah. Sometimes it pops up in like the weirdest places too. Like, cause it really helps out for like. Oh, does it? Does it pop up in the weirdest places? Have there been any bareback forums your names popped up? No, in? no. There was one. Though those haven't hit the results yet. Somebody, though. somebody wrote like some erotic fiction, like some from erotic fiction website, and like started an account with my name, and so it's like it's like Monday Matt's erotic fiction or something, and I'm just like, this is really weird, um, because I just I had I came across that and just laughed. Uh, you come some weird stuff too, like a lot of Russian sites end up copying the videos. Um, or linking to them, uh, whatever certain things get caught in the in the algorithm because I do play the algorithm game, so a lot of stuff gets picked up from like other websites and re-uploaded in certain places, and so I just check to see what's going on with that shit. Uh, people are throwing this name out here too. I'm going to ask you on this one. Uh, people sure. are saying, and I, I don't know on this one, unknown archive. Have you flagged him before? No, I didn't flag him. I banned him. Uh, we we had to we muted him in our Discord 
because he would come in and constantly spam and we had a room for spam like for people to post their stuff so he would just come in and he would post the show and then he would leave and that's it and then we're like hey would you just do it in here and he wouldn't do it so we muted him and then he got mad and he blocked me on twitter okay uh, can i ask you uh, let me ask one more question then i'll shut up and let ralph have his go um sure. what's your opinion on trump and the russia thing I'm waiting to see what happens at this point. I don't know. I mean, what's your gut? What's your gut on it? My gut tells me that Trump himself didn't do anything, but the, I don't think any of them anticipated actually winning. So they were trying to work some deals on the side and they got themselves in some shit that may or may not bite him in the ass. I don't know yet. And that's just based off the stuff you've heard. Like based on what I've seen, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Watch, and I watch, I watch like, I watch like MSNBC and I watch Fox and I watch like different Cause, shows. Cause it, and, Cause it looks bad. It, it, I don't, I don't know, man. Like everyone, the thing is like, I don't well, want to, I mean, it's, it's your gut feeling. I mean, like you're seeing this and you've got, a I'm gut seeing, I'm that. seeing it as like some, I don't think people, I don't think they intended to win. So I think they tried working some deals. Cause I think Trump wanted to be the most talked about man in the world, which he clearly is. And then, uh, I think they just, I think they fucked up, you know, this, <laughs> I think they fucked up, uh, and they just did some shit that was stupid. I think the Manafort thing is, uh, interesting, but I'm waiting to see what the results of that. See, now that's, that's how my gut feeling works on this. Like, I'm not saying that you're intentionally setting out to be the world's biggest cunt, mm -hmm. but it, it just the way it looks with what's surrounding you right now. Uh, I, I guess my opinion on you and the flagging is similar to your opinion on Trump and Russia is what I'm getting at. I like, I, I, you know, like the, the Dame Pesos, Godwinson, I guess, on an archive. I just it, it seems it, it's just so many fucking videos. And I, I've seen people that get shit on all the time on YouTube and on social media. Really? That don't have that kind of yeah, but you could fucking shit on Boogie till the cows come home, oh, and nothing really ever happens in, in well, relation to that. Well, I actually, it's really funny about that too. Is uh, failure accomplished was shitting on Boogie uh, on a Kumite stream, and someone sent Boogie the clip, and then Boogie thought it was me and came to me all mad about it. Like, what are you doing? And I'm like, dude, that's that voice dude, is. We like, shit on Boogie all the time. <laughs> yeah, it, no, it, it's in some of the most like, you know <laughs> disgraceful it, ways, honestly. And People shit never, on him all the time. Yeah, yeah. Never I never got a strike for it. Never. You I, know. Dude, I, I swear. What I think, here's what I think it is to be perfectly bluntly honest with you. I think somebody out there uh, is is trolling. Uh, it's it's not at my request because I legitimately would. Matt, just this would be the okay. No, th this would be the most deep cover trolling that's ever taken place on the internet. <laughs> it's been going on for a year and a half. I get that. I get, and that. Half. I get that. I get that. And I it's it's been, it's been really bad this year. It's been really like, ever since the Kumite stuff happened. It, ever since the Kumite shit, like I'm an easy fucking target because they fucking made fun of me a lot. So then shit started coming down, right? And so then other people made fun of me. Shit started coming down, and I'm sitting here just like. I'm not doing anything. And the thing is, here's I, I can't fucking prove it, obviously. All I can sit there and tell you on my fucking word that I did nothing in this regard. I did nothing here. So you're willing to, you know, make a statement, write a statement to say, you know, we were just playing your video. There was no hate speech intended. And uh, yeah, no there's no hate deal. speech intended. You can fucking make it was just stupid, stupid. No, I mean, stupid it, thing honestly, for me to do it, back it, in the day. it'd probably be good for you to. Write us out a statement at this point because you know I'm I'm having to. We've had two or three strikes already this summer. They got overturned, um, but yeah, I think I think your testimony would help. You're you're willing to to I'll to yeah I'll tweet at Team YouTube about it and shit, man. Fucking because I swear to God, like I just I I was I all of a sudden my phone started blowing. I'm dead up. serious, by the way. No, I'm, I'm, and I'm, I know you're dead serious. I don't want your channel fucked with. Like I don't want your channel fucked with. So what what is the statement going to say when I was talking about them? <laughs> Nigger, <laughs> I was just doing it in a manner. Is that is well, that? The, the I don't. I, I don't know, man. I don't. What I'll was your thought go. process? By the way, yeah. Oh, do you want? Oh, you want to know what's going on with that thing? Yeah. Yeah. What was funny was I. Yeah, I. I, I reflected on that a little bit this afternoon as I was driving because I was kind of. I was reflected, like, oh, sure. yes. I reflected. Yes. Um. So when those videos were posted at the end of December 20, uh, 2012. And that was right, I mean, like, right within a week of me leaving Los Angeles. And I was so fucking, like, just angry at the world when you I hated left black there. people. Uh, I hated a lot of people back then. And not mostly specifically blacks, anyone. though. No, not mostly blacks. Like, trying not to experience. Most, Jesus Christ. Uh, and so <laughs> I, what it was is I was trying to think of a way to, like, you know, grow the channel. And I, at the time, I was still in this weird, like, antagonistic shock jock phase. And I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, I'm at the, I'm at the Dollar Tree because that's all I could fucking afford. And uh, I'm down there and I come across this little fucking polar bear puppet. And I'm like, I could do a little video about that shit, you know, and I'm all like, Polly the polar bear, you know, and I'm like, and then I'm just sitting there like, what would I do with it? What would make this provocative and like edgy for older people, you know, obviously. And then it's just like, that's what came out of it. 
I think I did like four of them. And then I'm like, this is stupid as shit. And I just stopped it. And I just forgot about it since then. And then, uh, and then when I saw, I saw Jim's tweet today, I'm like, oh, son of a bitch. So that's all. But it was. Why did you leave it up on your channel? That, that Dude, was the only I, thing before we got like, struck down by you or by somebody. You just um, get, uh, you know, it's the same concept, man. It's like tweets. But you, you didn't know. Well, I, know, I guess you, you, you put out more videos than me. You know, I, I would put out understand. a lot of, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm nearing 5,000, uh, yeah. you know, and, and but so still, it's still, like, I mean, you, know, you, I mean, like, you I, did I, know I, that you did be, that. Like what? Long, for those, yeah, that was a different time. time too. That was, that was before True. like the yeah. consequences for saying something wrong on the internet. Yeah. Was so, that was, that was, so you know, back, back in the day. day. Yeah. That was back, back in the day. I, I'm shit. fascinated by the point or by the fact that neither Ralph nor also are picking up on the fact that you came out with a video uh, talking shit about black people with a, a white polar bear called Poli the Polar Bear in 2012, which is like six months after the poll board was created on 4chan. Are you dog whistling to alt right neo Nazi <laughs> racist, Matt? <laughs> no, I'm just a horrible writer. That's all it is. So it's the first thing that came to mind. Was a but, uh, just just Poli the Polar Bear? Just pull that one out of the hat, did you? <laughs> it, really, it really did, yeah. <laughs> it really did it really did there was like there was like a dog one that was there. i think an elephant one and i was all like trying to i was like ellie the elephant you know or whatever the, i was just playing with the puppets in the dollar tree trying to find how many something. puppets were there in the dollar now, tree that's movie. an amazing image i, I uh, wish I, I wish there was video of that taking place i yeah no they're all they're all gone now too you can't find those ones anymore i think there was like classics I, is that right yeah. i bought i bought i bought two of them there was the polar bear and then there was like a pig one and the original goal was to like have them talk to each other, and but then I, uh, I, you know, like I was gonna try to like multiple voices, but it clearly that wasn't gonna be a thing. And uh, and then yeah, and then I think one of my cats got a hold of a poli and tore it to shit. So, uh, you know, standing up for the minorities. That's too bad. I'm sure you could like sell that and uh, as a, as <laughs> yeah, a yeah, that, yeah, that would be a thing. Stupid people, would, people would. Pay I have a question way. though, Matt. So your your channel is looking at your analytics there on social blade mm -hmm. and in the past year 360 365 days you've gained 10,000 subs yeah and that's that's pretty stagnant yeah so, I know. it's been it's been bad since the beginning uh ever since trump was elected or sorry inaugurated uh it's been it's been a steady uh it's been kind of stagnant because i because what it was is i had a big boost during the election because i criticized hillary and uh, even though I said I was never pro Trump, I still criticized Hillary. I got a lot of those people. And then when I started criticizing Trump, they were just like, ah, and they left. And that's fine. Sure. But for the past year, your channel has been effectively dead. I mean, for lack of a, a better term. Uh, still pulling in over a million views a month, man. Uh, up, up until April of this year, it was two million views a month. So uh, define dead. If you're talking well, like, stuff, uh, a drop, talking, of, a a drop of 50 percent would be I consider well, not that, a good sign. That, that, that definitely hurt uh, when it, in regards to the algorithm, because that was in April. They made some algorithmic changes um, that uh, I'm still trying to, to, to kind of tinker with a little bit. But ultimately, you know, sub growth is uh, is just like an arbitrary thing. I mean, so, just for comparison, since April, which is when they changed the algorithm, I've gained 75,000 subs in, in the, those trees. But there's also been a large increase of right wing content on this particular platform. And that's kind of where I think a lot of it goes. So wouldn't that mean that it's more diluted? Uh, I would say that, in essence, it speaks to a certain side of things. Um, and I think to a certain extent with I, what came out of possibly Gamergate as well as the 2016 election brought a lot of stuff in. Um, also, uh, given like the popularity of Alex Jones and channels like Paul Joseph Watson and Steven Crowder, both of those two channels crossing over into a million subscribers, uh, last year, I think Crowder started 2017 with like 200,000 and like crossed over the finish line with over a million. Mm -hmm. So, and he's, I think nearing 2 million now or something like that. He's blown up a lot. There are a lot of people that have come into it. Uh, my theory has mostly been that, uh, similar to the Facebook effect when you had what predominantly was, you know, younger, the youth. So to speak, on there, and then their parents got involved. Matt, got you're involved. You're a piece of shit. Shut the fuck up. No one here fucking likes Ooh. you at all. You're here just trying to be friends with everyone. No, but I'm talking. I don't, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait a minute. This is this is you who is fucking this? loser. Who is this? Just like when you fucking told who, who the police that I swat at you. You who fucking is this? sad. Who is this? Basement. This is oh my god, is that Keemstar? Loser. Oh my god, Keemstar. Yeah. Look at you freak oh my out. God. Look at you freak out. Oh you wow, how are you, buddy? Shit. Have you started paying your employees yet? Oh man. 
And I, I, never, told I, I, pay my I never told the fucking How cops. How many employees do you me, pay? You fucking God, idiot. Because you can't afford any because your channel's fucking dying. Oh, team. A joke. Oh, you're so. And everybody that fucking calls you're you on cute. your shit. You You're have some funny. fucking revenge thing where you have to try to take revenge. down people's shit. I don't try to take down anybody because I don't give a it. shit. You fucking struck me, lying piece of shit. Right. Okay. Yes, you okay. did. No, you yes, like to make up did. shit, Keemstar, so why don't you go yes, fuck yourself? You well, guess what? Guess what? There's going to be fucking revenge on your ass for this dumb shit. What? Just like there's revenge that. for when you told the police I that I fucking swatted you. That you swatted There me. is I didn't, revenge. Th I did not you tell the police will never, that. ever make it in this YouTube world. Mark I'm making it right world. now. No, you're not. Yes, you are I failing. am. You are I'm not failing. failing. I am very, doing just fine. Very much. You are not. failing. I'm doing just fine. Thank you. How are you doing fine? How you are don't you know doing my analytics, fine? dude. I do. Everybody okay. hates you. That's fine. Nobody likes you. Not true. Matt, that 1, is true. Subs a month. One thousand subs a month is pretty dead, man. That the point again, I was, I was again, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is, is when you stagnated like this, why don't you change what you're doing? Figure out a new formula. Uh, you you get the most attention when you when you get into the controversy. When you're involved in some kind of controversy. controversy. Yeah, no, I, why, I, don't I'm you, aware, why don't you embrace being a little bit more edgy and embrace being a little bit more more confrontational? Uh, for lack of a better term, and and embrace that instead of running from it and being this sort of middle of the road fence riding centrist guy, embrace the drama, I, embrace the fun, it's, and it's maybe you would see life breath breathed into your channel because right now it's dead, Matt. It's not dead. It's not dead. I still. It's it's again. You guys are really you putting a heavy denial. emphasis. That no, I'm not in denial. So no, it's dude. So here's, it's not dead. Here's the thing. Matt, 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 they're not. They're, oh, they're not Matt, lying. You, you, you I mean, Matt, they're not. They're years. not lying. You've got five thousand views on like videos you put up today. You have one hundred sixty thousand subs. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's, that's it's one thirty second. Like this. Uh, no, here's. <laughs> it, yes, I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm aware dude, of dude, that. But go it's also... in the corner right now and cry. You deserve a good cry. You oh, deserve it. You earned a good September, cry. Go in the fucking corner, Matt, and cry. Let so, it all out. Right? I had zero. You had 122,000, and now I have 300. Uh, yeah. 303,000. We have. Look, we cater to different audiences. There's nothing wrong with that. So there's a difference. There's a difference in audience type, which is fine. Uh, again, people grow at different rates. I'm fully aware of what's happening. I'm fully aware of where things are. Cater to point zero 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 zero. As a result of that, I still do, and I still do fine. So there's nothing wrong with having a, a dedicated audience. There's nothing wrong with having a group of people that watch you. Nothing wrong with being able to get by all right. I'm not in this to get rich. I'm not in this to be a millionaire. I genuinely like what I do. I am I am fully aware of my analytics of where things are and what's going on. And things are still fucking fine. You guys can have your opinion. Totally cool. But that's where it's at. You're a cuck. Bye. <laughs> Gotta 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 give it to Keemstar, ladies and gentlemen. Always so eloquent with the insults. Well, thank you, Keemstar, for coming on. <laughs> Feel like this part or not? Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know, man. It, it doesn't look good with with how. Quick here's the here's the thing. Out. Here's yeah. the thing. If I was actually the person doing the shit, why the fuck would I come on here? Seriously, why the fuck I would I come mean, on here? It wouldn't do me any good to come on here. Because if I was such a cowardly little cuck faggot, it's like people well, are trying no, to say no, that no, I am, I, I, I gotta stop. I want to come on here. People, people, people have doing. done dumb shit on the internet, though, Matt. Like, <laughs> who was that? Who was that Minecraft YouTuber that was fucking kids, and then he made a video freaking out and saying, "Oh, I'm fucking kids." Well, obviously that's not the right thing to do, but he still fucking did it. I don't know what goes through your well, head. Well, I, I do don't see, know why I do you see. I do. I don't see know your, why. Yeah, you, I, see your point. I, I don't know why well, if I, you flag people, you'd come on a stream to talk about it. Maybe you're thinking this is gonna turn it around. I don't know. No, I just figured, like, look, uh, this is a situation where, like, I'm being accused of something I didn't do. I'm going to come here, state my case, and that's that. I didn't do it. Hand to God. So you're going you're gonna to send me that statement that I can pass on to YouTube? And... Yeah, so I'll write you a statement up as soon as we're done. Okay. Swear to God, dude. I, dude, I didn't fucking do this shit. I don't. I mean, I, I don't know if that'll help. You know, I don't know if it'll help or not. We're assuming you're telling the truth. I, I'm not going to lie. The quickness that they took down the stream. Uh, is what gets me. Uh, 30, 30 yeah. seconds. Yeah, oh, exactly. Less than 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah the, the, it's... it's the quickness. So um, they have taken down streams of mine before uh, that quickly, but it would be so, uh, you know, maybe there was an ass getting shown on the screen, you know what I mean, or some type of, you know, I don't know. nudity complaint or something like that, and they're really sensitive about that. But, you know, it was literally just you saying the N-word 
so I don't know. I guess that kind of kills me. I already followed the appeal, and I said, well, look, you know, I was just reporting on, <laughs> you know, another another YouTuber whose whose video came out today, and I, I don't really see how this is a strike since this was on your platform up until five hours ago. Well, to be fair, Ralph, you never should have trusted Hell Turners. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you should have seen that one coming. <laughs> I mean, but but honestly, it, it was literally up on YouTube for six fucking years, and then exactly. I play it on my live stream, and they say, "Oh, that's oh, that's hate speech. That that's that's too far." Um, and I don't know. It look, yeah, it's it's hard. It's kind of hard to believe, but you know, if you submit your statement, and maybe we can get overturned. Uh, have you have you talked to? Have you reached out to trusted flagger? No, I'll, 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 that I'll, guy's... Shoot him, I'll shoot him a DM. I'll shoot him a DM. Okay, shoot him a DM. I that. will say that the last time we had a strike, so Dick Masterson, who's going to be on this show tomorrow night, and it will be on this channel now, um, he was on here, and he went on a rant against uh, Chris Raygun. And so I clipped that rant out, and I put it up like as its own standalone video, and they gave me a strike over it. And I, I didn't think the strike was fair, especially since, you know... That was already up on my channel. Like, what are you talking about? And so I messaged him and I said, you know, what's going on here? I don't I don't think this is strike worthy. And he said, you know what? I looked at it and I do think it's strike worthy. And I was like, all right, all right. Well, I guess I'm fucked. And YouTube themselves came back and said, no, that wasn't a strike. We overturn it. You're right. You know, we accept your appeal. Um, so I don't really have that much faith in that dude to be honest with you but if he's willing to help you know i i, I would take it but he, he seems to be a little bit of a cuck to be honest with you that that's just my view sure i don't know i mean he i got someone um someone's been going after my twitter and going after my videos a bunch of them have been getting age restricted uh some of them are getting i think real close to community guideline strikes like my old old content like what you guys saw today and uh, I had to delete two. Tw they locked my Twitter account the other day for some old tweets uh, from like 2012. So there's been someone that has been making active attempts now for about the last two months uh, to to get my channel in trouble. So, you know. Yeah, and I just got I'm a saying, message on Discord from a, you know, a well-known person. I won't put them out there. And they said, you know. He he's kind of biased. I, that that's kind of my feeling from him as well. That he, he helps he helps certain people. He goes you know all out for certain people mm. of a certain persuasion, uh, and he doesn't really do that for others. That that's kind of been well. That's my unfortunate because that's not. I, know, mean, I mean, look. Hopefully, I'm wrong. Hopefully, it'll go up to bat. I really, honestly, do not see how this is strike worthy. What we did. I mean, we literally just played your video, Matt. Wait, wait um, a second, Ralph. Um, somebody somebody tweeted me and said. Uh, Monday Matt said he did not know who Dame or uh, Dame Pesos was or what the Soilus Macho was when he was on the Ralph Retort stream where Matt was defending James Gunn. How long ago was that? How was like long three, ago? Was um, weeks ago? That was yeah, that was, like a, that was a couple weeks ago, and that was what I was getting at. He he said he didn't know, but he does. He just said yeah, he, he does. Did. Yeah, he does. So were you lying then, or are you lying now? I mean, like Matt. Uh, I don't recall that particular part of the conversation. I but, don't uh, recall. Are you running for office? <laughs> that was a very <laughs> political fucking answer, man. I know. I just, I don't recall uh, that particular part of the conversation. Um, I might have been facetious in saying who, just like to fucking piss him off. Because uh, he, he's, uh, again, like, you know, I know of him. Uh, but like, I'm not a fan, if that, if I'm being honest, but I haven't touched his shit. You know, he's got no, this is this is the thing, too, because I did see this come come my way. He did a song on like SoundCloud where like he talked about a situation like it was all about me, like attacking me in this whole song. And one of the weirdest things was like I tweeted out a GoFundMe for my girlfriend's father uh, who died. And it wasn't like her like it was just like, her, you know, she never knew the guy. And then he was like, oh, he only tweeted it out one time. And I'm like, I tweeted it out. But like there's, you know, like there's reasons with the family why. I just kind of kept it up out of that shit. And I'm like, but that's so weird to me that someone like him who I don't know outside of his name spends that much time paying attention to me. Like somehow I'm living so rent free in this dude's head that like he's dug through that very mundane fact about my Twitter. You know what I mean? Like, I, so I'm aware of him. I, I laugh mostly because it's just like, now why would somebody do that, Matt? 
Well, why, why would why somebody? Do think, why do you think they'd that? be so dedicated? Is it because I think because he thinks I did something I didn't fucking do, and doesn't matter what I say. He's, in, in his mind, I did it. In his mind, I did something I didn't do. Something I can't prove I didn't do unless you go into YouTube itself and look to see what, you know, unless they release that information, which everyone knows they're never going to. So it's just another one of the basis accusations that gets levied at me for shit I didn't do all the fucking time. Shit that I do do when it comes to stuff like whole ripping of content, I'm open about. If you ask me, I'm like, yeah, I'm open about it. That's look, the whole I'm not point. talking about that. Look, I mean, if somebody just straight uploads your video, I mean, <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not going to criticize you on that. Now, me personally... I just don't worry about it at all. So people can take whatever they want from my streams. I don't I don't really care. Well, there's they, a difference between taking something and then like just straight whole So for it. instance, when Jim is on, there, there are channels that just take his part oh, and yeah. just upload it fully and they don't they don't put any commentary on it at all. It's just like here's here's Mr. Medicare. That's it. Th that's all they put. And, and a lot of times they do link to the original stream, but... Wait, uh, can, can I ask a question? Matt, you, you said you weren't on earlier. There was like a gap, a five and a half hour gap, and then you got on and you got bombarded with all these notifications and stuff. What time did you get online? Uh, I jumped on the computer at nine o'clock. So I started... Okay, getting, somebody, I, I was, somebody uploaded a video said yeah. Monday Matt is a big liar that shows you online before that talking in Discord. I was on... I, yeah, because I, like I said before, my Discord, my Discord started blowing up. Uh, I'll link that to Ralph. Ralph, if you want. And so no, I was I was yeah, sitting there feeding do. my kid, and my Discord started blowing up. I started getting notifications on my phone, and I'm all like, "Huh?" Like everyone's just like, "You fuck." What did they say? Like you fucking faggot, or you did something? And I'm just like, "What are you talking about?" Um, this one guy. If you uh, uh, did you get it, Ralph? Uh, yep, I do. I do have it. it, it it's like it's like midway through. He messages him. Okay. Let's see here. Uh. Oh and goodness. then it, it then it shows. I got time. one. I got one at eight forty one from Soyboy eighty eight. Seeing your ass is getting flagged. And I said for what? And he's like, you're innocent. Go on the Ralph show, otherwise you're fucked. I responded with for what? At eight forty two, uh, some guy named uh, S D Rib Togi eight forty two. But I, I thought you didn't log on until nine. I have no. I have my phone. I my phone. I started getting notifications on my phone through Discord. So I started getting buzzes on my phone that people are messaging me on Discord, and I went to look. And it's like a whole bunch of these messages from people. So then I'm like, what are you talking about? Even like I said, Joaquin sent me a message at 847. Matt, you know with, what? I would have a lot more, nuts. you know, recent, this is my Discord, by the way, that, that, that they're showing. Um, I would have a lot more reason to believe you. Had you just, why don't you just send me a message and say, look, you know, I'm not going to come on. This is, you know, an I embarrassing did, I, episode. Like, why, why don't you say, ah, oh, yeah, you guys have your phone. I'm not going to come on. Because no I was deal. out doing shit, and I'm just like, look. I'm, but you look, understand I, how that makes it look. It makes it look like, oh, because you I saw, didn't you saw that I was going to talk about it, and that you sit there and waited to, 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 to fall and, a strike, right? I mean, that's how dude, it looks. Dude, I mean, dude, I'm, dude, 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 dude. I did not respond to your message. I saw it. I was driving. I was doing other shit. With my family, but look, there was five hours I, between my message and, were, and when we went there were, on the yes, air. There you were. couldn't just say, "Look, Ralph, I'm not coming on. on. No big look deal." See, hold on, look to see when I posted the tweet about. Uh, okay, so I posted at uh, what time was it? Uh, at three fifty p.m. I said six years ago I made a stupid puppet video, right? At three fifty p.m. because I was out, and then you messaged me at what time? Um, you messaged me. It doesn't. God damn it! it doesn't fucking say. But it was right around that same time you messaged me. So I'd already pinned that It was message. about 30 or 40 minutes after uh, I put that message put out. His, yeah, because I, well, I, mean, I saw, I saw, said, look, we're gonna yeah, have I saw fun. Jim's message in like 20 minutes. Dude, I was out. I, I said, just, look, I we're going to have our fun. What, yeah. you know, why don't you come on and address it and just, you know, knock it out? You know, just, just take no, I saw, lumps, I saw that. But One I day, was... just take, just take the hit. Come on, talk about, laugh about it. I mean, it's not that big a deal, to be honest it's, with no, you. No, it's not I that big really, a deal, which is which is yeah. why I was just like, I'm not worried about the video. I just put out my statement. I deleted them. That's that. And I'm going like, to go on with my fucking evening. So there's that. That's all it is. I literally was like, okay, this is some old dumb shit. I'm not going to deal with it tonight. I'm just going to put out my statement, go run this errand, pick up these boulders, do my shit, hang out with my kid. And then all of a sudden, I get I get accused of this, of this shit. So then I'm like, yeah, but okay. man, you, you like realize how fucking ridiculous what you're saying sounds. <laughs> like I didn't flag the stream. I was out picking up boulders with my kid. <laughs> like, what are you saying? What the fuck is? Okay, that? okay, sorry. Let me. I should probably. There's there's backstory there. So what it is 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 we're we're redecorating our front yard with with rocks, and rocks are fucking expensive. 
So we decided to like look around online and see if anyone's giving away any kind of like river rocks or stepping stones or things like that. So you just went out for a nice nighttime drive looking no, for no, people no, giving no, away was, river it rocks. Was, it was it was 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Uh, and yeah, there's this guy. He has a 20 acre farm on the outskirts of uh, of Tenino, Washington. And uh, he's offering up these these boulders. We go to his fucking cow farm. Right. And we sit there and we're literally like pulling out these huge boulders, load up around, you know, about 500 pounds worth in my dad's truck and drive it all back to my place and unload it. And then I went and got fucking dinner and I came home and I ate and I watched Rachel Maddow and then I hung out with my kid. So couldn't have flagged them. You're too busy picking up boulders and watching watching. MSNBC. (laughs) Yep. That's that. Now, here's the thing. The ridiculous nature of that (sighs) is the exact truth. That's exactly what happened tonight. I swear to fucking Christ, dude. That is it. Yeah, I'm admitting I watch Rachel Maddow. Monday so just just to su- just to sum this up, okay, <laughs> uh, all these people that make these videos on you or do streams on you that get taken down, you're not doing that. That's the work not, of a troll. I, wait, wait, let me finish. That's the work okay. of a troll that's deep cover for a year and a half. <laughs> and tonight, you didn't flag anybody because you're collecting river rocks that are worth five hundred dollars with your kid for an afternoon activity or whatever. No, like five hundred pounds. And, they're, okay, they're heavy. This they're almost heavy sounds rocks. like Alex Jones type. Oh, right, and I'm not, I'm not. I'm not even finished. And then. <laughs> You're, you're giving statements tonight that conflict with statements you gave two weeks ago about knowing who a person is or watching their content or knowing what they do. Apparently you do, you don't, you don't know, you don't recall. And your timetable's all fucked up. First it was I wasn't online till nine, but no, no, I was getting Discord messages. No, no, I was getting Twitter notifications. Like the story's all over the fucking place. I didn't get to my computer until nine. My phone was blowing up around 847 or whatever the hell it was as I just read off. That's when I checked my phone. Because all of a sudden I'm sitting there and my phone starts blowing up and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then I check it and then I'm like, all right. So you didn't check any messages on your phone until some random fuck on Discord says you're dead, kiddo. That's I what got your fucking attention. I have <laughs> notifications. I have pushed notifications turned off on Twitter. Usually Discord's pretty quiet. It wasn't just like one message. It was a bunch of messages. So my phone started really beeping at me. So, yeah. Yeah. That's it. It's, it's the mundane fucking truth. Uh-huh. That's it. That's no, no, that's a total. That's a totally. Yeah, that's a. That's a. This sounds very believable. I, I, there's quite literally nothing more I can say. Yeah, that's it. I mean, like, you know, I could go like, hey, get so my are you gonna send you know your YouTube contact uh, information that that there was no hate speech and we we were just playing your own video? I mean, are you willing to do that? Yeah, I'm. I have Microsoft Word up right now. Uh, I'll work on. But it's not just me. I don't have a connected YouTube. I can't talk to, you know, an actual person. It's all. All you know. I can do, I, I will send them a message and say that someone is playing an old video of mine, on. But it wasn't hate stream. speech. It was a video of yours. Yeah, I was about to say, like, it's not. Yeah, no, they were they were watching it on stream. They're commenting. It got taken down for hate speech. I didn't do it. I don't think that it was hate speech. Can you? And it was up for six hate? years. Yeah, can you just can you put it back up? Like that's all I can say to somebody. Or just I take will... the strike away. I don't really give a fuck about the strike. Or take or take the what? Take the strike away. I mean, I really don't care. Yeah, no, I'll I'll I will I will send them a message about it. I don't know what it will do. Well, but I will I mean, this is like You know, if you can if you can show you did that and and actually put in that effort, you know, maybe. But I I don't know. It just doesn't It's not a good look. I guess I'll say and uh it just with the quickness that it was taken down for, and for speech too. It wasn't for, yeah, no, that's, you know, that you showed crazy. some nudity or you crazy. showed some porn. Um, it was, it was like people were laying there and wait and not only that they were laying there and wait, but it was somebody who had the ability to, um, you know, get that, that immediate contact. I, I mean, you understand how it looks, correct? I, I, I realize you're denying, um, the charge, but, not a great look, right? It's shitty. That is that is absolutely what it is. Because, uh, you know, you were going to watch it. That's fine. It's an old fucking stupid video. Uh, that's that, you know? I mean, it's like, dude, the way I and look I at it is like I guess what pissed me off the most is I actually messaged you. And I said, look, we're going to watch I this. I didn't get why back to you. you. I'm sorry. I said, why don't you come <laughs> on? Just, just address it. Just get it over with. Of course, it's going to be a story for a day or two. Just laugh at it honestly and you know what people were talking about me and jim and alsop and everybody else on this call i mean why not just be that person why not just be that guy that that's talking because that person is not me anymore man that's the thing i was in such a fucked up place back then 
dude, I moved to LA to fucking. What's fucked up a... about it though? You, no, because I fucking making some I was... racial comedy. What, what, was, why should you feel like, ashamed of that? Like I'm I, not I ashamed. I'm, I'm not ashamed of the joke. I'm more of ashamed of the fact that like I moved to Los Angeles to pursue my career, pursue my dream, which was to be a writer in Hollywood, and shit fucking failed. And by the end of the time when I left LA. Like, but this I part of you, like, uh, and, I, and, you know, I talked about this a, earlier. At the time. No, but I talked about this earlier, and you know, we've known each other not personally, like, like uh, it's been a couple years. Like, like, gen- no, we've known each of each other, and 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 been involved with you know the same circles for years. But, um, I guess you know part of the thing that always got me about you is you seem to be really concerned with how the establishment is going to think about what you said. Or how is this going to affect me in the future? Me personally, and I talked about this already, I'm not really worried about it because I know for a fact I'm never going to be accepted into those circles in the first place. So why do I care what they think? Why am I worried about, oh, what what The Verge is going to write about me? Or, oh, I might not get accepted into this this circle because of some video I made. I don't give a fuck. I'm never going to be there anyway. So I just, I like, that's not even a concern of mine. But it seems to be a major concern of yours, and and I guess yeah. that's um, no, no, it, there, you're never going to be there either, Matt. By the way, I'm, I'm probably uh, not, probably no, not, but not it, not it, probably 100. percent You're never going to be there. You see what people say about you uh, when they write articles. I see you bitching about it on Twitter. You say, oh, they tie me to this hate campaign, and they try to make me out like so and so, and they call me alt right. Guess what? They're always going to do that. I don't think anyone's You're, actually referred me as alt right. I but think but been, you know what I mean. You, you bitch. No, there's been, I've been. I've been. Tied are to, are whoa, you whoa, denying whoa. that you haven't sent out tweets? And how dare you compare me to this person? How dare you tie me into no, this? No, no, I've said. I've but said that's like that, always going to be your lot in life. Is what no, I'm telling you. I get you. it. I get like it. I there get is it. nothing you can say or do. You will always be that person. And so when you like, wh- why not just own it? Because you're never gonna. Th- there's never gonna be a. Uh, a place where that changes that's always gonna be what it is for you so why not just do it like wh- why why sit there and try to cuck for the industry why why try to act like you're going to get accepted into those places because you are never going to get accepted into those places i mean i'm I'm just being honest with you it's just it's just real you're never gonna they're not gonna let you in and it, the reason they're not going to let you in is because you are associated with, I mean, to be honest with you, people like me, things like Gamergate, uh, <laughs> no, you know, I'm, I'm, hate I'm campaigns, aware. hate campaigns, quote unquote. You're never going to get in. So just own it. Just just be your own man and, and say what you think. I mean, you're never going to get anywhere riding that fence. I am naturally a person that tends to look things at the other side. I do. Uh, I do it in my own personal life, which gets me into a lot of own troubles on fucking Thanksgiving. Uh, that's just kind of how I am, man. That is just legitimately how I am. Like it's uh, if I see some, if I see a group of people going after one thing in one direction, I tend to look at it from the other side uh, to pick up that article that that particular. But you clearly article have your own views. You clearly have I your have, own and comedy. I do say, and, I, and I say what my and own just, views man, are. Man, I don't know. It just I say what my own views are. I do. And, I say and you what see I think. now, you you can ride it out for a certain period of time, you know, based off events and stuff. But you know, it's just people want folks who are real and who are speaking people, their well, no, mind. People, no, like, it's, it's not that people want folks that are quote unquote real. It's what they believe to be real. See, they want people that are like them. That's what they want. They want people that were going to play to their confirmation bias. They want people that are going to live up to the ideals that they believe themselves. That's what they want. And the thing is, in some aspects, I do that. In other aspects, I don't. I'm not going to sit there and change what I think about something because people in my audience don't like it. If you want to. Okay, leave, so leave. what about the Star Wars video you deleted a couple weeks ago? That was more like I had some misinformation. So what? Why don't you explain that to the, to the people so that are watching? I had that. some misinformation on that one. I had a key, like. No, wait a I minute. Had, so, so no, what it was is basically. Essentially like, no, what, this is well, my understanding. On. No, wait a minute. Okay. Let, let me give my lay, understanding. Lay, first. lay out your understanding. Let me fine. give my understanding first, and I'm going to be honest. I don't. I don't watch all your videos. I don't watch. That's fine. It's not an insult. There's a I, lot of them. It's just true. I just don't. <laughs> I don't. I just don't watch them. So, <laughs> you were very critical of the last Star Wars movie, not not Solo, but the movie before that, The Last yeah, Jedi. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Am I correct? Yeah. 
and then you put out a video. I don't know if it was on your main channel or on the three dollar theater or whatever the fuck your other channel's called. But you put out a video. It was like, what do you guys want? Jesus Christ! What? It, why are you sparking yeah, out so hard? Oh God! Why don't you just get with it? They, they're bringing back all these people. Billy D is gonna be there for fucks. Billy D. Billy D is gonna be there. And so you put out that video, and it was roundly rejected. Not only was it rejected, you, I mean, it hurt your channel by putting that video out. It hurt your channel. I mean, yeah, but I, you, have to, you guys have to understand. No, though, but I wait, but wait, admit, admit, like that, that was a it, pain. Like that hurt your channel by putting that out. No, well, again, again, no, it's, just, it's a just relative. Say it. It's a, did people Matt, unsubscribe? Just say hold it. on, hold, hold yeah, on. They hold on. Did. They you, you're asking, you're yeah, they did. They mass unsubscribe. Yeah, they did. Only like I think only like it wasn't that many people unsubscribed, but okay. the whole here's the whole thing. A lot here. did, a lot did. Here, but hold on, hold on. As I've already stated here, subscribers are an arbitrary number. Okay. The game I'm playing are the people who are unsubscribed, because that's ultimately where. <laughs> Why you Why would you people. play that? Uh, yeah, okay. Because that's how you grow as a channel. You play that game. That's what I do. A lot of when you do movie news coverage, you're not like. Well, how's it working watch. for you now? It's doing what it does, man. I'm recalibrating a couple things with the channel right now in All terms right. of how often I put out content, how I put out content, things like that. Uh, you know, what it was with that particular video is, yeah, I've been frustrated with elements of the, the Star Wars community on YouTube. There's been many things that I've that I've seen that I, I just very much disagree. Why with. did you delete the video? Because I was because ultimately I felt that it was a very wrong approach to it. Uh, I think that I, I was just frustrated in some respects. Uh, and so then I vocalized my opinion in a way that wasn't productive or conducive to the conversation and made people feel that I was attacking them personally. In the case of Ethan Van Skyver, I did, uh, which case him and I had a conversation. I apologized and I pulled the video down and then I issued a public apology uh, on the channel. Well, I, I heard I heard that stream, and it sounded more like it sounded more like even told you to back the fuck off for suffer the consequences. Well, what, well, well I, I thought that was pretty funny. That's not why I did it because I don't I don't that I, that's why I was like uh, that's not how this works. But okay, you know, like the thing is, is yeah, but he threw a stick and said fetch, and you deleted that video pretty quick because I sat there later on that evening and had more of an internal thought process on it. Like I, as I said in the in the apology video, uh, I'm getting ready to go see a therapist here next week. Finally. So just in, in order to be able to, you know, start working on that, like there are elements like people want me to fight. They want me to rage. I'm not the kind of person I'd rather find ways to do things a little bit better. I'd like to be more, you know, mentally sound in that regard. Like I, I started with the personal trainer this week uh, doing the, the therapy thing next week. I'm trying to make myself better because I, I'm cooped up here. I do this shit all the time. And then sometimes I get frustrated and I don't have a proper outlet. Therefore stuff builds up and then it blows up in ways that again, not the best course of action. I'd like to ask you one question about something you tweeted out. Cause this strikes me as just, I mean, you're not a woman, you don't have a vagina. So I don't know why you tweet this. Nothing quite like being accused of something you didn't do. And then this is the part that gets me. And then the threats against your kids start to pour in. And that was like immediately after. Cause uh, that's Rob immediately what I was getting. So it's like you know, I, uh, people get threatened you know, on the internet all the time. Like, what kind oh, of you want to threaten? You want to threaten me all the? You want to threaten me? I'm okay what, with what that. What kind of threats are you getting against your kid? Uh, one guy was saying that your kid's fucking dead. You know, and it's all like, look, I'm not going to fuck around with that shit. That shit's fucking stupid. You want to come after me? Come after me. My kid did nothing. She's eight months old. She can't. She can't even fucking crawl. Matt, look, where was that? Where was that look, posted, though? Was that it was on? It was yeah. on Discord. It was sent to me on look, Discord. I, I'm just going to uh, say, oh, and I'll. So no, the whole the whole thing. No, no, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. Look, dude. If you're on the internet, if you put your, you know, persona out there, if you put your voice out there, if you put, you know, yourself out there, yeah. you're liable to get doxxed. Your family is liable doxed. to get I've been attacked. Swatted. No, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait right, a minute, no, dude. There, there's cool. an account, and I'm not gonna Ralph, name the account, but <laughs> that has, you know, photos from my mom's Facebook and and throwing shit out from, you know, when I was 18 years old. Ralph, I said I'm of, sorry. I'll take it down. <laughs> No, no, but look, I didn't cry about it. I didn't cry no, about it. I just said, I just said, look, that that's there. You know, I just ignored it yeah. and moved on. Right. So thing, if it's, a, yeah, if it's something that gets dug up, that's one thing. If, if it's something that like you don't disclose and people dig into your personal life and find that and, and make it is that an issue. what it is. But yeah. but right. But the difference is that that Matt, you talk about your family and you talk about your. You, this your kid you, you the, literally the previous tweet was i've been hanging with my kid all evening when you make yeah. your child your excuse for or your your justification or your story as to why you didn't do the thing you're accused of, of doing of course no one's saying it's okay for them to be threatened but but that 
that's going to be brought up. Like, you know, you, you wrote the book on how the internet works. You know how this works, right? You, you can't just step into a situation, ask to get trolled, put your family out there, make it so your no, family there's been, and there's been, and then, and there's and then been, turn around and cry when it happens. No, I'm just, I put out that one tweet. That was really about it. And then uh, there was, uh, was it recently someone was trying to troll me and they had a picture of my kid on their Twitter. And then that was like a few months. I'm like, uh, it was a while back. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm just not posting pictures of her out there anymore. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm pulling that shit back. I'm just pulling that shit back. But that's like the whole thing is like, I'm being accused of flagging down a stream and I was legitimately hanging out with my child and that's it. That is the truth. Yeah. But man, I mean, you, you remember Gamergate, like every time one of the fucking SJWs would get any amount of pushback or shit or something would come out it immediately would go to, Oh my God, people are saying I'm going to Brianna Wu has snipers after her. You know what I mean? Like, it's just weird that you would go from uh, immediately saying, I didn't do that. I didn't flag anything. This is bullshit. And then, oh, my God, my kids are getting threatened. It just it, it, it feels like you're using their playbook with that kind of shit. No, it wasn't my intent, but I can see what you mean. Legitimately, I do see what you mean. No, I don't think there's any snipers outside my house or anything like that. Fucking not Brianna Wu crazy. Jesus Christ. Uh, no, it's just like, you know, that's the, it just it's frustrating because like, you know, I, it's just I'm asking, like, what the hell's going on? And the responses back are just like, oh, you're you know there's fucking revenge coming your way fatty i'm like what the fuck did i do this is this is the shit like it just gets it, you know i i'm trying to keep the fuck to myself man that's it so i'm doing my thing you guys can believe me not believe me uh ultimately, well yeah I, I, I wanted to pull you on to give you a chance to say you're saying man I, like i said what i think i, yeah, like, I, say, I hear what yeah. you're telling me but it just it's it's too much of a well, point for me but uh, that's that's all i had i don't know ralph you got anything yeah look i don't know i mean it it's just the quickness that the stream has pulled down, um, I mean, if you're willing to, you know, make a statement or, you know, contact your people at YouTube and, and try to get it, get it overturned. I mean, literally all we did, <laughs> okay, so we played Jim's video, but, but his video was, was what you made. So there was nothing, I mean, it wasn't. You know, I mean, he I, added a little bit I, to it, but it yeah, wasn't. Yeah, fine. I, I don't, like, that's fine. I knew you guys were going to do that anyway, again. I said that. Fine. I told you that. I, yes, I know that. That's why you're just like, oh, I saw your thing. Like, oh, he's just going to make fun of it for a bit. All right, it's fine, whatever. You know, I'm mean, like, Ralph's going to do what Ralph's going to do. That well, no, I like, said, look, we're, I mean, it's No, I know, news. I know. You invited news, me to come right? on, obviously. It's I, YouTube I news, responded. So... I'm sorry, I was driving. Okay. You know, it, and it so then I got busy, and then I was like, all right, you know, like, whatever. So... So That's I don't that. know if you're willing to to help with things. <laughs> you I don't guys know are trying to paint me as some kind of fucking mastermind. I'm literally an idiot. Well, no, time. Matt. If you were a mastermind, we wouldn't have. We wouldn't suspect you. That's already off the fucking window. Right? <laughs> And there you go. There, there you go. There you go. If I was some kind of fucking mastermind, you wouldn't have never known I was there. Like Jesus, right? No, obviously, someone flagged it. I don't like it. I don't want it. That's that. I came on here because I, you know, Ralph sent me the link and I was like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Now, wait a minute. You messaged me first. Like, it wasn't like. Well, no, I did say, I did say, I said, I messaged you. Yeah, I just said, I messaged you. You know, okay. I said, I said, okay. hey, uh, what the fuck is going on? All of a sudden, I'm getting tons of shit. That's what I sent you. And then you're like, we talked for a second and then you sent me the Google link and I came in. That's true. Yeah. So that was the thing. You sent me the Google link and then within like about two minutes, I was in. You came on. I'll give you so, that. so you know, you, 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 you know, you accuse me on Twitter or something, and then well, because you know, I'm telling just, you I didn't just, do it, and then you're like, the all right, come on the show, it. and I'm, like, I'm coming on the show. All so, right. and I, all right, and I said I didn't fucking do it. So that's that. Believe me, don't believe me. At this point, I don't give much of a well, fuck. Well, that's not the end of the story, though. Are, are you willing? No, that, to... that ultimately is the end of the story. Not you're really. Trying... No, I mean, if you're trying to hold on, no, no, fuck off. No, wait a minute. That's not the end of the story. So if if it's really not you, if it's really somebody else, you would be, you know, personally invested in correcting the record and trying to fix this wrong. Which is why I'm trying, I will fucking pen a statement and I will email it over to whatever contact email YouTube gives me. Shit, let me take a look here. Because it's not like a direct, it's, I, I don't know what it is. Look, my I don't head. know. I'm not, I, don't, I don't have So that. I get it. You're upset the stream was taken down. It yeah, wasn't I'm me. a little upset. Yeah. You know, and I've been on here for over an hour now, you know, getting the third degree on all this shit. And I've been open and I've been honest about my fucking thoughts of what's going on, my statement. So take that for what you will or don't. But that's where we are. All right. Um, I can't just... I can't prove something to you that I didn't do. I can't sit there and go, oh, I didn't do it. And then go, by the way, Keemstar sent me a message. 
uh, since he came on, he said, what the "Fuck else is he gonna fucking make?" Ask Jesus him man. why he told the cops I swatted oh, him. Oh my fucking god! I've already explained this shit, you dense bearded gnome motherfucker. Right after the cops came to my fucking door, put a shotgun in my fucking face. I was nervous. I was scared. You can listen to the goddamn audio. I was literally shaking. I couldn't fucking move because I thought I was going to die. We were talking afterward and they said, have you been in any fights online today? I said, yes, I got into a Twitter beef with a guy named Keemstar. That was it. Then about a week or so later, I talked to a detective who was assigned to my case. That detective said, do you, what's going on with Keemstar? Do you think he did it? I said, no, I don't think he did it. I don't know if he did it. But then the detective says, well, we saw a bunch of videos and people online that were saying that Keemstar did it. Because if you go, as soon as I said I was swatted, there was at least five or six videos that popped up from assholes that were saying Keemstar did it. I never fucking said it. But the guy still sent the FBI there as a way to, 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 to do the fucking due diligence, I guess, even though I told the detective that I don't think Keemstar did it. I didn't know he was going to send the fucking cop. That's why I've said that before. I've legitimately said the statement before. Legitimately why fucking said that shit. Star, like just... I, he's fucking here. Because it was, oh, in that time, it was like, did you beef with anyone that day? Yeah. Keem and I were going back and forth about an hour and a half before I was swatted. Like, I was roasting him. He was roasting me. He made a Twitter video about it. And that was about it. And then I moved on with my fucking day. I'm going back to making my daily content. And then there's a pounding on my fucking window. That's what it was. The cop asked me, were you in any online beef today? Yes, with this person. Then the detective asked me about it. I said, no, I don't think he did it. And then that was it. That's the only time it come up. Then the, no, no, sorry. No, no. The detective did say, can I see the tweets you guys sent back and forth? Because Keem, Keem and I did DM each other. After that, he DM'd me and he said, like, hey, man, swatting, getting swatted sucks, right? And I'm all like, yeah, it does. Or I think I said something back. And hold on, let me see if I still have him. Uh, and then uh, I deleted, he deleted his tweets attacking me. I deleted my tweets attacking him. And the, the, the detective had asked me if I would be willing to submit my computer for, uh, for forensic analysis, right? So. Uh, Oh no, sorry. He sent me tweets uh, on March 16th, 2016 when I was when I was swatted saying, "Dude, I really hope this was not a result of us beefing today. I've been swatted so many times it sucks. If you uh if 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 something if you my tweets triggered it, I'll delete them. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy." And I deleted my tweets back. I never responded to that, but I I did uh he did tweet me this uh which I've got uh right fucking here. And that's the whole point. Is like I deleted my tweets, he deleted his tweets, and that was it. I didn't know that the FBI went to his fucking house until he got on Twitter and started accusing me of saying that I accused him of swatting me. I never fucking accused him. All right. Um, I see we have the recording on here. So. Hey, guys. How are you? Hope you're all doing well. Well, it's been quite the evening. Uh, I don't know what I'm walking into, so I'll lurk. I, I'm I'm up for a while, so you guys handle your shit. I'll hang out. No, no. I mean, it's it's, it's up to you. I mean, we, we have quite the cast here. Um, you know, I know Jim's here. I don't know if he's he's up to speed on everything that's going on with you as well. But uh, uh, I heard you get beat up. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I didn't get beat up. Um, I I, did, I didn't mean that like a bad way. Like oh no 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 no, no. Like, some some coward you know uh ambushed me and uh you know he it is what it is um but um i'm fine i'm i'm living life i'm, what I'm was doing the well context of that like where did it happen it was like a convention right some kind of gaming oh sure i can thing. give you the i can give you a brief you know uh, elevator pitch i went to gen con this last week uh, which is like a, it's basically the world's biggest gaming convention in terms of like tabletop games. You know, fifty thousand people go. It's huge. Probably, I don't know how big PAX is and all that stuff. Maybe that stuff's bigger. I'm not sure. Or like E3, that might be bigger. But it's it's big. Um, it's my world. You know, tabletop gaming, trading card games, stuff like that. And uh, it's uh, I had been live streaming met with a lot of viewers friends that i knew the whole day and uh about 2 a.m uh somebody came up behind me and said hey are you jeremy hambly that's of course my name and it probably would have been the 50 or 100th person that like 
you know, I it sounds like a fucking lame ass humble break, but it was, you know, not uncommon for someone at a, in my world in a gaming convention to be like, what's up, dude? You know? Um, so, and they put their arm ha, are like hand around my neck, arm around my neck. And I thought I was just a, a fan getting kind of like rowdy, like, what's up, dude? You know, whatever. Um, but instead they just started punching me in the back of the head nonstop, uh, and screaming that they were going to fucking kill me. Uh, and for like the first three or four punches, I thought, what the hell is happening here? This is crazy. Um, then after like, kind of, you, you kind of figure out, okay, okay. Something, something fucking weird's happening. You know, this is not right, obviously. Um, so I broke away. Um, and uh, went inside the bar because I didn't know what else to do. Um, the guy like punched the window out and uh, ran away. But it turns out this guy had uh, publicly tweeted out that he had some dislike for my criticism of Arnita Sarkeesian being at Gen Con. And uh, he had hunted me down because I had been live streaming earlier in the night. So everyone knew where I was. Um, so this guy decided to punch me a few times and throw his whole career away. You know, as of right now, I believe he's been fired from his position at the university. Uh, he's on the brink of being banned from the convention. So not a smart decision on his part, not to mention the lawsuit that is now underway. So that's kind of the long and the short of it. Um, never interacted with this person, never even tweeted at this person, never talked to this person, didn't say anything to this person that night. Wasn't talking politics at the bar. Was talking fucking nerd shit, you know, board games and whatever. So and, was, this uh, a, was it was it a man or was it a woman? <laughs> it was a man. Were they wearing men's clothing? Yes, they were wearing men's clothing. They were wearing a tank top, uh, a sleeveless T-shirt. I guess a tank top sounds kind of women's clothing, but uh, you know, I can see where you're leading here, but. Uh, you know, this is somebody who, you know, is not a small dude. And uh, when you're hanging out and you take several punches in the back of the head, you know, a lot of people talk tough, but uh, it's a different situation, you know, when someone gets to jump on you. It just is. I, I know. I've, I've been in situation. I've been in physical confrontations myself. I, I'm just seeing the rumor here in chat that it was it was a trap. No, no, no. Oh. Dude. Look him up. <laughs> the the Look thing him is, up. See, that dude wears his dress a lot. Um, he does, yeah. There's a unfortunately for me, there's a shitload of pictures of this dude in a dress, which is not great. Dress. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's okay, not before, great, but he's not a small guy. Yeah, before we, we we delve into that, I had something to say to Mundane Matt. One earlier, you asked why would you come on, and uh, the reason is you've been deflecting and um, you know, spinning everything so far. And two, I've been telling the yeah, truth no, the entire no, time, no, so no, I don't think it's the truth, but. The second okay. thing is there is a way you can show your reporting history on YouTube. I'll link it in the chat. So if you didn't do it, it should have nothing in it, correct? Oh, the plot thickens. Uh-huh. No, hold on. I'm looking, I'm reading the article you sent. Yeah, I know what he's talking about. At least I think I know what he's talking about. There, there are ways you can show that. Got really quiet. It no, got I'm, super I'm, quiet. I'm reading. I'm reading. It's it's literally like seven sentences, buddy. Hold on. No, well, no, because it linked me to something else. It's a direct link. Well, there's it's not there's no yes. link directly there to uh, to click on your actual reporting history. I posted it in the chat. It's youtubecom slash report history. The thing is, though, if you report a video and it gets taken down, it it just says uh, that information about this video isn't available. So, just for example, I'm looking at mine. Um, I've reported three videos in my history on YouTube. One is a video called Welcome to the Come Zone, official music video. I don't know what that is, <laughs> but I reported that for uh, sexual content. The other one is Stray from the Path, Goodnight Alt-Right. And then another one is a video where my uh, my content was uh, in infringed on. Um, so yeah, Matt, you can just click on that direct link there and it will show what your history is. 
Okay, um, let me take a look at this here. Give me a second. No, you're taking way too long, Matt. You're guilty as fuck. Take a screenshot. <laughs> we want to see what you report it. All right. Stop fucking around. It's been like fucking eight Jesus minutes. Jesus Christ. Take dude. a screenshot and show them. No, I'm sick of you lying. You're such a fucking snake. And everybody can see through it. You're a fucking dirty little snake that fucking narks on people and reports people to the cops. And then you come into this fucking call like a Walmart greeter. Shut the fuck dude. up. Take the screenshot and show everyone now. Ten seconds, bitch boy. Or you're a confirmed liar. Ten Nine, oh, how eight, am I able to hold seven, on seven, six, five, <laughs> four, three, screenshot, two, right. one. Look, Ralph, the bitch. Uh, I will He's say, the no, one but, that flagged your channel. No, I'm not the one that flagged your channel. Well, just take the screenshot. Yeah, I know. Hold on here. I'm trying to, like, I have to, like, I don't have the, uh, I have to we don't want any, either. you know, element manipulation. Nip, just nipping just, tool to imager. No, I don't know. Hey, oh. uh, hey uh, Ethan, I, I sent you mine. It took a second. <laughs> it took literally one second. To <laughs> <send you down. laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> There's one video in there, <laughs> yeah, which, uh, which was which was is... telling people to flag my channel. And that's the only one that's in there, but you can see it in your DM. I see it. I see it right now. Yeah, yeah you can feel free to share that. I, I don't care. All right. uh, Matt, where are you at? I am working on it right now. One sec. Mm. You definitely are working on it. Loading up Adobe Photoshop as we speak. By the way, there, <laughs> there's the um, there's a screen from uh, the recording. That that's the video. You know, he said I could show it. So there it is. Yeah, that guy in that video was telling people to flag my video. So uh, I said get fucked. But that was about it. And I lost it anyway. <laughs> Matt, where you at? Uh, Matt, Matt, how long does it take to Photoshop something? <laughs> Literally, people on our Discord are doing their channels. It takes thirty seconds. They're 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 pacing right now. You can, I mean, you, can you can drop it in Google Drive right into the chat window here, Matt. Look, I just did mine in ten seconds. This doesn't look good. Actually, Matt, just screen share it to us. Just pull it up yeah. and screen share. It. Yeah, you could do that, of course. In fact, do that Are instead. Trying to delete it right now. A screenshot. No, because I've come on. Flagged, open a new tab. But, it's uh, fine. I've no, nope. you know. nope. Screen share. So far, everybody, <laughs> everybody else in this call it's has easy. done it in the time it took you to basically read it and find it. And people in the Discord have done it for their channels too already. No, I and the screenshot's not going to prove it because the screenshot is easily photoshopped. Screen sure. share, screen share it just that window. I've, yeah, Elsip's got a point. I mean, if it's no big deal, it's no big deal, right? I mean, just unless you flag so many things, and you're completely no, lying. just scroll up to the top. Just scroll I up to the top. haven't mm. flagged anything for copyright so stuff. Why is it taking so long? Couple no, this things. Is not, this isn't, isn't copyright. This is not copy. This is not DMCA's. DMCA's is in, is in a different section. This is only for for yes. uh, content strikes. And Ralph's stream earlier tonight was taken down for a content strike, not for copyright. It was taken down for bullying and harassment. All of your bullying and harassment uh, strikes will show right here on this window. So screen share us this window if you really didn't strike Ralph's stream earlier. Do you want me to? Do you want me to screen share mine, boys? No. No. <laughs> Are you gonna have like four hundred tabs of weird porn it's open or something just for just? For it's fun. not. No. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. But I'm not gonna screen share that. <laughs> Come on, man. What's up? You you headed back to the quarry? Going back to collect more rocks? <laughs> let's let's see it. No, because uh, just put uh, it on. Man. Right. What what are you doing? Uh, What's the delay yeah. here? This is bad. Uh, this is bad. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. You know, I. <laughs> I already thought. Look, not a good look in the words of. Uh, I wasn't, you know, our friend Fuentes. I, I really not a serious wrong. guy. Not a serious guy. <laughs> look, guys, guys, panel. can we call it at this point? There's still no screenshot. Can we call it? The guy fucking flagged. <laughs> no, Keem, like, Keem, Keem. We're making him. We're, we're telling him to do a screen share so we can't Photoshop it. 
Yeah, but it still isn't happening. And he, yeah. Yeah. is there a way to retract it? Can't you just retract yes, you can. it? You can. I think so. Yeah. So yes, he can, can just retract everything right now and get out of it. So yep. it doesn't matter either it's way. Taking too, it's, taking this, too long. it's taking too long. And I just want it to be on record that he is doing this shit. That well, he is I'm flagging not... people. Yes, you are. We would have had a screenshot. We would have a screen share by now. Like on record, guilty, 100%, case closed. <laughs> 10 years. <laughs> 10 years to irrelevancy. Maybe in 10 <laughs> years, maybe you can try again. You're done on YouTube. Bye. Oh, snap. he just fucking dropped the mic and literally left. <laughs> I think Matt, yeah, Matt, Matt, you, you were know. hiding shit. Matt. Go ahead. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Jim, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. My mic was out of, out of place there. Matt, don't you want to call him a gnome? You talk shit every time Keemstar came in, but not this time. That's kind of weird. Because don't you have any just, okay, okay, okay. Listen, I did not do what I'm being accused of doing here. But, but you did something the... else here, and but... wait, wait. But you did something <laughs> else. You don't want to get caught. I, yes, I, I, okay, hold on. Let me let me preface this by saying because this is gonna bite me in the ass for a long fucking time. Matt, just show the screen. Uh, I will, so you I reported you, other people. You, no, we want a screen share. I will send you uh, uh, an image. Right? No, we want a screen share. No, because okay. this is. I'll send you an image because look. No, this is just okay. <laughs> no, no, wait, no. I want to hear this. All right, okay. Hear this. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go, go ahead. ahead. Now go okay, ahead. Okay, let me go preface ahead. this by saying go ahead. that I can get angry mm -hmm. and whatever, but uh -oh. but in my absolute defense here, oh, it's just this is really not gonna be much of a defense. Nothing was taken down. Matt, look, so, I get angry too, but I'd, anyway, go ahead. I, okay, well, it's it. A lot of yeah. Go ahead, send it then. Uh, it's this. Uh, well, geez. I think uh, Matt. I think everyone would. Nobody gives a shit if you flagged other people's shit. The question is, did you flag Ralph's shit? No, I did not flag Ralph's. Shit. Okay, so just even, post that. No one's gonna give a you fuck. Flag. He said right? he didn't flag right? anyone. No, no, no. He, no he I didn't. Flag, I didn't flag him for. Only person said cog. That's the only person you admitted to flag. Well, that was for so, no, so, content. That was everyone content. else. You said you didn't do. That so, was content ID. That was content ID. Oh, let's just see it. Pop the cherry, big boy. Yeah. Put it in. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Jesus. I, I mean, I don't think anyone cares if it's not Ralph's stream, right? I mean, that's I not... Care. That's, what not, a naive well, statement. Look. No, they do. <laughs> they yeah, do. they care. They definitely care, but... Well, there's definitely a bunch of Medicare ones in there. I'm no, sure. there's... No, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's not that. It's not that. It's, uh... By the way, let me show... Uh, Tomorrow night, it's going to be on this channel apparently now. But uh, uh, Dick Masterson and Mr. Medicare, we're going to do that here. <laughs> I'm trying to go on the Dick show this weekend. I didn't. I uh, I need to well, catch up. Well, I, I don't know. Dick Dick has his own program. But I'm talking about the kill stream. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Fuck, my bad. Yeah. All right. Hey, let's kill stream. Let's, uh, Dick yeah. let's stay on topic here, boys. Yeah, let's uh, stay focused. Focus. I'm really interested. <laughs> I think I'm just like Elsa. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Sorry, my my my, my inner merch. This is a really long. Uh, Monday night, we were painting the fucking Mona Lisa. <laughs> it took like a second to share mine. All right, here here we go. Oh, Screen shares live. Let's see it. All right, hold on. My pants are off. Oh Jesus Christ! All right, Matt, fine. what there are you doing? Head. How's it taking this long? Look at all those tabs. I have a lot of tabs open, but. I But nothing, oh, but nothing on that. Now, wait a minute. Nothing on that. That's just, what that's the just, fuck? So, <laughs> I have been in a not the best place mentally. And, now, wait a minute. Oh, Matt, oh, no. <laughs> Matt, no. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's. That's wait, it. No, no, I, Dude, I, I, wait. wait. No, no, wait, wait a minute. Back. Cut no, back. No. no. He fucking okay, lied to on. us. He no. lied to us. Dude, no. what? He lied to our face. He lied straight to our fucking face. For an hour. No. <laughs> <laughs> he was spitting and deflecting the entire fucking no. time. No. It's about, about Dane no, Matt. I, Matt. I, I've, it's because. Matt. No, Matt. That's Matt. my bad. Matt. That's my bad. Matt. I admit fault on Matt. that one. Like, Matt. Literally, I admit fault on that one. No, that's, Matt. That's, that's me. No, come on, dude. Just, just, just take uh, a hit. That's... I'm sorry, but look, dude, at the history of the <laughs> screenshot, the right? The history of the screenshot, what we saw was we saw anybody making a video talking shit about Woo! Matt Mundy. 
getting flagged by Matt Mondain or whatever there the you fuck go. your name yep. is. But, That's what we can uh, but but if you saw Don't the fuck video, me, motherfucker. Done. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Guilty. Case that, closed. That is on me. I'm I have made case closed. Mistakes, if somebody so. cries about Matt Mondain or whatever the fuck your name is, you flag them. Case closed. There was Not, more there. You didn't scroll. There was, no, more. There was more. There was more. Anyway, I think <laughs> I've made a lot of mistakes, and I do owe uh, people an apology. Uh, you for literally me. lied here. So, well, no, I guess you did. Don't yeah, you me. did. You did. You lied. You lied. You lied. You lied. I fucking said face. about was Dame that Pesos. Me? That person has gotten under my skin under under many 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 cases and that is really it and that is that's on these videos are so fun uh, they, they just you? they just that's that it's just the They're thing with the, the, the guy, you yeah, also flagged no, a video called so mundane man is a crybaby bitch what a better <laughs> way to do it Matt you make videos criticizing people that's what you do you make videos talking shit about people and talking about other people but if someone talks about you you try to censor them No, I, and how I, many videos have you made on censorship you dumb I, son of a bitch I have made, you're a joke I you're a fucking made joke errors. I have made errors that's absolutely true made errors grow the fuck up I, dude I will I, I honestly to God, me and you I, get in a Twitter fight and you tell the cops I swat at you. I didn't it say you swatted right back me. To that. That, it no, goes no, right dude, back to that, you team, son of a bitch. You're team, a fucking I, baby. I never, I never actually did that. But, you can't uh, defend yourself with your own fucking words, right? So you have to sneak around and try to get videos taken down. Like it's so fucking disgusting. You're so sad. Right back to the first time when I jumped into the stream. Get into the fucking corner right now, all right? Take your little hoodie, pull it over your head, and have a good cry. Because you fucking earned it, bitch. Oh, God damn. All right. That's, look, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Well, I have made... Don't you want to call him a gnome? No. <laughs> where, no, I don't. I, I, listen, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I've made a fair amount of mistakes. I am fully aware. Uh, I, I, well, let, let me ask you two questions because I want to get them out quick because this is everybody's jumping in and out, and yeah. I think it's important. You lied to us multiple times. You told us you never flagged anybody. You did. You told us you didn't flag. Uh, you, you were aware of You actually came in here and used as a defense. What about the Soilless Match Show? How come that I, hasn't been that, flagged? No, wait, let me finish. Okay. How come that hasn't been flagged? You fucking flagged it. That, well... What I mean is, yeah, look, I've made I've made errors on that one. That is that's 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 me. And, and then you tell Keemstar, I didn't tell the cops this. Well, why should we fucking believe you? You lied to our face for an hour. You lied to our face for an hour. You you have no reason to believe me on this one. This is uh, clearly my error, my mistake, and um, I have I have made errors. I am definitely definitely apologize I have to that. I have to go get collect boulders what the no, fuck? No, that was no, that was piece that, of shit. That, no, that's actually yeah. true. That's legitimately true. That's legitimately true. Um, I didn't word like is dog shit. It, it your will, word is fucking. I, dog un, shit. I understand. And I'm one hundred percent sure you removed that fucking I, strike on the channel because you're a piece of shit. No, I, I am a piece yeah, of shit, are. but I didn't, I didn't do that. Delete I, your I, fucking I, channel, <laughs> Matt. Look, dude, you just got look. I, I got yeah. No, I've, I've, I have made a lot of errors, and uh, that is on me, one hundred percent on me. And I owe people an apology, <sighs> and um. Uh, Matt, I want you to say right now to the fucking uh, to the stream for Dame Pesos. I want you to say, "I am sorry. I am a soy-filled bitch and flagged your fucking videos." Will I am you do sorry. That? I am sorry that I flagged them. No, I no, no. I am no for <laughs> doing what you did. Uh, I am fine, sorry. I am fine, a soy-filled bitch and flagged your videos. I'm sorry. I'm a soy-filled bitch and flagged your videos. <laughs> that there we go. Put it no, on the soundboard. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> I've, yeah, I've, just I've, I've, what is even going on? Honestly, I don't know anymore. This, I've, is worth, I've lost, this is worth the strike, honestly. Just, just, I have, this, this I is have worth made, it. A, I didn't flag this, I swear to God. It's, it's, I have made several errors. But, hey, but no, no, I've, 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 I have, I have, you. No one I, can believe fine. you. That's you fine. lied like a piece that's, of shit. You're a lying piece you, of shit. No, wait, but the thing is, he sit here. No, Matt, Matt, let me speak. Please, Matt, please let me speak. You sat here. And you, you lied to our face, uh, you know, quote unquote face, you know, it's the internet. So, uh, but, but you lied directly to us for, for, you know, an hour or two. And I, 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 
what are we supposed to believe now, right? I mean, I you know the thing, the do you understand that, though? Like, I know, it's, I understand, it's not I a personal attack. I mean, it's just it, it, no, 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 it's no, just no. Here, honesty, let me, let me, right? Let me be honest. Uh, I have, and, and I, will, I will, I will give you the very slightest amount of credit because you, you actually like you showed your screen. You can see the videos. So, <laughs> you can yeah, see the I, videos. I, you can see the videos that you reported. Yeah, no, can, <laughs> yes, were... I, I have flagged. Yeah. And there's more. <laughs> that guy, and that there's guy, more because he didn't scroll. That, nah, that guy, yeah, that's true. Hold that's on, true. hold on. That guy got under my skin uh, in many, many ways. But that why? Is, look, Matt. That, that, Matt, listen. Matt, l- let me tell you something. L- let me tell you something. Dude, I went to fucking jail. Let the boy um, talk. There is no, nothing you could top to to top my disgrace. I, I was literally sitting in a county jail. Um, there were all you kinds were pummeled by a man in a dress, Ethan. No, yeah, that's true. That's true. That didn't, <laughs> that didn't happen. At least it was a police officer, you know, where I had my problems. Um, but you know, I was completely disgraced, and not only disgraced, I was cut off from my family. I had to, and look. I'm not going to go through, oh, take up a collection plate or a sad song. I did that to myself. Um, you know, that was that was something that, that I put myself through. Uh, I, I don't want people to feel sorry for me. Um, it, it was something that I did. And, um, I feel sorry for Ralph. Yeah, well, you, you can feel sorry for me on your own if you want. But uh, I, I just, look. Were you sitting here talking about people? Oh wait, wait, wait! I'm sorry, Ralph. Matt, you you said you were in a bad headspace, but the videos that were getting flagged and shit—the last, the most recent one you flagged was two weeks ago. It was his brand new video. Yeah. Yeah, I've been in a bad place for a while. Um, I've uh, uh, remember it's been it's been it's been a long time. It's been a very 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 long time. Uh, last summer I was uh I was I was contemplating suicide quite often. It hasn't gotten much better. I've tried. Uh, I've allowed myself to get angry. I've allowed myself to do things that uh, I should never do. Um, and it's being legitimate, heart to heart. Swear to God, I've um, I realize I've made errors uh, and and recently realized them. And no, Matt, l- let me ask you oh, something. Let me, let me. Well, hold no, on. Let no, no, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. I want to ask this. Um, you went at me. You went at my wife. I uh, apologize for that too. Yeah, and you did, but you didn't directly apologize for the things you said about my wife um that, that we encourage some type of murderous uh spree um and i really don't care about me i really don't care about me and i've talked about this on this stream before i'm never <laughs> i'm never going to be that person you know what i mean that that is held up in the mainstream i will always be that person oh i hate to link to that website i hate i hate to link to that to that stream but but they're saying something, and I have to. Um, I, I'm never going to be like that person who, you know, I don't care about the mainstream because I know I will never be there. Um, but um, you, you, you slandered my wife, and you did it in a very nasty way. Um, and you didn't apologize for her. Um... Oh, I, we we didn't we talk about that, and I did apologize. I thought I did. I mean, you. I think kind I, I think of... I did. Here's here's the thing. Here's the thing, guys. I I said I. I don't know. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Quartering. What it's are okay. you doing? It's okay. I I muted him. So, Go ahead. No, the, 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 that's I the would thing. just say so, I don't really I'm, care I'm about gonna... me because oh, no. I, I'm not worried about respectability. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go. Because clearly I have a lot to work on. Uh, I have made mistakes. I owe people apologies. Uh, I will. I will. You know, talk I mean, to. Uh, are you about to leave the stream? Is that what you're saying? Or yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. You got exposed. Um, now you're running away. No. What more do you want me to say? It's like I fucked up. I have fucked well, up. I I've made mistakes. The second, channel, the second page. That's what so, I want to see. Because there was a scroll bar there, and there was much more that you found. So, but oh, I'm. That's. I've made mistakes. I'm going to make my apologies. And um, your apologies. Matt, don't worth listen, shit. Matt, so, the best thing you could do was to, to just be stay on the stream. I mean, Matt, 
Matt, well, or, or you need to, on, you know, need to expose to every single video that you've ever flagged, and yeah. you need to be honest about the ones that you retracted before you showed us the screenshot. I did not. That's what you need anything. to do. Do you I want respect? Do you want no, people I to didn't, give you a I didn't chance? retract anything. He can, I only listen. You're getting a second Matt, chance he he, he can still. Thousand percent honest. Yeah, yeah honestly. You're never going to live this he, down. You're never going to live this down, and you're going to keep hearing about this forever. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. I want to say this. You could still. You know, make this good. Now, w will it make it perfect? No, but you could still do some work here, and it's up to you. I mean, if you want to retreat and and not well, on up to that. But I I understand where, where he's coming from, like wanting to to get off. Like you well, don't want to. Yeah, keep, of course, like, anybody over. would. I mean, but it's getting slammed, but here's but... here's the thing: if you don't, Matt, and I mean this very seriously, if you don't show the rest of the videos you you put strikes out on, it's going to lead to endless speculation this is going to follow you all of your youtube comments on the four out of the five videos you put out every single day from here on out are going to be hey what else what other videos did you flag hey did you flag this hey did you flag that you're not going to hear the end of this until you show everybody the rest of the videos you flag and and get he's 100 percent right yeah. and to be honest you can't take time if you can leave the stream then oh. we're going to think it's altered you need to screen share and just do it now. Just then get, get it over, over with, man. Okay, like, okay, that, okay that's fine. The thing. Okay, fine. Okay, I have I'll, no problem I'll, I'll with you, it. man. Just, just, I'll do just, it. just be and, honest. And like, what, just... what you guys, and this is, I haven't removed anything. This is what it is, is the last few months, especially, I have been. I don't care. I don't, okay, well, I'm just trying to be, I'm trying to. No, nah, look. I, I know Zidane, by the way. Actually. By the way, I love Zidane. I will give him the heart. Uh, but, look, yeah, just, just be honest. I don't know, man. There's nothing. You literally have nothing to lose at this point. Matter of fact, you would have a lot to gain if you were honest and and just put it all out there. All right. Screen share now. Oh, it was just there. Oh, here it is. It was for a second. Yes. Okay. You guys see it? I yeah. see a lot of Dane so, Pesos so videos. A lot of Dane Pesos. It's it's the last Andy six Worski. I see a war. It's the shit. Do? The shit Worsky. about me when oh, the oh, you the flagged the Kumite started. too a couple times. What I the got, fuck? Yeah, it was a lot of. It was a, like I said, a lot of shit's gotten under my skin, and I've acted very inappropriately. And that is, it's Talk all within the last few months. And yeah, and I owe people uh, uh, an apology. So, but if you notice, everything is active. Nothing's been taken down except for that uh, one information. I see failure. I don't, I don't know. See I don't know which one. Saw... Was, uh, yeah. You know what? Scroll back up. Uh, you know, uh, just that's to it. Make... It's, it's the okay. ones in the. It's in the last few months. I've just been in a very Wait, bad place. But, but let me ask you. There, there's one by Swedish mate no, that look, was an archive video. It looks yeah, like. Yeah, Swedish mate is an archive channel for sure. I know that person. Uh, but let me ask you. Why even do this, man? Like, I, well, I, okay. So let me let and me. And don't. Explain. By the way, I see you took away the screen share. Don't don't take it away. Well, I'm just, on, I'm well, just asking it, you. Well, well, hold on, guys, man. Me, I felt weak. I felt helpless. I couldn't. No, I couldn't no. defend myself with words. So I it's decided not, to try not, to take not, the video. No, down. seriously. Like, if you it's think not, about, I, let me ask explain, you this, Matt. Can I, can yes, I you can. But let let me say something first. No, wait a minute, Matt. Let me say something first. Do do you realize that? The type of things that that are thrown at me. Uh, by the way, well, yes, I, I'm not. I'm not crying about it. I mean, it's just the reality. And and then you sit here and you're trying to report videos. I've never done that. Never. Um, I I just I feel like that's bush league. I, I don't. Know let's let's just you. let's. What's the go ahead? Go ahead. Why, why let's go. Why the go ahead. Thing? Go ahead. Uh, it was okay. So when the um when the blood sports first started they were coming at me like hardcore a lot and you know i was uh, i i was trying to defend my friends trying to defend defend kilroy trying to defend a bunch of stuff and i got so frustrated and so fucking angry over it and i allowed myself to do shit that is not me and i allowed myself to get angry at people uh, there were people out there that legitimately I, that I did not even re report at all. Period. Uh, you know, the Kumite got under my skin. Uh, I I don't I don't mean to interrupt, but when you say when you know I wasn't me, do you mean like you were you, but you don't want to be that piece of shit what, anymore? What I what I mean is I allowed myself to get angry, and 
I have suppressed a lot of rage over the last couple of years. Like I said, when I first started doing this shit, I was trying to let my rage out. Uh, I didn't properly uh, uh, focus it in the right direction. You know, I know it's going to sound like an excuse, but there's like the apocalypse. I bought a house. I was having a kid. I just didn't. Uh, I, I was getting angry at shit in my everyday life. I was allowing myself to just get very rageful. I hurt myself today. Well, no, hold on. This is being, look, I'm being honest to God, legit, man. Like, Jim, you even sent me that message last year. You remember that message? Do you remember was that, that the one where Was that the one where I told you to do a flip? No, that was the one you sent me. In private, <laughs> that's, that's the private message you sent me telling me everything's going to be okay. Yeah, remember I told that? you to relax. Yes, I did. <laughs> And that, that, that actually meant a lot to me then, man. I was at a really bad place back then, like swear to God. And, uh, I was, I, I, I allowed myself to do some shit that is just ridiculous. Um, I will, you know, I can't, uh, apologize it for it enough to be honest with you, because this is a mistake that I, I should have never allowed myself to get that angry. Uh, I should have come on and fought people. I was, I was so stupid. So, so Matt, when you were telling us earlier that it made it, it like amused you to fuck with the Kumite and not go on when they offered that's, you that, when, that, when, that's, when, that's when you lie. said it, that's a lie. That's a lie. It so got me got, really they, angry. They got me. They got under my skin every single day because it was nonstop. Man. But that's it's the not, problem. It's like, how do we believe you now when no, literally no, just no, like forty five no, minutes ago no. you were lying? I, I, I'm fully aware of that, man. I'm being like legit right now. Swear to God, we can't. I, I it's it's an hour and a half and heard you lie. No, I. Well, I'm trying. I'm trying. Like when it comes to tonight in the stream, I didn't do anything. I swear to God, I was legitimately out. I, I um, got a I got a serious question. How do you plan on making a video criticizing others in the future, knowing that everyone knows that you can't take criticism? You know, to be honest with you, uh, I'm gonna recalibrate how I do things, and um, and but and, you're gonna have to make videos talking about yourself because you're you lost the right to talk about anyone else. I, I owe people uh, an apology. Absolutely. Yeah. So, Matt, I, you know, you, you talk all the time about like not wanting to get angry and like suppressing your anger. Do you think that's sort of contributing to this problem? You're, you're sort of making yourself impotent and you're not allowing yourself to express natural human emotions because it's OK to be angry. It's OK to be passionate. Look at look at Keemstar, for God's sake. I mean, the guy's like he is very passionate all the time. It's OK to feel emotions and to not always be mundane and flatlined. And do you think that maybe by by holding yourself in like that and boxing yourself in, you're you're only allowing yourself to to have these outbursts, these these hidden outbursts, you know, st striking people's channels, flagging people's content. Do you think maybe if you were just more human, more yourself in your content, this wouldn't happen? It would be a, a more cathartic that's, that's experience entirely, for you. It's entirely possible. I, I don't think you're wrong. Um, I I think what it is is like there are times. You know, I do clearly care what people think about me honestly it's uh you know there was um, it's okay it's uh it's been it's been an issue man i'm not lying like i have you have you ever had the urge to grab firearms and take your no, revenge on innocent no, people no not at all man are I'm, you sure yeah i don't even want to own a gun. i believe there needs to be a psyche evaluation well, I'm, i i start therapy next week so uh, that's because i'm scared like you're the type of person that i would label I'm... as a potential school shooter well, you know, that's not the case, man. Like, seriously. And I'm know. not saying that to make a joke. I really <laughs> that thought that. sounds like you are. I thought that for years. I've honestly thought that for years. I'm not you. that type of person. I was bullied a lot when I was in school. Yeah, 100%. I, but I would no, never really that. No way. I, I would. Uh, I'm, I'm never. No, I'm not the kind of person. Um, I've. Uh, no, I've, I've clearly made errors. I've clearly made a mistake. Uh, many mistakes that I do owe people an apology for. Um, I am honest to God trying to better myself. So why not? Why not drop that apology right now? You seem ready. No, I, I apologize to Dame Pesos. I apologize to uh, Tonka Saw, the failure to Andy. Um, you know, what about that, this stream here? I well, I apologize for fronting. I didn't flag it earlier. I swear to God on that one. I swear. I swear on my you life. swear. I swear. No, I swear on my. I swear on my. And not only did you swear, you're gonna use your influence to try to reverse that. Well, yeah, that, I know. that's I, my yes, point. You know what? I am. Yeah, say, I am. say for say you didn't do that. By the way, that's hard for me to believe. But you know what? Say you didn't do it. Okay, I didn't do it. Okay. I did not do it. Okay, so you're gonna use your influence to to try to. Well, take I don't. That back. Yeah, whatever influence. Yeah, whatever I've got, I will email them and I'll. Uh, I'll, I'll dead I'll, serious, well, man. Don't, I'm gonna don't, tell don't, you what don't. I'm gonna do, Matt. Matt, I'm gonna use my influence and my contacts to YouTube to find out if you fucking did. That's what I'm gonna do, motherfucker. That's fine. 
I, I, I can respect that. I didn't do it, but go ahead. I, yeah, that's fine. Matt, I, I just think he, with all the pressure right now, I mean, you, you're doing this as a career. You've got a child now. Like, you really need to, to take care of yourself and not be like yeah. fucking yourself up emotionally and, and mentally, right? If you're gonna be, if you're gonna be doing this, and like I was saying earlier, I would have a hard time finding the passion to to do what you're doing and make all that content because it's stuff that it seems like you don't really care that much about and it doesn't seem like you're really enjoying every bit that you're that you're doing but like you can't be suppressing yourself and making yourself into some kind of caricature like this and and, and building this fake persona that you're you're spending 12 hours a day in because it's going to to lead you to keep doing stuff like this you're going to keep acting out if you keep suppressing how yeah. you actually feel like it's okay no, to get pissed off it's no, okay you're right. to have you're right. you're right i think and, what it is 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 um like i just you know i don't want to allow myself to go to that place because i don't like ever going there uh but i didn't find the right what's outlet worse, man. No, what, it, what's worse though like you're, right, like you're right it is worse because it builds up it, you know because you don't you don't see it happening. I work, you know, seven days a week. Uh, I, you know, I make enough to get by, uh, which is which is nice. But it's like also there's that constant grind to maintain it. Yeah. Um, you know, which is very much a, a draw. But I, I'm, you know, I'm holding okay, it that's it. to what I do. Yeah, that's uh, why. You know, and it's it's been it's been a fight. Like I don't want to like I don't want to fight people. I really don't. Um, but uh, no, I want to secretly flag them so I, I don't have to. I, Daniel, this, I've made, I don't mistakes. Have to face I've made them. mistakes, man. I've made mistakes, but I swear yeah. to God, I did not. Like, look, I man, not. I'm I'm being dead honest with you. From here on out, like this this revelation right here is going to ruin you. You're not going to be allowed to like make videos and criticizing people. So I want to know what do you do for a living? Is it just YouTube or do you have a real job? No, this is my job, and I'm okay. I'm, so YouTube's your job, okay. You're not going to like be successful in the future unless you like, I don't know, make gameplays or just make completely different content than what you're doing. Cause like in this world right here, like your career's over. And I, yeah, I mean okay. that. The caricature definitely is right. This, this idea of, and that's the other thing, Matt. And that's the reason you probably only gained 10,000 subs in a year is because being flatline and unemotional is boring. And people don't want to watch that. No, it, no it one is. finds that it intriguing is. or interesting. It and is. and so not only are you boring yourself, but but you you are then missing out on an opportunity to grow. You have you have a platform with one hundred sixty thousand subs, right? You could be getting a lot more views than what you do on on these videos that you turn out. But because what, what you're doing, and you know this is true, is just sort of boring. People don't want to watch. Nobody wants to click on it. It could have the clickbaitiest title and thumbnail, and it's not going to do you any good. But people watch YouTube videos for personalities. Right. They like the personalities. And and, you know, I don't have the, the greatest metrics in the world. Sure. But I, I you know, get 50, 60,000 views on almost all my videos. And it's because and I found my numbers going up a lot recently because I've been showing more sort of personality, getting a little bit looser with my scripts and such. Yeah. And, and that's what people watch YouTube. Right. Look at Keemstar again, a great example of a very strong personality. People like watching that. Ralph has a, you know, all these people, they have definitive personalities. And if you're the guy who's just in the middle of the road, very milk toast, very, as the username says, mundane, that's not going to bring people in. And, and I feel like you've created this, this character that is now sort of an albatross for you. And you now think is, is sort of holding you back. And you know, that's really not the character you want to play online. Right. So just just it, it just sounds like, like, you know, cliche, like dating advice or whatever, but just be yourself. Just show some more personality. You can still do this, but you have to, you, you can't play the character anymore. I don't think so. I think he's done. I think the only thing he could really do is maybe like food reviews. But even <laughs> then, if someone disagrees with him, everyone's going to speculate that he's the one that took down the fucking video. I, so, no, I, I oh, Matt, hold on. You have other channels. What did you flag on those? nothing oh shit oh shit let's go let's go fire it up fire it up fire it up come on get on the other channels let's yeah I, i'm with i'm with keem on this i actually want to see this just show matt it. hold on yeah, hold on there's nothing this much is... you can do other than i mean you can either show it or just log off this is the only other channel that i use so Tell about the $3 theater. This is three-buck theater, yeah. So there's nothing there. It's just, it's literally, I allowed myself. So, well, well naturally you would do more things on the. Well, it's like I said, like I said, like, I have, I have made the mistakes that I've made and, uh, 
and everything. And uh, that's 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 all I can really say. I I owe people an apology. I will directly address them. Um, I don't about, about, let, let, let me ask you this. Let let me just say this, and then you know the panel can comment as they would wish. Um, I mean, think of all the shit you've talked about. You know, I hate to even mention her name, but uh, Anita Sarkeesian. Um, you know, um, people like that. Think Careful, that'll, shit... give you, that'll give you punched, man. <laughs> but no, but think, <laughs> but think about all the shit you've said about people like that, and then, you know, your falling claims against against others, right? It's it, it's against specific people that I just let them. Well, get under because my they skin. don't like you. I mean, look, they don't. They're, no, they're, 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 they don't. And, and I, the, Matt, Matt, hold on, there wait, are wait. specific people that don't like me as well. I, I, I don't guess, and, say, and, let and me what I'm trying to say, Ralph, Ralph, what I'm trying to say, and we're literally just keep we're going around in circles here. Is that I've just I've made I've I've made mistakes. I apologize, obviously, uh, and I allowed myself to get very angry and uh, never have a positive way to express that. And it built up over time, and there was a lot happening at the beginning parts of the year, and I just so didn't the thing think about is it. that why people you know. Are not not necessarily going to have any sympathy for you. Is, I don't. I don't expect them to. I don't but, expect but, them to. But, to be but wait, you, you talk about this. You know, it's your job, and and this is how you make a living. And then they see you striking people. You know, mostly because they're talking shit about you, right? That that's that's the main reason that that you're doing this. Um, it doesn't inspire a lot of confidence, right? I, no, I, you, and, you can understand how this looks, right? This is not. I know. I the, I get the. I understand the optics. All I can do is just be honest at this point and say I have made a lot of mistakes. I have clearly fucked up. Yeah, I, we get it. You had a severe lapse in judgment. We well, get you it. Have, you have oh, Twitter look, channels, Matt. Matt, you got to understand my point of view. All right, me and you get into a Twitter fight, right, and then you get swatted. And then like a month later, the FBI is at my door, you know? So you said that you didn't tell him that I had you swat it. I don't believe you. But now I'm starting to think, wait a minute. Did this guy have himself swat it? No, no. Why would I Did do that? Did this guy have no... himself swat it? Because you're, you're like, you have this revenge thing going on where you want to secretly like seek revenge and flag videos. And I don't know. There's this whole complex going on, you know, with you. And, 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 you know, I like to get revenge too, but I'm vocal about it. I never want to hide it. Like I want people to know, like I'm, I'm after you. Right. But you're like real secret about it. It's very strange. When you made that video after you got swatted, you said, I have a good idea of who did this, but you didn't say my name. You didn't say my name in that video, but you told the cops. I didn't tell the cops that you did it. Yeah. You, of it, course. You did. No, up. I, I don't want to fuck didn't. up flow, but is there a reason why Matt, so Keem, you you this is back to like a year ago, right? Shit, this is like three years ago. Three years ago. Okay, so it why why did why did Matt why would you think that Matt would finger you in that? Uh me and him got into an argument over Twitter, okay? Um he got swatted and I've been swatted before and I wouldn't wish that on my worst That's enemy. It's fucking scary. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so I, I yeah. tweeted I DM'd him and I deleted my tweets because I thought, hey, you know, there's a possibility that one of my fans swatted him because we got into this argument on Twitter. So I deleted my tweets and I DM'd him and I said something along the lines, man, like, hey man, I, I hope this didn't happen because of our Twitter fight. Um about a month later. The FBI is at my door and they're asking me if I had this dude swat it. And they told me that with no said, evidence, right? There's no evidence. There's no it. evidence. They told me that Matt told them that I had him swat it. That's what the FBI told me. Well, that sounds like, I mean, the FBI is not going to make that up, right? Of course. Okay. You know, that's why I hate this guy's guts. I didn't, I didn't so tell ridiculous. them that. I didn't so, tell them you that. You don't think, Matt, you don't think maybe you mentioned maybe like, oh, I don't know, maybe it was this. You didn't mention Keem's name at all? I No, in the, when I was originally interviewed by the police after it happened, uh, I they asked me if I got into a beef with somebody on Twitter and I said that I got into it with Keemstar. Why, why is everyone treating this like a fucking counseling session? Keemstar's right. Yeah. He's all right. I, 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 when we came into the stream, I said, uh, and I told you this, Matt, when you came on, 
you're flagging people. It's too much of a coincidence. No, Jim, I didn't do that. Yeah, you did. You know me, Jim. I wouldn't do that. Obviously, you just showed us that you fucking did that. I've never heard of these people. I don't recall. Obviously, you did. It's like lie after lie after lie. Oh, they bother me. They piss me off. They get me upset. When I'm in a bad headspace, I go after people. Apparently, Keemstar got you in a bad headspace. I don't doubt for a minute that you told the FBI. I don't know about if you swatted yourself or not. I can't comment on that. No, I, I, I didn't. I didn't. Again, my, my bullshit alarm's I, I going up way I know, too much. I know. Of I know. And I just I, like to like, say, I'm right. So I, I, oh, I, everything I said when I came in here, I'm fucking right. You did flag those people. You do have Google alerts on your names to find out if anybody's talking shit about you. Obviously, you're tuned into it, telling us, oh, I don't know about these features and shit. I don't, I, I don't, I don't buy it, man. I, I wouldn't doubt if you had a fucking alt account or another account and you, you somehow or you talk to somebody at YouTube that you know and you fucking nailed Ralph. It's, no, it's too no, much of a no. fucking well, – why would I believe you now? Uh, you don't have a reason to, but I can, all, exactly. I can say, I, all I can to. say to that is that I didn't do it. And look – You have two guys, other channels. I have – I. You have three, right? Reebok Theater, your main one, Mundane Chats, and Forbidden Knowledge. Yeah. Okay. All I know is I have a long list of people that have done me sure. wrong, right? And I'm going to cross your name out because I think this is justice. You've been exposed for the person you are, and um, I no longer have a beef with you. But if you fuck with me again, you're going back on the list. Thanks, boys. I'm out. Thank you, King. Later, buddy. Sure. Yeah, I, look, Matt, you know, my natural inclination is this, you know, you know, who knows who does who does what, whatever, but um, um, I don't know. It's not a good look, right? No, it's not. And uh, the, again, the only thing I can I can do now is just uh, look, I'm a, I'm sorry. I am going to go because there's really nothing more I can say on the matter. You can leave. Um, I'm well, because I, it's this I'm going to it's the same thing over and over again at this point. Um, you know, I mean, I, mean, I am going, from, I'm going to, from where I'm, you came here, I mean, I came here to defend, like, I came here to defend, like, the you, you, there's been of, some things that, that have been of, exposed that, yeah, true. And I'm, and look, and I'm an asshole and I'm, a, and I'm an asshole. That's just the way it is. Like I, I, and I admit that I legitimately, James is correct, man. James is, is hundred percent right. I've allowed myself to maybe become this character that isn't necessarily me. And I got to find who the fuck I am. You know, I gotta I mean, find out. I, I'm not gonna lie. You know, so that I mean, sounds gay, that's, that's, right? That's, like that. That's it, it can sound. Funny. It can sound whatever it is, man. Matt, like, listen. I mean, imagine dude, there I, was, you know, Brianna Wu saying something like that. Like, you sound well, like that type of person, right? I mean, like, I, look, like man, how, look, Ralph, 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 Ralph. The, only, the only thing for that Matt can do at this point is just like, like this is this is the good advice. Uh, I don't know if Matt, if you're gonna take this or not, it would be to log off, take a few days off. Yeah, sort this gonna, out and then come back. Yeah, well, I'm Matt, gonna, you know what? No, One good I'm thing you do, do would then... be submit that statement that I told you. Well, about, I'm, I that... will submit the statement and then I will. I'll send you a, a screen cap with the email. Don't or, please don't back off that. Because I'm not gonna back. No, I'm not gonna. Look, here's I don't thing. even I, know that I, that will help. I I don't know. Uh but I don't, you know I what don't, I mean? Like, like I, you yes, sit here. You literally showed your fucking history, and your reporting people like matt well ralph ralph it goes deeper than that like the last thing i want to say matt and i'll, I'll let you fucking go but like you know some people do this shit for fun some people have alternate you know sources of income but from what i remember hearing and i might be wrong on this i mean you you flagged failure it uh, didn't talk uh repeatedly talk about how failure needed money and he was helping him out and stuff with splitting the super chats yeah like you fucked that guy in a way that probably hurt him in real life like you fucked his livelihood that'd be like if he fucked with your ability to feed your kids there are well the video was never taken down but uh but you but, attempted it but there was i was yeah i look i like i said i i'm going to talk to failure i'm going to talk to each person directly uh i will send them some messages and try to set it up i could because i i legitimately made mistakes at this point that's all i can really say i will send the message off to youtube uh i i'm i am sorry that's 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 it that's it man fucking I guess the thing that people <laughs> that that right people, has people, people upset people, yeah, is people because can... look, Matt, you're not the only one who was doing this for their main source of income. No, I, um, I and, and I, so when you hit somebody, it's it it it's, it's just so it, it, it's fucked up. I mean, yeah, I no, guess. I know it's I know I know that it's very fucked up, and I understand that it's fucked up. And again, I've made a lot of errors. I've allowed myself to be a person that I'm not. I've allowed myself to be an idiot, to be completely taken over by uh, anger. And it's true. And the thing is, like, I owe people apologies. And that's at this point, all I can do is just 
focus on apologizing. Well, it sounds like you owe some people some money too. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I well, nothing got taken down, so I have. I I don't know. Well, look, I, I don't have any my money fucking channel anyway. just got taken down. I didn't an hour do that. Ago. I didn't do that. I okay. believe you. That's fine. Don't believe me. That's fine. Okay. I can't control that. I'm just saying. Sorry now is because you got caught red no. fucking handed. Yes. No. Yes. I didn't get. I guess you look, did. Zidane. Zidane. Can I like look? Go ahead. Zidane. Let him respond. Go ahead. I didn't flag Ralph's stream. I came on here to talk, talk about that, and clearly it went a direction that uh, that well, is, is I mean, arguably. I, I understand uh, on, that on, you on, might on, not have wanted all that to come out, but that no. That but I look, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It, it's 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 you know it, it allows me to hit that next level, right? It acknowledge. So I've what are you mistakes. gonna do from now on? What are you gonna do? I, I'm going to take a couple days. I'm going to think about a lot of stuff. I'm going to. Uh, definitely. Now, are you really, or are you just saying this for the two thousand? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> no, I'm really going to take okay. a couple of days off and, okay. uh, and you know, come back to this channel and, uh, you know, really just kind of recalibrate where things are, where I'm at. I'm, a, I'm going to reach out to people and apologize, uh, you know, and and everything else. And people are going to clearly be mad at me, and they're going to clearly be upset with me, and they have every right to be. I've made ex terrible terrible judgment calls uh that is not who i am as a person but i allowed myself to get angry and that is on me and i need to work on that and that's just where things are at right now so did you I, also did you also sell that young girl the um icp's daughter that furry suit what i'll mute myself what? sorry okay. yeah. no yeah uh, but on that note guys i, I am gonna go um all right, farewell. So uh, I will. Uh, I hope you will message me with. with I will your, message you. I'm working. I have it up on my on my monitor Matt, right now. Matt, listen, I'm dead serious with, with I'm, what I'm, we're talking about no, here. I, I hope I, I hope you're not, you know, faking the deal and and you're. No, serious. no, no, no. I I look. I By have the way, I, ha I have no evidence that that will actually help whatsoever. But I don't you know, know either. I, I will. I will if send you up actually, an email. If you I actually will. put out a statement and and say something, maybe. So, um, I I would I would hope you would send me that. So. No, I, I will. I'll work on that right now. Like I said, I am to everyone listening, to everyone out there. I have betrayed people's trusts. I have obviously fucked up. It is not the best version of me. I'm I'm trying to get there. Uh, I've allowed myself to become something that uh, is just uh, an asshole. And uh, you can believe me, not believe me, and I understand either way. But um, I am I am sorry for everything that that i've done i allowed people to get under my skin and it's not an excuse no it's not an matt, excuse it's not an excuse so matt you're, you're apologizing for having emotions right the, the, the apology no, I'm, it's not, I'm not apologizing for having emotions james i'm apologizing for the actions taken upon those emotions that's yeah. the difference that's, the no, difference I, here is i made that i made that judgment call in, yeah. in a moment of error in a moment of upset and you know like i just allowed myself to get to a place where it's not good and, where you felt like you, you felt like you could had no other way of expressing those feelings aside from I, doing it duplicitously it just, yeah. and, and behind the back. Yeah, no, I, I, it's, it's, I just, get it. it's not, it's not right, man. It's not right. It's not right for me to do. Um, it's just shitty, you know, and that's, um, that's, that's, uh, that's on me. And it's, you it's know? And, and, and before you log off, just, it's okay just to have like emotions and feel and have like a personality. That's fine. That's good. And that's good for your content. Good for you emotionally. Good for, Good for you in a lot of ways. So I, you know, don't run from that. Don't be. Don't no, be I'm, I'm gonna, that. I'm gonna talk with my, uh, my counselor when I get set up, work on, uh, you know, a solid exercise plan, a solid, yeah, a solid plan. Because that's all I can do. That's make, I mean, make, make that letter for Ralph, and then whatever. Yeah, look, I don't like I said. I don't know if that's gonna help. Whatever, but seriously, you I know what this sad. If you actually, if you actually did, shit. if you actually did no, fill that out. Like, yeah. It's what do you want? Like I can all I, I do is I can admit admit that just, I've made. I just errors. know you have connected YouTube that I don't have. I, 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 I whatever I've got, dude. I'll I'll send off okay. right now. All right, send off. Off. Okay, but I don't all believe right. you're crying bullshit. That I, that's that's entirely fine, dude. You 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 are completely Look, right to have that feeling, and I'm not going to argue is. that. Thank you, Monday Matt, so, for coming on the kill stream. I appreciate it. All right, have a good night, guys. You too. Good night. All right. Um. Ralph, well, if I was a mastermind, I wouldn't come on the stream. Well, no shit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> there were so oh, many man. tweets oh, like, Jim planned this. Jim literally did not plan this. 
Um, the quickness with which they took down the stream, I mean, I just... That's what I can't get over. I mean, it was just so thirty seconds. Yeah, let, let's uh, the counseling stuff's nice, but yeah, let's let's be realistic here. Yeah, Keem's I, probably right. I, yeah. I don't know about the swatting, but I mean, he's definitely right about the yeah. telling him that Keem had an involvement in that. And I don't believe for a second that Matt didn't. Uh, well, he look, did it. He did it. I am just calling. It. I don't give a fuck. Just I could be look wrong, at whatever. what came out on this very stream with him showing. I mean, just yeah, Zidane. Absolute... Wow, what a what a uh... yeah, that was nicely done, man. Holy shit. I'm so mad. That, that's that he's unreal. A lying piece of shit. Like seriously, we sat here for an hour of him going, "Oh, I was just picking fucking rocks with my daughter." Bullshit. And then all of a sudden, takes yeah, you, a fucking you, hour for him to show that screen. Just look. Oh. I mean, he showed the screen and showed and all also, the people. You brought it up in thirty seconds. People in the yeah. chat in our Discord yep. throwing it up in thirty seconds. Him. That's unreal. I didn't yep. flag anyone. He lied to our faces. I, you know, you guys were, you guys are, some of you guys were really fucking nice. Stop. Well, he not yeah. only lied, but he's been lying for months, saying, I don't flag these people, I don't flag people. Boom. He flagged literally everybody. He, was he ever showed the screen, and it showed he that he flagged those people. Yeah. He, and and he's like, oh, well, I, I was in a bad headspace. And, That's you know, bullshit. Yeah. You know what's uh, especially egregious is when, I know this is like a double standard, but when a YouTuber strikes another YouTuber, in, in the one time ever in my life I've had to strike anyone, I fucking painstakingly thought about it because I know what it's like. And to have somebody who's had almost double digits strikes on one screen is particularly egregious. I don't know. It, it well, is what it is. I mean, even your chat is saying, and I mean, they're probably right. Some Somebody brought it up on stream, but... Uh, he, he was saying like, "Oh, he's stalling to delete his most recent history." Yes. So, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Who knows what the fuck he took off of that? Yeah, there's no, there's no telling what there's, he took. There's off. probably it, some it, sort of delay. There's probably nah, some well, sort of like it probably only shows, you know, maybe the last week or something. It might not show. So look, he sat here and lied to everybody while we were on the stream, and you know what? That was the perfect time to just come clean. Yeah, you know what? I reported uh, Dame Pesos and. You know, I had some issues, whatever. Nothing, nothing about this was perfect. If you're in a bad headspace and people piss you off and you're flagging everybody left and right, don't go on a stream where people no, are he said you're doing a lot about it for show. a solid hour, though, right? <laughs> like, I hope it's def he was deflecting. And then he came I'm out, kidding. and it came out that you're obviously lying. Keemstar is sitting here roasting you. Like, I just, I, I don't understand the thought it, process. It, Sitting here for an hour listening to him just lie, just it, it really. So Keemstar, me and Keemstar follow each other on Twitter. We're not tight or anything. Um, so I saw him tweet about it, and I said, "Well, hey, here's the link if if you want to jump in." And I don't know what it was, but I like I guess Keemstar showing up, and he he completely started changing his story. Like it, he's just like, "Oh yeah, I was in a bad yeah, headspace." Well, your, your chat's dead on with a lot of this shit. Uh, Minority Report said, uh, this is the same guy that keeps on complaining about the YouTube apocalypse yeah. and how he has no problem reporting yes. people and jeopardizing their income. Yeah, well, he talks about, oh, my algorithms, and, you know, I was so well off before now, but Turn you have no problem block. trying to, you just cut people off completely. Uh, and, and when you get a community guideline strike, everybody on this channel knows what it's like. I mean, no live streaming, you know, it's, it's 90 just, days. It's fucked. It's like getting it, laid off for especially three if you're so, you know, courting, you know, your main thing is uploading videos. So you can still upload videos and still get get the money from that. But um, yeah, but it doesn't compare to live. No, streaming. it's not. I can it's live not. stream when your main thing is live streaming and they cut that off. It's just like, wow, you're cut off. Like they're, it's they're a just, huge like, hit. Yeah, yeah it's a huge hit. Like, that's why there's so much There's nothing pressure. else you can do. It's just like, wow, they just fucking cut my neck. What what can right. you do? Uh, so. Yeah, a channel like, like Kumite that, that is entirely yeah. based around streaming. Uh, yeah, yeah. One, if one of those, what was it, four? If one of those four or five had gone through... Well, then, not just the yeah. Kumite. He hit the Kumite, Takasa, Andy. Hit, like, he hit, just uh, look at the like, list. Channels. Yeah. 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 And fuck, yeah. Ralph, you were streaming on Failure's channel. Did he hit you yes. when you were there? well... Um, we got a strike on Failure's channel, yeah. Oh, yes, dude, we this did. is dirty as shit, man. Yeah, we we won. Well, and, and so. also he did. He mentioned a few times he had a Discord. I wonder what kind of coordination is going on in that Discord well, with these strikes. Oh, it's true. Oh I mean, man, are we talking about Discord's fucking Saga 2.0? Yeah, 
because if you if you can get you know as we know from the whole crowd situation if you can get all it takes is like 10 people to strike a uh video well because when, yeah when there's You're a trouble. glut of reports so it could just be one or two and they ignore but if there's you know five to ten they say oh you know and they all come in at the same time oh uh, well yeah. this this was entertaining as hell ralph i, I had a good time i got a By jet, way, but... jim tomorrow yeah. night yeah, yeah, I'll pop on. Uh, oh, right. Talking with uh, Dick's always fun. Yeah, <laughs> he should, cool. He'll have something to say about this. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm oh, quite I bet certain you will. he before will you have leave. something to say about it. Yeah, before you leave, uh, how, how's uh, the first day back on the internet? Uh, well, it's been seven hours, and we've already had a hell of a shit show. So that's why things are going good. I'm glad, I'm glad you're feeling better, by the way. <laughs> Seven-hour ops. There you go. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll pop on uh, tomorrow. Uh, you guys take it easy. All right, then battle. Some people were also saying that was fucked up, Ralph. You picked the one game Jim said he wasn't any good at. First off, Jim could very well be lying. I don't, I don't know if, if this has crossed anybody's mind. That he it's all, be... all just a coincidence, right, Ralph? Just <laughs> yeah. a, a wild coincidence you'd pick that game. Yes. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the one game I play. Well, hold on. You restricted me to the list of games that you have. You mean all 40 fucking fighting <laughs> games? Yeah. I restricted you to a list of 40 fighting games. Melty Blood, King of Fighters. You've got uh, Blaze Blue on there. Tekken's on there. You, got, you had a lot of Naruto. We could have played Naruto. <laughs> I want to see that one. <laughs> I almost picked that one just for the joke aspect of it, but but I I, I but no, I, you I, you I, honed in on the one that I said. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a big Mortal Kombat guy. That's the one you feel confident in. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so when do you want to do it? Uh, well, so what was your what day did you want to do this? My proposal. Now I realize a lot of people you don't know, have celebrations or. You know, New Year's Eve is kind of a romantic holiday. Maybe you have, you know, quiet dinner planned or, you know, some some type of thing like that. My original thing, just for, you know, maximum, uh, you know, exposure, was a New Year's Eve event. Uh, that was that was my idea. Of course, I assume there would be some drinking involved as well since it's New Year's Eve. But if you have something going on New Year's Eve, maybe maybe the weekend. <laughs> yeah, no, I have something going on. <laughs> so, okay, since you're, since you're booked up on New Year's Eve... Uh, we could do the 29th or the 30th. Um, you know, I, I could do the 30th. Uh, what it okay. was, so we're doing Mortal Kombat 10 on the 30th. Uh, what are we doing? Five out of seven then? Yeah, it has to be some type of series. Yeah. Best, what, best of seven or? Sure, best of seven will work. Um, mm -hmm. So what are the stakes? Well, that was another thing I was thinking about on Twitter. We have to have some type of, you know, gamble on it or some type of wager. Uh, how about if I win uh, for the next week? Uh, weeks worth of shows that you do the only thing you can show on screen is a picture of philip Burnell's face with a tagline this man is better than me at video games <laughs> that has to be in the <laughs> in the middle of the screen during the no, entire break. it's the whole screen <laughs> no, nothing, no, goes, <laughs> nothing goes over the picture of phil now no wait but that's gonna be hard that'll be hard to do the show at all though because i have to bring up you know audio visual elements and stuff like that i mean well, how about, hey, how about it mean, will be on the screen. It'll start the show on the screen, filling up the whole screen, and then it will be on the screen in a in a readable, you know, visual, not not a little bitty thing, you know, in a sizable. Form okay. Well, if screen. I compromise with you on that, okay, okay. Um, you have to do a promo for Philip Burnell's Twitch <laughs> channel, inviting people to come sub to him for the most premier video game action they can get. I and mean, it's got to be a real promo. Like you got to put your fucking heart into it, and you've got to play it. At the start of your show for that week, every okay. day. That's fine. That's fine. All right. What do you? What's your? What's your turn? Well, okay. What? I don't know. It's, I don't have one. I, I awesome. Have, that works for no, me. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. I, give me time, and I'll think of one. I, I mean, you're putting me on the spot to think of one on the spot. I, I haven't. I, I just don't have anything right now. Maybe I can look in chat. What? A, what do you have, Gator? What? What would be your idea? I can't think of anything off top. Are right, you kicking it to me? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Let's let's uh, I don't know. Let me think. Uh, you have to. So you, I mean, you don't stream every single day. No, uh, I do. I do Sundays. Uh, I'll probably do a couple weekdays and stuff on stream. Me once I, I've been testing out stuff and fucking around with the settings. Okay. Uh, you have to start off every Sunday stream for the next month. Uh, with a plea for a king of paul to accept your dick pics every single <laughs> every single yeah, sunday stream good. and it has to be serious it has to be no no laughing just a dead plea for king of paul to please answer your dms and please accept your dick pics you've been messaging him 
all week long. Why will he not respond to you? Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm game. I'll do it. Okay. Okay. All right. For a month, every Sunday stream from the big show, the big one. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll make sure it's main channel, main audience. You okay. got it. That's fine. All right. Okay. All right. I'm now, in. now, if your ass tries to bring in a ringer, I'm going to know it. <laughs> No, I so won't don't do try that. that shit where There's, you find no, somebody in the fighting game community no, no. and let him have access to your Steam account. I won't do that. I promise you. He's not going to pull a donga here. I will not do that. And now people on Twitter have already been warning me that you will possibly send Jade as a ringer. So I'm ho I'm hopefully you won't do that. Oh, no, if, we, if it was like an FPS, maybe. But no, she doesn't play fighting games. Okay. No, I won't do that. If I lose, I lose. No, you know. And it, we'll have we'll have fun with it, but no, I will not send a ringer. I promise. Yeah, you. no, I, I feel pretty confident. I mean, I watched you play. What is it, War of the North? <laughs> no, it's War of Rights. War of Rights. Yes. Oh, well, it should have been called War of the North because you won it for him. <laughs> Running around Southern lines, getting shot in the face every five seconds, popping out from buildings. Hey, look over here. This is where we all are. Shoot over here. That's good stuff. <laughs> they actually banned me from the from the server last night because somebody team killed me, and then I just went around and. I, I didn't realize they kicked you off the server after three straight team kills. I just went around and started killing people. And are these official servers or player servers? Uh, these are official servers, so they're still in alpha. They have a thing where you can rent a server, but I don't. I haven't explored it yet. But yeah, they they banned me last night. But it's the ban is expired, so I'll probably play it a little bit again later. Uh, the game but, looks fun and stuff, but if nobody's gonna like get into it, I, I was watching the fucking anarchy reigning as you were playing that game. Nobody would line up. Nobody was following yeah. directions. Yeah, so it's it's kind of built around you know teamwork and stuff, and when you're just running around and not following the officers and stuff, it doesn't it doesn't really work out that well. But uh, it's it's fun and it looks great. But yeah, there's just not enough people playing it right now. No, no, yeah, that's understandable. But I'm well, not I mean, gonna I'm not gonna be spending too much time on that the next week or so because I'm gonna be putting most of my time in on Mortal Kombat 10, and I'm not gonna stream any of that. All all those preparations will be done. Maybe I'll stream a little bit. Maybe a couple days before I'll stream just just so people. Well, don't yeah, think I, I, I could use a good, I could use a good laugh before we have a all match. Right. <laughs> all right, maybe, maybe I'll show a little bit uh, beforehand, but no, I, I just bought the uh, the XL pack Mortal Kombat 10 today. So it's pretty cheap. It was only like eight dollars. I think they're about to bring out 11 in April, so that's probably why. But yeah, it's it's like four months away, so they're gonna yeah. drop everything, and it's you know winter sale, all that shit. So yeah, so I got it. I will be preparing, training. I'm sure you'll probably put in a little work as well. So we're gonna do it. Uh, let's see, the 30th. That will be on a Sunday. So I guess it'll be after after your stream or whatever time you do your stream. We'll do it. Uh, we'll do it that evening. Uh, yeah, I can just I can broadcast it while I'm doing the stream. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Why not do it on the big show? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Um, so <laughs> let me. I'm gonna find a perfect picture of Phil for you to put up on the screen. <laughs> um, I've got I've got a winner. I think that you'll like that. Uh, it, it's really gonna pop with the background. I think it'll be I think it'll be good stuff. Okay. So. So re repeat the terms of the deal so everybody's clear. Uh, so I guess the terms of the deal is uh, on the 30th, we'll play a best of seven round uh, in Mortal Kombat X. Right. Um, and if I lose, I have to do a, I guess, a dedicated segment at the beginning of each show begging King of Pole to send me his delicious dick pics that I've been asking for on DMs. Yes. And if you lose, you have to do a promotional piece that you play at the start of every episode for a week uh telling people that they need to subscribe on twitch to dsp yes as well as putting up a picture of the beautiful man and the text this man is better at video games than i am yes and that, <laughs> that 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 is the deal and but the only caveat is so i can't like i'll do the i'll do the intro at the beginning of every show and i'll keep the picture up but i'll, I'll have to like it'll be down like in the corner still visible still solid size but just so I can still use the middle of the screen so I can still show videos and stuff. I'm sure Phil's going to appreciate the boost <laughs> uh, to his sub count on. I mean, well, maybe not. I mean, he's rolling in 16, 17,000 already this month. So maybe he doesn't need the money, but it'll still be entertaining. All right. We'll see. We'll see. You're, you're talking a lot of shit. Are you, are you that confident that you're just going to, you're just going to skunk me on, on the 30th? Oh no, I'm terrible at video games, but you're worse. So I feel pretty <laughs> confident. Yeah. <laughs> All right, all right. We'll see what happens. Well, you can ask the motherfuckers that watch me play Dusk. So I mean, <laughs> I'm 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 not good at video games, but I've seen you play, so I'm feeling pretty fucking good right about now. I'm I'm fairly confident that this is gonna go well. All right, all right. Well, it's set then. This is gonna be fun. Hey, where the fuck is uh, Zidane? Oh, uh, Zidane is on. He's been like he had to go do this work trip, so he's been out of town for like the last two weeks. I think he's coming back the first week of. Uh, January. So he's, some days he's been here, some days he's not. Uh, he's going to be here tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, he's been in and out. 
So it really just depends on like the internet that he can get at the time. So tonight I resort to like shitty hotel internet, but tomorrow, tomorrow he said he should be good. Yeah. So he's been, he's been in and out. Yeah. Yeah. I did. Uh, when I did my first stream on stream me, um, I did like a poll at the very end. It seems like the majority of people, it works fine for them. Uh, but there, you know, I'd say there was like a good 20% that had kind of intermittent or intermittent like dropouts and then maybe like 40 or 50 people where it was just unusable. Uh, do you know if they're doing like any any upgrades or anything on the yeah, site? Yeah, so I was talking to them. Actually, tonight they said the chat, like mo the, not the chat, but the stream was kind of cutting in and out. Now, some people that I talked to never had problems. Like it's just, it's always good. It's always good. Others, so maybe the flashing gifts will will make their, their computer slow down or whatever. Uh, and then others are just like, ah, oh, it's it's fucked up. Now, usually it's the, it's a very small minority, like you said, 40, 50 people will just say, ah, I can't use this. Uh, but yeah, I know they are working on that. They're very responsive if if you send them a message or an email. Uh, you know, they they try to help out as quickly as possible. Now, the first few streams I did, they actually gave. I don't, you know, you don't have to talk about this. If you don't want, but they actually gave me a different server that was like specifically. Uh, war gamed uh to to uh withstand some punishment i might ask them for that server again. oh lu lucky you i was just using us east is it uh, one of the fucking us servers uh yeah so what is the one yeah so the one i'm using now is the i think it's the origin dot stream dot me or whatever i don't even that's know that's the regular one yeah yeah that's just the regular one uh but uh, yeah i might i might have to ask them for the other but i mean i think overall the site's been been working pretty well what do you think about it so far I, you seem to be, pre be pretty uh be pretty high on it yeah no i mean I, I like having an alternative um i don't think uh i don't think things are going to go well on youtube over the next couple of years for people so having something I mean, sure like as hell couldn't show uh a woman shoving spaghettios into her vagina on youtube that would have been an instant ban right <laughs> Uh, yeah, it'd be hard to. Why? Well, yeah, in front of a large audience, yeah. showing interior semiotics. Yeah, that would have been probably difficult. Or the casting couch porn thing probably would have been a bit difficult. I mean, I wanted to show ISIS beheadings, but I guess that probably was crossing the line. So. That's one of the <laughs> one things they they kind of. So they said it's kind of they kind of have a gray area. So I they said, well, you know, like uh, extreme violence, and I said, well, you know, sometimes riots break out or whatever, and we might do a live stream. Is that? You know, is that forbidden? And they said, well, no, not really. Not if it's, you know, you know, a news event, that's okay. But if, if they start shooting people and, and stuff like that, maybe, you know, maybe pull back. Maybe, so, maybe yeah. think about it. <laughs> yeah, maybe bit. think about it. Just consider it. Uh, and then nudity, of course, they they don't want they don't want that. But Well, uh, see, I wanted to, like, people were asking for, like, pain Olympics. And I was thinking, I wonder, I wonder if it's late enough at night that I can sneak <laughs> that on. <laughs> Pretty, I'm pretty sure. I mean, most stuff they they let you get away with. And then another thing they said was um, the the streamy community uh, try try to be try to be you know a little nice to them maybe. But I, I don't even I don't know. I, I don't even know that they really enforce that because uh, oh, I I don't have any intention of fucking with anybody on the platform. I yeah. mean, I kind of feel bad. Most people have like small shows and stuff. That's why Adam take me off the uh, the contest list yeah so i talked about that on monday because i was on coach's stream and then uh danish police is another channel on here and they're just like oh jim got taken off the list for for spamming or something and i was like oh what the fuck and i actually messaged them because i was like oh no that's not right you know no no i i, I asked the said, guy when i talked to him about yeah. setting it like i was going over technical details and i was like yeah i just uh Take me out of the contest because I, I didn't i thought it'd be kind of dickish if i came over and i brought a larger audience and then i secured one of the top spots because that's going to push whoever is at the bottom off. Yeah, like, if you want to build a platform, you want the really small guys dick, to come. That's a really dick move. To it is. It is well. yeah. God, <laughs> it, what kind of kind asshole of would, to, shouldn't it? What kind of asshole would do that? Just come over there and take the top slot and, and drive everybody down the list. and take. Listen, I just don't want to see Narcissa Wright throw herself <laughs> off a fucking bridge. Okay? So they need that $10 a week to fucking survive. <laughs> Oh, I was going to ask you. Oh, there are a couple of things, I guess, before before you go. Uh, what, what did you – you talked about a little bit already, but Monkey Jones got, got uh, booted off YouTube, a lot of other Yeah, Mon uh, Monkey got thrown off, and then ER keeps getting fucking – he'll get a strike, and then they'll reverse it, and then they'll take down another video or put it up in limited state. Like, he has a target on his head from the PewDiePie thing. It's kind of like a shell game at this point. I know a lot of people were critical of PewDiePie because he took the, the recommendation out of the video. He went back and edited it, but we watched a video of his the other night – uh, where he was responding to the Vox article that was calling him, I don't know, gateway to the alt-right or something like that. 
And the whole video was pretty much an extended <laughs> advertisement for ER. Like, I mean, I don't know. It's it's kind of hard for me to be too critical of, of PewDiePie. Well, I, I like ER's videos. I've watched I've watched a lot of them. Um, and it would suck if his channel gets pulled down. I've seen a few of Mumkey's too. Uh, but from what I understand, Mumkey uh, didn't he have Dick Masterson help build a website? To yes, he did, and he launched it just today. Uh, now I went on there, and there was I think there's still a few bugs on it, but it seemed to work fairly well. Uh, and I, and I, I wonder how many other people are going to, uh, you know, move to that, just having their own website. I mean, that might be the final end game, actually. Uh, but streaming has been pretty good so far. So I'm uh, telling you, I think the future is going to be Pachinko payments where <laughs> it's where you're buying credits from, you know, from the website. Yeah. And then those those credits are in the form of something, uh, you know, like bobbles or whatever. And every time somebody does something and donates a bobble, the streamer keeps it and then they can exchange it at a different service you know, for cash back. That way the money's not directly going through PayPal facilitated through the streaming service. Something, some kind of Japanese version of well, Pachinko. Well, that's basically what D-Live does. I mean, with the... Well, no, what D-Live does <laughs> is stutters every five seconds as it overheats your graphics card with the world's shittiest Bitcoin miner. Uh, but, I mean, that's the, the theory behind the whole Lino coin or whatever the fuck they call that shit. I don't know. It was, it was, it was a little... Oh yeah, so somebody's going to have to take a, a different approach. I mean, I think I think that's what it's going to be. I, nobody's like this idea that you're going to be able to create your own payment processor by pulling it out of your ass. I mean, you've got to. There's so much involved with that. I mean, you've got to work something out with somebody like Stripe or somebody that's comparable to them to deal with bank accounts. Then you've got to have a relationship with the credit card companies. Finally, with PayPal, you know, and it's it's just this giant clusterfuck of. I, I don't even know how they do it. <clears throat> I mean. Patreon's getting strong arm too. I mean, I know nobody likes their decision, but remember they had to pull people down before the Sargon thing um, because Visa told them to. Or was it Mastercard? One I of the think two. it was Mastercard. It was Mastercard. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and that wasn't was Patreon. That some uh, apparently they've identified the person at Mastercard that was responsible, and it's some tranny or something like that. I never heard back from that person, but they said yeah that they had some information about who was doing it. Yeah, and the thing is, like, you know, with a decision like that, they can't do shit about it. I mean, it's the same It's the same thing that happened to, uh, was it BitChute, when Stripe said, we've got to end the relationship. We're being told by uh, one of our partners that we have to do it. It's not our decision. Uh, one of the things about streaming, so the, the Super Chats, I, I know, she, and I actually <laughs> messaged you because I was just like, oh, Jim doesn't have a Super Chats on, but then it turned out, you know, you did that on purpose. Uh, but the, the Super Chats don't go through streaming, but the... Um, the subscriptions and stuff does, and the and the whatever the contest money goes through them. So uh, they'll actually. Pay oh, you out. oh, wow, huh? Yeah. <laughs> who saw that coming? Okay. <laughs> uh, no, who who could have foreseen? I wonder who else had thought about that. But yeah, uh, so that goes through them. They actually send you a check. So that's something that uh, they can't really shut down. Uh, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I don't know. I mean, I I know that uh, when Josh was on the stream with uh, me, you and CRP, he had said that he thought streamy was kind of on a limited time scale. I think it's going to be left alone for at least a few years. I, I don't think there's uh, anybody gunning for it. I don't know. Um, you know, I think they have time to build up. And I fully suspect, I mean, the guys I talked to were super nice, but I fully suspect that um, <laughs> they'll go the, the way of every corporation of, well, we've got to nicen it up a little bit now that we've got some traffic. I'm fine with that. I just want a platform where I can fuck around for a little while before the internet burns down to a crisp. Yeah, I think we got some time. I think what Josh said they would be done by the end of the year, which, uh, I mean... Obviously, I mean, there's still a few days left in the year, but uh, I don't think I don't think that's the case. Uh, they seem to be kind of, you know, off the radar at this point. They're kind of just letting us do our own thing over here. Who knows how long that'll last? But uh, well, yeah, I mean, you got you got people doing like prank calls, watching videos. Yeah, and shit. it reminds me of, like uh, what it used to be like. Like you know, you go like Justin uh, TV or fucking Ustream or whatever, and people would be fucking around doing whatever they want, and they were left alone, and that's what made it so entertaining. Like I miss that. You know, uh, Twitch, you can't do that on anymore. Good luck trying that on YouTube. So it's nice to have a platform where you can fucking laugh at shit. Yeah, I, and I'm thankful. Obviously, they gave us the, the landing spot after our uh, a violent sunset there on YouTube. Uh, let me read a few of these because there's a few questions for you. Uh, l let me just try to pick out the the questions. First off, somebody asked, "Did you see the uh, Sargon of Akkad anime?" Uh, yeah, I think that you got to ask that. On yeah, no, so, somebody asked me about that. I didn't know what the fuck they were talking about. I thought that the, they were telling me that somebody actually gone to the time of making like a high end anime for Sargon. Well, I don't know if I'd call it high end necessarily, but uh, they did. They did go through and make like a little cartoon series. I'll send you the link. Like apparently. Newground was, style. Cartoon. Yeah, apparently there's yeah. the playlist. Uh, yeah, see, I don't like I, I, when you when you tell me anime, I'm not thinking like Flash. 
right? So I had like I, I thought, okay, what Japanese studio would make a fucking anime <laughs> no, no. about Carl Benjamin and why? Yeah, it's not it's not <laughs> like that. It's it's more of a little ham. I mean, it's kind of funny in places. It's corny in places too, but yeah, I I enjoy it. It's pretty good. There's a future art contest idea right there. <laughs> <laughs> the Senator Hitler says, please ask Mr. Medicare if he's heard of SPCC or remembers his appearance on the show last week. SPCC would love to call. I'm on his Skype stream this weekend. Yeah, that's the guy that does prank calls. Have you seen any of that? Yeah, I've seen some of the prank call shows. I I, I wasn't on the stream. At least yeah, not to my knowledge. That was, yeah, but okay. that was, that's a meme that they have going, yeah. Unless they got a soundboard, in which case throw it up on Newgrounds. You can, uh, <laughs> you can use my Bohefin's Bob board. That was a fucking great one, too. Guy gets into a call with his friends on YouTube. This is like eight years ago. And it's an hour and a half of him just screaming and crying because his grandmother told his 28 year old ass to get out of the basement and get a job. <laughs> and he goes into like these long philosophical rants about Final Fantasy and how it relates to not having friends. It's some of the funniest <laughs> shit I've ever heard. <laughs> uh, Can I see that? 1488 Forever says if you win, Jim uploads the better help video. That was what he said. I should have uh, made the stipulation. <laughs> <laughs> should have, could have, would have, but we got our. It's too late. It's too late. got our term set. It's too late for that. We've already agreed. Uh, let's see. Medicare Finbot says, looking forward to those King of Paul requests. LOL, Ralph, don't you dare lose. Oh, uh, yeah. That's a little bit of pressure now. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. Dima210 uh, says, I'll be sending in my song to Jim for this week's contest, whose theme is the death of a channel. The song will pay respects to a certain YouTube late night talk show. Now gone, but never aborted. Oh, uh, well, thank you, sir. I'm sure I was already, I already saw there'd probably be some entries, uh, for the, for the old kill stream here. And that's, that's fine. Have you, have you gotten any entries, uh, just yet? Have you examined any of them? Yeah. Yeah. A couple of people have sent some through. I've watched a couple of them. Uh, there's one based off the uh, political ad dumpster fire, which is pretty good. Dumpster another one, another one's got, uh, Sargon smugly chuckling over a heavy metal. So <laughs> there's, there's, there are a couple different ones. Now, did you see Sargon got a strike on his channel today? Uh, no, no, I didn't. Uh, which, wait, which channel? Uh, the main one. For what? For, he had a video up, I, I guess I could, I, I have it, I don't know if you want to see it, but it's the, uh, I'm not sure if you've seen it before or not, let me see if I have the, uh, the link here. It's, it's, uh, it's the one with the gay niggers from outer space, uh, video, where he just, uh, <laughs> repeats about i don't know was that was that the title of the video because i could i could imagine what got somebody's attention in youtube now, I, I have the arc up should we should we watch it it's up to you if you want to see it but he just repeats a bunch of i don't know it's it's oh no no i i think i know which one you're talking about is that the yeah y yeah, yeah. Where he talks about chinks and niggers and retards and and all this and that all throughout the video i think he made you know he was he was trying to be you know comedic genius or whatever and he made it back in 2015, and a lot of people... We've played it on this show before. And uh, you would think maybe now would be the time maybe to have taken that video down, but I guess, you know, he wanted to call their bluff or whatever, and he left it up, and he ended up getting a strike today, so... I, I, I yeah. No, I, I didn't... I've, I've been, you know, I'm busy with other things. Um, the last kind of thing I've been keeping up with was when Sherat did his little... Oh, Inter interview saying the that, Daily he was, Beast uh, thing. Yeah. that he was lured in like a kid into a candy van by the alt right or some shit. By the e the evil YouTube algorithm lured him in. He was just watching, what was it, video game reviews? I think is what he said, something like that. And he got uh, progressively lured in and it forced him to become a, a rabid MGTOW and he made him hate women and... Oh, yeah, that's what did it. It was yeah. those YouTube videos. <laughs> yes. it wasn't. I mean, this is the genius that tried to fuck a lesbian. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if he's got the biggest brain and that's what did it to him. Uh, just what What do you think about the whole we talked about this a little earlier in the show. And Wild Goose has tweeted about it as well that uh, it's pretty clear that Kraut and Shit Rat and, and a few others are actually, you know, feeding uh, Jared Holt's stories. And this has been, you know, obvious for a couple months. I've noticed Kraut and Shit Rat and a lot of them. Uh, you know, tweeting out his his articles and oh, this is something you need to read. The, so James Alsop was just here. Mm -hmm. uh, they they did an article on James Alsop. You know, leading this massive hate campaign against the uh, base mama, and that was uh, an article that uh, Holt writ had had written up, and and that got promoted by Kraut in particular. Uh, and I th I want to say he was quoted in that article. Uh, and then we have the the Stefan Molyneux article. I guess it was yesterday where they accuse him of being a a plagiarist 
Uh, and that was another one they promoted. Then then we have the Daily Beast, uh, Kel- Kelly Wheel article where, you know, I mean, shit rat is most of the article is him, you know, quotes from him. Well, now, now I don't know if they're working directly with uh, with Jared Holt. I mean, uh, Holt seems to kind of pay attention to, to things. I think that's where he's picking strands up from. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they're sending him shit. But I, I would figure if Kraut was the one that was contacting Holt specifically, we would have had like a dedicated JF article as the first fucking one. Well, that's and that's an, well, that's another thing. I mean, it's not just necessarily Holt. And if you look at the Wall Street Journal article, uh, I, I don't think Yori Ko just picked that up out of nowhere. Uh, the, the whole kill stream thing. I, I don't think she was a you know an avid follower of that scene. If you just read the article, there's it's clear that she doesn't really know much of what's going on. And in her emails to me, it was it was pretty clear that she didn't really know. It was much. like she was being spoon fed information yeah. from somebody. Yeah, and the, and the way she described things, it just was, you know, was it was like somebody who didn't understand it trying to describe it. It was uh, like somebody that understood it explained it to somebody who didn't understand it, who then explained it to her, and so you could kind of tell that there was at least two telephones going on here. Yeah, and but the point I was going to make is, you know, JF was a huge target in that article. I mean, the, the actual picture of the article is just a big picture of JF. Uh, now he was able to parry it, obviously, and I and I and I quite clearly was not. Uh, but uh, yeah, because we called her a big chink bitch. I think. I yeah, think that yeah, I might have. Maybe I didn't. Maybe it wasn't as tact- tactful a response as I as I could have mustered there. Uh, but uh, uh, but JF and I've had somebody tell me this. Well, uh, somebody you know, just private, said here. He, somebody just said in your chat. Luther Sloan said that shit rat was tweeting about ER hours before Jared Holt got onto the story. Yeah, I, I think that's this, true. Yeah, he was. I think that they're actually, I mean, you know, these people are looking for stories as it is, but I do think a lot of this stuff is is coming from that group. I mean, uh, if they, yeah, they, well, gay ops are eternal. They never, they never end. The twenty four seven is a continuous cycle. Yeah. Now, let me also ask you, and we'll, we'll get you out of here in a minute. But uh, what, what did you? Why do you think there's not been any real, you know, a lot of articles about you? Uh, are you trying to throw the heat on no, to me no, there? No, I'm not. I'm not trying to throw the heat, but I've had other people ask me this too. It's like you've done this before, Ralph. You no. said, "Hey, Jim, Jim, what would happen if your YouTube channel went no. down?" I was like, "Oh, I'll live with it." A week later, YouTube channel goes down. And here's fucking Ralph again. Oh boy, Jim, oh, uh, you know, I'm giving curious. people ideas. What happens if they wrote an article about you? I'll tell you what, Ralph. If they write an article about me and they ask me for an interview, I'm going to tell them I'm your cult member and that you you bred and raised me. On all right talking points, you hate the Jews and the blacks and everybody else. <laughs> Ethan Ralph groomed Mr. Medicare uh, on everything he knows. He's been telling me this for years, all the way going back to the old days, uh, Gamergate days. Uh, finally, radicalized me. Uh. See, I, I'm an innocent boy. Uh, like, you can't pin shit like Gamergate on me. We all know Monday Matt's the one who started that. He's taken full credit, so I'm happy to oblige. Um, I didn't do the charity stream. I'm just the good boy that appeared on it. I've been groomed, Jared. Uh, you know, hit me up. I've been groomed <laughs> by this fucker. <laughs> All right. He fills me with hate and vitriol and just venom. I, uh, Jared Holt, I love black people. I love the Jews. But this man won't let me do that. He hates them. Puts these thoughts in your head every single time. Does. He puts them right in my fucking head. <laughs> All right, January 30th, the date is set, January 30th, December 30th, uh, the date is set for the, the Mortal Kombat. What are we going to call it, though? I mean, we have to have some type of snazzy title. Uh, the DSP Invitational. Well, you know what? When Jared and I talk, uh, talk via email, <laughs> uh, probably the next few days, we'll come up with a snazzy fucking title for it. All right, we have to have a title. Now, my original thought, uh, well, I mean, it was kind of a joke statement, but, I, you know, I bet we could sell more pay-per-views for this than, than Worski and Tonka could sell for this, right? <laughs> Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's coming up. I mean, we're we're less than a month away, less than thirty days away from uh, uh, Donka and his Iron Buffalo facing off against Worski in the ring. Yeah, I'm gonna be there in Knoxville with Worski. So, uh, w- w- are you looking forward to that? Do I want to watch an idiot get <laughs> beaten in the ring? I mean, yeah, I guess I'll I'll enjoy that. Uh, I'll have to watch the highlight clips. Yeah, yeah. Well, one thing is they're charging thirty dollars uh, for the pay per view. I th- I think that's a bit overpriced, actually. Uh, I think if they were selling it for like five or ten, they would. Well, sell I mean, they're, they're, it's thirty for the pay per view because they have actual fights happening. Yes, for, that's true. Yeah. Not for Warski and a fucking trailer park Indian. <laughs> like that's you know that's not what the fucking draw for the thirty dollar ticket is. But don't you think they would sell more? They would make more money if they lowered the price a little bit, though, right? Oh, I, I, I it, <laughs> Ralph, did you take economics in college? <laughs> 
Could you, no, could I mean, you make would, more money by lowering the they price? They would sell more overall pay-per-views, and they would end up making more money. That's what I think. <laughs> well, I'll have to ponder on that one. <laughs> Let me hit up my macroeconomics professor. Okay, we'll look it up. I mean, I, I'm not the only one who thinks that. I mean, or to separate it out, maybe you could just sell the Worski, uh, the Worski Tonka fight just by itself, uh, and do that. Maybe I, I just think I don't know. Thirty dollars. I think they're. Why well, I, I you know I, we we're so far into this now, and there's you know yeah, again it's, it's less than yeah. it's thirty days away. I mean, there's no, either of them pull out, they're never going to hear the end of it. They, yeah, they have could, to show up at this point. It's so too you, much cock teasing. You think Tonka's is going to show up like I do? I I I don't know how he could manage not to show up at this point. Like, how would he ever show his face on the internet? All those you know years of talking about how he wants to fight people in real life, how he's challenging fucking everybody. If he doesn't show up once somebody finally accepts, uh, he he'll never hear the end of it. It, it will never go away. Well, even his diehard cult members over there at the Kumite, I mean, even most of those would, would call bullshit if he didn't show up for this. Like, I mean, he, he that's my point. He absolutely has to show up or just delete everything, one or the other. I mean, I guess if he doesn't care, he just deletes it all. Well, yeah. I know Worski said he's been training, um, yeah. and I know he's been showing off like he was. Uh, he did one oh, stream where he's like in a muscle t-shirt flexing <laughs> and shit. <laughs> yes. um, but Tonka said he was like getting trained by an MMA guy eight, nine hours a day, and I think Zoom called up, and they're like, we've never heard of this guy. That, yeah, that was a lot. They, he also said some stuff about uh, AJ Styles back in the day, and uh, that was also a lot. AJ Styles is a big wrestler for WWE. Uh, Ralph, what are you going to do if you're sitting in the audience, right, and Worski's in the middle of the ring, and they say, and here's Tonka Saw, and you can hear the squeaks <laughs> as the wheels are being turned, as this man who can't use, like, he, he wheels up to the arena and crawls in it. Are you going to be, are you going to feel any pangs of sympathy, or are you going to laugh? By the way, I'm being such a cheapskate. I'm actually not even paying for a ticket. I'm just going to be in Worski's corner down by the cage. So, <laughs> uh, I actually clarified that to make sure I didn't didn't have to buy a ticket. So I'm, I'm going to be there for, for free, actually. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I've, the only picture or the most recent picture I've seen of him is him standing there with Vamp. And Vamp has her arm like locked underneath his arm. And it looks like you would hold, you know, how you're holding up a sick family member or something while they're trying to get into their wheelchair you're trying to you're trying to get him up onto the hospital bed or something and she's clearly propping this guy up i don't know if he's i, I don't know I, i'm not completely convinced that uh that he has full control of his motor skills uh he, he looks like a stock of corn yeah i know he's, he's a skinny looking dude that, yeah, yeah saw I, saw, I saw the picture yeah um do you think andy now I, if he's got a sense of humor right and i i can't tell him how to do his ring entrance right but um maybe if he got if he got like an indian headdress and a wheelchair. And he, that's how he went up to the ring. And he has to come uh, out to the Kumite theme, too, as well, right? Uh, how angry do you think Tonka <laughs> would be if he saw Andy wheeling his way up to the fucking boxing ring or whatever the fuck it is? Yeah, I've been, I feel like shit. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be the Kumite song. And I've been talking to him. I actually have a, like a, um, I guess it's like a ceremonial, uh, like, bow. <laughs> like that has a feather on it. Maybe I'll bring that with me too. Or, or maybe he could dress up uh, like uh, General Custard. You know what I mean? Like just <laughs> full on coming out there to get some revenge. But yeah, we've been talking about it. So we're, we're trying to figure Andrew out what Jackson. we're going to do. Trail of Tears Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. Uh, you know, your chat's got a fair point. What are you going to do if you and Coach is going to be there? Other people are going to be there. What Dick are you Masterson's guys going to be there. Nick Riccato, you're, yeah. you're all You're all sitting at ringside. You're all ready for the fight and neither of them show up. Oh, God. Well, look, if, if Worski, I have full confidence Worski's going to show up. If he doesn't show up, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to call him out for sure, forever. Because uh, first off, I rented this place and everybody's coming and I've been talking about it for a month and a half and we'll still be talking about it for another month. So, yeah, I, I have confidence Worski's going to show up. And I even think Tonka's going to show up just for this, you know, the simple facts that we laid out. That Well, if he was going to pull to. out, he would have had to have pulled out by now. You can't, you can't let it go on this long and then be like, oh, something happened, you know, oh, uh, uh, a meteor hit my trailer, you know, the fucking government's coming out because they're alien spores on it or something. I, I I won't be able to see you guys for eight months. Now, most fight contracts will have some type of, like, injury prov provision, though. Uh, but still, it, it would have, you know, I, I don't think people are going to be accepting of any type of injury excuse. Uh, now, even big fights have been called off for, you know, oh, so-and-so broke his hand training or whatever. Uh, but I don't think that that's going to fly. Uh, unless you know you have verifiable fact that now, you don't don't give Tonka any ideas because I have a feeling he would fly out to Andy's gym, 
and then fucking replace the punching bags, like put lead weights in them, hoping he cracks his hands on them when he goes to fucking hit the speed <laughs> bag or something. What about him and uh, with your little uh, bet offer there? And he he kept trying to renegotiate that. Three yeah, he wouldn't. Ex- I put the bet out. He wouldn't accept it. So there's not much I can do past that. I mean, if he's so fucking calm. Oh, wait. are you still there? You cut out for a sec. Yeah, you cut out. I thought that was me. I thought it was my internet that cut out for a sec. I also thought Pretty it was my well. internet. Oh wait, yeah, you're you're back. You cut out for a minute. You cut out for like oh, the I, last I, yeah, stream seconds. me just uh, reloaded on me. It probably threw shit through a loop. Okay. Uh, no, I was saying yeah. If he's so confident, just just put a fucking dress on if you lose, right? I mean, like he he thinks he's gonna destroy Andy, doesn't he? Well, that's that. Yeah, I mean, you you put up your channel with no. I mean. You know, no compunction about it whatsoever. It's like, yeah, I'll put it up. Show that was his initial offer. Bone zone. Yeah. 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 His initial offer was that. Oh, Jim, Jim, Jim. Okay, fine. Fine. If I, if I'll do that, if you're going to, you know, if you lose, put a fucking dress on, put heels on, put some lipstick on and walk up and down the fucking street outside the arena telling people you suck cock for $5. Well, you know, he talks like he's just absolutely going to destroy Andy. Andy has no chance, you know, this and that. I mean, if you're so confident, yeah, why not just, why not just take that bet? There's no way you're going to have to fulfill your end anyway so i mean he'll probably get a date out of it you know and he <laughs> wanted to start the trap no state so hey he's got now, that long those long he's got that long hair probably probably looked the part oh, God, I don't know. fuck yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> official prediction warski versus tonka who, who are you predicting uh well given the fact that andy seems to actually be training and he seems motivated and pissed off um i'm gonna put um i, I think andy's gonna win to be honest with you like That's if I saw a- something out of Tonka, if Tonka was putting shit up where he's doing trading montages or uh, if if it looked like he was actually doing something, maybe it'd be more 50-50. But Worski seems motivated, especially after all the shit going on between them, uh, the pedo allegations, all that shit. I think I think Worski wants to fucking hurt somebody. That's what I think, too. And I know I went in. So one of my little favorite hobbies recently is every once in a while I go into the Kumite chat with my well, somebody alleging to be me. And uh, I'll stir them up, and their show is just, it's really bad. So whenever I go in there, they, they don't have anything to talk about already, so they'll usually start sparking out at me. Uh, and I'll go in there, and the, the other day, uh, their chat was just like, Ralph, you're so stupid. Why, why would you pick Andy? He clearly has no chance. Oh, my God. You know what? I don't, you know, I, I, think he, I think he has a perfectly good chance. I think that that's bullshit. I mean, Tonka, you know, claims to have fought, you know, what, three, like, amateur MMA fights. First off, if that's true, and that's a big if, because he claimed that you could find those records if you knew his real name or whatever. Everybody knows his fucking real name. Nobody can find those records. Every time he claims something, somebody makes a call and finds out it's complete bullshit. So I don't even believe at this point that he had those amateur MMA fights. Obviously, he was a wrestler because we've seen him do the wrestling thing. I mean, there's video. Well, I, I honestly think that he he fucked himself with Terra La Rosa, right? Oh, when, he, dude. when he was talking about, oh, you know, Andy is a pussy and Andy da, 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 and I can set up a match in five minutes and all this shit. And then it was coming down to the wire of actually setting it up. And he's talking with La Rosa and, uh, you know, other people. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like, oh, I'll set it up. Give me a minute. And literally in 10 minutes, it's ready to go. I think he I think he talked himself into this. I don't think he was really willing to do it in the first place, but he uh, just couldn't keep it under wraps. And she ended up taking up his offer and setting it up. Yeah. And then he fucked up with the promotion. Yeah, he's fucked up with her more than than I probably should say publicly. But yeah, with with him just being so salty and throwing shade towards her, not submitting a picture. I mean, the, the poster looks goofy as fuck. It has Andy with an actual picture of Andy and then a blue cartoon Indian man. On the other side, I mean, it just looks strange. It does. It does look weird. Um, is he wearing? Is he gonna body paint know. himself when he shows <laughs> <That's> up? <or? laughs> I don't know if that's allowed in MMA. I know that they do that in wrestling sometimes with the body paint, but uh, I'm not sure if you're allowed to come out with the body paint or not. No, no. If you guys are all gonna be sitting in Andy's corner, right? Yeah, we are. Um, <laughs> how awkward is it gonna be if Failure and Vamp are sitting right next to you? Guys <laughs> oh God! On the front row, you know what I mean? Uh, well, I'm, I'm assuming failure said he was going to go. I know vamp I mean vamp trails around him like a lost puppy. So we know she'll be there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm assuming, I'm assuming the, the whole gang will be there now. Uh, me and coach, uh, me for sure. We're trying to make sure coach can get in the corner too. Cause coach is coming with all his Kino cams. <laughs> well, you better be sure he can get in the country. 
Aren't yeah. they under martial law in the Ukraine right now? Uh, he's already coming to the country, and uh, yeah, they are actually. But he says it's no big deal, so I don't know. If it's it no big deal. <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah. he said. Uh. I don't know. Um, so he's gonna be. I think he said he's coming to New York already. And when I heard that, I said, well, "Why don't you come down to Knoxville?" And he's already booked a flight, so I'm gonna go pick him up from the from the Knoxville airport. We're gonna have a coach there. Dick Masterson's coming in. I think I don't think he's staying with us though. He's gonna get his own place probably. Uh, but coach is staying with us. Uh, Worski, I think Geek Dulu is coming. Uh, Nick Ricade is coming with his wife. He's just gonna make a little vacation of it. So uh, yeah, we're we're gonna have we're gonna have a good time. I think as long as everybody shows up for the fight and there's actually a fight. So. Yeah, it's gonna suck if nobody shows up. Oh god, fighting, that's fighting, gonna be but... the worst thing ever. Uh, that's another thing. Maybe I'm biased and I just really want him to show up because I've invested. Not it's not the money aspect. It's just I'm really excited to see it. And to I've, I've invested more than you have. I put up five hundred dollars to match Destiny on the purse. Oh, are y'all doing that? Well, that's what Worski told me. He said Destiny's throwing five hundred bucks up for the winner, and I said I'll match Destiny then. By the way, Destiny said he would come on the kill stream. Now we haven't nailed down the date just yet, but uh, yeah, he's he said he's coming on, so we're trying to figure that out as well. Well, yeah, he was on Warpath with Worski like three or four weeks ago, yeah. uh, and it was pretty funny because Andy's like, "Oh, oh, talk is such a faggot. You were so right, Destiny." And Destiny's like, "Shut the fuck up, Andy. You're only telling me that because you're <laughs> fighting with your boyfriend." <laughs> just shit right in his face. It's pretty good. Destiny's pretty funny, dude. Yeah, uh, I'm. I'm kind of curious as how that will go since uh, he he filed a copyright claim against me way back when, and we we had some words. But uh, now, are you going to talk to him about how he set it up? Because I've seen a couple people mention this in various places that uh, Destiny set up his own like subscriber model. He's got his own app. He's got uh, like his own chat uh, program and shit. Like he's tried to isolate all these different things to protect himself from getting like kicked off a platform. Yeah, I actually was going to talk to him about that. Somebody else is bringing that up to me. And there's some other things I want. I mean, I'm sure there'll be some, you know, banter back and forth as well. Maybe a few barbs, which I'm fine with. Uh, but I actually kind of wanted to have, you know, a semi-serious conversation with him about some of the some of the deplatforming stuff. So uh, we'll see. We're, we're still trying to nail it down. Originally, it was going to be today, but we're, we're going back and forth. And I'm uh, talking to Christy Winters is the intermediary on all this. So... Um, we'll see. I might just message him my, myself. Oh, see, now Worski left that out. They said uh, Destiny had the condition that somebody would have to film Tonka riding in on his shitty car if he was going to put up the 500. <laughs> oh, because yeah. he wants to see if it's a, a Benz or a Mercedes. Yeah, I remember right? he yeah. drives a Mercedes. <laughs> I also remember, what did he tell me one time? I don't know if he said this on air or not. I think he said it on air, but he, he said he bought an RV with, was it, was I, was it with all cash? I believe that's what he said, which if you know how much an RV costs, it's, it's quite expensive to just walk up and throw down all cash. Uh, well, yeah, but then again, I mean, uh, when the Kumite was going full swing, right, they were bringing in pretty large numbers in the morning with good amount of donations. Your last month on YouTube, what did you say was like, what was it, 16 grand or something? Yeah, 16 grand. And they're supposed to be paying me that finally this month. So, right. So, you know, if, you, if you're pulling 16, he was probably pulling between 10 and 15. And he did it for what, six, seven months straight at that? Yeah. Yeah. Something I mean, like that. I guess maybe, maybe it's possible he did that. But yeah, YouTube allegedly is going to pay me that. They didn't pay it last month, but they, they allegedly it's going to come. I guess it should be, what, today or tomorrow? So Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't think the money side, I think once it's cashed out, it's cashed out. Um, you're, you're not going to get your channel back, but I don't think no. they're going to hold the phone. They never responded to my appeal uh, request. I, I don't think, I won't hold my breath <laughs> waiting to yeah. get back on that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, everybody's getting just, uh, yeah, I really hope ER's channel doesn't go down. I like his videos. It would suck. Yeah, he's he's catching some heat right now. Uh, his subs have exploded. Though. I, I don't know. We'll see if he hangs around. I'm, saw... I'm glad his subs exploded. Uh, you know, <laughs> he's it's it's good shit. So I'm happy for him. But oh. hopefully it doesn't. You know. Oh, one more thing, real quick. Uh, Rusty Cage. I'm not sure if you're familiar with him. He's another YouTuber. Uh, they gave him. They deleted. I believe they deleted his entire channel over a playlist that he had. Yeah, it was over a playlist. A Not playlist. a video, a yeah. playlist. And they didn't even give him a strike. They just straight deleted his channel over a playlist, which I up until then, I had never heard of that. I didn't even know it was possible. No. Okay, but his channel's got like a million subs. Yeah. So his channel's gone. He doesn't have it that's anymore? What I, that's what I saw yesterday. Let me, let, me, let me go check his Twitter. Oh, no. No, his, his, his main... Okay, that channel's back up, so maybe he got it restored. Let me, let me go. Maybe it was his live stream channel. Let me look on his Twitter. Gator, you saw the same thing I did, though, right? Yeah, I did, because, yeah, someone tweeted at me earlier today. Okay, let me see. Where is that? 
Let me. Why? How? Why would they even take his? If it's a playlist and the videos in the playlist are the problem, why would he take down? Why would they take down his channel if he's not the one putting the videos up? That's what I don't understand. Hold on, I'm trying to find the original tweet. So it's not the main channel. Uh. Okay, so they didn't wait. They didn't delete his channel. It was just okay. It was just a strike. It was a community guideline strike. Yeah. YouTube community flagged one or more of your playlists is inappropriate. After reviewing the content, we've determined the playlist violates our community guidelines. As a result, we removed the following playlist from YouTube. Yeah. The Knife Game songs. So, so did he a strike for it, but they deleted his his playlist. That's really weird. I've never heard of that before. I've never heard of them taking a playlist down. Yeah, there it is. And by the way, I apologize. I, I was wrong on the channel getting deleted, but he got a strike off a of playlist. That's that's what it was. Yeah. So. I don't know. New territory being broken here. Oh, wait. Please note the removal has not resulted in a strike on your channel. Oh, did it say that? Hold on. Go back. Yeah. Uh, last paragraph. Oh, under. okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay. We encourage you to review all playlists in your account to make sure they are in line with our community guidelines. Additional violations could result in strikes. Okay. Or even lead to account termination. So For a playlist? That's fucking bizarre. Yeah. By the way, I butchered that two different ways, but <laughs> but he did. He did. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. Fucking breaking news on the <laughs> yeah, road. Yeah. We got the it. stories nine ways up. <laughs> we got it straight in the end, though. That's that's what counts. All right, Jim. Thank you for joining us. We're gonna wrap it up. Uh, oh, see. what time? Uh, what time? Uh, uh, just during my stream, then I guess. Well, yeah, that's what it, I mean. That's that was your proposal. We'll just do it during your stream. So. Okay. All right. Well. Um. Yeah. I'll I'll see, <laughs> I'll see you Sunday the thirtieth to uh, air juggle your ass. Be good. December thirtieth. Let's do it. See you. All right. Then, uh, have a good one, gentlemen. All right. Farewell. In battle. Some people were also saying that was fucked up, Ralph. You picked the one game Jim said he wasn't any good at. First off, Jim could very well be lying. I don't, I don't know if, if this has crossed anybody's mind. That he it's be... all all just a coincidence, right, Ralph? Just <laughs> yeah. a, a wild coincidence you'd pick that game. Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the one game I play. Well, hold on. You restricted me to the list of games that you have. You mean all 40 fucking fighting <laughs> games? Yeah. I restricted you to a list of 40 fighting games. Melty Blood, King of Fighters. You've got uh, Blaze Blue on there. Tekken's on there. You got you had a lot of tr Naruto. We could have played Naruto. <laughs> I want to see that one. <laughs> I almost picked that one just for the joke aspect of it, but but I I, I but no, I, you I you guess. honed in on the one that I said. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a big Mortal Kombat guy. That's the one you feel confident in. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so when do you want to do it? Uh, well, so what was your what day did you want to do this? My proposal. Now I realize a lot of people you don't know, have you know, celebrations or. You know, New Year's Eve is kind of a romantic holiday. Maybe you have, you know, quiet dinner planned or, you know, some some type of thing like that. My original thing, just for, you know, maximum, uh, you know, exposure, was a New Year's Eve event. Uh, that was that was my idea. Of course, I assume there would be some drinking involved as well since it's New Year's Eve. But if you have something going on New Year's Eve, maybe maybe the weekend. <laughs> yeah, no, I have something going on. Yeah, New <laughs> so, okay, since you're, since you're booked up on New Year's Eve, uh, we could do the 29th or the 30th. Um, you know, I, I could do the 30th. Uh, what it okay. was, so we're doing Mortal Kombat 10 on the 30th. Uh, what are we doing? Five out of seven then? Yeah, it has to be some type of series. Yeah. Best, what, best of seven or? Sure. Best of seven will work. Um, mm -hmm. so what are the stakes? Well, that was another thing I was thinking about on Twitter. We have to have some type of, you know, gamble on it or some type of wager. Uh, how about if I win, uh, for the next week? Uh, weeks worth of shows that you do the only thing you can show on screen is a picture of philip Rennell's face with a tagline this man is better than me at video games <laughs> that has to be in the <laughs> in the middle of the screen during the no, entire it's piece. the whole screen <laughs> no, nothing, no, goes, <laughs> nothing goes over the picture of phil now no wait but that's gonna be hard that'll be hard to do the show at all though because i have to bring up you know audio visual elements and stuff like that i mean well, how about, hey, how about it mean, will be on the screen? It'll start the show on the screen, filling up the whole screen, and then it will be on the screen in a in a readable, you know, visual, not not a little bitty thing, you know, in a sizable. Form okay, well, if screen. I compromise with you on that, okay, okay. Um, you have to do a promo for Philip Burnell's Twitch <laughs> channel, inviting people to come sub to him for the most premier video game action they can get. I and mean, it's got to be a real promo. Like you got to put your fucking heart into it, and you've got to play it. At the start of your show for that week, every okay. day. That's fine. That's fine. All right. What do you? What's your? What's your turn? Well, okay. What? I don't know. It's, I don't have one. 
Uh, awesome. I'm, that works for no, me. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. I, give me time and I'll think of one. I, I mean, you're putting me on the spot to think of one on the spot. I, I haven't. I, I just don't have anything right now. Maybe I can look in chat. What, uh, what do you have, Gator? What, what would be your idea? I can't think of anything off top. All right, you're kicking it to me. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Let's, let's, uh, I don't know. Let me think. Uh, you have to, so, you, I mean, you don't stream every single day. No, uh, I do. I do Sundays. Uh, I'll probably do a couple weekdays and stuff on stream me once. I, I've been testing out stuff and fucking around with the settings. Okay. Uh, you have to start off every Sunday stream for the next month, uh, with a plea for a king of Paul to accept your dick pics every single <laughs> Every single yeah, Sunday stream, and it has to be serious. It has to be no no laughing, just a dead plea for King of Paul to please answer your DMs and <laughs> please accept your dick pics. You've been messaging him all week long. Why will he not respond to you? Uh you know what? I'm I'm game. I'll do it. Okay. Okay. All right. For a month, I, I, every Sunday stream from the big show, the big one. Yeah. No, that's fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll make sure it's main channel, main audience. You okay. got it. That's fine. All right. Okay. All right, I'm now, in. now, if your ass tries to bring in a ringer, I'm going to know it. <laughs> no, I so won't don't do try that. that shit where There's, you find no, somebody in the fighting game community no, and no. let him have access to your Steam account. I won't do that. I promise you. He's not going to pull a donga do. here. I will not do that. And now people on Twitter have already been warning me that you will possibly send Jade as a ringer. So I'm ho I'm hopefully you won't do that. Oh, well. No, if, we, if it was like an FPS, maybe. But no, she doesn't play fighting games. Okay. No, I won't do that. If I lose, I lose, no, you know. And that we'll have we'll have fun with it, but no, I will not send a ringer. I promise. Yeah, no, I, I feel pretty confident. I mean, I watched you play. What is it, War of the North? <laughs> no, it's War of Rights. War of Rights. Yes. Oh, well, it should have been called War of the North because you won it for them. <laughs> Running around Southern lines, getting shot in the face every five seconds, popping out from buildings. Hey, look over here. This is where we all are. Shoot over here. That's good stuff. <laughs> They actually banned me from the from the server last night because somebody team killed me, and then I just went around and I, I didn't realize they kicked you off the server after three straight team kills. I just went around and started killing people. And are these official servers or player servers? Uh, these are official servers, so they're still in alpha. They have a thing where you can rent a server, but I don't. I haven't explored it yet. But yeah, they they banned me last night. But it's the ban is expired, so I'll probably play it a little bit again later. Uh, the game but, looks fun and stuff, but if nobody's gonna like get into it, I, I was watching the fucking anarchy reigning as you were playing that game. Nobody would line up. Nobody was following yeah. directions. Yeah, so it's it's kind of built around you know teamwork and stuff. And when you're just running around and not following the officers and stuff, it doesn't. It doesn't really work out that well, but uh, it's it's fun and it looks great. But yeah, there's just not enough people playing it right now. No, um, no, yeah, that's understandable. But I'm well, not I mean, gonna I'm not gonna be spending too much time on that the next week or so because I'm gonna be putting most of my time in on Mortal Kombat 10, and I'm not gonna stream any of that. All all those preparations will be done. Maybe I'll stream a little bit. Maybe a couple days before I'll stream just just so people. Well, don't yeah, think I, I, I could use a good I could use a good laugh before we have a all match. Right. All right, maybe <laughs> I'll show a little bit uh, beforehand, but no, I, I just bought the uh, the XL pack Mortal Kombat 10 today. So it's pretty cheap. It was only like eight dollars. I think they're about to bring out 11 in April, so that's probably why. But yeah, it's it's like four months away, so they're gonna yeah. drop everything, and it's you know winter sale, all that shit. So yeah, so I got it. I will be preparing, training. I'm sure you'll probably put in a little work as well. So we're gonna do it. Uh, let's see, the 30th. That will be on a Sunday. So I guess it'll be after after your stream or whatever time you do your stream. We'll do it. Uh, we'll do it that evening. Uh, yeah, I can just I can broadcast it while I'm doing the stream. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Why not do it on the big show? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Um, so <laughs> let me. I'm gonna find a perfect picture of Phil for you to put up on the screen. Um, I've got I've got a winner. I think that you'll like that. Uh, it, it's really gonna pop with the background. I think it'll be I think it'll be good stuff. Okay. So. So re repeat the terms of the deal so everybody's clear. Uh, so I guess the terms of the deal is uh, on the 30th, we'll play a best of seven round uh, in Mortal Kombat X. Right. Um, and if I lose, I have to do a, I guess, a dedicated segment at the beginning of each show begging King of Pole to send me his delicious dick pics that I've been asking for on DMs. Yes. And if you lose, you have to do a promotional piece that you play at the start of every episode for a week uh telling people that they need to subscribe on twitch to dsp yes as well as putting up a picture of the beautiful man and the text this man is better at video games than i am yes and that, <laughs> that 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 is the deal and but the only caveat is so i can't like i'll do the i'll do the intro at the beginning of every show and i'll keep the picture up but i'll, I'll have to like it'll be down like 
in the corner. Still visible, still solid saws, but just so I can still use the middle of the screen so I can still show videos and stuff. I'm sure Phil's going to appreciate the boost <laughs> yeah. uh, to his sub count. On, I mean, well, maybe not. I mean, he's rolling in 16,000, 17,000 already this month, so maybe he doesn't need the money, but it'll still be entertaining. All right, we'll see. We'll see. You're you're talking a lot of shit. Are you are you that confident that you're just gonna you're just gonna skunk me on on the thirtieth? Oh no, I'm terrible at video games, but you're worse. So I feel pretty <laughs> confident. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll see what happens. Well, you can ask the motherfuckers that watch me play Dusk. So I mean, I'm 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 not good at video games, but I've seen you play, so I'm feeling pretty fucking good right about now. I'm I'm fairly confident that this is gonna go well. All right, all right. Well, it's set then. This is gonna be fun. Hey, where the fuck is uh, Zidane? Oh, uh, Zidane is on. He's been like he had to go do this work trip, so he's been out of town for like the last two weeks. I think he's coming back the first week of uh, January. So he's, some days he's been here, some days he's not. Uh, he's gonna be here tomorrow, uh, but yeah, he's been in and out. So it really just depends on like the internet that he can get at the time. So tonight I resort to like shitty hotel internet, but tomorrow, tomorrow he said he should be good. Yeah. So. He's been he's been in and out. Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, when I did my first stream on Stream Me, um, I did like a poll at the very end. It seems like the majority of people it works fine for them, uh, but there, you know, I'd say there was like a good twenty percent that had kind of intermittent or intermittent like dropouts, and then maybe like forty or fifty people where it was just unusable. Uh, do you know if they're doing like any any upgrades or anything on the yeah, site? Yeah, so I was talking to them actually tonight. They said the chat, like mo the, not the chat, but the stream was kind of cutting in and out now some people that i talk to never have problems like it's just it's always good it's always good others so maybe the flashing gifs will will make their their computer slow down or whatever uh and then others are just like ah oh, it's it's fucked up now usually it's the, it's a very small minority like you said 40 50 people will just say ah, i can't use this uh but yeah i know they are working on that they're very responsive if, if you send them a message or an email uh, you know, they, they try to help out as quickly as possible. Now, the first few streams I did, they actually gave, I don't, you know, you don't have to talk about this if you don't want, but they actually gave me a different server that was like specifically uh, wargamed uh, to to uh, withstand some punishment. I might ask them for that server again. Oh, li lucky you. I was just using US East, is it? Uh, one of the fucking US servers. Uh, yeah. So, what is the one? Yeah. So, the one I'm using now is the, I think it's the origin.stream.me or whatever. I don't even that's know. That's the regular one, yeah. Yeah, that's just the regular one. Uh, but uh, yeah, I might I might have to ask them for the other. But I mean, I think overall the site's been been working pretty well. What do you think about it so far? I, you seem to be pretty uh be pretty high on it. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I like having an alternative. Um, I don't think uh, I don't think things are going to go well on YouTube over the next couple of years for people. So having something I mean, sure as hell couldn't show uh, a woman shoving spaghettios into her vagina on YouTube. That would have been an instant ban, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it'd be hard to. Why? Well, yeah, in front of a large audience, yeah. showing interior semiotics. Yeah, that would have been probably difficult. Or the casting couch porn thing probably would have been a bit difficult. I mean, I wanted to show ISIS beheadings, but I guess that probably was crossing the line. So. That's one of the one <laughs> things they they kind of. So they said it's kind of they kind of have a gray area. So I they said, well, you know, like uh, extreme violence, and I said, well, you know, sometimes riots break out or whatever, and we might do a live stream. Is that? You know, is that forbidden? And they said, well, no, not really. Not if it's, you know, you know, a news event, that's okay. But if, if they start shooting people and, and stuff like that, maybe, you know, maybe pull back. Maybe, you know, so. maybe think about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah maybe think about it. Just consider it. Uh, and then nudity, of course, they they don't want they don't want that. But Well, uh, see, I wanted to like people were asking for like pain Olympics. And I was thinking, I wonder, I wonder if it's late enough at night that I can see <laughs> that on. <laughs> Pretty, I'm pretty sure. I mean, most stuff they they let you get away with. And then another thing they said was um, the the stream me community uh, try try to be try to be you know a little nice to them maybe. But I, I don't even I don't know. I, I don't even know that they really enforce that because uh, oh, I I don't have any intention of fucking with anybody on the platform. I yeah. mean, I kind of feel bad. Most people have like small shows and stuff. That's why I had them take me off the uh, the contest list. Yeah, so I talked about that on Monday because I was on Coach's stream and then uh, Danish Police is another channel on here and they're just like, oh, Jim got taken off the list for for spamming or something. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? And I actually messaged them because I was like, oh, no, that's not right. You know? No, no, I, I, I asked said, the guy when I talked to him about yeah. setting it. Like, I was going over technical details and I was like, yeah, I just uh, take me out of the contest because I, I didn't, I thought it'd be kind of dickish if I came over and I brought a larger audience and then I secured one of the top spots. Because that's going to push whoever is at the bottom off. 
Yeah, like if you want to build a platform, you want the really small guys dick, to constantly. That's a really dick move. It is. It is well. yeah. <laughs> God, what it's kind of asshole would, isn't it? What kind of asshole would do that? Just come over there and take the top slot and, and drive everybody down the list and take. Listen, off. I just don't want to see Narcissa Wright throw herself <laughs> off a fucking bridge. Okay, so they need that ten dollars a week to fucking survive. <laughs> Oh, I was going to ask you oh, there are a couple of things, I guess, before before you go. Uh, what, what did you and you talked about a little bit already, but Mumpkey Jones got got uh, booted off YouTube. A lot of other yeah, Mum, so. Mumpkey got thrown off and then ER keeps getting fucking he'll get a strike and then they'll reverse it and then they'll take down another video or put it up in limited state. Like he has a target on his head from the PewDiePie thing. It's kind of like a shell game at this point. I know a lot of people were critical of PewDiePie because he took the the recommendation out of the video. He went back and edited it. But we watched a video of his the other night. Uh, where he was responding to the Vox article that was calling him, I don't know, gateway to the alt-right or something like that. And the whole video was pretty much an extended <laughs> advertisement for ER. Like, I mean, I don't know. It's it's kind of hard for me to be too critical of, of PewDiePie. Well, I, I like ER's videos. I've watched I've watched a lot of them. Um, and it would suck if his channel gets pulled down. I've seen a few of Mumpkey's, too. Uh, but from what I understand, Mumkey, uh, didn't he have Dick Masterson help build a website? To yes, he did, and he launched it just today. Uh, now, I went on there, and there was, I think there's still a few bugs on it, but it seemed to work fairly well. Uh, and uh, now I wonder how many other people are going to, uh, you know, move to that, just having their own website. I mean, that might be the final end game, actually. Uh, but streaming's been pretty good so far. So, I'm uh, telling you, I think the future is going to be Pajinko payments, where <laughs> it's where you're buying credits from, you know, from the website, yeah. and then those those credits are in the form of something, uh, you know, like bobbles or whatever. And every time somebody does something and donates a bobble, the streamer keeps it, and then they can exchange it at a different service, you know, for cash back. That way, the money's not directly going through PayPal, facilitated through the streaming service. Something, some kind of Japanese version. Uh, well, that's basically what D Live does. I mean, with the well, no, what D Live does <laughs> is stutters every five seconds as it overheats your graphics card with the world's shittiest Bitcoin miner. Uh, but I mean, that's the the theory behind the whole Lino coin or whatever the fuck they call that shit. I don't know. It was it was, it was a little. Oh yeah, so somebody's going to have to take a, a different approach. I mean, I think I think that's what it's going to be. I, nobody's like this idea that you're going to be able to create your own payment processor by pulling it out of your ass. I mean, you've got to. There's so much involved with that. I mean, you've got to work something out with somebody like Stripe or somebody that's comparable to them to deal with bank accounts. Then you've got to have a relationship with the credit card companies, finally with PayPal, you know, and it's it's just this giant clusterfuck of, I, I don't even know how they do it. <clears throat> I mean, Patreon's getting strong arm too. I mean, I know nobody likes their decision, but remember they had to pull people down before the Sargon thing um, because Visa told them to, or was it MasterCard? One I of think the it, was MasterCard. it was MasterCard. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and that wasn't Patreon. That some uh, apparently they've identified the person in Mastercard that was responsible, and it's some tranny or something like that. I never heard back from that person, but they said yeah that they had some information about who was doing it. Yeah, and the thing is, like you know, with a decision like that, they can't do shit about it. I mean, it's the same. It's the same thing that happened to uh, was it BitChute when Stripe said we've got to end the relationship. We're being told by uh, one of our partners that we have to do it. It's not our decision. Uh, one of the things about streaming, so the, the super chats, well, I, I know, she, and I actually <laughs> messaged you cause I was just like, oh, Jim doesn't have a super chats on, but then it turned out, you know, you did that on purpose. Uh, but the, the super chats don't go through streaming, but the, um, the subscriptions and stuff does and the, and the, whatever the contest money goes through them. So, uh, they'll actually, pay oh, you out. oh, wow. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> who saw that coming? Okay. <laughs> Oh uh, no! Who who could have foreseen? I wonder who else had thought about that. But yeah, uh, so that goes through them. They actually send you a check. So that's something that uh, they can't really shut down. Uh, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I don't know. I mean, I I know that uh, when Josh was on the stream with uh, me, you and CRP, he had said that he thought Streamy was kind of on a limited time scale. I think it's going to be left alone for at least a few years. I I don't think there's uh, anybody gunning for it. I don't know. Um, you know, I think they have time to build up, and I fully suspect. I mean, the guys I talked to were super nice, but I fully suspect that. Um, <laughs> they'll go the, the way of every corporation of well we've got to nice it up a little bit now that we've got some traffic i'm fine with that i just want a platform where i can fuck around for a little while before the internet burns down to a crisp yeah i think we got some time i think if josh said they would be done by the end of the year which uh i mean obviously i mean there's still a few days left in the year but uh, i don't think i don't think that's the case uh they seem to be kind of you know off the radar at this point they're kind of just letting us do our own thing over here who knows how long that'll last but uh 
Well, yeah, I mean, you got you got people doing like prank calls, watching videos. Yeah. It reminds me of, like uh, what it used to be like. Like you know, you go like Justin a TV or fucking UStream or whatever, and people would be fucking around doing whatever they want, and they were left alone, and that's what made it so entertaining. Like I miss that. You know, uh, Twitch you can't do that on anymore. Good luck trying that on YouTube. So it's nice to have a platform where you can fucking laugh at shit. Yeah, I, and I'm thankful. Obviously, they gave us the, the landing spot after our uh, a violent sunset there on YouTube. Uh, let me read a few of these because there's a few questions for you. Uh, l- let me just try to pick out the the questions. First off, somebody asked, "Did you see the uh, Sargon of Akkad anime?" Uh, yeah, I think that you got to ask that. On yeah, no, so, somebody asked me about that. I didn't know what the fuck they were talking about. I thought that they, they were telling me that somebody actually gone to the time of making like a high end anime for Sargon. Well, I don't know if I'd call it high end necessarily but uh, they did they did go through and make like a little cartoon series i'll send you the link like new ground style cartoon. yeah apparently there's yeah. the playlist uh, yeah see i don't like I, I, when you when you tell me anime i'm not thinking like flash right so uh, i had like I, I thought okay what japanese studio would make a fucking anime <laughs> no, no. about carl benjamin and why yeah it's not it's not <laughs> like that it's it's more of a little Ham. I mean, it's kind of <laughs> funny in places. It's corny in places too, but yeah, I I enjoy it. It's pretty good. There's a future art contest idea right there. <laughs> <laughs> Senator Hitler says, "Please ask Mr. Medicare if he's heard of SPCC or remembers his appearance on the show last week." SPCC would love to call. I'm on his Skype stream this weekend. Yeah, that's the guy that does prank calls. Have you seen any of that? Yeah, I've seen some of the prank call shows. I I, I wasn't on the stream. At least yeah, not to no, my that knowledge. Was, yeah, but okay. that was, that's a meme that they have going. Yeah. Unless they got a soundboard. In which case, throw it up on Newgrounds. You can, uh, <laughs> you can use my Bohefans Bob board. That was a fucking great one, too. Guy gets into a call with his friends on YouTube. This is like eight years ago. And it's an hour and a half of him just screaming and crying because his grandmother told his 28-year-old ass to get out of the basement and get a job. <laughs> and he goes into like these long philosophical rants about Final Fantasy and how it relates to not having friends. It's some of the funniest <laughs> shit I've ever heard. <laughs> uh, can I see that? 1488 forever says if you win jim uploads the better help video that was what he said i should have uh made the stipulation <laughs> <laughs> should have could have would have but we got our it's too late it's too late our, got our term set. it's too late for that we've already agreed uh let's see medicare finbot says looking forward to those king of paul requests lol ralph don't you dare lose Oh, uh, yeah, that's a little bit of pressure now. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. Dima210 uh, says, I'll be sending in my song to Jim for this week's contest, whose theme is the death of a channel. The song will pay respects to a certain YouTube late night talk show, now gone but never aborted. Oh, uh, well, thank you, sir. I'm sure I was already, I already saw there'll probably be some entries uh, for the for the old kill stream here, and that's that's fine. Have you, have you gotten any entries uh, just yet? Have you examined any of them? Yeah, yeah, a couple of people have sent some through. I've watched a couple of them. Uh, there's one based off the uh, political ad Dumpster Fire, which is pretty good. Dumpster another fire. another one's got uh, Sargon smugly chuckling over heavy metal. So there's, <laughs> there's, there are a couple different ones. Now, did you see Sargon got a strike on his channel today? Uh, no, no, I didn't. Uh, which Wait, which channel? Uh, the main one. For what? For he had a video up. I, I guess I could... I, I have it. I don't know if you want to see it, but it's the... Uh, I'm not sure if you've seen it before or not. Let me see if I have the uh, the link here. It's it's uh, it's the one with the gay niggers from outer space, uh, video where he just uh, <laughs> repeats about I don't know. Was that just, was that the title of the video? Because I could I could imagine what got somebody's attention in YouTube. I I have the arc up. Should we should we watch it? It's up to you if you want to see it. But he just repeats a bunch of. I don't know. It's it's. Oh no no! I I think I know which one you're talking about. Is that the? Yeah. Y- yeah, yeah. Where he talks about chinks and niggers and retards and and all this and that all throughout the video. I think he made you know he was uh, he was trying to be you know comedic genius or whatever, and he made it back in 2015. And a lot of people we've played it on this show before, and uh, you would think maybe now would be the time maybe to have taken that video down. But I guess you know he wanted to call their bluff or whatever and he left it up and he ended up getting a strike today so i i, I yeah no i, I didn't I've, I've been you know i'm busy with other things um the last kind of thing i've been keeping up with was when sharat did his little oh, inter- interview saying the that daily he was, beast uh, thing yeah that he was lured in like a kid <laughs> into a candy van by the alt right or some shit by the e- the evil youtube algorithm lured him in he was just watching what was it video game reviews i think is what he said something like that and he got uh, progressively lured in, and it forced him to become a, a rabid MGTOW, and he made him hate women, and 
Oh yeah, that's what did it. It was yeah. those YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah. it wasn't, I mean, this is the genius that tried to fuck a lesbian. So I don't know. I don't know if he's got the biggest brain, and that's what did it to him. Uh, just what? What do you think about the whole? We talked about this a little earlier in the show. And Wild Goose has tweeted about it as well that uh, it's pretty clear that Kraut and Shit Rat and and a few others are actually you know feeding. Uh, Jared Holt's stories, and this has been, you know, obvious for a couple months. I've noticed Kraut and Shitrat and a lot of them, uh, you know, tweeting out his his articles and oh, this is something you need to read. The, so James Alsop was just here. Uh, they they did an article on James Alsop, you know, leading this massive hate campaign against uh, Based Mama, and that was uh, an article that uh, Holt writ had had written up, and and that got promoted by Kraut in particular. Uh, and I th I want to say he was quoted in that article. Uh, and then we have the the Stefan Molyneux article. I guess it was yesterday where they accused him of being a a plagiarist, uh, and that was another one they promoted. Then then we have the Daily Beast uh, Kel Kelly Wheel article where you know I mean shit rat is most of the article is him you know quotes from him. Well, now, now I don't know if they're working directly with uh, with Jared Holt. I mean uh, Holt seems to kind of pay attention to to things. I think that's where he's picking strands up from. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they're sending him shit, but. I, I would figure if Kraut was the one that was contacting Holt specifically, we would have had like a dedicated JF article as the first fucking one. Well, that's and that's an, well, that's another thing. I mean, it's not just necessarily Holt. And if you look at the Wall Street Journal article, uh, I, I don't think Yori Ko just picked that up out of nowhere. Uh, the, the whole kill stream thing. I, I don't think she was a you know an avid follower of that scene. If you just read the article, there's it's clear that she doesn't really know much of what's going on. And in her emails to me, it was it was pretty clear that she didn't really know. It much. was like she was being spoon fed information yeah. from somebody. Yeah, and the, and the way she described things, it just was you know was it was like somebody who didn't understand it trying to describe it. Well, it was uh, like somebody that understood it explained it to somebody who didn't understand it, who then explained it to her. And so you could kind of tell that there was at least two telephones going on here. Yeah, and, but the point I was going to make is, you know, JF was a huge target in that article. I mean, the, the actual picture of the article is just a big picture of JF. Uh, now, he was able to parry it, obviously, and I, and I, and I quite clearly was not. Uh, but, uh, yeah, because we called her a big chink bitch, I think. I yeah, think that yeah, I might have. Maybe I didn't. Maybe it wasn't as tact, tactful a response as I, as I could have mustered there. Uh, but, uh, uh, but JF... And I've had somebody tell me this. Well, uh, somebody know, just said here. He, somebody just said in your chat. Luther Sloan said that shit rat was tweeting about ER hours before Jared Holt got onto the story. Yeah, I, I think that's this, true. Yeah, he was. I think that they're actually. I mean, you know, these people are looking for stories as it is, but I do think a lot of this stuff is is coming from that group. I mean, uh, they, yeah, they, well, gay ops are eternal. They never they never end. The twenty four seven is a continuous cycle. Yeah. Now let me also ask you, and we'll, we'll get you out of here in a minute. But uh, what what did you? Why do you think there's not been any real, you know, a lot of articles about you? Uh, Are you trying to throw the heat on no, to me? No, there, Ralph, I'm not. Really? I'm not trying to throw the heat, but I've had other people ask me this too. It's like you have done this before, Ralph. You no. said, "Hey, Jim, Jim, what would happen if your YouTube channel went down?" And I was like, "Oh, I'll live with it." A week later, YouTube channel goes down. And here's fucking Ralph again. Oh boy, Jim, why? Uh, you know, Stop I'm giving curious. people ideas. What happened if they wrote an article about you? I'll tell you what, Ralph, if they write an article about me and they ask me for an interview, I'm going to tell them I'm your cult member and that you bred and raised me on all right talking points. You hate the Jews and the blacks and everybody else. <laughs> Ethan, Ralph groomed Mr. Medicare uh, on everything he knows. He's been telling me this for years, all the way going back to the old days, uh, Gamergate days, uh, finally radicalized me. Uh. <laughs> See, I, I'm an innocent boy. Uh, like, you can't pin shit like Gamergate on me. We all know Monday Matt's the one who started that. He's taking full credit, so I'm happy to oblige. Um, I didn't do the charity stream. I'm just the good boy that appeared on it. I've been groomed, Jared. Uh, you know, hit me up. I've been groomed <laughs> by this fucker. <laughs> all right, he fills me with hate and vitriol and just venom. I, uh, Jared Holt, I love black people. I love the Jews, but this man won't let me do that. He hates them. Puts these thoughts in your head every single time. Does he puts them right in my fucking head? <laughs> All right, January thirtieth. The date is set. January thirtieth, December thirtieth. Uh, the date is set for the the Mortal. Co what are we gonna call it though? I mean, we have to have some type of snazzy title. Uh, the DSP Invitational. 
Well, you know what? When Jared and I talk, uh, talk via email, <laughs> uh, probably the next few days, we'll come up with a snazzy fucking title for it. All right, we have to have a title. Now, my original thought, uh, well, I mean, it was kind of a joke statement, but I, you know, I bet we could sell more pay-per-views for this than, than Worski and Tonka could sell for this, right? <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, that's coming up. I mean, we're, we're less than a month away, less than 30 days away from uh, uh, Donka and his Iron Buffalo facing off against Worski in the ring. Yeah, I'm going to be there in Knoxville with Worski. So uh, w w are you looking forward to that? Do I want to watch an idiot get beaten in the ring? I mean, yeah, I guess I'll I'll enjoy that. Uh, I'll have to watch the highlight clips. Yeah, yeah. Well, one thing is they're charging thirty dollars uh, for the pay per view. I th I think that's a bit overpriced, actually. Uh, I think if they were selling it for like five or ten, they would. Well, sell I mean, they're, they're, it's thirty for the pay per view because they have actual fights happening. Not yes, for, that's true. Yeah. Not for Warski and the fucking Trailer Park Indian. Like that's <laughs> you know that's not what the fucking draw for the thirty dollar ticket is. But don't you think they would sell more? They would make more money if they lowered the price a little bit, though, right? Oh, I, I, I it, <laughs> Ralph, did you take economics in college? <laughs> could you, no, could but I mean, you they make would, more money by lowering the they price? They would sell more overall pay per views and they would end up making more money. That's what I think. <laughs> well, I'll have to ponder on that one. <laughs> Let me hit up my macroeconomics professor. Okay, we'll look it up. I mean, I, I'm not the only one who thinks that. I mean, or to separate it out, maybe you could just sell the Worski, uh, the Worski Tonka fight just by itself, uh, and do that. Maybe I, I just think I don't know. Thirty dollars. I think they're. Why well, I, I you know I, we we're so far into this now, and there's you know again yeah, it's, it's less than yeah. it's thirty days away. I mean, there's no, either of them pull out, they're never going to hear the end of it. They yeah, have they to show up at this point. It's so too you, much cock teasing. You think Tonk is going to show up like I do? I, I I don't know how he could manage not to show up at this point. Like, how would he ever show his face on the internet? All those, you know, years of talking about how he wants to fight people in real life, how he's challenging fucking everybody. If he doesn't show up once fun, uh, somebody finally accepts, uh, he'll, he'll never hear the end of it. it. It will never go away. Well, even his diehard cult members over there at the Kumite, I mean, even most of those would, would call bullshit if he didn't show up for this. Like, I mean, he, he that's my point. He absolutely has to show up or just delete everything, one or the other. I mean, I guess if he doesn't care, he just deletes it all. Well, yeah. I know Worski said he's been training, um, yeah. and I know he's been showing off like he was uh, – he did one stream where he's like in a muscle t-shirt flexing <laughs> and shit. Yes. Um, but Tonka said he was like getting trained by an MMA guy eight, nine hours a day, and I think Zoom called up, and they're like, we've never heard of this guy. That, yeah, that was a lot. They, he also said some stuff about uh, AJ Styles back in the day, and uh, that was also a lot. AJ Styles is a big wrestler for WWE. Ralph, uh, what are you going to do if you're sitting in the audience, right, and Worski's in the middle of the ring, and they say, and here's Tonka Saw, and you can hear the squeaks <laughs> as the wheels are being turned, as this man who can't use, like, he, he wheels up to the arena and crawls in it. Are you going to be, are you going to feel any pangs of sympathy, or are you going to laugh? By the way, I'm being such a cheapskate. I'm actually not even paying for a ticket. I'm just going to be in Worski's corner down by the cage. So, <laughs> uh, I actually clarified that to make sure I didn't didn't have to buy a ticket. So I'm, I'm going to be there for, for free, actually. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I've, the only picture or the most recent picture I've seen of him is him standing there with Vamp. And Vamp has her arm like locked underneath his arm. And it looks like you would hold, you know, how you're holding up a sick family member or something while they're trying to get into their wheelchair trying to you trying to get him up onto the hospital bed or something and she's clearly propping this guy up i don't know if he's i, I don't know I, i'm not completely convinced that uh that he has full control of his motor skills uh yeah it looks like a stock of corn yeah i know he's, he's just skinny you saw the picture. yeah, you yeah saw i saw that. i saw the picture yeah um do you think andy now I, if he's got a sense of humor right and i i can't tell him how to do his ring entrance right but um maybe if he got if he got like an indian headdress and a wheelchair. And he, that's how he went up to the ring. And he has to come uh, out to the Kumite theme, too, as well, right? Uh, how angry do you think Tonka <laughs> would be if he saw Andy wheeling his way up to the fucking boxing ring or whatever the fuck it is? Yeah, I've been, I feel like shit. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be the Kumite song. And I've been talking to him. I actually have a, like a, um, I guess it's like a ceremonial, uh, like, bow. <laughs> like that has a feather on it. Maybe I'll bring that with me too. Or, or maybe he could dress up uh, like uh, General Custard. You know what I mean? Like just full <laughs> on coming out there to get some revenge. But yeah, we've been talking about it. So we're, we're trying to figure Andrew out what Jackson. we're going to do. 
Trail of Tears Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. Uh, you know, your chat's got a fair point. What are you going to do if you and Coach is going to be there, other people are going to be there? What Dick are you Masterson's guys going gonna... to be there, Nick Riccato, you're, yeah. you're all You're all sitting at ringside. You're all ready for the fight, and neither of them show up. Oh, God. Well, look, if if Worski, I have full confidence Worski's going to show up. If he doesn't show up, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to call him out for sure, forever. Because uh, first off, I rented this place, and everybody's coming, and I've been talking about it for a month and a half. And we'll still be talking about it for another month. So, yeah, I have confidence Worsi going to show up. And I even think Tonka's going to show up just for this, you know, the simple facts that we laid out. That Well, if he was going to pull out, he would have had to have pulled out by now. You can't you can't let it go on this long and then be like, oh, something happened. You know, oh, uh, uh, a meteor hit my trailer. You know, the fucking government's <laughs> coming out because they're alien spores on it or something. I, I, I won't be able to see you guys for eight months. Now, most fight contracts will have some type of like injury prov provision, though. Uh, but still it, it would have, you know, I, I don't think people are going to be accepting of any type of injury excuse. Uh, now, even big fights have been called off for, you know, oh, so-and-so broke his hand training or whatever. Uh, but I don't think that that's going to fly. Uh, unless, you know, you have verifiable fact. That now, you don't, don't give Tonka leg. any ideas. Cause I have a feeling he would fly out to Andy's gym and then fucking replace the punching bags, like put lead weights in them, hoping he cracks his hands on them when he goes to fucking hit the <laughs> speed bag or something. <laughs> What about him and uh, with your little uh, bet offer there? And he he kept trying to renegotiate that. Three yeah, he wouldn't. Times. I put the bet out. He wouldn't accept it. So there's not much I can do past that. I mean, if he's so fucking calm. Oh, wait. are you still there? You cut out for a sec. Yeah, you cut out. I thought that was me. I thought it was my internet that cut out for a sec. I also thought Pretty it was well. my internet. Oh wait, yeah, you're you're back. You cut out for a minute. You cut out for like oh, the I, last I, yeah, stream seconds. me. Just uh, reloaded on me. It probably threw shit through a loop. Okay. Uh, no, I was saying, yeah, if he's so confident, just just put a fucking dress on if you lose, right? I mean, like he he thinks he's gonna destroy Andy, doesn't he? Well, that's that. Yeah, I mean, you you put up your channel with no, I mean, you know, no compunction about it whatsoever. It's like, yeah, I'll put it up. Show that was his initial and offer. Bone zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His initial offer was that. Oh, Jim, Jim, Jim. Okay, fine, fine. If I, if I'll do that. If you're gonna, you know, if you lose, put a fucking dress on, put heels on, put some lipstick on, and walk up and down the fucking street outside the arena, telling people you suck cock for five dollars. Well, you know, he talks like he's just absolutely gonna destroy Andy. Andy has no chance. You know, this and that. I mean, if you're so confident, yeah, why not just, why not just take that bet? There's no way you're gonna have to fulfill your end anyway. So. I mean, he'll probably get a date out of it, you know. And he <laughs> wanted to start the trap no state, so hey, he's got now, that long those long. He's got that long hair. Probably, probably looked the part. Oh, I don't know. Fuck you know. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Official prediction: Worski versus Tonka. Who, who are you predicting? Uh, well, given the fact that Andy seems to actually be training and he seems motivated and pissed off, um, I'm going to put. Um, I, I think Andy's going to win. To be honest with you. Like well, if I saw a, something out of Tonka, if Tonka was putting shit up where he's doing trading montages, or uh, if if it looked like he was actually doing something, maybe it'd be more fifty fifty. But Worski seems motivated, especially after all the shit going on between them, uh, the pedo allegations, all that shit. I think I think Worski wants to fucking hurt somebody. That's what I think too, and I know I went in. So one of my little favorite hobbies recently is every once in a while I go into the Kumite chat with my well somebody alleging to be me. And uh, I'll stir them up, and their show is just, it's really bad. So whenever I go in there, they, they don't have anything to talk about already, so they'll usually start sparking out at me. Uh, and I'll go in there, and the, the other day, uh, their chat was just like, Ralph, you're so stupid. Why, why would you pick Andy? He clearly has no chance. Oh, my God. You know what? I don't, you know, I, I, think he, I think he has a perfectly good chance. I think that that's bullshit. I mean, Tonka, you know, claims to have fought, you know, what, three, like, amateur MMA fights. First off, if that's true, and that's a big if, because he claimed that you could find those records if you knew his real name or whatever. Everybody knows his fucking real name. Nobody can find those records. Every time he claims something, somebody makes a call and finds out it's complete bullshit. So I don't even believe at this point that he had those amateur MMA fights. Obviously, he was a wrestler because we've seen him do the wrestling thing. I mean, there's video. Well, I, I honestly think that he he fucked himself with Terry LaRosa, right? Oh, when, he, dude. when he was talking about, oh, you know, Andy is a pussy and Andy da, 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 and I can set up a match in five minutes and all this shit. And then it was coming down to the wire of actually setting it up. And he's talking with LaRosa and, uh, you know, other people. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like, oh, I'll set it up. Give me a minute. And literally in 10 minutes, it's ready to go. I think he I think he talked himself into this. I don't think he was really willing to do it in the first place, but he uh, just couldn't keep it under wraps. And she ended up taking up his offer and setting it up.
Yeah, and then he fucked up with the promotion. Yeah, he's fucked up with her more than I, than I probably should say publicly. But yeah, with with him just being so salty and throwing shade towards her, not submitting a picture. I mean, the the poster looks goofy as fuck. It has Andy with an actual picture of Andy, and then a blue cartoon Indian man on the other side. I mean, it just looks strange. It does. It does look weird. Um. Uh, is he wearing is he gonna body paint know. himself when he shows <laughs> up or? i don't know if that's allowed in mma i know that they do that in wrestling sometimes with the body paint but uh i'm not sure if you're allowed to come out with the body paint or not no no if you guys are all going to be sitting in andy's corner right yeah we are um <laughs> how awkward is it going to be if failure and vamp are sitting right next to you guys <laughs> oh, God. on the front row you know what i mean uh well I'm, I'm assuming failure said he was gonna go i know vamp I mean vamp trails around him like a lost puppy so we know she'll be there uh but uh yeah i'm assuming i'm assuming the, the whole gang will be there now uh me and coach uh, me for sure we're trying to make sure coach can get in the corner too because coach is coming with all his keno cams <laughs> well he better be sure he can get in the country Aren't yeah. they under martial law in the Ukraine right now? He's already coming to the country, and uh, yeah, they are actually. But he says it's no big deal, so I don't know. If it's it no big deal. <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah. he said. Yeah. I don't know. Um, so he's gonna be. I think he said he's coming to New York already. And when I heard that, I said, well, "Why don't you come down to Knoxville?" And he's already booked a flight, so I'm gonna go pick him up from the from the Knoxville airport. We're gonna have a coach there. Dick Masterson's coming in. I think I don't think he's staying with us though. He's gonna get his own place probably. Uh, but coach is staying with us. Uh, Worski, I think Geek Dulu is coming. Uh, Nick Ricade is coming with his wife. He's just gonna make a little vacation of it. So, uh, yeah, we're we're gonna have we're gonna have a good time. I think as long as everybody shows up for the fight and there's actually a fight. So. Yeah, it's gonna suck if nobody shows up. Oh god, that's gonna be the worst thing ever. Uh, that's another thing. Maybe I'm biased and I just really want him to show up because I've invested. Not it's not the money aspect. It's just I'm really excited to see it. And to I've, I've invested more than you have. I put up five hundred dollars to match Destiny on the purse. Oh, are y'all doing that? Well, that's what Morsky told me. He said Destiny's throwing five hundred bucks up for the winner, and I said I'll match Destiny then. By the way, Destiny said he would come on the kill stream. Now we haven't nailed down the date just yet, but uh, yeah, he's he said he's coming on, so we're trying to figure that out as well. Well, yeah, he was on Warpath with Worski like three or four weeks ago, yeah. uh, and it was pretty funny because Andy's like, "Oh, oh, Taka's such a faggot. You were so right, Destiny." And Destiny's like, "Shut the fuck up, Andy. You're only telling me that because you're fighting with your boyfriend." <laughs> just shit right in his face. It's pretty good. Destiny's pretty funny, dude. Yeah, uh, I'm. I'm kind of curious as how that will go since uh, he he filed a copyright claim against me way back when, and we we had some words. But uh... now, are you going to talk to him about how he set it up? Because I've seen a couple people mention this in various places that uh, Destiny set up his own like subscriber model. He's got his own app. He's got all, like his own chat uh, program and shit. Like he's tried to isolate all these different things to protect himself from getting like kicked off a platform. Yeah, I actually was going to talk to him about that. Somebody else is bringing that up to me. And there's some other things I want. I mean, I'm sure there'll be some, you know, banter back and forth as well. Maybe a few barbs, which I'm fine with. Uh, but I actually kind of wanted to have, you know, a semi-serious conversation with him about some of the some of the deplatforming stuff. So uh, we'll see. We're, we're still trying to nail it down. Originally, it was going to be today, but we're, we're going back and forth. And I'm uh, talking to Christy Winters. It's the intermediary on all this. So... Um, we'll see. I might just message him myself. Oh, see, now Worski left that out. They said uh, Destiny had the condition that somebody would have to film Tonka riding in on his shitty car if he was going to put up the 500. <laughs> oh, because yeah. he wants to see if it's a, a Benz or a Mercedes. Yeah, I remember right? he yeah. drives a Mercedes. <laughs> I also remember, what did he tell me one time? I don't know if he said this on air or not. I think he said it on air, but he, he said he bought an RV with, was it, was it, uh, was it with all cash? I believe that's what he said, which if you know how much an RV costs, it's, it's quite expensive to just walk up and throw down all cash. Uh, well, yeah, but then again, I mean, uh, when the Kumite was going full swing, right, they were bringing in pretty large numbers in the morning with good amount of donations. Your last month on YouTube, what did you say was like, what was it, 16 grand or something? Yeah, 16 grand. And they're supposed to be paying me that finally this month. So, right. So, you know, if, you, if you're pulling 16, he was probably pulling between 10 and 15. And he did it for what, six, seven months straight at that? Yeah. Yeah. Something I mean, like that. I guess maybe, maybe it's possible he did that. But yeah, YouTube allegedly is going to pay me that. They didn't pay it last month, but they, they allegedly it's going to come. I guess it should be what today or tomorrow. So tomorrow, yeah. yeah. I, I I I don't think the money side. I think once it's cashed out, it's cashed out. Um, you're you're not going to get your channel back, but I don't think no. they're going to hold the phone. They never responded to my appeal uh, request. I, I don't think I won't hold my breath <laughs> waiting to yeah. get back on that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Everybody's getting just. Uh, yeah, I really hope ER's channel doesn't go down. I like his videos. It would suck. 
Yeah, he's he's catching some heat right now. Uh, his subs have exploded, though. I, I don't know. We'll see if he hangs around. I'm, so, I'm glad his subs exploded. Uh, you know, <laughs> he's it's it's good shit. So I'm happy for him. But oh. hopefully it doesn't. You know. Oh, one more thing, real quick. Uh, Rusty Cage. I'm not sure if you're familiar with him. He's another YouTuber. Uh, they gave him. They deleted. I believe they deleted his entire channel over a playlist that he had. Yeah, it was over a playlist. A Not play a video, a yeah. playlist. And they didn't even give him a strike. They just straight deleted his channel over a playlist, which I up until then, I had never heard of that. I didn't even know it was possible. No, he, okay, but his channel's got like a million subs. Yeah. So his channel's gone. He doesn't have it that's anymore? What I, that's what I saw yesterday. Let me, well, let me, let me go check his Twitter. Oh, no. No, his, his, his main, okay, that channel's back up, so maybe he got it restored. Let me, let me go. Maybe it was his live stream channel. Let me look on his Twitter. Gator, you saw the same thing I did, though, right? Yeah, I did, because, yeah, someone tweeted at me earlier today. Okay, let me see. Where is that? Let me... Why How? Why would they even take his... If it's a playlist and the videos in the playlist are the problem, why would he take down... Why would they take down his channel if he's not the one putting the videos up? That's what I don't understand. Hold on, I'm trying to find the original tweet. So it's not the main channel. Uh. Okay, so they didn't... Wait, they didn't delete his channel. It was just... Okay, it was just a strike. It was a community guideline strike. Yeah, YouTube community flagged one or more of your playlists is inappropriate. After reviewing the content, we've determined the playlist violates our community guidelines. As a result, we removed the following playlist from YouTube. Yeah. The Knife Game songs. So, so did he... Didn't he... A strike for it, but they deleted his, his playlist. That's really weird. I've never heard of that before. I've never heard of them taking a playlist down. Yeah, there it is. And by the way, I apologize. I, I was wrong on the channel getting deleted, but he got a strike off a of playlist. That's that's what it was. Yeah. So, I don't know. New territory being broken here. Oh, wait. Please note the removal has not resulted in a strike on your channel. Oh, did it say that? Hold on. Go back. Yeah. Uh, last paragraph. Oh, under. okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay. We encourage you to review all playlists in your account to make sure they are in line with our community guidelines. Additional violations could result in strikes. Okay. Or even lead to account termination. So For a playlist. That's fucking bizarre. Yeah. By the way, I butchered that two different ways, but but he did he did <laughs> <laughs> anyway. the fucking breaking news on the road for yeah. Charlie. We got the stories it. nine ways up. <laughs> we got it straight in the end though. That's that's what counts. All right, Jim, thank you for joining us. We're gonna wrap it up. Uh oh see. what time uh, what time on the, uh just during my stream then I guess? Well yeah, that's what it, I mean that's that was your proposal. We'll just do it during your stream, so Okay. All right. Well, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, see, I'll see you Sunday the 30th to uh, air juggle your ass. Be good. December 30th. Let's do it. See you All right. Then. Uh, have a good one, gentlemen. All right. Farewell. And 6.06 p.m. on Monday. Should I go on there and just Tim scream Swift. and say, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Do, it. do it. Do it. Do it. Go on Nick's stream. Go on Nick's stream. Hey, hey, listen, you goose. All right. I'm giving that man some respect. You can tell, you can tell Tonka, you know, he's like, he's part of the lineage of those wind talkers, you know, the coat talkers from fucking World War II. This motherfucker is full of hot air. He doesn't ever shoot. Shut the fuck up. Uh, Melker, go, Jim, go, go on Nick's stream. No, no, I want to hear, nah. I want to hear Keem go off on him. Can you, can you yeah, Keem, get in, get in there. Oh, he already jumped. He's, he's going. Oh, shit. He went again. I apologize, Nick. You're, 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 you're a really nice twice. guy, Nick, and so I'll, I'll do it for you. Tonka, fucking leave. Nick has been trying to hint to you to get the fuck off because he has to read the donations and he has to go to bed. Unlike you, he has a real fucking job. <laughs> so get the fuck out of here and quit wasting his time. He's got shit to do. Who's asking? You're terrible at everything, Jim. Just go ahead. Okay. <laughs> the, the, the chat link is out. <laughs> I can't do anything right. about it anymore. That's <laughs> oh, that's, that's good. Again, it's not about respect, really. It's not about anything like that. That's not the, <sighs> that's not the thing. Is it? You would never stop. Jim, hop on. It, it, Give the it, coup de gras. Come on. The, Be Jim, a pal. A bad guy. It's no, I don't think so. It's just fucking a lot of shit coming at him at once. He's getting shit in his God, he won't like shut the fuck up. He just well, won't. He won't stop. Like no. Twitter accounts. Go look at any of the Jim, go. Media. Nail that him. Come on. Costs. Gentlemen, Listen, I've been enjoying I, I don't the show. Don't make me talk at Donga. Come on, man. That's you can torture. do it. Oh. Honestly, it, he's in there. Did he leave? He's seeing that. No, he didn't. No. We got to get Jim in. Get Jim in. Go, Jim. Go. Oh, that definitely won't work. He'll stay for that. Yeah, I was going to say, Coach, don't.
Yeah, he he will dig himself, himself a wigwam hole and fucking <laughs> set up a creepy in the yeah, middle of it. Yeah, never like, like, <laughs> Come on, Jim! We'll be here till 6 a.m. when Jim gets on there. Oh, this God. Fight. I talked to Andy, and he's been nice to me. You've been nothing but courteous to me. I have is no he reason finally? to disbelieve or distrust <sighs> you in any sort of way either. So, um, Nick is some happens, kind of lawyer because he uh, gutted Tonka and Tonka is thanking him. Unfortunately <laughs> for me, is I won't be able and you to all go doubted him. to a second of Oh, at the beginning, at the beginning I, I was a little bit. Just a little bit. Him. Well, I was getting frustrated because well, it was. For the, so goddamn, that's how good of a lawyer oh, Nicky Rackett is. That's it true. Was like, yeah. yeah, I'm not going to lie. It was really boring and drawn out. Nick could have made it a little bit faster. Well, he was. parts of it. I'll admit that. This is his style. He was getting him. Comfortable, yeah. yeah. This it is was how he perfect. Works. It was perfect. It couldn't he have was, been. He was pulling some Perry Mason shit. There. Exactly. <laughs> like, like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, relax. Only. We're friends. We're friends. <laughs> yes. you know, let's talk, for buddy. A while. Yeah, the buddy. Offer. Andy accepted for the two thousand. I like you. I'm your friend. Yes, you can right, trust well, me. I'm gonna, oh, I'm sorry. Did I call you a faggot? It's whiskey. I didn't mean to do that. Let's see. Is he actually? Oh, he's actually leaving. Make sure last thing I said was. Oh no, God. Oh, no, he's, check on your DMs on Discord. he's on another speech. Okay. I am sorry for how it all went. I don't think anybody else. Is. <laughs> <laughs> and he's still, because, well, Nick asked the peace out again. Knows, yeah. Thanks for no, coming he knows, on, he knows that this is night. the last time he's uh, going to be on anybody's stream. It's over for him. He knows it. That's why he's hanging on. Like a million chats. He's still not Thank leaving. You, chat for hanging out with us. Very interesting. Very interesting. Finally! Uh, Woo! As the engine's dead. Holy so shit! So he actually. It by the way, I, I just saw a message from SPCC, and it was too late. God damn it! I would have definitely sent him the link. Uh, oh man. Well, I apologize. I think he's gonna be back on Thursday, though. Can Can we give Nick a round of applause for getting Andy and everybody uh, in there after getting Nick, back? Nick, that Nick, was, Nick. Woo that was Nick. beautiful shit. Amazing. Beautiful. Did you see the look on his face and the thumbs up when he did it? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. And the that sipping of the, the ages of his drink with the pinky out like a true oh, gun. Oh man! It so was Ralph, awesome. I have a surprise for you guys and for the chatters. I know they were getting annoyed with me, uh, but during that fight or during that little argument where Andy and him were screaming, I got a uh, response back via text uh, from the actual commissioner of really? the fight commission from Tennessee. Uh, like I said, when I did the IVS apocalypse a year ago, I was trying to tell Kim about this. I actually called every single fighting mission that Tonka ever claimed that he fought out of. And I spoke with Georgia, I spoke with Tennessee, and I spoke with Alabama, and they had never heard of him. They had no record of him ever being licensed as a fighter. And the funny thing is, is the Tennessee fight commissioner, uh, Glenn Kopchak, him and I talked for over an hour, and he said that Tonka was full of shit that there was no record of Tonka ever fighting in Tennessee, and that he sounded like a serial bullshitter. And Damn. it's really funny. I what else that did guy. you talk about? I mean, an hour long just to get to uh, that point? We went we went through every single name that he had, because at the time, Tonka was going by Robbie Vio, uh, Robbie Pilkington, and um, Michael Pilkington was his other name. So we went through all of those. We also checked if he ever ran a fighting promotion, if he was ever licensed to be a fighting promoter, like he claimed that he was in those <sighs> states. They had no record of him ever. And I, he was such a nice guy. He gave me his cell phone number. He said if there was any kind of problem, because he actually thought I was a promoter. He <laughs> said, call me if you guys ever have a fight in Tennessee, and I'll try to help you out. This guy sounds like a bullshitter. So I kept in touch with him. Tonka also claimed that he wrestled with AJ Styles. I got in touch with Bill Barons, the fucking promoter and manager He's and the lawyer manager for Styles. AJ Styles. Yeah. Had a whole conversation with him on Facebook. He said he doesn't know who no, the fuck wait, Tonka wait, wait, is. Wait, Zoom, what did the promoter say to you tonight? Uh, they said that he said that he wanted me to call him in the morning when he's you know in the office, and Andy is going to have a show tomorrow, and we're going to call him live on the air. Wow! And we're going to see if we can get this promotion uh, this... extended. <laughs> Dude, this is what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, everybody's been hearing this Tonka guy, and it's just an act. It's not a real person. That's why the fight didn't happen. Well, I'm going to see if I can get this extended another day because Tonka said he only needed another day and the, the fight commission wouldn't give them the extra day. I'm going to see if we can get him the extra day. And if we yeah, can, he's... then we can have the fight. Yeah, he's going to be. He said he's coming to Knoxville. 
So yeah. if he just needs that extra day to just sort stuff right. out, sign oh, the on, new guys, contract guys, and everything, boom, we got get, it. Get, get real. He's never going to sign any fucking But I, I did some research, and there's no way that he got this fucking Dude, game did you guys? did you guys listen to what Zoom just said? This guy's a fraud. There's He's no – there's fraud. no – no fight is what? going to happen. No. Yeah. Come on, kid, what yeah. are you talking about? Fraud? <laughs> oh, and, uh, fraud. And I He's did some on the research. Level. Come on. There's no way he could have got a name change this quickly because he would have had to have gone to the pro office in Alabama, he would or the probate office, he would have had to file a, a thing with a clerk, which he just did on Monday, and then he would have to wait. Well, yeah, the promoter already said. Yeah, There's the promoter no already said it, he just filed the paperwork. Like they don't just let you change your name overnight no. anywhere. It takes, like, it takes yeah. months. Yeah, and then to you Sometimes have to go to the can, social yeah. security office, you have to file for a new social security number. They have to go to the DMV. You have to give them all the fucking documentation that he claims he has, and then get a new license. He said that he got his new license on the tenth. That's fucking impossible. No, he would have had to have done this months ago. Dude, dude, dude. It, it was just an excuse to get out of the fight. Okay. And and any anything that you got you and Andy do, great, but it's it's you know, it's gonna be kind of pointless. It'll be just no, to no, rub his not, nose it, into it's it. Not, it's not pointless. That's the funny thing about it. Of course he's gonna constantly dodge out on it, but every extra opportunity they give him makes him look like even a yeah. bigger pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Well, uh, yeah. Well, Jim, I don't know if you heard about this, but when uh when I heard that Tonko is not showing up. Uh, I had made a promise. Uh, I had talked with Ralph about this, with Andy, and uh, some people had let CRP know about this. But I decided that because Tonko is not going to show up to this, and because he was going to be a pussy, that we were going to do a documentary where we went down to his town, where we met with his <laughs> mom, had some sweet tea. We would meet with his with his mother. We would go to his used car lot and interview the employees there and ask about his work ethic. Yeah, we're going to shoot I, at Errol Moral. I like style. how you mentioned yeah. sweet tea. She almost certainly yeah. has some sweet tea there. Here's the best. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I called the sheriff, Matthew Dade, who is the sheriff of Calhoun <laughs> County, and told him I was going to be doing some filming in his county and that I wasn't going to disturb anything. I was just doing filming, going to do some interviews for people for a, for a live TV show. And he said that he had no problem with me going down there and that all I had to do was just come to the office and ask for a permit and it would be 10 bucks and he would let me fucking film as anything yeah. I wanted. What do you yeah, think but- about uh, me and Zoom going down there, Jim? I uh, I disavow. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's terrible that you guys are going to have SPCC call the used car lot before you show up and say, hey, I'm standing outside, bitch. Come take a look and then wave. I think that's just a mind hey, fuck that you should there's be the, doing. Uh, there's the GoFundMe thing. I'm going to add Ralph never do and I'm going to add okay. CRP to it. And we're going to try and crowdfund this. Oh, I've, uh, I've written a whole thing about it. Uh, I actually, really I liked your them. blurb. That was really good, actually. Yeah. Yeah, but Zoob, you got to be careful, dude. When you were talking to Tonka, you were like, "Yeah, I'm going to your grandma's house and shit." Like, dude, he <laughs> yeah, could, exactly. he could, he could spin that around yeah, to be like, "This is far. harassment." Like, no, no, Zoom, no wait, Zoom, you gotta Zoom, watch out, man. Wait, Zoom was playing a character like Tonka does at that point. I mean, oh, yeah, okay. I don't okay. yeah. What's he gonna he, do? He wasn't serious about any of that. You were just fucking around, right? Did you Zoom? hear the fear in his voice when I said that? <laughs> He's shook. He's a pussy. You were just kidding, Zoom. You're playing, playing your. Dude, I would whip my dick out and piss on his grandma. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm going yes. to make a film about a pussy. Oh, oh man. So, you're, you're, so Zoom, basically, you'll sacrifice anything for art, huh? I don't. Well give done. A fuck. The <laughs> fans deserve this. The IBS community deserves this. They had to sit through six hours of autism with me and Tonka and Joaquin screaming at each other. And you know what? I haven't heard a fucking word from Jim since then. That's how autistic it was. It made Jim never want to talk to us again. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, that it was, it was pretty that bad. Was pretty fucking awful. I'll be honest. And you know what's <laughs> funny is all and is all of that endurance through that autism. Nine months later, you see, I was right the entire fucking time about that guy. Everything I fucking said about that dude from fucking <laughs> point A to point B was right. Now let he me ask you. You know what I noticed you know about Tonka is. He del- you know, even when he had his Twitter, he'd delete all, you know, a lot of tweets here and there. Uh, he'll delete his videos almost all the time now. Yes. Um, the clip channels don't really clip his shit as much. I mean, you get like Medic or Fembot, but like he doesn't have his own clippers doing it anymore. So he makes all these statements. I don't challenge people to fight. I never said that. That never happened. If somebody could compile that, I guarantee you, you're going to get at least 20 or oh, 30 examples. We, of we have about I want I think, to 12 you, right now. Real life. That's what yeah. Your yeah, dude. Well, the, look, there's so many. Uh, fuck. There's there's at least five or six that I can think of. So Zoom, he challenged Baked Alaska. Andy, of course. 
Destiny. Uh, Destiny. Destiny. There's four right you. there. Yeah, me. Uh, yeah, you, me. yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Jim, me. Me. Bronx bomber. Yeah, it's just he, he, he challenged uh, Bronx Bottom to fight. Yeah, he challenged the uh, Bronx Bomber to a fight. No, I think like, he wanted right, to get no. together. I think I think he wanted to get together for an AIDS support group. No, that's you know not Bronx, you. Bronx Bogger. I'm talking about Bronx Bomber. You know, oh, he, I don't. He challenged me, motherfucker. Yeah, he's, he's that dude on Discord. Me. He said he would beat the shit out of Tonka, and then Tonka was like, "Oh, uh, I'm no, not in that town." Group no, let me tomorrow. ask you. Let me ask you, Jim. Wh where do you think this ranks? We were having a debate earlier between this and the, uh, you know, Monday Matt stream. Where do you Where do you think it ranks? Oh. Right. I, I I think I mean here's the here's the bottom line with this like he tried to dance around the issues and throw out a bunch of bullshit but Tonka's the one from the beginning that said I respect the fight game I know the fighting world I'm a part of the fighting world Andy disrespects it and yet Andy the goofy stuttering Canadian with the cocaine problem <laughs> his he trained his ass off you can see his uh, his physical yeah. you know form get better over the last couple of months. He got his paperwork in on time. He rented a fucking hotel room. He got shit together to go down there. He's been talking to the promoter and other people to get this set up. Tonka, Mr. I respect everything, suddenly is changing his fucking name with three days left to go. Can't get his paperwork in on time. Yeah, he filed uh, this Monday. Yeah, it, it, it's bullshit. It's all delaying tactics and bullshit. Here's a screen cap that looks edited. Here's a name change. I'm late with this. I'm not going to sign on camera. I'm not going to put a pickup like you asked me for the promotion flyer. It's just, it's a load of horseshit. Everybody knows it's a load, of, or a load of horseshit. The funny thing about all of this is Andy was so fucking angry about it. He dragged him to the very last minute where he had to basically look like a fucking putz in front of the entire internet. Now, but wait, but wait, uh, the original question, which which was worse, the, the Monday Matt self-destruction or the Tonka self-destruction? Oh, well, yeah, I, I would say this because with yeah. Matt, it was kind of contained I to the one, one moment and then some sputtering afterwards. Yeah. But with yeah. Tonka, it's been two months of this shit, of him just – Do you did you hear him screaming at, with Andy back and forth? It yeah, reminded me – It's fucking funny. Yeah, and, and when he gets really mad, that's what he does. He's done yeah. that with like three or four people. And don't get me wrong, I do that shit too, but <laughs> I'm not the one doing it now, so it's funny to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah I've never yelled also. ever in my life. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is also, it's that a lot of people book flights to go to Knoxville, and, and you know, I'm going there. Like, I, I yeah. just my trip home to, to go down to Knoxville and shit. Uh, a lot of people, Rikada did everything with five kids and shit. Like, yeah, a lot of people got put out by this shit. Yeah, you know, yeah. There's a lot of I mean, about that's the, that's the thing. That's time. that's the overall main thing is like, you know, he, he him saying that he respects the fighting and stuff. Oh, Dude, there was no apology to the fans. Yeah. None at all. He didn't take any responsibility. Wait, I take that back. He took 20% of the responsibility <laughs> yeah. uh, of the thing ending. And it's just... Where do you change that in for the refund for the plane tickets? <laughs> I know. Now wait, Jim. Wait, they have it. They have another offer though. They they I, they, yeah, they want him to go. <laughs> like, I, I, I listen to I listen to Tommy's bullshit earlier today with Oreo and everybody else, where they're talking about uh, yeah, if Tonga doesn't show up, Bandy doesn't win. Listen. If you say you're going to step into the ring with a motherfucker, you get the promoter and the fans and everybody else to put down money to show up to watch you fight, and then you're fucking around, Mr. I'm the inside in the yeah. fighting world, and you don't fucking get this done, but the other guy does, you lose. That's an L. Don't give me this shit, oh, well, hey, you know, he didn't get in the ring with him. You're right, he didn't, Tommy, because Tonka ran away. He fucked it up at the last minute. That's a loss. Yeah. yeah. And this, I want to set up a new fight shit. Get fucked, asshole. You had your opportunity and you fucked it up. Why would we trust you with another operation when you couldn't get this one done properly? I, I don't think Andy should waste his time. It's it's like, it, no, there's no, no, if I was Andy right now, I would just not even talk to him anymore. Like I would ignore oh, every, everything oh, from him. Oh man. <laughs> have you, have you just seen their mods? Have you seen these furry fucking mods that he has? Oh, that no, they rate shit. They rate shit about fucking fucking their mothers and shit. Yeah, yeah. That what? fat fucking otherkin is uh, arguing with me about uh, like yeah, I've had thrash. so many of these, so many of these fucking retards talk shit for the last month about how Andy's gonna get his ass kicked and Tonka's gonna yeah. he's gonna teach him a lesson. And now Tonka's fucked it up and people are deleting accounts and deleting tweets. And then they're trying to lie about the deletion, saying that didn't happen when you can go look for yourself. They're so fucking delusional. Yeah, one of them threatened Gator. <laughs> Yeah, I'll kill you, Gator. Yeah. I'm fucking furry. <laughs> Did you see that person's face? Actually, Zoom sent me that. Yes, uh, no, the I, I'm only aware. way I'd be under threat is if that fucker tried to sit on me. 
I'm aware that it's a majority of fat middle aged cat women. Well, that I don't know fucking It audience. looks like Mr. Dink from fucking Doug. It I looks like Pat from <laughs> SNL. I don't I don't, I, I, don't pull think, up uh, I don't think a little fox could beat a gator anyways. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Also, Tara LaRosa, I've been talking back and forth with her in DM. She's on Twitter suspension, so she can't Oh, tweet. that's why she couldn't respond. What, she what couldn't, is she saying? She couldn't tweet publicly. She put this out. By the way, this is, uh, what is this? Nile, whatever the fuck. What's this person's name again? I forgot. Some yeah, weird. Nile, it's Wolf. It's niece. Yeah, it. yeah niece, it. niece Wolf or some shit. Whatever. I don't know. They have oh, like, take it back. They a have big like, fox. They have like 15 <laughs> different accounts, and they all favor each other. It used to be niece, polysexual pagan. It was now, a Facebook made with for her second life account. This is actually oh, Tara LaRosa, by the way, because uh, she sent this to me. This is her backup account or whatever. Uh, I'm currently on a seven-day Twitter suspension. Yeah, I'm not fucking happy about all this. I'm in Las Vegas teaching a seminar all week. The last thing I needed was this fucking bullshit. I spoke to the promoter, and he's utterly dumbfounded just when you think you've seen it all. That's her. That's her. Well, she's not. She's not fighting people like Tonk is. What the fuck does Terry Larosa know? Mentioned too because I called Nick Rakita or not Nick Rakita, Nick Diorio a fat retard, and then I called his mom and I said, "Tell your fat ass son to stop braiding my fridge and stealing my Memphis barbecue." And that was that you're gonna call the cops on me. Uh, let me let me just say, let, let me just say again. I disavow. <laughs> same, same. I same. Disavow it all, but it was hilarious. <laughs> By you the know, way, what Oreo did you think? Kid. Let me wait. I want to bring this up, and I and I hit on this. And Tonka was speaking, and I know a lot of people in chat. Shut up, panel. You know we're talking over them, but Tonka said the reason I changed my name was because of the prank call to his mom. That no, he uh, said. Oh, he God. said there were four or five different things. Well, but that was the Nick... one thing he harped on, though, right? Oh no, yeah, the... but every every yeah, time Nick tried good. to pin him down, it was I. Uh, well, okay. um, you know, I. Uh... But if that's what was the you know the uh, the push that did it. Why did he sign that fake name on the contract yeah, you know, at the end of November? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So he no, signed the fake name. Boy. He signed that yeah, back yeah, yeah. in. Well, yeah, because he by, signed by, that by, back by, in. By, wait, wait, coach. Wait, wait, wait. I'm no, going to no, let you okay, talk. Okay. He signed that back in November, and then yeah. he filed the paperwork to change his name on the 12th of January. And he yeah. said that, that the call was the – the thing that pushed him to do that. Well, what you know? Why did he sign that fake name uh, okay, back in November? Ralph, Ralph, you need to understand something. All right, Tonka's a smart cookie. I'm gonna take. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take. No, no. I'm gonna take an example from him. Guys, you thought my name was James Patrick O'Shaughnessy. It's actually Patrick James O'Shaughnessy. Checkmate, faggots. Yeah. Yeah. Checkmate. Some shit I've, like I've that. smoothed it over. No, you never know. <laughs> oh yeah, and that was another thing that uh, Nick pretty much revealed what he changed his name to on stream, which was hilarious. But. What what did he change? Uh, another thing, Robert. Yeah, it was like first to middle. I don't, I don't remember the exact phrase. I have to his, go back. His full name is Michael uh, Robert. Too Pilsen. much. Another too thing, much Woodford since then. Yeah, go ahead, Kim. Another. I'm sorry. Another thing that didn't make sense to me, and and I think I understood this right, is that the promoter was trying to get him to sign an, a new contract, right? Yeah. And I was under the understanding that he was trying to get him to sign a new contract, so the names matched, right? Yeah. But Tonka was saying it was something else. Well, the names didn't match because Tonka signed the original contract under the fake name, and then he waited too long, and the fight cards locked on Friday. So then when he turned in the fucking medic, uh, medical blood test, it had a completely different name, and it was the new name. And then the fight, the fucking fight promoter is like, dude, the cards are locked with this name. The commission wants this name. Why didn't you tell me you changed your name when you got the medical exam? You're retarded. And then so what like, was oh, the new Andy's contract? Fault. What was the new contract yeah. about? What was the reason for that? They would have to issue a new contract because of the and try name. to get it, try yeah. to get the the title card well, unlocked. They were the talking. Only person that can do that is the is the fucking commissioner. Yeah, and they were talking about an. Oh, by the way, Dick Masterson, how you doing, sir? Hey, what up, boys? Hey, oh my god! I saw you were still <laughs> stirring around on Twitter, so I figured I would send you the link. I was on Twitter, coming my brains out over <laughs> the Jesus thing. Jesus. <laughs> By the way, how many? I kept thinking you guys were like a clown car sending your guys in. <laughs> and, and it's like, wait a minute, who the fuck yeah. else is gonna show up? Uh, is, is Dark B gonna show up? Is Gator yes. gonna show up? Is the guy gonna come on and read Italian news in a second? Honestly, the- I didn't want to go in, but I just went in and said a couple little quick things. Dude, I, I, I felt, I felt like, bad for Nick. I felt like I had, had to. to. I had, had to. to. I had to we get had that to. one. No, shot it was. I'm disappointed in Jim because he should have shown up there. 
and just like uh, fuck with him a little bit. That was I, a good, yeah, I like glorious. watching a good show, gentlemen. I mean, you put yes. you put one on. I like watching it sometimes, not always necessarily getting in the middle of it. <laughs> yes. Oh man. No, no. Uh, Jim Nick, doesn't want to take all the glory. I mean, you know. Look, no, Jim. Crazy. I mean, like this guy, uh, uh, Tonka, right? He he flipped his shit when you stopped going to his show. It would have been just yeah. What was that? Now let me ask you, Jim. He called you a leech and said you were, I guess, <laughs> sucking oh. his energy away from the show. When actually you did a shit ton to help this guy. And yeah, yeah, yeah. What, why yeah, would I, I, it's, it's I, Jim's I, I, magic, Ethan? You're confused. He's sucking the energy out of you right now. Yeah, don't but you what realize? is this? What what is this? I don't understand how I could say that with a straight face. I, you know, I don't know how to run a stream. I need to take advice from 200 <laughs> Andy over here. You get not even thousand really. Really, really blowing the numbers. You know, somebody up actually went and they pulled all of the titles for all of the shows that Tonka has deleted in the past year. And I think he did something like over 320 shows in the past like uh, 14 months. And they found that over 260 of them had Jim's name in them. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Oh. There were 260 of them, including the one with Amos Yee, where you were on there for five oh. minutes. And then they were like, by the way, Jim didn't even want to go he on that show. They pretty that? much just kept pushing it until he went on. I, I can remember tell. the whole I can show tell was dead he, air. I can tell when he went on, he's like, I didn't minutes. really want to come on, but, you know. I had yeah, to... yeah. Well, I mean, Amos, you know, the funny thing is, like, nobody ever brings up the fact that Amos Yee accused his own lawyer of trying to fuck him when he was a kid. And he gets really <laughs> angry. He gets really angry when you bring that up. So that was kind of the only reason I popped up. I'm just so shocked that Zoom keeps bringing on these fucking stats. Like a fucking <laughs> <laughs> person, stats man. out of nowhere. He's like 260 of the shows had your name out of 300. Just like how Tonto was claiming that failure was going to uh, be his corner man. To be the fucking corner man, you have to pay a $25 licensing fee and a $50 okay. application fee. It's game, the same game, price to game. be a combatant. He, you gotta understand. See, like Zoom is autistic, but he's our autist. Yeah, that was fucking funny. That was fucking, fucking Rain funny. Man over here. Yeah, that was fucking funny. Oh, I I really I started cracking up when he said that he was gonna go to Georgia because you have to have a fucking written uh, thing that shows that you've engaged in professional mixed martial arts in the past. You have to have a pre-recorded history of fighting multiple fights over a long period of time, and then you have to have a written. Uh, a uh, notarized letter from the state that says that a professional fighter has trained you over a long period of time and that you were licensed and professionally trained to engage in this, even as an amateur. Oh, he has that in the bag. Remember, he trained eight hours a day at this special MMA gym. Oh, yeah. Don't you remember? I called that gym and they had no fucking oh, idea. Oh, you called who he the was. wrong one. You should have looked for the, <laughs> internet, <laughs> the internet super gym. There was only one in that and state, and they were like, we don't know who that guy wait, is. We wait, 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 Zoom. Is there any proof that he did the actual fake wrestling? Uh, yeah, yeah there's 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 him getting video. slammed around. Yeah, yeah. there's yeah. video. He's, of him a, doing, he's a fucking oh, okay. Chuck E. Cheese wrestler. <laughs> so at least we know that's real. He fought people in high school gyms in between cheerleading competitions and karate tournaments. Oh, good lord. Like, Keen, you, did you ever see like those? Uh, did you ever see like those old-fashioned backyard wrestling VHS tapes where like there are three <laughs> yeah. guys that are four hundred pounds and one skinny fuck throwing each other in tables? That's basically what he did. Yeah. Oh, good lord! Yeah, but you, he look, was I, terrible. I, 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 look, I, I, dude, I've watched a lot of professional wrestling and he sucked. He was basically most of the videos that you see of him. He's a jobber. He's just in there flopping around, getting his ass kicked. And, you know, look there is a the, role for a job. Look in the but... Google chat, uh, Keem. That's one of his fights where he just gets smacked around by a big it's, man baby. Oh, yeah. Let's watch that. Oh, I love the fact that that entire conversation went from uh, between Andy and Tonka of you're the bigger pussy to uh, Andy saying you can't get your dick hard, fam. Hold everybody. <laughs> <laughs> she did, though. <laughs> Vamp told us all you can't get the uh, totem pole up there, Chief. What's the problem? Oh man! By the way, uh, oh, Dick, damn. Dick, what are what are your thoughts on the on the evening? I guess give give your summation and and what you're thinking. Look, watching you guys this. are asking a lot of questions for a guy that apparently doesn't know his own name. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what the plan was. I don't know what name got written when, where. I don't know what the and apparently the the cha changing his name was so. Uh, unnoticed, so, so small that Nick couldn't even tell what which was the new name. Did you guys was that right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick's like, oh, okay, what? <laughs> and then the com the commissioner and the promoter or whatever, but both the guys that were talking about this said it was fucking weird. 
Right? None like, of it made any sense. Yeah, no, I mean, they run fight promotions and shit, and they're both like, yeah, this is really fucking bizarre. It, it's because uh, for a long time, he's he, he hasn't used his real legal name, which is Michael, because the name Michael Pilkington, when you Google it, it brings up his dad, who is a convicted <laughs> sex offender, who was arrested in the 90s oh. for trying to rape a girl that was under the age of 15, and he <laughs> died in prison two years ago. So Tonka mm. never went by that name. He started going by his, his name Robbie Pilkington, his middle name, and then he started going by Robbie Vio, his brother wrestling name but his but he's been writing on all of his shit robert robert uh, or robbie or robert uh fucking pilkington for years but the fact is is he's never legally changed his name it's still michael robert pilkington uh, zoom you gotta stop you're gonna put alexa <laughs> out of business <laughs> no, man of the hour is here man of the hour. hey nick there he is i was about oh, to set up the, the, the year of the hour nick ricada oh my nick god by Ricada. the way let me let me be honest we were watching the stream uh, for the first twenty or so minutes, and we were like, "Oh God, what what is going on? What what is happening here?" Uh, our opinion was quickly changed uh, by the uh, tenor of the program. Uh, That's next can... move. That's just... the Columbo oh, God. move. Oh my God! You did a and he's just like, Columbo. "I'm so drunk. I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know what's happening here." Oh, and just oh man. No, Nick, 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 Nick I gotta tell you, I got I gotta hand it to you. You 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 gutted him like a fish, and at the end, he thanked you. That's some good fucking lawyering. That's all I got to say about that. That was fucking masterful. And he's still not going to take credit for it even now, but go ahead, Nick. My, <laughs> my, my job is always to get uh, as much truth as possible from people, and uh, I think we got quite a bit out of it. <laughs> I would say, yes. So that's that's that. I, I, I was, uh, I'm always worried about how people will take – uh you know whatever whatever i'm doing and i you know i don't know i don't know how things are going to play out when i'm talking to someone i have an idea of what i'm looking for from people um you know when i'm when i'm going you know asking questions but it takes time it takes time to get to that truth and i know that the internet is not a fan of time but lawyers are fans of time because we bill by the minute <laughs> well, when you started setting the Tomlon and you're like, wait, I want to establish the Tomlon. I was like, oh, shit. Once I heard that, I was like, oh, fuck, he's fucked. Like, once you started going there, I was like, that's, I mean, that's actually what lawyers fucking well, I, do. I'm yeah. glad the uh, the hostage situation is over because he tried to get him <laughs> off like 18 times and he didn't want to go. I mean, well, I, I you were saying it so nice. You were like, hey, man, if you know, if you want to go, you know, I'll let you escape. And like, no, he wasn't. He wasn't taking any hints at all. Well, he was welcome to stay through all of the super chats, but so many of them were hostile. I figured he wouldn't <laughs> want to deal with them. I love uh, it. So many were hostile. I think that that's your 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 line, man. <laughs> I, I thought you were very fair. You asked very, uh, you Honestly, know, yeah. you were very fair, weren't mean, weren't hostile, um, and it still was funny as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Well, I I can do I I can do my best. Like I said, uh, I I tell everyone who's worried about coming on my stream, and I'm not saying that Tonka was. He didn't ever express any hesitation or anything. Don't want to misrepresent, but I've. I, I had a, a pedophile who tried to a convicted pedophile who tried to ruin my career on stream and I te treated him with respect. I can treat just about anybody with respect. So um, that's so wait, that's... You're, you're comparing Tonka to to a pedophile. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Don't <laughs> no, put words no, in I'm my just mouth. Talking, I'm just like, <laughs> I am several gins and whiskeys into this, sir. I'm just saying you're like, well, I can treat anybody with respect. Uh, no, I'm just, I'm just fucking with. Well, you. I, I know you won't say a hundred percent, but if you had to guess, if you had to guess, Nick, who's responsible for this fight not stop happening? I oh, was... I, I'll say it, Tonka, one hundred percent. No, I, I, I mean, look, I, I am fully willing to entertain his uh, perspective on it. I don't think, I, I legitimately don't think he blames himself a hundred percent. I do appreciate that he gave himself at least 20 percent blame i think that was actually big of him based on how wait, these things kind of go 20 percent um, was big of him yeah wait, wait, no i a mean a very strong 20 percent person than we are a, a very strong 20 percent I, okay. I will give him credit CRP, can you give me your percent. email in the side chat so i can add you to the fundraising team but yeah Listen, go, go ahead and, wait 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 it's, just it's, yeah, it's ahead, really Nick. easy for an internet personality where people can't verify anything and will never fully come out based uh, other than what they release, right? Like the chats that go to Andy, 
uh, between Andy and Tim and the chats that go to Tonka and, Ch and, and, and Tim will always be based on what Andy or Tonka releases. Cause Tim is not going to release anything without authorization from, from the venue. So of course he's not going to say anything, but, uh, so those chats are all we'll ever have to work with. So based on that and the fact that you can hide behind the internet, no matter what the reality is, I think saying a strong 20% is a big admission. Now, my personal perspective of it is based on what I've seen. There has been no reason given by the promoter other than other than Tonka not turning in uh, an appropriate name on his blood work that matched the name on his contract. And if that's the if that's the line, what what the hell else do we have to go off of? And by the way, uh, I, and I asked the panel this already, or I kind of pointed it out. He said that he changed the name because of a prank call. By the way, I didn't actually make the prank call, but I was on the line while the prank call was made, full disclosure. I, I think you probably heard it already. I disavow. But, yeah, disavow. Disavow. Well. Disavow. Disavow. <laughs> disavow, but it was fucking hilarious. And, I, you know, I knew he would use it as some type of excuse later on. I kind of regretted it after I did it because it's like, oh, fuck, he's going to. I mean, it was hilarious in the moment, but later I was like, oh, yeah, of course he's going to use this. Now, he said he changed his name. Um, now, at first he said, well, there's a lot of reasons, but he explicitly pointed to the prank call. And if that's the case, this is the Southern Poverty Call Center call. Yes, that yes. we're talking about. Okay, yeah, I want to make, make sure you've heard it, right? No, I never listened to it. <laughs> okay, well, I've I'll heard send about it. it. I can I can play it now, but we have so many people. I I will I'll play it before no, no, we go no, up no. there. Yeah, Nick says no, 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 no. <laughs> but okay, so he said that that was the main reason that he changed his name, uh, and he changed his name or tried to. It's still not changed at this point uh, to the name that he signed on the contract originally if that's the case you know why did he sign that name back in november if that was his reasoning for changing his name like that doesn't add up yeah that that doesn't make any sense because uh one thing he's hanging his, his hat on is that if you sign your name and then change your name legally that doesn't void a contract and that's true i mentioned this on stream people get yeah. married people change their names all the time well, that is and contracts true go on. but if you sign with a fake name originally it's not that's the same the thing. Weird, yeah, that's the weird question. Why, why would you? Why would you? And the thing November is, Nick, he hasn't even legally changed his name. He just filed this on Monday. Yeah. Right. Our, which is yeah. Which is right. nuts. Which you nuts. know how long that takes. It takes a while to get all that stuff done and to get into probate court and to get sit in front of. How do, we even know he, how do we even know he filed it? Let's be real. Well, and if his plan was to always change his name, which I mean, you know, he signed that that name back in November. Why didn't he get off his ass and do this, you know, in December sometime? Or because something? he can't yeah. stand. He can't. Well, walk. that could be that could be part of it. But I, I just I don't know. It's it's just not I, adding I think, up. I I think we know the answer to that. If he really did sign a name uh, that was different than his his legal name at the time of the original contract, yes. and he waited for three days before the fight was coming through to broach the subject and have it be an issue then this was something he set up a long time ago as a yes. way out in case Andy ever pushed it to the limit where they'd actually have to show up in Knoxville and fight. And that's what somebody actually, I, I forget who it was. I don't mean to disrespect, but somebody sent me a message or a tweet and they said that he actually picked this out because he knew this was the one thing that would void it. You know what I mean? That would keep the fight from happening. That This was the type of red tape that they couldn't get around. And um, they could, potentially couldn't sue him because yeah. Nick, you know, if if he signed with a false name or or an incorrect name, the contract is void and he can't be held responsible for it. Can he? Uh, I mean, he could. He could be held responsible under traditional contract law, but that doesn't mean that he could be held responsible under the contract he signed. Um, there, I'm sure. I'm sure any fight promotion has all sorts of get out clauses because you've got a fighter who could be sick. You got a fighter who could get injured. You've got a fighter who could test positive for illegal substances. You got a fighter who could, you know, any number of reasons could come up that that could cause a fight to not happen. So I think it'd be really hard for the fight promoter to sue him uh, unless they could prove some sort of fraud. Now this is, you know, this is the type of fraud. The question, of course, for Valor is: Do they think they can squeeze blood out of? Tonga? Oh, they'll never, they'll never. No, do it. No. What are they going to get? A fucking yeah. eighty-eight Prius from the lot? <laughs> <laughs> and I wish Andy were still here because he said something interesting too. earlier on. He said, "Oh, you know, the contracts did have a really easy out for both of us, but Tonka didn't take it." 
So I don't yeah. think Blanca wanted to openly say, I don't want to fight. I think he wanted a way to make it look like the system forced him out of the fight. So it's yeah. not his fault, right? That's the 20% yeah. get, the hollow gesture of I'm not yeah. completely responsible. Yeah, and, and bragging about knowing the system too. Like yeah. he was going on and on about rules and he gets really excited and then goes like a dictionary about holds and places, places where you can get sanctioned in another state. Seems weird that he wouldn't know that you can't put a fake name on a contract. He doesn't even see. know the licensing fee. When Nick asked him that, he completely froze up. Oh, you know, you know what? Okay, hold on a second. Your, your chat's giving me shit. Oh, they didn't make a Prius in 88. Hey, on Tonka's, <laughs> on Tonka's car lot, they've got Mercedes and Benzes, okay? I don't think you understand <laughs> how Tonka deals with fucking cars. And and this was uh, – let's, let's be very clear about something. There is no state on earth that will put together an MMA bout between two – uh spurges on the internet in five days no way will a, no, a wait, licensing committee in any state me, do that let There's me tell no you way. there was actually a wrestling promotion i talked to the wife of the promoter on the phone about 30 minutes before i went on the air in piedmont alabama which is where you know the area that donga lives excuse me tonka i shouldn't say that um uh, the the same county that uh, that he lives in, actually old associates of his, and they said that they would host the fight. And I said, well, wait, how is he going to get licensed by the commission? And then they told me, well, the commission doesn't really care, uh, and they and they <laughs> never they never come to our fights anyway. And if they did show up, you would just have to pay thirty dollars, and we'll still host it anyway. But we don't have a cage. And it's just it's in a ring. It'll be in a wrestling ring. Oh, and I'm assuming, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm assuming, I'm assuming if they, that was one of the offers that he was talking about on your show, by the way. And yes, I'm assuming if they don't have a cage, they probably don't have an MMA trained referee. They with somebody, don't. somebody could die. Yeah. Imagine somebody actually, you know, really got seriously injured at this event. They probably don't have proper medical staff. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they do, uh, but I would, I would, I would is this doubt like, that. Is this like that sports entertainment shit wrestling goes with? It's not really a fight, so they don't need the same regulations that actual. No, fight well, no, they, they yeah, said can... they were licensed for MMA and wrestling, but the, the, yeah, the commission right. didn't really care. I, 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 I got a, one thing that I just thought of, right? Somebody should have pressured Tonka to prove that he had a hotel room booked. He didn't. I checked all, all the hotels. And because if he didn't have a hotel right. room bro booked, I mean, obviously, that means he was never planning on fighting. He no, didn't. Me... I checked all the top he ten hotels. Wait, 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 wait. Let, let me ask Nick. What, what do you think about that offer down in Alabama? My thought is the second a shin kick to the back of someone's ear kills someone, yeah. Uh, that that everybody gets shut down in Alabama, whether or not they the commission was there or not. And the commission, there's no way. There's no way. Like, think of the risk in putting two uh, non-professional fighters in a ring with minimal gloves and allowing uh, Nick, no I don't rules. mean to cut you uh, cut you off, but I mean we are talking about Alabama. Are you sure? <laughs> they uh, they, they allow sure? that in Alabama. I actually spoke with the Alabama Fight Commissioner uh, about nine months ago. It was one of the other parts of my video, and they said that when it comes to low budget wrestling, that's pre scripted and pre recorded. They don't require stringent uh, laws or oh, you know, yeah. checks or stuff like that. Yeah, no, we're I, talking I, about a sure. fight. We're talking about a fight, though. Yeah, we're, we're talking that, about yeah they're not licensed to have the kind of fight that he's talking about i think but the actually talked to, to the talk woman on the I phone and that that's what she said that you know we don't really care nah, and that they're not going to be worried about it it's a uniform it. thing that when they want to get licensed by the by the uniform rule for the abc boxing commission especially for ufc they have to pay a $25,000 surety bond just to get the license for a fight that's only last that only lasts for 30 days you can look it up i mean i mean the promoter the promoter may uh, say that they can do it and and sure, we'll do it under a wrestling license, but you're talking about uh, something that would be all over the internet, and I don't think anybody's thinking. Maybe maybe the defense for all of this is that nobody's actually thinking about what the reality of what this would do and and how this would blow up is. Someone uh, I was talking to someone about the the fight in general, and they're like, no one no one outside of this community knows how many people would be tuning in and showing up to this fight. Because the very fact that they're in Valor fighting, they're an undercard fight, and everybody there is going to be there to watch the undercard fight and leave before the two women slap at each other in the main event. Uh, the very fact that that's the reality, no one, 
inside this thing is thinking. I think the wrestler, the moment he sees that hundreds of thousands of people have the potential to see his illegal fight promotion, he backs well, out in a heartbeat. It, yeah, it, it's all well and good when I'm thinking about the publicity and, and getting some extra cash or whatever. Uh, I, th I think the reality would probably be a bit different. Plus, it's well, Piedmont, wait, Alabama. Well, yeah, yeah um, but wait a second. I mean, uh, 100,000 people tuning in. So we got 200 from Dong. Where's the other 109,000? <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me well, lawyer. Kevin Tracy, I said, Kevin Tracy's bringing in 700. Did you see his, uh, <laughs> did you see his claims? <laughs> I said the potential. I was going off of Andy's sub count alone. <laughs> the potential for 100,000 people to see it. Uh, I will. I will not be bound to words that are not mine. I mean, oh, I would yeah, guarantee yeah, you they I, would eventually but, but, sit. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, but here, here's the reality: there isn't going to be any fucking fight. Okay. I mean, we can game play all kinds of crazy ass shit, but at the end of the day, come this weekend, there isn't going to be any fucking. Now, fight. Yeah, you had to think though that there was going to be a fight. You said you spent eighteen hundred bucks on a new camera. Yeah, I know, but you know, I bet <laughs> against uh, Ethan, and I fucking won. And I'm you won twenty bucks. You're yeah. down seven well, hundred. <laughs> moral victory, motherfucker. You you had two bets, way, one for twenty yes. bucks and one for eighteen grand or whatever. By, that by is. the way, he also bet me twenty bucks, and I can put this uh, to Jim in the panel. Oh, 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 as well. Way, sorry, wait, 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 Coach, wait. Oh, you go, bet go. me twenty bucks that within the yep. next ten days. Dong would delete his oh. channel in his yes. in his internet presence, basically. Yeah, and, right? and I extend the offer to all present. Twenty bucks says that. No, guy. there's what, one bet, coach, wait, 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 that I want to see you win. Oh. It's the one about Destiny committing suicide. Now wait. <laughs> now wait, Jim. Do disavow, you, disavow. Jim, do you who think? Wants put, who, who wants to do twenty bucks on Destiny off again? All oh. right, let, let me ask, Jim. Do you uh, think? Do I'll you do twenty bucks. Do you do you think that uh, Donga will delete his channel? Um, well, I know there are a lot of people, Kumite fans, that are pissed off. Like, I saw, like, three or four of them talking, saying, I either bought the pay-per-view, or a couple said, I, I was going to fly down, I got tickets, I got a fucking hotel, and what the fuck am I going to do now? I think that's going to put pressure on him, but I, I think for him to delete and walk away forever, it's going to take, like, Vamp or failure flipping on him. He's already flipped on Vamp. He said she's on her own and she's no, no, a no. liar. No, them, them to flip on him, not the other way around. I think he's already alienated them. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I'd have to, I'd have to see one of them come out and say something, because that'll open the floodgates, and then he will leave. But until that happens, he's going to stick around saying eighteen thousand and one to zero, and well, it's never going to end. I don't think he'll. he'll well, do the it, thing no. is, there hasn't been a Kumite in the last two days. I don't think there's going to be another one. No, I, I, I agree with. Zidane. Oh, I'm tuning in for the next one. I'll tell you. I that. don't oh, think we're all going to be the next one. There's yeah. not going to be one. He skipped yeah. it on Monday. He skipped it today. I doubt there's one tomorrow. I, I think he's just going to fade into the sunset. He also lied to you, Nick, on stream when he said that that, uh, that, that recording with AIU is pre-recorded because if you actually listen to the very end, I think it's like 4403, uh, AIU asks him about the fight and when he's going to head to Knoxville, and he says, I'm leaving in two days on Tuesday because the fight is Saturday. Well, that's and he says that flat out. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching. I'm, I'm watching this footage, this old footage of Tonka in the wrestling ring and stuff. <laughs> and there's no way that guy could actually be in a, like an actual real fight. He's too skinny. He's just so skinny in this video that you sent me. Oh yeah, there's more. yeah. No, I told him. Skinnier. I told him he looks like like uh, you know, he kind of reminds me of, like a, a bassist from like a '90s. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He I looks like yeah. yeah, yeah. He looks uh, like Tom Hanks from Philadelphia. That that was my description of him. I actually. I mean, I'm not even I'm not even roasting him, but if you're that skinny, you can't really do that much in a fight. Like yeah. you got to have some muscle. He looks like a seven year old at a pedophile stretched out to no, make him seem legal. God, oh God, no. Oh. Rude, rude. He's got like a and he's got like a way. hunchback to him. Like he walks around, he's got kind of like a hunchback. Like it's no. That's what the oxy berries are for. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was I was genuinely hoping that he uh like that it was all a ploy that he didn't get on camera because he actually bulked up like 30, 45 pounds and he'd really been working on this and taking it seriously. Well, he said he I, got fat. Well, I, that wasn't the bulking up I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he had, you know, put some put some muscle mass on and some training into it. I have no, you know, who no. Knows? Wait, wait. He turned his camera on. Did you not see him during any of that? Or was he uh, sitting? He, he did not have himself on stream. All oh. I saw were his fingers. Oh, okay. okay, was he? Standing? Were, were they fat? Were they fat? Tied? Were they fat? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, relative to a driver's license. They were maybe uh, Nick, Nick, overweight. wait a second. Think about it. Don't don't dox his fingers. You're a lawyer. You don't <laughs> <have to laughs> <your career. laughs> yeah, 
yeah, uh, they 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 looked like they could be chubby fingers. I don't know. It's hard. It was really hard to tell. In all in all honesty, I <laughs> I saw the the very like tips of his fingers. Um, I couldn't read hardly any of the documents uh, that he posed because the camera wouldn't focus on him. So it was it was really tough to tell. But I did not see him personally in any of the pictures. Just his fat the little stuff. fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Old lore, Tonk is scrawny, just too scrawny to fight. New lore, Tonk is actually really fat and he doesn't want anyone to know. <laughs> oh, dude, there was just so many ways out of it for him, man. He could have came on your stream, Nick, and he said, look, I messed up. I tried to change my name to get out of this. You know, people harassed me or whatever. I wasn't thinking about it. I messed this whole thing up. I do want to fight. If there's a way we can still do it, I'll do it. But I want to apologize to all the people that are going there. I know people are going to call me a pussy. Fine, it's my fault that this isn't happening, but I do want to continue to fight, and I hope Andy will work something out with me. That's all he had to say. Perfect oh, he's never, PR. He's never going to say that. Perfect <laughs> PR. He's never like, going to say that. Yeah, I mean, I mean he, he didn't say it until the end. At the end, he's like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry for the part that I played in this getting canceled. Which was only 20%. 80% <laughs> <Yeah>. Andy. 80% <laughs> Andy. No, wait, a, only strong, a strong 20%. Dude. Well, I'm Come calling on, that man. commissioner in the morning, and I'm going to see if I can get this pushed up another day so we can do this fucking fight. Because he said he had everything on deck and that he could send it in and have it all signed in one day. That's what he told Nick on the show. So if I can you... get them to push it one day, he should be able to submit it. God, I Far... love the fact that, uh, that, that Keem went on there. Because uh, I remember doing doing streams really early on with Andy and or with um Tonk and Failure where they would talk and talk and talk about the famous people they know and they name dropped you quite a bit. Oh, Keem has been on our stream. Did you know that we <laughs> talked to Keem? And then you go on there and he treats you like a bitch like Keem, are you a fucking idiot? Don't you understand how this works, Keem? <laughs> Yeah. I mean, far be it for me to call anybody a liar, but the idea that he has everything that he could do to make this fight happen uh, is is obviously nonsense. Of course not. It's just the promoter one more wants to rake him over the coals. Yeah, yeah, the promoter wants this fight to happen. Of course, they've got to know based on the based on the zero pay per views that they normally get uh, no! compared to however many they've got under Andy Worski that they want this fight to happen because ever anybody could cancel. I know the tickets are non refundable, but if they, push came they to they were non refundable after Friday, so like he he could have told them he wasn't going to show. I'm I'm sure if push came to shove, you say, wait, you say they're non-refundable because the card is locked on Friday, but on Friday this fight was on, and on Monday it's not. Uh, and that that promoter gets scared and refunds tickets on an individual basis, yeah. uh, especially with a with a demand letter from. Yeah, from but, how that, uh, but how does that? But how does that work with airfare and hotels though? Like you get the that, you get the venue money back, right? No, Thirty bucks. Money. But you're fucked on the hotel in the air. Oh, uh, oh, I know. I'm, I'm just saying from the venue's perspective, they face the possibility of refunding probably half the audience or more. Uh, not, not that the audience is going to do it, but they face that risk, right? And, and so they want this fight to happen and anything they can do. So if Tonka had sent them, you know, enough documentation to prove that it was him, of course they're going to put the fight on. They yeah. got an extension. If it's a matter of 45 minutes to three hours Monday night, they're going to get the commissioner to sign on because the commissioner wants it to happen too. Yeah, Everybody wants this to happen because this is that, money. That's into exactly Tennessee. why I'm going to try and push this tomorrow because that guy was really cool to me when I talked to him and he just texted me before and said that we could talk in the morning. So I'm I mean, hoping I can push this. You, you make a great point. They would do whatever they could to make this happen. But apparently, you know, Tonka wasn't playing ball. And here's the thing. If you are a Tonka fan and you're listening, if you're if you're still here, one of you uh, 20 people, um, <laughs> you know, you might have went and bought a ticket, paid for a pay-per-view. You made a might have bought excuse me i'm tired you might have bought a hotel but did tonka buy a hotel room let's try to find out if he actually bought no, a hotel room I because if he the, cannot uh... provide proof that he bought a hotel room to go there then he was never planning on going there i called the top 15 hotels on TripAdvisor, and i called under all of his names under failures names and under uh fucking vamp candy's names well see that was your mistake the yeah. top the top hotels you should have looked up motel a <laughs> yeah. i mean the like the top hotel is like 50 dollars a night <laughs> already out of his range <laughs> <laughs> oh god you know I, I don't need alexa anymore zoom what's the weather uh, <laughs> what's the weather right? in my location 
But to be honest, it seems like the promoters did do what it, what they could to get the fight going. They yeah, gave them, they them an extension. They were trying to work through this name change thing, and they were like, uh, "Tomka, you have to give us information on it." He never did. Uh, to their credit, they tried to do everything they they could. It's oh, thirty one degrees with ice, Keem. Uh, Zoom, <laughs> thank you. Zoom, Zoom you over you overlook something. Did you? Are there any reservations out in the area? Because maybe he's, he's not a real Indian. Indian. His mother's <laughs> Puerto Rican. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Zoom, can you tell me Tonka's DNA? Uh, yeah, I actually have his whole family tree. If you want to, <laughs> he does. <laughs> <laughs> He uh he claimed that his uh, his dad. Or, this is how I wound up figuring out that he lived at his grandma's house. He is so stupid that he got into a conversation with somebody that he thought was a fan came, and he sent them a picture of this Japanese guy. He from, actually like, zoomed. The by the way, he did that to me. He sent me that same oh, he picture. Did that to you too? Yes, he sent oh, me that wow. same and, uh, picture, and he's like, "Here's why I don't say anything." And, and he claimed he claims this people. guy. He's the head yeah. of FBI cybersecurity or something. Yeah, yeah. cybersecurity program. Yeah. Oh, so God. so I look into this right, and I uh, I actually found out that. Uh, through this guy, Greatest Glam, he got his family tree, and we actually got the adoption papers. It turned out that his grandfather adopted a Japanese man after World War II, and that was his uncle. So that was his mother's brother. So we look, and we find his uncle's wife on Facebook, and there's like this picture of them in grandma's house, great grandma's house, apparently. And um, when they're in great grandma's house, if you look on the wall behind him, you see the same cop picture and the same picture of Tonka's mother on the paneling wall of the double wide trailer. And then you go and you look, and it's the same double wide trailer that his grandmother lives in. And he said that that was his house in the conversation on Twitter. Oh, so that no. proves he lives with his grandmother. And then SBCC, because Tonka pretends he lives in Florida and he uses failures PO boxes his uh, his his leeway to prove that he lives in florida and, this is uh, sad i mean real quick i mean this sad. is so sad because <laughs> you guys know with all that yelling grandma didn't sleep a wink tonight oh of course she did it i feel bad for her because she's like 92 oh poor woman oh this is just sad Hold Hold on, I'll, I'll up with the name change to stop zoom uh, uh, to tell you the truth it i doesn't. prefer not to see them because it's just too depressing you know what i'm saying i feel like calling the courts and canceling the fucking name change and saying i don't want to go to probate court because i have all his information including his social security number oh god what's oh, wow. no, whoa, whoa. No, no. <laughs> okay i'm up I with disavow. I disavow. Oh, even, even i disavow. have to disavow that one jesus <laughs> Jesus. Oh, hey, uh, hey, hey, guys. Uh, yeah. Suit. yeah look, in, at the, uh, look at the time. I gotta. I gotta. Uh, uh, go. no, wait. Fuck. Uh, hey, I, I, I really, I'm really tired. Uh... All right, we'll start right from the top at zero, 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 zero. Of course, right now. Can you just claim that that person found it on IMDb that wasn't created until after that stream? Yeah, the IMDb didn't wasn't it didn't have all this stuff until after that stream. And you're sure on the timestamps on that? All right, uh, on the IMDb? No, I mean on the uh, when you compare his stream and that uh, popping oh, up on uh, Google yeah. to yeah, uh, yeah. the IMDb creation. Yeah, because yeah, he's, of course, he's like completely screen sharing, so his uh, the time pops up on his computer a lot. Oh, it's got the time and the date and everything? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys sound good to go then. Uh, like I, I don't watch Destiny, so I don't know. Same like, yeah, like, I don't what either. his shit is, or when he streams, or what his usual someone, habits are. Someone linked this to us with a timestamp, and I'm just like, thank you for the timestamp. Right. I'm not I watching just, a whole day. All right, I know this sounds like a pain in the ass, but I don't, I don't do internet, so I wanted to, Dog like, I wanted her to show people. you the little video thing and make sure that it ducks in it like everything looks right because yeah I mean, the only thing i'd recommend to you guys is people are going to be straight up fucking with you they're going to feed you mm -hmm. false information just to watch you react and then uh mm -hmm. laugh about it so if people are like saying oh i've got these docs i'm going to send to you or i've got this shit i'm going to send to you you you, you can never really confirm it you know what i mean because it mm -hmm. could just be somebody fucking with you well, yeah. all right uh the thing with my grandma is somebody said that that was up on uh his subreddit for like 20 minutes and they grabbed a screen grab but you told me the other day like you, you don't trust screen grabs no because anybody can alter exactly. it and i mean the the thing too to like be aware of is if you start getting like random fucking people you've never talked to before i don't talk back to them no no i mean but if you get random people you've never talked to before start sending you shit that that's usually a really good indicator that you're being fucked with yeah that yeah. that i picked up on I, I i don't talk back with them old is uh I, I think it's like uh, Pascal and his little group. 
Mm -hmm. And um, I think they're probably the ones that sent it to Destiny. Like, hey, look what we uncovered kind of shit. Yeah, Zeph sent um, it to Pascal. Pascal mm -hmm. couldn't sit on it. He couldn't handle sitting on it. The timeline for this is too perfect. From Zeph starting to talk all that shit about my stepfather. You know, the stuff that's a very, like, he's talking about my stepfather. He's talking about wrestling storylines that were on this pro wrestling Facebook that I used to have that he that he had found. Like, okay. I know where all his stuff came from. He thinks I have a glass eye because someone threw a fireball at me in the wrestling room. <laughs> like, this is how I know where his information came from. They only have one of my wrestling names. They only have those pictures. Like, I was a masked wrestler through Texas and shit for years and years. Here, they, here's, here's what I don't get. Like, but, um, and this is what I'm kind of, I guess I'm curious about. Like, if they only have, like, one of your wrestling pseudonyms and shit, like one of the names you used when you're doing that, mm -hmm. um, how are they finding pictures of your relatives? All because right. the the wrestling name connects to on the no I'll, I'll tell you how on the facebook okay. profile i can tell i'll tell you it's weird i trust jim i didn't ever i never thought i'd even have conversations with you it's weird um it's weird <laughs> the thing with uh finding my uh grandparents there's a lot of pictures hold on, on let me let me cover the live babe i'll do my grandfather passed oh wait you you wanted to speak i pause it at 322 were you gonna talk there or were you just giving a oh, i was thing? i was just giving a quick thing let, let me just cover the live for me for you babe don't 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 i got it i got it and somebody saying, um, who is or when did this take place? I want was it late January? January? Yeah, late January, yeah. maybe um, last year. Also, they're saying there's some some tranny who went to high school with Donga. Is this true or? Yeah, they were on Cog's uh, server. So what? What? What are they saying exactly? Uh, I don't know the story because I didn't watch that part of the show. I'm sure Cog. All right, well, let's just let's just try it. By the way, this, this that's disgusting, Negro Joe. You're sick as fuck. All right, um, there's there's Roxy plays games in the call. I, you know, I thought last night's show was pretty crazy. This one this one's getting there. Uh, are you gonna speak or should we just go back to the recording? I, I think they're muted for some reason. Roxy, Oxy, Roxy, go ahead and speak. All right, we'll we'll go back to the yeah. See if you can get your mic fixed. Sure. We'll can we'll continue at uh, three twenty two. They're certainly doing a good job of pretending to be a woman because there's <laughs> nothing interesting to say. <laughs> All right, three twenty two. Let's continue. It's the way where like they would come to wrestling events. Okay. And you know, there's a bunch of pictures of me like hugging on my grandparents and stuff while they're at the events and shit like that because. Oh, so that's that's how they connected it. Yeah. Yeah. He's in ridiculously bad health. He's in ridiculously bad health in those pictures. But right now, she's in shit health. Like, she's going to be dead within a year. So, are, are the pictures that are, uh, like, Wait, did you just say his grandma's going to die in a year? Or whatever, yeah. Um, does yes. that link to their Facebook? Or to her Facebook? Or to anything that would identify her? Because no, like, if they figure out... My grandparents, I don't think, have Facebook. I think my grandmother may have had one forever ago, but she doesn't know how to Facebook. So, I don't think it's linked I, to I me or anything. I could tell you, your Facebook would link to your mom's. Oh, glorious. Well, yeah. they, all right, here's the other thing. Your mom's stuff Zef has been scrapped off thing. the websites. Yeah, Zeph found this fucking Facebook, and then he flagged it down. So, there's, like, I can't go back into it and see, like, I can't get into that Facebook account. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotcha. All right, yeah, because I was going to say, if they if they find a relative of yours, then they're going to know what your name is. It's not going to be a wrestling pseudonym. This was all weird and calculated. Like you can get, I don't know if you were listening to the Kumite, uh the morning it happened, but I'm just like, somebody sent me something that was a Facebook video, and I clicked it. I was like, I can't go. I can't see the video. I have no Facebook. What the fuck? That was, the the that was when that went. That uh, happened. Jim, Dave, well, all right, Tonky, you, you want to talk about the person you were talking to yesterday? Which one? Okay, yeah, you can tell Jim. I don't care. They, 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 they started trying to contact uh, his uh, once fiance or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, and they've been doing I mean, it sounds like it's, it sounds like what they're doing is just but, but it's uh, been for a while. trying to get a rile out of oh. trying to fuck. Yeah. With. Well, I mean, it's like standard life ruination shit. I mean, they're they're going to track down relatives and fiancés, girlfriends, neighbors, places you've worked. Uh, they'll probably start sending you shit. Uh, like I don't know, it, it's if I were you, what I would do, you know. Um, is I would call up whatever local restaurants are near you, like the the fucking pizza joints and shit that deliver, yeah. and just be like, "Hey man, you know uh, there's some funny shit going on. <laughs> People are fucking with me. Uh, so unless you get a call from this specific number, don't deliver anything." 
Well, here's all right. Here's the thing with my addresses. Link to that. Like this Facebook profile was old. Like it's from back when I was doing that specific stage name. This is years ago. So I don't live anywhere near what those would be linked to. Oh no, I'm just telling you, like for a heads up. I mean, this is. What oh I'm yeah, doing. yeah. I still, I still call law enforcement. Jim, make sure Jim, they don't want you, you want to know yeah, how, yeah, how little connected Tonka was to to his wrestling life. A well, woman, I, I'm gonna guess. A, wait, 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 wait. A, a woman he used, a, a woman he used to fuck. That ended up getting with a tag what? team partner okay. he used to wrestle with, who both of them fucking actually were fans of Tonka's Grapple Vision channel, which was a, a wrestling channel. Yeah, after I left and, her, she got with uh, this other fucking wrestler. They're, they're sad sex, but they ended up being fans of my wrestling channel. That isn't so when he got cut. all the time. Talking about how much of a genius I am. Yep. Yeah, yeah, his wrestling channel is yeah, that linked one. with his wrestling. Like, well, one of now, these... let, let me pause at 645. This is the same wrestling channel he gave to you, failure, and then took back, correct? Took back, yeah. An Indian giver, so to speak. Is it, would that be yeah, a fair but, way to describe it? By the way, he took it back last month, uh, right after, right before the Andy stuff. So he was calling Andy a thief while he also fucking took back the channel that he gave to me. All right, so but yeah, that's one of, the, one of the fucking chicks that got with his tag team partner. All right, uh, Zidane, should we continue playing a little bit more of this? Well, we can we can skip ahead to, uh, well, he already gave his advice, so we can skip to thirty one forty. You, you think um, there's? You, you, we should just go ahead and skip. Okay. It, uh, they talk about a lot of random stuff too, like they go over like Opie and Anthony and stuff like that. It's it's really random. I listen to a lot of it, so. Um, well, they were just having 31... a regular conversation, and Dongo. The only thing I can figure, and you know, I talked about this with other people, including one of the principals of the recording, uh, is that he was trying to get dirt on Jim somehow. You know what I mean? Like, wh why else record this? And there's a point later on in the conversation where he asks about Worski, uh, and it seems like he's trying to, I don't know, get something under his belt here to use later. Uh, it was just, just uh, soap opera villain behavior, I guess you could say. Uh, I don't know. These guys sound boring, man. They sound really boring. <laughs> Thirty-one forty. Is that what you said, Zidane? Yeah, that's where he. Well, I'll let you. I'll let it play out. But uh, I think people will find it funny what he says. All right, thirty-one forty. Let's do it right now. And I've met him, and he's actually mentioned me by that wrestling name on his show because we did a show together. I've had a match with the current WWE champion. Has AJ mm -hmm. lost the belt yet? I don't. Oh, fuck. I, I haven't watched any current. Like my my run was from like early WWF. Up through like uh, you know some ECW stuff, WCW stuff, uh, uh, and then it, it fucking basically dead ends when uh, Jim the Attitude Era WCW. <laughs> yeah, and then I was like, no, I'm no longer interested because they bought up. They, they did. They didn't stop there. They bought everything yeah. up. Dude, even though I was wrestling, I lost interest in wrestling. What, what no, do you think of uh, McMahon? Uh, Stone Cold Jim Medicare. Oh, he should have done it. He, he seems fucking hyped on it though, because he has complete control now. He has no business yeah. partners. This is all I, him. I, I think it's too far away. What should I say? Yeah. Um. All right. What's the What's the next stop? Sam? So, uh, thirty-eight, thirty-four. Uh, this is foreshadowing. Donga says he doesn't want to talk to Jim because he would doesn't want to hate him. Okay. It said thirty-eight, thirty-four. Yeah. Yeah, By the way, Ralph, that's uh, that's really funny. You know, he, you know, he's <laughs> the fuck dog. This is true, and, and we had a good laugh about it because I know Bill Barron. I mean, I don't know him personally, but I, you know, I follow the wrestling press, and uh, Bill Barron's is quoted in there all the time. He doesn't just represent AJ Styles; he represents uh, quite a few wrestlers. Uh, oh, I know. Yeah, but he's like his main point man, though. He's like man oh, yeah. his career. He all knows right. uh, he knows everybody that AJ has ever trained with, and he's like I've mean, he's trained with the same people for ten years. We don't know that he's a goof. Thirty eight, thirty four. Let's play it right now. All right, but you yeah. being one of the six people that I actually watched on YouTube didn't really want to meet you either. Yeah, it's like, weird. I really don't want to end up hating him and not being able to watch his shit and us getting into. I didn't want to do it. Yeah, it, it's fucking weird, man. You meet you meet somebody you you watch. Uh, it doesn't matter what they do, and then um, <laughs> it goes badly. And you're like, oh fuck. I didn't I didn't want the attention of Paul, and I didn't want the attention of you. Luckily, fucking Liz. <sighs> what does Paul said think nice of you? Nice things though? to me in 2014. Paul, the what only does... thing I've seen about me on Paul is that I'm monotone. And what I'm... do they say? About, does Paul talk about me? 
Oh yeah, Paul has yeah. been talking about all this shit. I, they're more yeah. fascinated by uh, the liberalist uh, shit and crowds implosion, and then internet blood sports. Yeah, yeah. there's a internet blood uh, sports thread. What? Yeah, they it's, like it. It's even funnier because when uh, you got doxed, everyone just like thinks someone posted your dox, and then everyone starts posting pictures of Destiny. What? Let me pause it. Thirty nine, thirty seven. Vamp seems to know a, a, a lot about what goes on over there, doesn't she? Oh, she was on the, the most of the time. Anything I found out about the fucking boards was because she was fucking telling everybody what was going I on. I told you guys that bitch shits on a chan all fucking day. Her ID is seven e b two five eight. That's her. I had to like, I, like I had to stop looking at it because it was, you know, like all right, yeah, <laughs> no more. Like anytime she would fucking like bring up like oh look this fucking stream is fucking talking shit about about Tonka and you whatever it's like Dad I don't give a fuck I just want to go watch fucking videos and shit fuck off she literally sits on the board all day long dude she talks about you she talks about me she talks about Ralph she talks about Andy it's fucking it's uh all right thirty nine thirty seven we'll play a little bit more of this uh, and skip ahead. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. Let me just go ahead and do this. <laughs> Medicare says, Ralph, I demand on to discuss this damning audio of myself. I know it's 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 horrible. You're, it's really bad. It's really it's really terrible for you, Joe. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really, really Yeah, I'm gonna switch to hangouts. I need to get it's a some really more. bad video for, need, for Medicare. I need to get Look. some more ice anyway. My throat's about to give out if I don't drink some bourbon, so uh, or maybe I just want to drink bourbon. That could be it. But uh, <laughs> all right, uh, let me let me switch here. Uh, Zidane, w while we switch over, um, can you uh, oh, hold on? Let me do this. There, there's the hangout link. You, it should pop up in this. Oh fuck! God damn it! Here, I'll just post it in the in the Slack. I'll send it to everyone. Yes, yeah, send it around. I'll send it to. Uh, yeah, Medicare myself, and uh, yeah, we're gonna play that bit. I see Jim live tweeting about it. There's the hangout. Let, let me read a couple of these real quick. Uh, let's see. Uh, Get off my lawn says if you make over 20k on PayPal, they send you and the IRS a 1099. Poor Donga Kumite support says someone as exceptional as Tonka Saw will never be forgotten. He will remain in our hearts forever. Uh, Panzerfaust217 says, what if the Donga tribe flees to Mexico? Polly the Polar Bear says, Donga will have plenty of time to show off his fighting ability in federal prison. Daddy, no. Coffin Joe says, Donga spread butt aids in jail. Naked wrestle wrestle with cellmate Hector. Despise username says, the Donga tax and other fraud saga is like a trailer trash episode of American Greed. Uh, let's see, American Greed Z. Someone asked in chat, like Z, someone asked in chat, why would a car lot have a notary stamp? I mean, I think that's pretty obvious why they would have one. But uh, Sweet Checkle says, Hi, my name is Ethan Ralph, and I swear I will pay Zidane. Uh, and I'll stop there. Uh, Mr. Medicare, how you doing, sir? I, I feel betrayed, Ralph. How could you play this? How could you How could you violate my trust and play the secretly recorded audio? Uh, no, it's not like I sent it to you first. Actually, I wanted to run it past you because, you know, it's, it is a secretly recorded audio. So I was like, well, I'm going to ask Jim about it. But um Anyway, go ahead. What what are your thoughts on it so far? Well, no, like I told you, damn, I, I there's nothing I say in fucking private that I wouldn't say in public. That's why I'm not really. That's a pretty good about policy. It. That's a pretty good policy, isn't it? Well, then you're never surprised. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, I I because you, you, I had no idea he was recording me, so I listened to it. This was um, for people trying to like place the time period of it. This is uh, if you remember Pascal and I think Robin Gething from fucking oh, the guy that got his uh, fiance left him because Nigel Farage got her pussy wet. Yeah, yeah. so this is right around the time they were using, like, IMDB pages to fuck with people. So that's what I was talking about with the, uh, oh, you know, I, you know, Destiny brought it up on stream and stuff like that. It, it's like a half an hour talking about that, and I give them basic bitch internet security pep talk kind of stuff. And then it's like an hour and a half of wrestle-wrestle talk. Um, but the Warski bit's the interesting one, because, like, with everything that's fucking happened now, looking back on it, I, I'm almost certain, like, especially looking at, like, statements JF and other people have made and Zoom has made about uh, Tonka being a snake. Like, I, I can't think of a reason as to why he would record it. It just doesn't make sense to me. Well, I talked about this. Um, I don't know if it was last night. Failure mentioned it. I think it was on Worski's program earlier uh, that Tonka actually, and I don't know if Failure was on that call or not, uh, but I seem, I think you were actually on the call, but I don't remember. 
Um, but uh, big kill stream tonight. I said, oh yeah, well, what do you mean? Like what's going on? He said, uh, and he's, you know, he's finally going to get rid of JF. I was like, oh, okay, well, yeah, that would <laughs> that would be a pretty big show. I'm sure we'll be talking about it. He said, yeah, just, you know, keep your eyes peeled tonight and, and that's going to go down. That's yeah, see, and I, I remember when the Andy and JF split happened because I know, I know that they were having a back and forth and like, oh, you know, Andy talked about it on the Kumite for like one day. And I told him, you know, well, do whatever your gut tells you, I guess. Um, but, you know, think about what you're going to... This is on the show, right? This isn't, like, in private. This is on one of these fucking episodes. But, yeah, apparently Tonka's talking to people behind the scenes. It sounds like he's a busy little boy. But it's that... it. I don't know if Zidane has it time-coded, but it's the Worski bit. I think really lets you know how slimy this fucker is. Because, yeah, you know, I listened to this thinking, okay, well, I don't remember what I fucking talked about. You know what I mean? This is, like, post-stream. So yeah. I was like, hey, I have no idea. I wonder what the fuck we talked about. Hour and a half of fucking wrestling. Great <laughs> damning <laughs> audio there, Tonga. It's two yeah, hours. Um, you it's... stupid fucking engine. What are you thinking? Like <laughs> this is this is what you secretly record. An hour and a half talking about Southern wrestling, you stupid fuck. Now let me ask you before I get my ice, and we do have the Worski stuff, Tom Coded. I think there's a couple other things. You I think you already have the video, right? Do I need to send you the link while we play it along? I, I, it, there's all the only interesting bits on this is also what i find funny is you tease this for a week and they're gonna be <laughs> there's some <laughs> no there's a couple funny things we already played first off i didn't know you were such a huge attitude era fan what was your favorite uh superstar back then no i i told people i watch uh osw old school wrestling like the guys or the guys that do those uh podcasts that shit's amazing like they they make a ton of money on patreon too by the way which i'm i'm happy because i love their stuff but I should have um, known when you mentioned the Shockmaster after the Monday Matt stream that your knowledge uh, ran pretty deep. I, I, I like the Goofy shit. I mean, that's just what hey, I said. Hey, the, hey the, Jim, the, are you are you a fan of my old wrestling channel, Grapple Vision? I never watched wrestling. <laughs> I never I never watched your channel. I never watched YouTubers aside from OSW. All but, right, Zidane, um, I'm going to let you handle for a second. I'll be back in like 30 seconds. Go ahead. Oh, right. boy. I gotta he's going to go open one of those free casts of whiskey that he got on his phone. <laughs> It was a pretty good weekend, I have to say. But all right, I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I well, I had to listen to the entire audio to get the timestamps. Oh, um, no. oh, yeah, you know, I gotta say, and you know, it, failing, I suppose this is a jab at you, but holy shit, was this a boring car? Like he said it to me, and so I listened to it, and I was like, "Fuck me," because if this is what the Kumite was like in its heyday, uh, it's just painful to listen to. Dude, yeah. I understand. I listen to myself now, and I'm like, Jesus, can you hurry the, the fuck up? Like, no, stop. <laughs> there, are a lot of, there are a lot of parts where it's just boring. A lot of talking about uh, wrestling. and then uh, Lots of wrestling. Lots of wrestling. And then talking about Opie and Anthony. Well, yeah, I, I, I love Jocktober. Like, I, yeah. I, I have, like, a fucking addiction to that shit. So, um, I, I mean, I've driven... Uh, <laughs> like Jade can't fucking stand it at this point because I used to like listen to playlists of that shit for eight hours straight. Like I, I love listening to old Jocktober episodes. All right, I'm back. Yeah. What's the next Tom Stamp Zidane? By the way, I okay. Sent, I sent so link in case you don't have it, Jim. I don't even need it. I got it. I got it memorized. <laughs> so we can skip towards the end. Um, there's a part where he you shit on Magog a little bit, which is which I found funny. Is that the fucking uh, yeah? He's got that's the one that um. Like the who wears makeup. Atheist. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't he, he kind of like the Amazing Atheist was doing for a while, where he's like all fucking decked out like a Halloween character and shit. Yeah, like the one with the robe and shit, right? Yeah, yeah he is. is. He looks like a a wizard or whatever. <laughs> fitting. Every, every fitting. time I hear his name, I'm like, isn't that what they call those uh, those animalistic creatures in that Andromeda show that Kevin Sorbo was on for like a couple of years? Kevin Sorbo, I thought he didn't he do Hercules. Yes, that's yeah. yeah. And then they also had the show Andromeda that was Wait, like did, a discount did, Star Trek, and that's where Magogs came from. Oh no, I have no idea. I, I, I all I know is like Sorbo did Hercules, and then he became religious, and they threw him out of Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see. Uh, so, what's the timestamp on the next one today? The Magog stuff is at one thirty nine. Okay. If you want to skip to that, Just and then one thirty nine, the dot or one thirty nine forty nine. Oh, I, wait, wait! Before you play it, that the audience didn't mishear that Zidane just went from a timestamp of like thirty minutes to an hour and thirty nine minutes because <laughs> this whole conversation that he cock teased you for a week about is about fucking wrestle wrestle. Yeah, now, well, you know no... what? I could play the whole thing through, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people would like to hear the whole <laughs> Please, thing. Actually, God, just... no. Well, okay, so there's a part uh, before that or. Where... Donga says that he knows people in wrestling and show you checks if you want to listen to that. It's about an hour 
yeah, four minutes like, and 35 seconds in. I would like to hear that. Yeah. Okay. Hour four thirty five. By the way, kudos to Zidane. Uh, For listening to this paper <laughs> <trip. laughs> Hour four thirty five. I'm dead serious. They would sit here and listen to the whole thing. I mean, there's well, you know. fucking hell, bro. You sent this to me, and you're like, "Is it okay if I play?" I, like, I don't know. You know, I don't care. I listened to it, and then I messaged you back, and I was like, "That is so boring." And you're like, "Yeah, I started watching a little bit of it." <laughs> You popped it off out of, of these it. poor motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, I did it. I watched the entire thing. You know, thing. you really got to give it to Medicare Fembot for fucking spending countless hours That's every fucking week nightmare. screenshotting and recording everything Tonka says. I was like, you know, do you have this? Do you have the thing with uh, with Tonka promising the stream for failure? And they were like, yeah. Twenty minutes later, they had the whole fucking stream, and they sent it to me. I, yeah, I forgot too that yeah he did he did that's Joya right the one he's talking about that fucked his wrestling partner. Yeah, and you know what's funny? When I contacted her before the IBS apocalypse, she was like, if he ever says a single horrible thing about me, I'll make a whole video and I'll get every single ex he's ever had that he's put his hands on and I'll get them to throw him under the bus. He's so fucking stupid. An hour before he brought her on, he sat and talked shit about her and Medicare is fembot screen capped the whole goddamn thing and sent it to me. And I have a whole little 20 second clip of him shit talking her. All right, 104.35. I'm going to play it right now yeah right fucking shit guys are getting 500 bucks a shot right now in wwe jim i can show you checks i know <laughs> guys in wwe checks. now i'm friendly with them i like i've sat around like there's a there's a video right now up of uh one of the tag team champions has a let's play channel i know for a fact that they're getting fucked up beforehand because they're sitting in the fucking drug dealer's house the guy everybody bought weed from <laughs> they're sitting right in his fucking house and he even makes an appearance stoned out of his fucking gourd it's fucking oh, great. God. There's a great video up. Uh, I, I wish I could remember the title of it. It's uh, somebody's going to like uh, WWE and they get a meeting with. Well, we can stop there, I think. But he knows yeah, people yeah, yeah. in WWE, guys. I mean, he's, is he's that the one where himself. he talks about? Um, I, I, I don't have the clip up, but I'm just trying to go off memory here. After being forced to sit, it's like studying for a fucking <laughs> algebra test or something. Can I just say that Jim listened to the whole thing and I didn't even listen to the whole thing? So that that is some dedication. You were so you said it to me and you were like excited. <laughs> You're like I got somebody sent me secret audio, Jim. Is it okay if I play it? I think it. They said it's really spicy, and then I listened to it. It's a fucking hour and a half of wrestling. No, there is some good stuff. There is a few good nuggets. Oh, no, there. there 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 are a few good nuggets. But Jesus, Donga, like next time, plan it out. Plan your op out a little bit. You know, now, like let, have a conversation ready to go on. Where now, why do you it. think? Yeah, I was going to ask you, like, why do you think he did this? I mean, other than the obvious, trying to get some dirt on you or have something to hold over your head. I don't fucking know. And, you know, the thing is, when I talk to people, uh, you know, like when I talk to them on Skype or if I if I talk to them on like a, a fucking hangout, it, I'm, you're going to hear the same shit I'm going to say on live stream or just outright. You know, it doesn't really fucking change very much. Um, I, you know, like I talked to, uh, I'll give you a case in point, Sons of Kojima. Yeah. Uh, Fred Fox before his little meltdown, you know, Mr. Waterwells in Africa for DSP. And I, I, I told him, I gave him advice. I said, hey, listen, man, you need to diversify. You're focusing way too much on DSP, and that's going to just kind of fucking blow up in your face. Didn't take the advice. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. And then Donga, you know. Um, there seems to be a lot of evidence of people who don't take your advice uh, ending up wishing they did. Uh yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I so I even guess earlier in this conversation that we played, you're like, yeah, you know, people are going to be fucking with you. They're going to throw everything at you, and the and the more you react to it, the you're just, it's just going to keep getting worse. Well, yeah, and that's a weird thing too. It feels like you know when you say shit like that, it's obvious, right? But he's basic, acting yeah. like, yeah, well, yeah, but he's acting. But like I mean, look, Dong is not internet people, so, right? You know, exactly. I've never yeah. heard this before. Yeah, I, uh, I think I understand why he did it, Jim, and why he turned on you and he recorded all this. You see. <clears throat> Back in WrestleMania 25, <laughs> oh shit! Uh, you know Matt was Matt was very jealous of Jeff Hardy's uh, popularity. <sighs> so you know, fa failure knows about it. Oh, uh, man. You know, oh they were oh, they were in the Royal Rumble, and he wanted a chance to one up Edge. <laughs> and uh, you know, Matt had this chance; he, he was going to be able to do it. And uh, he he was so <laughs> jealous this, of this Jeff. Is a good, uh, this is a good impersonation. I already <laughs> want to cut my throat. <laughs> So, so uh, yeah, you know, uh, so uh, you know, he, yeah. he hit him with a steel chair, and he turned on his own brother. And it's kind of like how you turned on him. You know, tell him, Philly, tell him about how Jim Taylor turned on me. You know. No. Oh yeah, the Jim just you know what you said. Now before before we move on, why do you think? Um, I actually did talk to him about this. I'm like, why are you going at Jim? It doesn't make any sense. And 
he just spurred out and said, oh, you know, he sh- I guess he- it all goes back back to the IBS apocalypse th- stream. And he said, well, there was. Hey, some, you know what? It goes of- back to me not going on his fucking show. Yeah, I mean, let, that's let's true, just too. call a spade a spade. He's pissed yeah. off. He's not making money. Hold on. Here's the retarded thing is he didn't want you on the show because people would come and, and be like, Jim, Jim, Jim in the fucking chat every anytime you fucking popped up. And I would be like, Jim. And he's like, God, no. It, the same thing with Andy. Like he was sick of people wanting. Andy it's weird because there was a lot of segues in your show failure, where he would be like, "Oh, you know, we got this guy on, like with the MOC thing, and a couple other channel uh, times you had people on, and he'd be like, yeah, you know, this is really interesting and all, but you know, it's it's just dumb. I'm not internet people. Why don't we get Jim in here and get his hot take? Now wait, and I also want to point this out. There was I forget which live stream it was, but you you kind of criticized the Kumite and you said, you know. Donga, you need to. You didn't call him Donga then. You called him Tonka. Tonka, you know, cut out the the fight me and IRL stuff. And you know, I told constantly. Uh, yeah, he told I, failure yeah. to quit. Stop playing. You know, Viva La Rasa every. I told him seconds. to lay off the sound clips. Uh, hint, hint, Gator. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you know, I told him maybe it'll be a little more you know <laughs> a little more conservative with the sound clips. Uh, but no, I, like, I, I think with Tonka, the the fucking issue was. He's. I, I just. I kind of was like, okay, well, you know, this has kind of reached its arc. It's not really as entertaining as it was, and so if you go back, I didn't talk shit about any of these fucking people. No, you didn't talk. Like, shit, I, I moved but... on. To, I moved on to fucking uh, you know, making fun of Sargon and doing other shit. But she didn't go on his show for a while, and I remember there was a show where Amos Eve was on, uh, and you went back on the Kumite. I think it was on Andy's channel at that point, uh, and you went on there, and then Tonka got on Twitter and made a big deal. About oh they said Jim would never come back and oh here he is and he was like spiking the football basically and you're kind of you kind of went on there even though you didn't really want to you know what I mean like I actually watched he changed that. the title of the fucking stream and then he went and he updated the IMDb yeah. to include that Jim was there yeah exactly so fucking fat. it was just I don't know it was just kind of weird and, and if you watch that appearance Jim just goes on there and says oh this is all this guy's a fucking he was there for six and, minutes <laughs> yeah there was nothing much there I don't well, know. He, he, okay I, I think this is this is my my hot fucking take on this right uh, if you run a fucking show and it has nothing to it. Like if the host can't, you know, put a, a, if you can't make it fucking entertaining for your audience and the only reason they're entertained is the fucking guests that you're bringing on, nothing's going to highlight that more than people not coming on your show anymore. Jim, so, there was no fucking show prep. Me and Andy were showing up an hour before the show to try to like prepare shit and fucking Tonka would show up like about fucking two minutes before the show would start and not fucking stay afterwards. He didn't want to fucking prepare well, yeah, for no, anything. What, what, I'm, what I'm saying is... You're right. it, when you stop having people come on and it's just the host flying well, solo and it's yeah, that's boring as shit that and it highlights that the host is boring as shit. Well, that shows like, whether you can hang or not. So, I mean, you took, I mean, you weren't around for a month or so just at the end of the year last year. And to be honest with you, when you don't show up, people are like, Oh, where's Jim? Where's Jim? I mean, they get used to you being on the show and you kind of, I mean, if you can't hold it, you know, if you can't put on a program, uh, on your own, and then people, you know, they'll stop watching. You know what I mean? If you if you can't do it, you can't do well, it. Well, yeah, I mean that's the the comparison I was going to draw. Like if you if you compare the Kumite right, and you compare the Kill Stream, you guys could go and do an episode without any fucking guests at all, right? Just talking about news stories or whatever, and still draw in a consistent audience. If Tonka has to like fly solo and there isn't, we end up with dead air for twenty minutes and two hundred people watching. Well, and and part of that is because I mean. He's retarded, right? I mean, he can't actually talk about anything. You know what I mean? Besides, nobody wants to listen to fucking Godzilla yeah. conversation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What, what can he really talk about? I mean, uh, I remember. I think Failure was talking about this earlier today. Like, oh, this is the hot news story. This is the hot thing everybody's oh, that's talking about. Gay. And he was like, oh, that's gay. We can't talk that. about that. What do you? What do you mean? What? You know, what yeah. I'm supposed to talk about what everybody wants to talk about? No, <laughs> yeah. fuck that shit. Like, how retarded is that? Oh, I, I don't know. It's just Jim. It, when you were really into the IRL fucking shit and making fun of that like we could barely take a peek at it because oh no that's fucking gay what well, we're gonna do everything oh yeah, no, gym yeah looks- Donga, Donga has it so much better let's talk about Godzilla and wrestling we don't want to talk about Ice Poseidon having a crack horse steal iPads no that's not exciting and interesting to watch take place no let's talk about Mothra for fucking three hours and Gator, ours- you, went, Gator you went silent on me Did I, I <laughs> no just- Gator, no <laughs> You guys remember that time that that giant plant creature turned into Space Godzilla and he had mountains coming out of his shoulder pads? God, that was fucking cool. What do you think about that failure? 
Gator, uh, Gator, are you know, there? Hold on, hold on. You have to, you have to hit us with a Tomley soundboard clip now that now that Jim took a, took a shot at the soundboard. It has to be it has to be good though. Uh oh, he's dead. No! <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fair. All right, this guy's getting a little nervous there. <laughs> Okay, um, so all right, let's just go you back. Want, you want the next time clip? It's one thirty nine forty nine, right? Yes, that is. Okay, uh, we just jumped thirty five minutes, by the way. Yeah, more, I mean, we could wrestle, go, into, wrestle. go into the theory of you know the attitude era and ECW, but let, let's continue one thirty nine forty nine right now. Of the dude and his fucking makeup and everything. You should have quit pushing Maga- pushing Maga- He has makeup. Ago. Yep. He oh plays a necromancer God. reacting to things in the, the oh, regular realm. The same yeah. shit everybody oh, does. come on. Come on. Fuck this. No, turn this off. Thank you, Jim. Yeah, Thank I'm, you. I, by the way, I quit. Uh, I quit uh, at, least, uh, at least it was a little bit more quitting. creative at the time when everybody just had fucking Avatar. Well, at least now I know who the Amazing Atheist stole his bit from. I, I thought it was Jim Sterling, but it looks like he ripped it. <laughs> yeah, he saw Magog and apparently Jack. Yeah, he fucking robbed him completely. He stole his whole bit. So, so when I found the dude, he only had 80 subscribers and, you know, had like three jobs as a janitor. And uh, now he's making like, what, almost 1500 on the uh, Patreon plus Roughly. whatever. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I, th- I think we've heard enough. By the way, Magog is a faggot. Uh, what was <laughs> it? We were making fun of him like a month ago. What, what was it? I can't remember now. Was it? Oh, it was the Sargon stuff where he jumped out there. I think he said he was going to shut down his Patreon and all this shit. And. I don't know. And we were talking about this with Dick. Well, Mason. I didn't even hear the clip. So what did I say about my guy? Basically, he just said he turned the shit off. He's a, basically what I said. He's a faggot. Like, okay. Well, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're you know, the guy that dresses like a wizard, like, not a <laughs> just turn it off. Just turn it off. Uh, but we were talking about this and this is totally off topic, but uh, Jordan Peterson deleted his Patreon. I think Ruben deleted his and they don't have anything ready to go. I was talking with Dick about this and it just seemed like an astonishing misstep you guys made this big show deleting your patreon and you were going to start this new service and it's not up and running and you well I, peter I, peterson will be fine because he oh well, he, yeah he, he pulls in a lot of money independently on his website he'll be Rupi fine just with book royalties he pulls in, uh, yeah he pulls in a lot of money independently but everybody else that doesn't have an independent website with their own payment process are already in place is kind of fucked yeah people need to start selling rugs for 2k yeah <laughs> don't, don't forget to wash your peters all right, let's see. Uh, so, are we going to go to the Andy? Because that's probably the best part. Yep, one fifty three thirty four. Yeah, that's oh. definitely the most damning. Now that I look back on it, yeah. One fifty three fifty four. You said. Yeah, that's where you start talking about DSP, and then a minute later, uh, you bring up Andy. Not even a minute later, a couple seconds later. Okay, one fifty three fifty four. Let me get there. Thirty four. Thirty four. Oh God. Sorry. It was a long. No, no, no. Never. You're a legend for going through this and time stamping it. Which is what I should have done, but it's been a it's been a long week, Jim. I mean, come on, cut me a little slack. I was originally gonna play this last week, and then Donga fucking backed out of the fight, so that was a whole show. And then something else happened, that was a whole show. Then we had Christy Winners, and I don't know, it's just been crazy. And then of course I was in Knoxville getting drunk all week. Um, one fifty three, fifty four, or thirty four, right? That's correct, right? Yeah, thirty four. Okay, all right, I'm gonna hit it right now. It I would enjoy it while you can. Together. Don't 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 pull like a DSP. DSP thought that shit was gonna last a decade for him, and it it, it didn't. He should have <laughs> saved his money. He should have really saved his money when it hit big. Yeah, yeah. I, the stuff for uh my great like I got I think last month it was like six thousand dollars ended up I coming in it. off of this stuff. Yeah, I mean that's a great amount of cash, and especially yeah. at the size of the channel was. I mean, imagine if you continue to grow throughout the year and you're sitting at eighty thousand at the end of the year rather than eight. So as far as subs go, I mean, it's just going to exponentially grow. Mm-hmm. I mean, Andy's getting to the fucking point where his reading super chats is almost as long as the amount of fucking stream that came before it, which is just insane. Yeah. <sighs> even even though that's fucking great, I, I saw how much he was making at one point with the fucking ads when the ads were good and back when fucking... when we when the days were good there. <laughs> yeah, well, we were talking about fucking five figures and and. <laughs> And that only lasted for like two months, <laughs> so he, he had a taste of it. And when you have a taste of it, that's the fucking worst because you're like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I I... yeah. He he missed he missed his opportunity with the ad thing. A lot of people got fucked on that, but he's got his opportunity with Super Chat if that's what he wants to do. Oh, he's, he's make good money doing it. it. Yeah, yeah. Make really good money on it. 
Chris is. He's already fixing up. I mean, he's fixing up his fucking studio. He bought a fucking a Bing Bing Wahooey fucking Nintendo Switch and shit. So he's he's happy. He's enjoying himself. <laughs> God, those are terrible. But uh, all right. Let, let me pause it for a second because they're saying F. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, at least I never got a taste of the good money. That way, I never missed it. <laughs> but they're 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 saying F. Let, let me go back. What's it? One fifty five oh one. Let me go back a little bit. Now, my internet didn't go out. I think I think it was Streamy. Streamy's been having ever since they did that site update. Uh, last well, I tried week. I tried watching Zoom stream and the fucking it's thing been running like shit. It was yeah, doing okay. Yeah, yeah. So on my phone, you know, I was driving down the road and I just turned it to audio only, and it would kind of like stop every once in a while. Uh, but it was, you know, it was, wasn't that bad. But uh, I, I'll go back to, let's see, 154.43 uh, just to make sure everybody heard everything. Uh, but it wasn't my internet. It was definitely uh, streaming. All right. One fi- By the way, Zoom, I heard you say, <laughs> and I don't know if this is true or not, but you're like, well, they're saving their bandwidth for the big streamers or whatever. Do you really think it, that's al- it, it almost seems like that? Because like when you and Jim set your time slots, you don't have that problem. And then, like, when the smaller people come up and they get, like, you know, anything over, like, four or five hundred people watching them, the fucking entire thing just goes crazy. And it's, and it's not me. I have a gigabit up and a gigabit down. Do There's too. no way it's me. Yeah, it's. I think it's their site, especially since they update. The day they did their update, our stream was going up and down all night. Uh, a lot of people couldn't see it. Weird. And, I mean, look. Okay, anyway, I'll continue. One, 154.43 right now. But... He's got his opportunity with Super Chat if that's what he wants to oh, do. He's, he's he's make good money doing it. it. Yeah, yeah, make really good money on it. Chris is. He's really already fixing it. up. I mean, he's fixing up his fucking studio. He bought a fucking a Bing Bing Wahooey fucking Nintendo Switch and shit. So he's he's happy. He's enjoying himself. <laughs> God, those are terrible. <laughs> but uh, uh, do you like Andy, Jim? Oh, yeah. I think I think I think Andy's a likable guy. I don't really I, I don't really get like an ulterior motive off of him. You know what I mean? That's that's how I feel. Too. But like people keep telling me, like that he seems like a snake and like all this. Andy to me is the only person in this entire fucking deal who had anything to lose. Yeah. No, yeah, Andy, Andy, Andy is what Andy is. I I really don't get a feeling like he's he's hiding something. He, he, there's thirty people. Yeah, he's just mm-hmm. he's a, you know, I, I I think right now he's just he's probably really happy. He's doing well and he's fucking excited about it and he's really into what he's doing. And that's the feeling I get from him, and I'm I'm glad for him. I'm glad he found something to work for him. Here's the thing with Andy. Like I'll let you know, at one point he was getting tired of fucking fighting with people and he wanted to like you know, oh let's let's mend some bridges. Let's uh you know talk to Franny and talk to this person and everything. And then he got fucking burnt. <laughs> And, and and now with this thing, he, he's like, I'm tired of, of, you know, just doing what people expect me to do. Let, let me actually talk to some fucking, sure, I'll talk to alt writers and the SJWs. Now this is a fucking problem. So nobody, so he's just saying, fuck everybody. And that's why people are like, oh, why, why is Andy being such a prick? Because you guys are being pricks. Mm-hmm. He's just willing to have a conversation that no one else is willing to have. And people are ready to hear something that they haven't heard a million times. Well, yeah, and, and again, it goes back to people getting pissed off because their way of doing it isn't working. And the thing is, anybody could have done what Andy did. I mean, they could have they could have used that same format. They could have taken that same approach, but he's the one that decided to do it. They didn't. And that's yeah. what pisses them off. Is it, it's a really like with my like I get a lot of shit, but mine is a really easy format. I talk for a minute, I, I read off a couple things, and then if two people want to fight, I let them. No, I, now, I, now let me pause it. <laughs> One fifty three oh three says, "I talk for a minute. I read a couple things. If two people want to fight, I let them." That that's actually that actually is a pretty good format, right, Jim? I mean, well, uh, again, I'm not listening to the recording, but based off memory, yeah. Like looking back on it, because he's like, uh, didn't he say? Uh, I think uh, the way he phrased it was, uh, "Do you think Andy's a snake or something?" Yeah, like that's that? exactly. Yeah, eight people yeah. are spe- Other people are saying this. What? Do, what do you think? Yeah, I, I thought it. I thought it was weird because yeah, I, I've said again privately what I've said publicly. I, I think Andy's a good guy, and I'm happy that he's doing well. Yeah, and I'll also I'll say this: Andy is one of the who the fuck is Bing Bing Wahooing in the background? What is that? I'm Bing Bing Wahooing <laughs> in honor of Andy. Is that what's going yeah, on? In honor of Andy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll turn just turn on this a little bit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I will say Andy is one of the most genuine people that I've met throughout all this and he helped me when he had no reason to uh when actually when people told him not to i mean he got in a fight with jf 
uh, over me, which, you know, a lot of people said, what the fuck? Just, you know, cut bait with Ralph. What's going on here? Matter of fact, a lot of people did tell him that. But yeah, go ahead, Jim. And I think, I mean, I think I paused there for a second. Like, if you know, looking back on it, it was just kind of struck me as a weird question to ask out of the blue. Like, what do you think about it? What do you mean, snake? You know, and again, to put this into context, the time period on this, if this was January or whatever, right when Pascal was doing the IMDb shit. Yeah. Um, that means that he was gay oping or setting up gay ops a year ago. Yeah, I mean, I I was in jail late January, so this, uh, you know, I wasn't even around for for all this. But uh, I I just know that Andy is one of the most genuine people I've met, and he's helped me time and time again when there's nothing in it for him. And I, I still remember when Andy was getting you know four or five six thousand a night. And he plugged our stream to the hilt for nothing in return, just because, you know, he liked me and he liked the show and there was nothing in it for him. He didn't have to do that. Uh, and that's why, you know, I'll, I'll well, I've, little... I've never had like I and I don't really talk to anybody outside of, you know, the streams and stuff because I'm kind of off doing my own thing. But, it, you know, the few conversations I've had with Andy, uh, like if you sent me a DM or something, he's always been super nice. Like he's never he's never done anything or acted in a way that would make me think he's a snake. And especially at the time, I'd only you know known him for like a month. Um, but it, it was just a really fucking weird, especially looking back on it, it's a really fucking weird question. So I've got to bring down his defenses by having some casual banter back and forth, get him relaxed, get him feeling comfortable. And then I slip it in at an opportune time when his defenses are dead. Hindsight now with everything that's gone on, um, yeah, it, it almost makes it. Because I don't know. I mean, there have been some stories going around about... Uh, certain individuals blackmail and other individuals and there are yes uh, you know it makes me wonder if uh he wanted he wanted something in reserve you know because this is i i believe this is the only time i've ever talked to him uh off air i think at the yeah. end of the i mean i can uh yeah I, I can say for a fact that that that's how he operates i uh, no, no there was a moment that you uh talked off air with uh andy and him as well Okay, well, more gay ops to come, Ralph. Fingers, <laughs> fingers fucking crossed, buddy. Ralph, look at your DM on Discord for a, a wonderful screenshot of our good friend Actigen uh, talking about his education. Now, l- let me ask you, Jim. I know you talked about this a little bit on Morsky's show earlier. What the current... I mean, look, Baked Alaska came on the show last night and tried to get me to uh, to fight him. And, and oh, I still think I still think you're fag, Baked. Come at me. <laughs> Uh, uh, but uh, you know the fight thing's not my thing. You boys do whatever you want. I think fighting in real life is gay as fuck, and the internet tough guy shit is gay as fuck. But uh, you know, if you can make it entertaining, whatever. Um, I just think that Tonka was really serious about it. He's not doing it as a joke. Well, yeah, it, that's what uh, I was gonna say. I mean, you know, if if something like that happened with me, obviously I'm not uh, I'm not a fucking fighter. I'm not trying to tell people to do that. Well, yeah, I mean, he he was he was serious about it, and it got on my nerves. That's why I brought it up as one thing. Um, yeah, you bullied it, him out of fighting me, Jim. I came well, back two weeks well, later and I was like, all right, let's do this that fight. Is such a fucking easy go to excuse. Oh, I can't fight you, Zoom. Jim said. That's the, literally the, what he told the, Andy when Andy wanted to book it. Hunters demanded Jim. So, he, said, yeah. he said, Jim made fun of me and I don't want to look like a fag to Jim, so I can't fight him. And he told that to Andy and then he blocked me on Twitter and he hasn't said a word to me since I bullied him on that one girl stream. I, I think we can call this that uh, <laughs> even if I had not said anything, he would have found a way to weasel out of it, given the events with Andy. I think that that's the case. Um, but you know, it, no, uh, with, the, with, yeah, with the weekend stuff, I thought it was funny. I enjoyed watching it happen. I'm glad that he got his fucking nose rubbed in it for being such a fag. Um, I, I think the problem is not the problem. I like. I thought this was going to be like this. This would kind of be the end cap of it. Like, oh, okay, you know, talk is giant. Too. Be, yeah. How funny! Is, you think it's bad? Like Medicare or Medicarist Fembot or whatever has to listen to the. Toad's got to go through every archive to get the clips he needs. He's got to listen to fucking <laughs> a year's worth of Kumite. All right, five hours a day, every day of the week for twelve months. He's going to oh, shoot God. himself by the middle of next week. I don't know how he's going to do it. Now we were talking about this in Knoxville. Where where do you rank? I mean. Tonka, I, I would say, I mean, like you said earlier, there's random Uber drivers making fun of this guy. Just random people at the event making fun of this guy. People who are not plugged into this stuff are laughing at him. This this is spread beyond the normal corners that that he lurks in. Um, where does this rank in in terms of all time history of internet uh, blowouts here? I, I think I think it's got to be high up on the list, right? We we were even talking about this with Dick Masterson. Yeah, no, uh, I mean, it, if you're talking like compared to recent shit, yeah, this is this is. Um this is worse than Monday Matt for sure. Yeah. Um, it's ranking up there with crowd. I mean, uh, you see AP posted a bunch of discord caps. They're making hit lists now. 
Yeah, and we were talking about it with with Masterson and, you know, Maddox, obviously, you know, with the lawsuit and stuff. I I would say Maddox, if you want to go in terms of, like, length of time, uh, his would probably be above it. You know, just like oh, I'm just talking about, I'm talking about like level of implosion. Like, yeah, we're that's what a guy yeah. possibly going to prison um, for being a retard on the Internet. That's pretty fucking exceptional. Like there's some people that haven't gone to prison. Chris Chan hasn't gone to prison. And look at the shit that that guy did. Like he assaulted people, pepper sprayed motherfuckers. And he hasn't served a day in jail. But Tonka might end up going to big boy prison. And isn't it more poetic? Uh, and, and I think you hit on this as well. I mean, he did it all to himself. I mean, it's, it's not like... Uh... It's completely self-inflicted. Yeah, I, I, you can even hear it in that fucking conversation when I said, like, Andy is doing what anybody could have done. All he's got to do is, you know, put on an entertaining show. All Tonka had to do was sit down, read the Superberries, and let people argue with each other. There's your format. Have a little bit of banter in between the fucking fight segments. And you've got to show people want to watch. And I don't know what the fuck made him go off the rails. But looking back on the audio, it seems like Pride. he was trying to, trying to do something. I don't know if he wanted, like, maybe he wanted to ditch failure and try to do a partnership with Andy. And maybe, I, I don't know what the fuck is going on. No, he wanted to be the fucking blood god. He fucking put it in his head that he wanted to be the guy yeah. that, you know, won all the fights. You know, Coach Redpill Coach Red Pill did a video on this a few months ago, and I think he kind of hit on it. It's basically what you're saying, failure. Uh, they, you know, and it was, I guess part of it was the audience. Oh, Tonka's the blood god, whatever. You know, he's the, you know, overseer of this stream and uh, whatever. <laughs> and, um, and he kind of turned into... Oh yeah, I actually am one of the the legendary, you know, blood sports combatants. And I remember listening to an early Kumite when I got out of jail and you were both on there. I I, I want to say you were on there, Jim. And people were like, "Oh, who would win a blood sports between Jim and Tonka?" And I remember Tonka said, "Oh, well, what would we ever fight over? I mean, I don't, you know, I don't I don't know what, what would he happen." Got, he there. got so passive like after I stopped watching the show and I went and was going doing my own thing. Like he kept throwing out barbs. I didn't really give a shit. But he just wouldn't shut the fuck up about it. So I started throwing some back, and he didn't like that. Like he, he was shit talking about views, and so I was like, "Oh, you know, I'm blowing out of the water. That's not fair. You got a bigger sub base." So I compared him to you, and he really got mad at that. <laughs> at the time, at the yeah, time, okay. you had seventeen thousand subs, and you were you were still starting out with like five, and you're you're yeah. like fucking quadruple his numbers. And oh, was he mad about that fucking comment? The blood yeah. god doesn't care about anything other than bringing blood to every show they're on. I, I think Tonka can never be the blood guy. The only blood he has is the one coming out of his pussy once a month. <laughs> I, I just think he kind of bought into his own, you know, hype, his own press where, you know, co and coach talked about this. His, his role was the, the host, basically. It's not, it's not about you getting in the host role, even with people I don't like. We had Baked Alaska on here last night. I'm not his biggest fan, obviously. Uh, but it's not always a call for me to, you know, try to fight with somebody or try to, you know, get into it with them. Sometimes the host has to be the host. I mean, that's that's their role, right? Ralph, another thing is that it was supposed to be people deciding who fuck him cringy. Well, he does that a lot. Where yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was a bit. All right. I was doing this thing. It was back when like people used to watch Goldberg back in 1990 yeah. on WCW. That was my bit. It made everybody yeah. mad. I was trolling the entire scene. They had no idea. I was masterminding. That was the ultimate gay op. Wait, was that what was that what uh, Andy was quoting? Like in the video, I put uh, the video I did. I put a clip of Andy making fun of Tonka, and he kept saying, "All you do is scream ho ho bitch ho at people." Yeah, is yeah. it the ranting monkey one? He's mocking when he's saying that. Yeah. Okay, I'm, spent, I, I'm I'm not fucking joking, Jim. He spent like fucking ten minutes just yelling ho at him to the point that even like the fucking diehards were like, "Okay, this is getting old." Well, he does that all the time. Though you know, you just try to scream over somebody for. You know, five ten minutes and just say I won, uh, but of course it's just a bit. You know, he was just he was just uh, riffing off Goldberg. Uh, I don't know. It's just I, I I'm more interested in uh, let me let me pull the room here. Where do you think this is going to go? What do you think he's going to do? What when he finally does stream? And I have a feeling he is going to. Uh, what do you, what do you think? What is he going to say? How is he going to try to like, take this okay. back? So, okay, I I, I got a one prediction. He'll say he will not attack failure. <laughs> Yeah, well, he said that before. I think what he's going to do, he thinks, I mean, judging by some of the leaks from the Discord, he thinks he has some type of, like, dirt or line on the promoters there in Knoxville. And if you if you read some of their, <laughs> I guess it was Vamp said, screw job. Uh, somebody else said, oh, they paid them off. I can personally attest to, we didn't pay anybody off. We actually all came out of pocket 
and lost money on the event. Well, besides the free booze that I got to take back. But uh, other than that, uh, no, no, nobody paid the promoter. We went down there and spent money and didn't make anything just to shit on him and, and have fun with it because he completely bitched out in the event and there would have, you know, all these people would have spent all this money and it wouldn't have, they wouldn't have had anything to hang their hat on. So we at least wanted to go out there for, you know, four or five minutes and give them something. Uh, so I, I really hope he does go with that line because it's going to add to the, you know, reasons that they have to sue him. What uh, could he but, honestly do at this point, Ethan? I, I mean, don't know. We literally have him on, on recording. We have him lying about collecting money for this fight. We have him lying about collecting money for failure. And then the best part is all these Discord leaks where he fucking flat out says in a, in a private channel that he's fucking, he's taken the money from the fans and he's gone on vacation with it instead of going to the fight. Now, did he say that? Like, what was yeah. the quote there exactly? Let me, let me get it. All right. Uh, because I heard you talk about that earlier. Now, originally he said he was going to Knoxville no matter what, remember? And, yep. uh, you know, of course, I won't break the law, but I'll be there in Knoxville, basically. If he well, was the secret recordings, he said, well, you know, yeah, any any screenshot, you can't really trust. Well, yeah, and that's why, like, when it happened to um, what, Kraut with his Discord, because uh, I think it was Braving Ruin or Guardian, one of them made a fucking recording just scrolling through everything, showing it. Yeah. I got it from two different sources that don't even know each other. So okay. Well, that's good. I, I usually take it based upon that. So if I have one person that does not know the other person and they both send me the exact same screen. Hopefully, hopefully it wasn't uh, like. hopefully it wasn't a Kujin and T Scables or whatever <laughs> the fuck that guy's name is. Oh, that guy is a fucking oh my god. Uh it has been impressive just how many of there there have been a lot of hardcore uh Kumatards that have turned on him though. They're fucking cat ladies. Uh, like uh, the ones that have stuck by him are cat ladies, and he's got yeah. other cat. That's what he's. he's he said, uh, "I just got back from the trip with who I am with, and I didn't want to ignore them after the trip. We did a bunch of shit yesterday and today, and went for a meal, and then I decided to come here. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day, uh, and then maybe I will hop on and see what's going on later." Now, and can that was you, literally just the other day. Can you show? Can you like send that to me so I can pull it up on screen? Yeah. These uh these these were screenshots that were taken directly from his Discord in the past two days. But I was actually talking and I talked about this the other night, Jim, uh, with Sofane. He was actually at the, you know, post fight and stuff. I guess he went to the regular, you know, the actual fight too. Um, and he said, you know, and he was positive towards Tonka right up until you know the shit went down. And he said, I would have had a lot more respect for him had he actually shown up. Even though they said he couldn't fight, if he would have showed up to the weigh-in and said, hey, I made weight, if he would have showed up, and whether they let him weigh or not, and then just show up to the post-fight, show up to everything, show your face, don't hide, um, that at least you know he, he would have some type of place to to put his hat. You know what I mean? Like he would... Well, while you're bringing that up on screen, I'm kind of curious. Uh, it, failure. So uh, what do you think of his Discord and saying you're a cock? <laughs> on, so. on AP's uh, on AP's timeline, uh, uh -huh. he posted he posted some stuff they were talking about. But a cut off at the very top of it, it says Jim suggested that did failure already cuck. <laughs> so, what what are your oh. thoughts on them calling me a cuck? Well, basically because I'm being open and fucking you know telling the truth and showing stuff. So now I'm a cuck because yeah, if I'm if I'm talking over here, I'm a bad guy now. All right. <laughs> You need to do that stream failure. You need to I, just fucking drop it all. I will. Uh, I'm going to take screenshots of all the DMs. I'll ask uh, AP if he wants to throw his fucking uh, 50, 50 text messages that he got uh, on his phone. And yeah, I'll fucking drop it. Now, right, here goes the first screen. Uh, Medicur God Emperor is what he's known as on Discord, Jim, by the way. Uh, I, I love it. Yeah, I said this before. <laughs> The whole Medicare name is just to take the piss out of Haberman because he tried to wipe it from the internet. So feel free to throw that in your user. <laughs> I actually have a video of him talking about how he's overcoming you by making that his name or some shit like that. It's so gay. What a fucking moron. I just want to fuck with John, Donga. Like, <laughs> that's all I cared about with the name. Feel free to use it, bud. He says, I just found out that people think I am going to stream for some reason. I am at dinner. Uh, Naomi isn't banned, who I don't know who that is, says... Uh, I'm not even going to read that because it has nothing to do with anything. Uh, Latter, Latter, wait, Latverian Savage says, what are you eating? And then he says, and here comes the food. 
uh, which uh, you kind of. Who the fuck about. is in their Discord? Oh, uh, weird. Like this guy lives on this Discord. I'm at dinner at a restaurant, but let me talk to these faggots online. What are you doing? I I don't I don't know. Like, all right, here's the thing with him. He's always been lanky, uh, but like I didn't see like that much muscle. He he was lean, but like you saw Andy. Andy fucking you could tell. Like, okay, yeah, he was training. Hell, I've fucking been fucking training. I gotta say, stop starting fucking. So what? I'm I'm really trying to think what time did he train. He also lied. Uh, well, he said I was lying about him going to American Top Team, but at one point he said he was going to American Top Team to train, and then he he rolled that back. All right, here here goes the next one. Medicare God Emperor, aka Tonka, says. I have some new info, but I didn't mean to make you think I was going to be on air today. It may be tomorrow or the next day. And uh, American Gadfly, who is deep in the tank for Tonka, says, right on. Ban Brian says, no problem. And then Tonka says. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That couldn't be Mr. Uh, Outline. That's not no, the I don't think so. I don't think okay. so. All right, I'm just, no, I, I, I don't it. think he likes him, so I think it'd be weird if they together. bring it all full all circle. Right. No, I don't think it's him. Uh, and then Tonga says, and I am not streaming dinner. What the fuck is wrong with you people? And I think uh, Zoom said. Goofs. Yeah, goofs. That, that would have made it perfect. That would be actually what he said. Uh, and there's one more. Let me pull this up. Uh, and he says, I just got back from the trip with who I am with. I wonder who that could be. Hmm. With who I am with and didn't want to ignore them after the trip. We did a bunch of shit yesterday and today went for a meal and then I came in here going to enjoy the rest of the day and then I will maybe hop back in to see what's going on later. And he got 10, like the, what do they call those? Like the rock horns that you give at a concert. I uh, forget what they're called. Like the, the Longhorn, if you're a Texas Longhorn fan. Wait, they, have, they have a Reddit rating system in Discord, really? Yeah, they do. It's like Slack. If you ever been on Slack, where they have like you can put an emoji underneath, and they'll rate it. I like you another one, Ethan. Uh, he claims that he paid fucking AP's child support for over a year or two. Yeah, AP was pissed about that on Twitter. Yeah, he was a complete law. But uh, okay, let me, let me zoom out. And make sure I got it all. He says, "Oh, J Love, who's some random thought. I don't know who it is." Uh, says, wait, I'm lost on the AP thing. Then Tonka says, he didn't have enough money to stay out of jail, and I paid his child support for months, starting when he was with Gulf City and going beyond. Uh, and then they're just like, oh, well, I didn't know that uh, for a couple of others. Oh, yeah, Jessica, age 74, says, I didn't know you paid his child support like that. Fucking hell, Tonka. J-Love says, only good, two months. good for you, Tonka. Yeah, well, I don't know. I, I had a bet with Coach Red Pill that uh, he wouldn't delete his channel. You haven't lost yet. He didn't delete the channel. No, no. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad you said that because people last night was like, oh, Ralph, you're full of shit. He has to delete the channel for me to actually lose. Well, I mean, yeah, that was the other thing, too. Hold on. Let me just double check this because somebody told me this and I, I want to see um, if it's true or not. Um, okay. So if you go onto his channel, right, and you look at his playlist, because people were like, is he deleting or privating the videos? And somebody's like, oh, he's deleting them. But if you go into the uh, the playlist, right, uh, like Kumite events, Kumite this, Kumite that, yeah. they're not deleted. It says next to every video, private. No, they're private. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can see that. His yeah. claim was that he had four strikes on his channel, he told somebody. I've never seen anybody get hit with four strikes in a row and still be able to upload videos. Well, and you strikes. can't. They'll delete your channel. <laughs> it's only three yeah. strikes. Three yeah. strikes and you're out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's well, it's three strikes and you're out. And I mean, look what happened to fucking uh, Monkey Jones or you know ER or them. Like one or two strikes fucked them up. So well, he, he also he up. also claimed he also claimed that he was in Knoxville. He didn't go to the event, but he was in Knoxville. He was week. not in Knoxville. He, he was no in one. Jacksonville too. Remember? Yeah. Oh, I love that. I love that. Oh, oh I was going to fight you, Andy, when he was on Rikita's stream. Uh, you pussed out. You didn't show up, and then you go on Vamp's fucking Twitter timeline, and she's like, "That's terrorism, Andy." If you come to America to beat Donka up, that's terrorism. Same where's where's Tonka? Not only that, oh, but they might they might for, that might get you banned from the United States. You may never be able to come back. And she da, 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 faked da. her grandmother having a stroke so that her boyfriend on the internet didn't look like a pussy. Who does that? Vamp. I don't think Vamp will ever also turn. tries to change their name two days before a scheduled fight and sign the wrong name in November. Yeah, that's really fucking and weird. And then say that you filed it, but then when you call the yeah. court, they have no record of it ever being yeah. filed. He never had any intention of actually going to any of these fights. He was just putting them out there, and because no one took a, took him up on it, 
he would be like, well, I win because no one, no one accepted. I win. And that's, that's why he's the internet tough guy. By the way, Ralph, uh, you know, while we're all on here, um, sure. you know, we said we were going to talk about the, uh, the GoFundMe thing and about, uh, yeah, know, we could talk about that. For that. Yeah. Um, basically coach red pills, it kind of said he didn't want to do it. And, uh, so that's, that's where I was at. I mean, I'm still not necessarily against going down there and uh, filming some stuff, but, uh, that that's kind of yeah. why, yeah. So a certain autist got really mad that he lost his streamy account, so he hit up CRP and told him a bullshit story, and then CRP got spooked and doesn't really want to be involved now. Yeah, I mean, look, it wasn't my idea anyway, but it would be funny to go down there to his to his hometown. Uh, so no. I'm gonna I'm gonna close the uh, GoFundMe thing and refund all the money to people so they don't feel like they got Tonka sod. And, uh, <laughs> you know, after you know, we can get approval. You know, from your uh, from your PO in a yes. couple of months. <laughs> Literally, and then, would have then we to. can do a low budget uh, road trip down there. See more about that, like we promised people. Well, I'll be off probation here in a couple of months. I won't even have to get approval. Uh, but uh, fuck that, then. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, I did think it would be funny to go down there and just you know whether we got to talk to them or not, just take a take a peek behind the scenes there and talk us hometown. I'm, I'm not necessarily against that. I think that would be kind of funny. Uh, but I wonder if Tonka's even going to be there. He might. He might already be arrested. I uh, just want to. I just want to have tea with his Mima. Hear about it. <laughs> hear about Robbie's uh, childhood, how he grew up to be so fucked up in the head. Now, l- let me ask you, Jim. Uh, do, do you actually think there's a chance that he will go to jail? Um, I I have no idea. I'd like, again, I mean, it's all speculation. I mean, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Look, I I thought he was just a giant pussy that ran his mouth, and then got outed as being a giant pussy that ran his mouth. But now all this financial shit's dropping, like fake notary stamps and stuff. I mean, it's going to be entertaining as fuck to watch one way or the other because I'm almost 100% certain, like I said, he's going to stream and he'll probably try to address every allegation that's been out there now for the last three or four days. And it's just going to be a fucking train wreck. And everybody knows it's going to be a train wreck. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. And if there is any reality to, you know, fake contracts, fake blood work, you know, tax weirdness and shit like that, um, him deleting all those videos or privating all those videos, I don't think is strike related. I think that would probably be him getting really nervous. But unfortunately for him, th- so much shit has been archived. It's not like he can make it go away. I think that's lawsuit related. And also when I heard that the the AdSense was under his grandmother's name, that type of shit there makes me think that the stuff about tax evasion, that there is actually something to that. Um, and- it's not, not even so much that. It's when you guys were talking about he set up, a, what the fuck was it? Uh, like a charitable LLC. Yeah. And that that's a whole nother level. That's that's fucking federal crime when you start doing well, no, that, that's for- the one that yeah, that's the one that got his mine. uh his grandmother ran a non for profit LLC uh and it ran alongside uh you know like a church in the area in a certain county and it was kind of like a CCD thing, like for confirmation. Holy shit, wait a second, up. failure. Didn't you just say earlier in the stream that Tonka told you he was a pastor? Yeah. In yeah. the past. Wait, wait, he was a pastor in the past and Mima runs an yeah. LLC, a religious LLC, is that what you said? Yeah. Oh do you, shit. Do you get what I'm saying here? Yes, I do. <laughs> and then uh it's really weird because when you actually like look up the thing, it's registered in his grandmother's name, and she's the only person that's listed on the actual business license. But there's no evidence of the business being in operation, yet it's declaring taxes every tax season and it's registered with the state of Alabama. So I don't know how it's how it's an active business license that's declaring taxes every season when it's not at it, it's nowhere. The old business has been closed down since uh, you know 2003. Uh, it was the last uh, business listing that was on on record, and now all of a sudden it's gone. It, it has no business listing. It's registered to a PO box about two hours from Tonka's house. Uh, it's just it's very strange. I don't. I, I'm looking forward to the adventures of Pastor Donga and the <laughs> charitable LLC that Mima runs. But I, I, I'm tired. Yeah. I'm, I'm Go ahead. Jump. Thank you for coming uh, on, man. I appreciate yeah, it. Those, well, I, those I, bombshell I, secret recordings. You had to be here for that. I, I had to defend myself against the <laughs> You really did. They were damning, Jim. Just damning. You'd be ashamed. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, and I, I had I, to I, listen to all that shit too. <laughs> You poor motherfucker. Um, yeah, but I, I don't know what's going to happen with Donga. But yeah, like I, I, my speculation is sometime probably in the next week he's going to at least put up some kind of response, and it's going to be funny as shit. So well, I'll, I'll wait real quick before you go. Uh, I don't want to keep you too long, but yeah. what what is his? 
isn't it kind of he's falling falling into the full lol cow cycle because most people with a brain any, even half a brain would just delete everything and get off the internet, but he, he can't help himself at this point, right? I mean, anything he does is just going to add fuel to the fire. What, what is the mindset behind that? Oh, I just like to point out, if Dog ever hears this clip, uh, you're dumber than Fred Fox, because at least Fred Fox walked away, you stupid shit. You are dumber than a giant A-log. Think about it, Tonka. Think about it and weep, you stupid <laughs> cunt. All right, have a good Thank night. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Later, Jim. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Jim, for... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i don't know i just sit here and think like what is his mindset why would he uh, i just there's nothing there's literally nothing he could say that would make any of this better and he just can't help himself and he's going to continue to feed it um honestly if he went away and just fucked off and never showed his face again deleted his discord deleted his discord account there's a slim chance maybe even better than slim that it you know it might amount to nothing people will just stop not Zoom, of course, but, you know, other people might stop. Uh, but he just can't, he can't find it within him to do that. Uh, you know, you would think he's not internet people. He would just, all right, whatever, it's all over. I'll just delete my shit. Uh, but the sad fact of the matter is, Donga is internet people. And he is very deep into the internet people mindset. And he just can't walk away. He's stuck. And he wants to be relevant forever. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes away and comes back as someone else or pretends to be someone else. <laughs> yeah, but that's not going to work. I mean, I thought the I same know thing, but I know it's not going to work, but there's a lot of things he tried to do that does didn't work. Well, at literally everything. Well, at least since, I mean, it was working there for Especially a while. Walking. Oh, oh, poor Donga. By the way, we have this tranny here. Is that even worth? Oh, Jesus. Joe, you have the strangest Photoshop skills. My wife is thicker than that, by the way. I'll I'll point that out. Let me bring in uh let's see, Roxy. What is even going on? All right, now you're you're some tranny that used to fuck with Donga. Is that what I'm led to believe? Um, yeah, that's exactly what. Okay, so Well, sort of. What um, I was a classmate of his back in high school. Um, he was like he was always like secretly trying to hit on me. And anytime I'd bring it up around our like mutual friend group, he'd always like hardcore deny it. Okay, so what? So how did you meet Donga? You said you were a classmate. Um, how did that work? Um, yeah, like all of our group of friends were uh, like the losers of the school. Okay, we're here. Uh, welcome to the Killstream, gentlemen, Mr. Mediker. Welcome back. It's been about nine months since you've been on the show. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Ethan Ralph, me, Medicare. I love Israel and the Jews. I believe in the Holocaust. Put it in my hey. rear clear. I love the gunt. I love your gunt. The saddest part is the Holocaust. Queer, queer, little yes. queer. Please put it in my rear. I love queers and homosexuals. Yes. Oh, shit. Crazy confession. We come from Medicare. I'm in trouble. So I knew that was going to happen. I'm glad you went ahead and did it right at the beginning. <laughs> I already knew that was going to happen. Yes, Dame Pesos is here as well, in case you couldn't tell. Uh, and Dick Masterson, Gator's here too. Uh, Flamico's in there. Rambot's in there. I still got to pull him in here in a minute. Um, Dick, what's why, up, man? Yeah, what's up? I'll be at your house here in a couple days. Now, I, I, I'm going to start Oh, maybe if the bank doesn't take it from me by then for using too many f in my private home life. Yeah, maybe. Now, that's hey, when why, you're here, can I just, like, look at your debit cards and smell them and touch them so I feel what it's like to be real again? I think I'm fucking evaporating, like, back to the future because I don't have a fucking bank. Now, I was going to start with you anyway because uh, of the breaking news with the bank and stuff. Now, tell everybody what happened for those not caught up on what's going on. Oh, I got my uh, I got my uh, right wing puberty today. The bank the, the bank deplatformed me. They they uh, the bank closed my merchant account. Uh, Chase Chase shut down my merchant account, which which I was using to power New Project Two, the Patreon alternative. Uh, bank of America did it last week, so it's been. I had a backup. I thought I was king of the world, but bam, bam, two giant banks just told me to go pound sand in the eye of my cock. Uh, I'm pretty fucking pissed about it. I'm pretty fucking pissed about it. But there you go. That's what happened. 
now they waited long enough. Now, New Project 2 has been up for, what, like seven months, something like that? A year, Six, man. Uh, it's wow. been a fucking year since Sargon uh, spilled spaghetti all over the customer service rep at Patreon <laughs> and got his account pulled. Now, you also got a, since you've been on here last, this just happened this week, too. You got a warning yeah. from Patreon. It's almost like somebody's trying to fuck with you, Dick. Like, oh, does it feel like that to you, Ralph? <laughs> does it feel like somebody's trying to fuck with you, me to you, too? God damn it. I yeah. think I missed. I I uh, I'm gonna burn a shoebox full of foreskins in the front yard tonight. As, uh, <laughs> for good luck, there's no fuck, man. This is about, this is about, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. If there's any bankers in the chat, I'm just fucking joking. Uh, yeah, it sure feels like it. Patreon sent me a warning that I violated the TOS because a couple months ago, I tweeted about the Cody Wilson verdict, saying. I was offended that the court forced Cody to give the hooker who lied about her age to to uh, to in, to entrap him or whatever to trick him into into paying her for her services. I was pissed that the court forced him to give her a five thousand dollar tip, which is what they did. Five thousand dollars restitution, <laughs> and they said I'm I'm encouraging harassment of the victim. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? This is a hooker we're talking about. Now I saw it on uh, Twitter. Somebody tweeted that uh, you know she was a uh, she was underage. Obviously, it came out later. Yeah, but she yeah. misrepresented herself as being overage. Now, by that logic, technically, didn't she rape Cody Wilson? Uh, maybe I maybe I mean, you shouldn't answer this. <laughs> yeah, I can't answer it. Or I can't, if I answer that question, it cost me twenty five thousand dollars. Never mind. Put it that way. I withdraw the question. But uh, but I started thinking Thank about you. it. And that sounded you know. To me, not ascribing my views to anyone else, I'm just saying that had a certain bit of logic to it in my I mean, it's mind. called a joke. It's like, yes, the court <laughs> just forced a guy to pay a hooker $5,000. That's, that's a tip. That's the joke. That's like, <clears throat> that's the inhumanity of legislating prostitution and then shoving a shitload of human trafficking and good old-fashioned American ingenuity from teenage girls in the mix. This is, it's a joke. <laughs> it's a fucking joke. Uh, yeah, anyway. That's not uh, that's not how my email to Patreon. When I have to, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. I don't know what came over me. Oh sorry. wait, you mean you weren't like Sargon? You didn't take a principled stand and say, you know, you can't work with them. And sorry, this. this no, I deleted it. I deleted that tweet before they even before I read the sentence. I said, here's the here's the tweet. I said, you know what? What tweet? I don't even. I don't know. I don't know. It's gone. Now, do you have any um, any ideas for you know like backup plan for New Project Two or? Hey, man, uh, I'm hoping that banks are like women and they don't talk to each other and <laughs> they like a good story and they're ready to lay down in bed with a smooth talking Mexican. But uh, we'll see. I don't know. I hope I'm not in some kind of blacklist. Now, I know some people suggested like, uh, you know, pornography, um, whatever payment. <laughs> Are you saying you should turn tricks? I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to well, go. On, I mean, on they did charge a higher com. fee, but I mean, honestly, I mean, people laugh, but that's what it's coming to. Right. I mean, no, bro. Here's the, here's the problem with that. The, <laughs> like, the porn processor guys, um, uh, they're more restrictive than regular processors because of what they handle. Their primary concern is chargebacks because, you know, you beat off right. and then all of a sudden you want your 60 <laughs> bucks back. The regret. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So they, they do not like subscription sites. Uh, they charge 12, 15 percent. Uh, there is no there's no goddamn reason a regular bank should not let me take money. Uh, but we'll see. I've talked to a lot of high risk processors, the porno guys, and uh, they, they either want nothing to do with me because like. They they want porn. They they don't want fuck politics are, and stuff like that, or like yeah. anything that might touch that third rail. You know, they're interested in bitches getting naked and getting fucked. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. Exactly. Aren't we all? <laughs> I was having such You're a nice have time to start doing the shows nude, uh, uh, Dick. Flamingo, I do that. Love the shows you nude. Don't you know that? <laughs> uh, right okay. now. So you add the clothes in post. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I've got a saline drip right into my balls right now. That's how upset I am. <sighs> Now, uh, Jim, what's going on with the Finders? For somebody who hasn't tell tell if if somebody who hasn't watched your streams the past week or so, if they haven't, uh, how would you describe the whole Finders thing? Well, I mean, it, it's funny you bring I it love up. Love Israel and the. Oh, Jews. there we go. Ah, no. There we there go. It is. <laughs> well, no, it's it's funny you bring it up because you know before we even came on air, right? We were all talking in here, and Dick kept telling me because I was telling him about the Finders, how they're a child fucking cult, and he's like. That reminds me of the bankers I do business with, but don't <laughs> tell people on stream that I have that opinion. It'll fuck it up for me later on. So, you know, 
Uh, you know, yeah, yeah, the finder stuff is weird as shit. I mean, if you read through that stuff with the CIA and just it, it, it's it's a complete clusterfuck. I had some guy on talking about it. We went a little a little off into the woods on that one, but I I, I don't know what to tell you. It's a child fucking cult run by the government. <laughs> <laughs> can you do credit card processing maybe i can get in there well you know i bet they do actually I, i'm pretty sure they do yeah probably the cia and the government don't have too much problems uh for the uh for the banks there all right now let me see i have wow quite a few of these rolled in oh uh, man let me see uh, where am I at? Oh, ask Jim if he's still friends with Joe. That was a question. I'm not sure what that's in reference to. I, 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 I somebody asked me that on a stream like a day or two. I don't know who the fuck <laughs> Joe is. You gotta give me more than just one name. Joe who? Yeah, I didn't know. The only Joe I know is Piss Pablo. Uh, <laughs> angry Joe. Uh, Nurak says the motherfucking kill stream. Kyler says it's not even hot outside. Not today it wasn't. Not here in Richmond. Vegeta Fajita says, nah, fuck you. You aren't caught up now. Oh, sorry, I missed yours. Uh, Peaceful Sunset gifted five one-month subscriptions to some users here. I'm going to skip through. Uh, shout out to the users that got that, though. Uh, Captain Falcon gave got a subscription. Ten one-month subscriptions from Spanish Inquisition. Holy shit. Yes, very kind. A bunch of people got those. 41% says, Dick Wells Fargo does business with cartels. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's a fair point, though, actually. These banks <laughs> do all kinds of dirt. Uh, end up doing all kinds of criminal shit, and then they get a little, you know, just a little tacky, little ticky tack fine, and then just keep on doing what they're doing. Uh, Cartels Natty, don't make fun of fat drugs women. on the side. <laughs> Maybe I will. They'll start doing that. I mean, you are Mexican. It wouldn't be that big of a stretch, would it? <laughs> Natty, I can't he's... stop dealing drugs because of Mexican. <laughs> I throw it in there. Natty eighty seven says, "Staying up late in the UK for this one." Hands handsome says, "Smoke and drink." in hand entertain me over to chip says time to fight club the banks oh i disavow lubu says dick can you take diners club good question uh they also called you sucks sexy but i won't repeat that colonel j says gentlemen is it even hot outside natty 87 says black pilled in the uk right now cornwall forever 1991 toyota says ian miles chong consumes dog meat yeah ian miles chong has been and I, you know i'll just toss that i don't know if you've seen this jim uh, but the last two or three days, I know you did a stream on Nick, so I know you saw all of that. But have you seen Ian Miles Chong trying to insert himself directly into the middle of this for no other reason that I can tell besides he works for Will Chamberlain and Human Events now? Um, yeah, he, he's always done that. Like, he's yeah. it's funny because Nick keeps getting shit from people like Seb Gorka, this fucking uh, <laughs> six year old guy who has to take a piss break every two minutes, and he's been calling Nick a grifter. Uh, but, you know, like when you're looking at Ian Miles Chung, he's the definition of that. He's almost like Baked Alaska. He just goes from group to group to group, inserts himself into it, has some fucking hot take, and then a month later disavows the former hot take and is now on the other side of it. He should be out there flashbanging his dinner. I'm sorry, dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, sticking his fucking nose into business that doesn't belong in it. So I don't know what he's doing. Well, you know what he was doing a year ago? He was on this fucking show. Uh, and there's clips of him on Heel Turn and other shows. And, of course, he was actually a business partner with Andy Worski and was on, you know, all now, these. Andy, Andy Worski, was that the guy that he uh, called SWAT on to get killed? <laughs> yeah, that's him. Yes, oh, that's okay. him. Yeah, that was Wild Goose, wasn't it? <laughs> no, no, I, 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 I'm fairly certain that uh, Ian Miles Chong called the Canadian police and told them, Andy Worski was on mm. drugs and had a weapon and was going to hurt somebody. That was this same calendar year, actually. That wasn't even that wasn't even last year. That happened this exact same year, yes. Uh, I don't know if you've seen that, Dick. you have any commentary? Or Dame, you've been very quiet tonight other than <laughs> the audio. Uh, I saw that uh, <laughs> Hot Wheels called you out yesterday for, for bullying him. <laughs> did, yes. did, did you but see I'm that? Yeah, he was like, your career is only made of bullying, <laughs> even though some of the people that you bully are fucking cucks. <laughs> yeah, he said your whole career, you were nothing but a bully, and that's how you got known, and, and that's what you do, and now you're bullying him. Um, and I, I didn't know if you had if you had an official response to that. Or... That's true. <laughs> yes, what career? What a fucking career. <sighs> It's fucking unbelievable how having a YouTube channel is now a career. <laughs> don't even have ads. You fucking career. You're not you worried about the money. Dame brand? <laughs> you trademark your laugh? No, uh. I'm going to sell merchandise. That's the way to do it. I recommend <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> 
Baldur's Hat. Uh, Mr. Lister I says, love Israel and the Jews. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> Best friends forever. Great my club. Oh my God. Mr. Lister says, Dick Bigelow, Mel Gigolo, Vegeta Fajita says, I paid NP2 yesterday. Did you get money, Dick? That is a fair question. It looked like they all went through according to the dashboard. Yeah, anything that went through is sitting in my account uh, for now, unless the bankers get a twitch in the middle of the night oh, to start siphoning they do that. away from that. Sometimes they do, so hopefully that doesn't. Oh, I see where this is going. It's hey. sitting in your account, isn't it there, champ? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the bank fucked me, guys. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> uh, this, is my, this is my plan all Exit along. Scan. There was no deplatforming at all. I just wanted to get all that money loaded up and then I'm gone. Are we sure it's Masterson and not Master? Well, the Israel and the Jew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, it's in there. If it processed today, it'll be in there. When I get the new account, when I get a new account set up, if I find a bank stupid enough to I, let yeah, me I'm working real them. hard over here, guys. <laughs> 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 Trust me, guys. Trust me. Um, and then I'm going to go check myself into rehab. Me and Peterson are going to be roommates <laughs> <laughs> while we're working on our systems. Oh, Hands Handsome just resubbed for a month. Hawaiian Noises resubbed for a month, two month streak. Let's see. Reno Miles says, Jim's a fed now. Neil Moon says, Ethan Ralph, it's me, Jim. Shin Chan uh, 256B says, Got a glass of whiskey, a fire, and no pants. Let's go. Cass Michael says, Dick, can you process Taco Bell gift cards? Uh, yes, I can process those on my person. If you just find a, a crevice on me and swipe them, I'll instantly. I can instantly give, give you what you want. <laughs> Nicholas Diario says quartering just said Ian used crowdfund money on eThoughts. Uh, yeah, we talked about that uh, with quartering once or twice. Uh, how not only that he lied to get uh, one of his uh, eThoughts hired at quartering's uh, whatever exclusively games. Was that uh, the one that fucked him? Well, didn't he get cut yeah. by a woman that wanted yes. to fuck Warky after he tried to get him flashbanged? Yes. <laughs> that was the one. So that was the one that actually recorded him. She's the one that put out the audio. So these are two different women. One, he got hired at Quarterings exclusively games, and then he was so bad at his job there and so pathetic and pissed off so many people he had to get fired. So that came out after. But there's another chick, and that's uh, Alex, and that's who Warsky, you know, ended up getting with later or whatever. Um, and yeah, Ian was also trying to, you know, talk to her and act all badass and cool and DMs. And that's when he told the swatting story was to her. He's a uh, Chad, so that's, man. That's a Chad That's how move. that came out. You know, that makes panties drop immediately when he's <laughs> <laughs> like, getting I mean, dog shot. I don't know what to, I don't understand why that <laughs> sounded cool or what, but. It's not even, so it's not even a story like, oh, hey, I wouldn't beat this guy's ass. Like, that's the most bitch thing you could possibly do i called the police to try yeah, to get somebody call else killed police. like what it's not oh yeah this hey, guy baby. was talking shit and i smashed his face no i tried to get somebody killed through an intermediary like what the fuck that's the most pussy thing i can do hey baby of. i can make a phone call and make people disappear hey let's it's go out like, on a date what is this uh, Reno Moss says, Dame, your laughs are like, and then they do your laugh. I love it. Zyklon Steve says, save Gorka's orcas from the Japanese groipers. Gorka, oh man, talk about grifters. <laughs> Gorka, it's almost impossible to watch his fucking show because. It, it is fucking impossible. <laughs> he, he's got like a, they were calling it a boomer bladder. Like he, he gets up every, uh, I timed it. Every two to five minutes, he goes on a five minute break. And it, it, <laughs> what AM radio station is he hosted on? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so I grew up listening to AM radio, and I still do on occasion. I, I'm not aware of, it's like, usually it's, so they come back around, what, usually like six minutes past the hour, and then they'll stay on till around 20 minutes past the hour or so, and then they'll take another commercial and come back. I don't know where he's at. He said he had two million, did you hear this, by the way, Jim, that he said he had two million listeners? And oh, I love that, that he faked the <laughs> fucking <laughs> thing. Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm getting caught by a little Mexican guy on the internet. Please give me thumbs up. And nobody would. He's just in the bathroom in a rage. <laughs> Selling his body pillows and Metamucil. That's great. <laughs> Two million listeners. He put out the clarion call that he needed your help to defeat fascism or something like that. And oh, like no. 200 people showed up. It was uh Oh, they've it been doing it to him for four years. I, I promise you, even if you're not into the politics of this, just God. keep an eye on Gorka's live stream because he's going to fucking go crazy in another week or two. He's losing his shit because they fuck with him relentlessly. They're not going to stop. Plus, him. he takes Collins. 
Oh, he, he does. does. Yeah, he takes calls. <laughs> Yeah, he does. Maybe they were all on I'm a just bleeding break. another thirty callers. I'm not sure if he realizes this or not, but they're not gonna they're not gonna stop. Uh, let's see. Kyler says, "Me Malaysian, me play joke." <laughs> Honkamania <laughs> one one seven says, "Dick, I'll give you five dollars if you spit in my mouth." That is the most disgusting super chat I think I've ever gotten. That yeah, you like, got it. Whoever that is, I'll, are you a banker? <laughs> just tell me you're a banker. I'll spit in your mouth. <laughs> All Kyler, these years, I've been coming on here telling you to support your local banks, and this is what they do to me. Kyler says me get. Uh, by the way, Ralph, we're yes. off of X tag right now. Oh yes. Ooh. Hold on. I was, waiting, we get somebody, too spicy. I was waiting. I was waiting for somebody to start screaming out racial slurs. Come on, guys, wake up. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rand is in the call room, so it's only a matter yeah, of time. Yeah, we'll we'll grab Rand here in a second. Um, let's see. Kyler says me by rope actually Kyler says me get no pussy then he says me by rope Cass Michael says will there be discussion on the finders well we talked about it a little bit but we'll probably take some calls if, if some other people want to bring it up some more Mr. Lister says isn't constant urination a sign of prostate cancer I don't know Gork, I, I, think he, I, I think he has the diabetes because he's got a bit of a like he's a hefty dude right so I'm thinking <laughs> he just sits there <laughs> drinks sugary drinks and then every time he comes back to if you watch he's always kind of fucking with a zipper He's taking a tinkle every time. <laughs> and he's scrolling. Life. Is he do you think he's actually looking at the at the YouTube chat and stuff while he's Oh I my mean, god, it, yeah. It he appears like he is. He looks oh, yeah. at his phone every fucking minute. Yeah, he's getting furious with it. <laughs> oh, Constant Matt, stars of David. Matt Fields in the Lino chat says, I would take a bullet for any of you fuckers. Love you all. Well, thank oh, you for wow. that. I hope it does. Can I use your social security number to get a merchant account? <laughs> I hope it doesn't come to that. But... I love Israel and the Jew. <laughs> Reality Check says, hey, Jim, Google Frank Fuster parole from 2018. Rebel uh, Selt says, finally, Medicare has the balls to face Bibble. Zykon Steve says, can Sweetie Squad fund Gorka's colostomy bag? We'll work on it. We'll get him one. <laughs> Shin Chan 256B says, bake my cookies, Gorka. All right. Uh, let's I like see. how you just ran over that one. That one super chat there, uh, apparently he doesn't. He doesn't have, because everybody's just been running interference. Everybody's been running interference for Jim here. For Jim, Not letting I mean, me get a here. word in edgewise. He's there, I mean. I, I'm, I'm right here. We've, we've already been on stream together. Ethan, Ralph, it's me, Medicare. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't try your tricks on me, Gator. All right. <laughs> No, he's All right, which one of you is the real Medicare? <laughs> I love Israel and the Jews. I believe in the Holocaust. The status part <laughs> is the Holocaust. I can't queer, tell the difference. You're little queer. Please put it in my rear. I love queers and homosexuals. <laughs> I think All right, that's the real, the real Medicare. I can't, I can't tell which one of you is. Ralph, it's me, Medicare. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right, Jim. Did you or did you not do your stream? I can't, I can't do the smuckles like someone we know, but did you or did you not do your stream on the finders so that you could hide? I love Israel and the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Gator. Hold on. Wait just, wait a, just wait a second. <laughs> did you or did you not? <laughs> That's the best answer. Go ahead, Bubble. Go ahead. Did you or did you not do your stream on the finders so that you could hide your own grooming activities so you could distract from that? Fucking oh. God, you got him. You got him. Targon was right all along. I got him. I got him. 112 and 0. <laughs> I rest my case. I, I am undefeated still. I wonder if uh, I wonder if uh, these finders were used for child sex responses like Terry tried to warn us of. You know, I was thinking about that reading over it. I was like, holy shit, maybe Terry Davis was actually 100% fucking correct and there really were CIA nine-year-olds trying to trying to get him to engage in legal activities. <laughs> Let's see. Vegeta Fajita says, Ralph, have you, have you ever had Lee's chicken in RVA? No, I actually haven't, <clears throat> but I've heard that it's good. Um, maybe I should check that out. Reno Miles says, Bibble. <laughs> He's quoting Bibble here. Oi, mate, the dingo ate my baby, mate. I guess that's a cue for me to see what Rambot's doing here, too. Uh, let me bring him in. Oh, shit. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Okay. Um, 
Also, BlizzCon, I saw you talking about that today. We haven't really, we covered it a couple weeks ago when the whole Blizzard stuff broke out, but we, of course, it just happened today, so we really haven't covered BlizzCon. Oh, Bl- uh, BlizzCon was fantastic. <laughs> they were showing up in uh, Winnie the Pooh suits. I guess you were following it closer than me, so maybe you could give a little. Oh, I'll uh, give you a quick, uh, yeah, I'll give yes. you a quick summary. So um, let's everybody give a congratulations to Jay Allen uh, Ballard. What the hell is the guy's name? The, the, the president of uh, Blizzard, the guy that gave the opening speech, the apology, he's close to transitioning fully now. I don't know if you saw what he looked like, but <laughs> no. that dude, he's a one foot in a dress already. Uh, so he goes up on stage and shows off his new tits. And then uh, they go and show the new games, which is basically Diablo 3.5, Overwatch 1.5, and uh, like a new dragon card in Hearthstone. So it was a real bang up fucking show. Really worth the wait. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here, I have it in uh, show lengths. Yeah, I'm showing a bunch of the pictures on the screen now too with the with the Winnie the Pooh costumes. Uh, let me see. I, oh, you have a picture of him, Gator? Hold on. Oh my oh, god! Oh wow, he does yeah, look like he's uh, transitioning. Twitter. What is? This? Yeah, doesn't he? He looks yeah. like that. Yeah, and I wasn't making that up. <laughs> this dude's a tranny. Wow, that skullet's got to go, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it looks like he's got some kind of makeup on too. And he's got a pride flag, a little pride flag, a pin on his lapel on the right. If you look on the collar, he's got a little rainbow. I think he's holding his penis between his thighs. Too. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell by the way he moves. Uh, the look on his face yeah, says it all. I'm afraid. All right, let's let's see. We do we do have a few callers. Why not why not try one? Let's see if this works. Yato, you're on the air on the kill stream. Go ahead. Oh, oh hello, Medicare. Uh, let me queer, queer, real real queer. Please put it in my <laughs> ear. I love queers and homosexuals. <laughs> it's a real meta care. Oh my gosh. Hello. Uh, I love you all. Asterios is a fat faggot. And Whoa. he got dick off of everything. We love Asterios. Don't say that. <laughs> yeah, Asterios coconuts abuses women. Me. I need a bigger TV. Dick. And guess what? Dick. You're I'm... paying. Oh, oh, oh. Defend yourself. <laughs> I don't even know <laughs> what's going on. All right. Uh, it uh. seems like another life. <laughs> <laughs> and that was uh. this week. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's try another caller. Seek a loather. You're on the kill stream. Go ahead. Yes. I eat poop. It's good morning. Good morning. Can anyone hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yes. Can anyone hear me? Good morning. Yes, we can hear Mr. you. Go. Mr. Me talk you can anyone hear me? Oh, good, you can hear me. Yes. Yes, me. Good, good. Me talk you all. I really have complaints over here. I'm an Anna Mongolian currently deciding to sing a fall. You know, I'm very far from I'm really like far from planes. So whenever I listen to Chinese, I mean, no doubt. Me, so eat dog. Monday, Matt, yum, yum, yum. Hello? Sorry, sorry. Somebody played. Go ahead, go ahead. Repeat Yo. that. Gold star. He left. He's he gone. Left. Was he so offended oh, that he left? No. Gold star gold. Oh, come on. Come back, Mongolian. <laughs> <laughs> the Mongolian fears the soundboard. Oh, man, he's Me left. Chinese. <laughs> Me play joke. Me put pee-pee in your coke. It's a happy birthday party going around. Oh, it's going good. Yeah, you know what? I don't know. I think I mentioned this at the beginning. I'm not sure if I did. I know I mentioned it during the week. This is one year since we got kicked off YouTube to the day, November the 1st, 2018. Your death day party. Yes, the death day party. We're yeah. we're still here with the with the classic background. How, my my day is going pretty good actually, Brand. How's your going? How's your day going? Oh, it's going all right. Look, uh, it was very subtle, but I did pick up on your little message there, bringing you in half an hour later. Uh, Don't worry, uh, I, I I picked up on it loud and clear. You obviously wanted me to prep by pounding ciders, uh, you know, without being inhibited uh, yes. by talking. Of course, yes. <laughs> oh, Ralph, Ralph, this is Rand. Is this yeah. is it the is this the guy you were talking about earlier uh, in private chat when you said uh, the pussy that ran away from Andrew Anklin? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's him. Um, yeah, was that was that the one you're like just keep it under your hat, Jim? All right. Yeah, I was I was saying don't mention, don't mention how scared he was of of Anglin on air. That's it's true, I'm terrified of him. He's probably got a whole bunch of questions. He's probably got a whole bunch of questions he wants to ask me that I'd be highly uncomfortable answering. Uh, anyway, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> 
Doing fantastic. That was a hell of an intro. Uh, when you when you said, I, I was looking at it and I was going, who the fuck put this together? And you said Meringue Bad. And I go, of course. Yes, that is shit about was, gold. That was even more acid washed than the, than the other Meringue Bad video that I'm going to play at the end of the show. By the way, speaking of people coming into the show, Nick Ricada is still going to join us here on the program. Uh, okay. Rand, what, do you have a, you got something to say or? I don't oh, well, got a question or, or some type of a lot of, of it profound... already got said. You know, I, I wanted to point out a few things about uh, about Seb Gorka, but I think they already got pointed out. I just want to put it. It looks like uh, kind of it kind of looks like ripped torn, and you know, if he was just fed hot, you know, incredibly fatty lemons, he's uh, he's not he's not looking too good, and uh, he's probably he's, not going to. He's, he's looking busted as shit. Have you been watching his streams, watching him freak out? <laughs> I've been watching the highlights of it. So the 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 bit where he. Um, let me see if I can do his affectation. He, you know, he, he does that fake British thing. You know, we're, they're getting bombarded by the trolls here on the YouTube, but we'll show them how strong our community is. Why don't you go onto YouTube and, and give us a thumbs up? We'll show those trolls who we are here on America First. And then he gets 500 upvotes and 3,000 downvotes. Oh, okay, nice, so- nice show in there, knockoff Riptorn. This is this is what I'm kind of wondering. Is part of this because uh, Fuentes' show is called America First? Because they both have you the same what? name. You know what? That actually show. occurred to. I don't really think it is, but that crossed my mind too because they do have the same okay. name for the show. And to be fair, I mean, look, America First. The, the saying "America First" has been out there for a while, so I won't even say that he stole it. Uh, but yeah, that did that did that did cross my mind. And Gorka, this has been brought up by others, but he does have a lot of nerve going on there and talking about what a real American... He's got, like, 15 different passports talking about real American uh, values and all this and that when he has no... I mean, he has no real ties to the country in the first place. It's kind of uh, hilarious. Uh, let's see. Uh, go ahead, Rand. You're going to say something? I was just going to put... You know, there's this... And obviously, they don't get the memes, but uh, they, every time they keep going, we... We conservatives believe, and both both Kirk and, and Seb do the same thing. We the conservatives disavow that. We the conservatives. Honestly, you know, it's like look, these fucking pod people have come in and decided that they're the real human beings. There's a you know, lot how do you of do, things, hello kids. Look, there's a lot of things they don't get, and what I don't understand is why they don't just hire somebody who clearly understands what's going on. Because just this whole week, I mean, this stuff is kind of well, been they bubbling. do. They do well, keep wait, hiring wait, people who wait. know what's going on, and then they have to fire them. <laughs> Well, I'm just saying, look, this this stuff has been bubbling for a while with Fuentes, and this whole week they've just compounded mistake after mistake, and they're making it worse and worse by responding and just blowing it up. They're doubling, tripling his audience. Yeah, uh, they are. Just, He's gained yeah. 6,000 people on YouTube yeah. and 8,000 on Twitter just in the last week from this. Yeah, it's it's unbelievable what they're doing for this guy, and I... And you know, I hate. Maybe I shouldn't say it out loud, but th- that's not the right strategy. I don't. I don't understand uh, what what they what exactly they're going for here. Uh, it just it just doesn't it just doesn't really make sense to me. That they're increasing his profile, making him uh, you know more uh, more well known, and I mean making him more money too. To be frank, so. Well, well, <laughs> you know what you have to do. <laughs> At the end of the day, their <laughs> strategy is to try to get him deplatformed off of everything, so they don't care how big of a well, profile they give yeah, him. They're yeah. just going to take it away at the end of the day. We well, conservatives think- are flying this plane, and while the racist and anti-Semitic autopilot keeps telling us to pull up, we know the true direction is by pushing the joystick straight up and plunging directly into the ground. America first. <laughs> well, Ralph, I, you know what I, you- I, you know what you I have think- to do? Uh, call into Groper's show and start talking about wooden doors. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think one of the biggest things about this is is that like Nick didn't do this as like a strategic months in preparation planning to like do this. This was on a whim, it seems, and he was well, able to like he was able he- to fill a Q and A session with nine out of eleven of his people asking like really like awkward questions to Charlie Kirk. Well, and, so like, the- that. Yeah, there's a Oops, there's, the look. There's a reason for this. First off, one of the reasons they're having a hard time slowing it down is because they have this tour schedule, and there's a different fucking stop every single day. So there's more and more opportunity to keep the keep the story rolling. So it's either a cancel the tour, cancel the Q and A. I mean, there's not a lot of good options here, so they can't they can't really stop it that way. And then when you have the Q and A section, only the most dedicated people usually get up and ask a question. So you have the people who will even show up for something like this in the first place, going to see 
Charlie Kirk speak. I, I hate to break this to the audience. That's not really seen as like a, a hip thing to do, you know. Most people got 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 other shit they'd rather do than go to a TV USA event. So you you narrow it down to that that level already. So then you have the people that show up. Then you have a separate cut of the people who will actually get up and ask a question. So if you're if you're one of those dedicated people, you're a big fan of Nick's and you're there already. You already have a leg up uh, in terms of asking a question. You're way more likely to have one of Nick's people ask a question than somebody who just got roped into one of these. A lot of times they'll fill it up by saying, um, I've, been, I've been in this shit that's happened to me before where, oh, if you go to this event where this politico is there speaking, you get extra credit in your class and stuff like that. That's how they fill up a lot of these, actually. Um, so don't don't be fooled necessarily when you see... Uh, if you see a lot of people well, there. Even with that, I mean, it's not yeah. a huge turnout. Like, if it wasn't for Nick yeah, and his exactly. audience, there'd be nobody sitting in these fucking <laughs> yeah. things. Are, uh, are, you guys, are you guys surprised by the people that have... I've been paying attention to, like, who's coming out on what side, and it, it's been it's been really interesting. I mean, you got, like, uh, Stefan Molyneux, uh, yeah. Michelle... Uh, was it Malkin, the Asian? Malkin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, what was it? I Ann think Sertovich, like, straddled the fence on it. Sort of this um, is kind of riding it. I've noticed that too, and I talked to Mike uh, recently. Yeah, he he seems to be kind of trying to ride ride the middle of it a little bit. But Ann Coulter uh, was retweeting a bunch of uh, anti Charlie Kirk stuff yesterday too. I, I wonder, Mike Cernovich doesn't want to have a Dick Masterson experience when he checks his bank <laughs> bank account tomorrow. <laughs> Ann on. recognizes that Nick is the straight Milo. He's the so, so she's got to lay in on him. She's got to. Well, I do think it. part of it is, and Jim can take it from there too but i think a lot of it is you can see which part of the you know dispute has the juice you know what i mean you can see who's the... having fun yeah exactly oh, I love Israel Israel and the captain <laughs> <laughs> the Wait, Wait, I mean, when is oj right. simpson buying that bank again ralph <laughs> wait go ahead go ahead jim go ahead jim uh, no no no. i was just saying yeah kirk's out gun I mean, you can't watch this shit take place and be like Oh, yeah. Yeah, Kirk's the one that's coming out the winner of this. Yeah. Like, the momentum is all clearly on Nick's side. Like, you don't even have to be, you know, some meme lord expert internet person to see which side is winning. Well, yeah, only one side's laughing. That's the yeah, thing. Exactly. You think random people coming across this just want to have, a, you know, a chuckle, a smuckle, if, you know, if you will. Uh, and you know, watching Seb Gorka shit himself in rage every day. Exactly. Is <laughs> fucking great. <laughs> All right, let's try to let's try to roll through some of these. I see there is quite a few callers in here. Let's see, uh, cultured Australian, you're on the kill stream. Go ahead. Hey, what's going on? What's up? Now there's a username. That's a contradiction in terms. I was about to say, I actually wore it for every single one. A walking contradiction. Go ahead, sir. Ask your question or speak your comment or or whatever. Either one. <laughs> That's neither. That, wow. Oh, that's doing, doing neither. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to say, Medicor, you're an absolute legend, bro. Uh, Ethan Ruff, it's me, Medicor. I love Israel and the Jews. <laughs> 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 it's a real Medicor. Queer, queer, little queer. Please put it in my rear. I love queers and homosexuals. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, go ahead, caller. Uh, can you see me? Yes, I can yeah. hear you. Yeah, yeah beautiful. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so I was just watching fucking Beto O'Rourke uh, brush his teeth uh, and talk a bunch of shit and I don't know, just get his like hair done and shit. I just thought it was the gayest crap, man. Uh, what are you planning on doing with that guy? Me? I'm not going to do oh, anything with him. What's the deal, Ralph? I'm not doing like, anything with him. No, How no, are you no. going to handle this skateboarding furry? Go ahead. No, go no. Up. He's he's much too... No. no. <laughs> with a rope? He's uh, he's too he's too old for me. I can't I can't Wait, handle the, that. Was that know. was that who was the with the rope coming from? <laughs> I think that, that was Gator. Me. That was yeah. Gator. Yes. Oh, I thought I thought it was Dick. I was gonna be like, kiss the Patreon. <laughs> 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 oh shit, Gator no, has I a Patreon. I'm a homosexual. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I, I'm glad I you mentioned. That, that, that I'm glad, different this time. <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned that cultured Australian uh, Beto O'Rourke. He ended his campaign today, even after he went full gun grabber 
a month or two ago. It didn't propel him. Remember when, I don't know if everybody here remembers, but there were all these articles last fall saying, when's Beto going to announce? Everybody's waiting on it. First off, he waited way too long to fucking announce. He lost a lot of institutional support and money, but that's another point. But uh, when he finally did announce, it's just been a straight downfall, pretty much. Not quite what as a, bad as Kamal surprise. Harris, but... Uh, just with, with a campaign promise like we're going to have the greatest... Uh, we're going to have the greatest domestic police action ever seen <laughs> as my inaugural act as president. Somehow he didn't he didn't make the cut. So Beto's done. Kamala Harris, there's another story. Let me see if I can uh, pull that up, actually. I have that ready. Yeah, what are you going to do, Ralph, when Beto cuts another promo like that and comes after you? That's, <laughs> I think that's the true question he was asking. When he starts saying, yes, we're going to come to your house, yeah. Ralph, and we're going to yeah. see you on the 28th that's at Madison fine. Square Garden. That's fine. I don't have any guns. I'm I'm legally prohibited from having those anyway. But, <laughs> yeah, that's right. I but, but, so I don't have to worry about him coming to take mine because I don't have any. But if, if you look at Politico, this is also another story today. Kamala Harris shutters her New Hampshire offices. Uh, it's not going very well. Ooh. If you look at the latest polls, uh, 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 she's running at like 3 4%. Tulsi Gabbard, who knifed her back in August, is challenging her in some of these polls. So Beto... And Kamala looking both dead in the water. Uh, w- what do you think 2020 is looking like, Jim? A lot of laughs. <laughs> if I'm going to be honest, a lot of fucking laughs probably coming up. Um, I wish the skateboarding furry had stayed in a little longer. Uh, who was the dude that played with dollhouses in his fucking grandma's garage? Oh, the one that, the one that wanted to, he was like, I'll nuke gun owners. He went really fucking crazy with it. Oh, um, Swalwell. Uh, Swalwell. Yeah. Of course, it's fucking Wait, a Democrat. Why wouldn't his name be Swallow? <laughs> <laughs> the, the only answer to a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a nuclear weapon. Yeah, yeah was it, <laughs> well, Swalwell, he was running for for president too at one point. Yeah, like I mean, for like fifteen minutes. So um, everyone was running for president. Who, yeah, who, who, who's left then? I mean, that's what Yang Gabbard. Uh, I mean, it's God. Is it going to go to Biden? He's so confused on stage half the time. I don't know. You know, I always no, it's thought. going to go to Biden or Sandy yeah. Hillary. Hillary's I, you know what back, I think? Right? It's going to be Biden. I think it's Biden or or Elizabeth Warren, because if you look at a lot of the fundamentals, <laughs> uh, Warren is really strong. And you look at a lot of the state to state polling. I've always thought Biden had a, you know, a clear shot pretty much. But um, he's he's been coming off. I mean, because he is. He's really old. Uh, and he's really not on the cutting edge at all in terms of policy. And his now, what clued you into his uh, his age? Was it when he referred to black people <laughs> as the coloreds during debates? The coloreds, or when his his teeth when his teeth almost <laughs> fell out of his mouth and and hit the floor? That was one. Or or when his fucking eye his eye started spontane like a blood vessel burst in his eye spontaneously <laughs> on stage. Dude, I don't think I've know. ever heard of such a thing. Like what? Oh man, this guy needs to be in assisted living, not out for president. But that's that, that's why I hope he does kind of get it because <laughs> be so good if he does. Oh, let's see. Uh, Banana Yams in the Lino chat says this is like the G seven for shit posters. Uh, let's see where else are we at. Uh, Nurak says, can we get a shout out for the roast mortem cast? The roast mortem. I'm not sure. I don't know what the roast mm-hmm. mortem is, but mm-hmm. shout out to them. Uh, Psycho Dad resubbed. Reno Miles says, Bibble, please sit up on stream. This is important. Neela Moon says, Bibble versus nope. Medicare. Chat wins. <laughs> Clifford C. Clavin just simply says, V. Stacey Marjorie with some diamonds. Cass Michael says, Asterios abuses women. That's a good topic that we're about to get to. Asterios <laughs> abuses women. Uh, Nurak says, RIP stream.me. I would agree with that. Reno Miles says, Jim, oh. 6 million to 1. Actually, it says 6 million to 0. Uh, the ratio there. Uh, bang. Wait, what does it say? Bang in your mom. Just kidding. It says boner. Bang in your mom. Just kidding. It says flaccid. Then 30 D disagrees. It says Seb Gorka looks like rip torn now. A corpse. Nurak says Seb Goika. Spanish oh, Inquisition wow. says press five for five hour stream. Game Godzilla, game. Godzilla 37 says Nick equals America first. Gorka equals Israel first. Level best says Sweetie Squad slash, slash Nicker Alliance now and forever. Jim, what question would you ask in the Q&A? That's a very good question, actually. In, in what Q and A? The Q and A. If you were up there, Charlie Kirk ones. If you oh, were up there with Charlie Kirk or Crowder or any of these people, what would you ask? <laughs> well, I wouldn't be I allowed love to Israel have a Jew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, <that's it. laughs> 
God, I, 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 I honestly, because uh, to see how uncomfortable Kirk gets, he was starting to lose his shit. I'd keep asking about the USS Liberty. The first couple times, he was like, well, let me be reasonable. This is what I think. The last one, he went full uh, Greta. How dare you ask that question? Don't you dare besmirch Israel. It's clearly irritating him now. Oh, yeah. it's pissing <laughs> yeah. him off, yeah. <laughs> At first, he's like, oh, yeah, well, I'll deal with these couple trolls. Let me show how magnanimous I am. Now it's clearly getting to be a grind. That's why I wonder if they're even going to finish this. Oh, you know what would be great? If you could because... dress up like a Jewish rabbi and yeah. get up the mic and just start. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. And you just start, you start dancing, and then you say, what am I? What am I? <laughs> See a that one, that one guy who was like, "Man, that was a racist thing." It's like I wrote, no, he went to Israel. Israelis just are the best dancers. Everyone should Google it. That was oh, uh, on the Google trend after it, everybody was looking it up. It, it was legit amazing. trended to the uh, purge. All goblins says, "Great show, Ralph. Keep it up. Very kind of you. Thank you." Eighty users says, "Thanks, Jim, for the cool made in Bangladesh hats." Rebel Selt says. <laughs> <laughs> says ask Jim his thoughts on Matt not being the father. Well, there you go. What Ooh. are your thoughts on, on that <laughs> arc from a few I'm, weeks ago? Yeah. I'm loving whoever is running uh the uh, MC Jarbo account. Oh uh, god. Fucking oh, yeah. music. <laughs> How good is that? Oh dude. I can't get over it. It it's, He's it's always almost, had really good music. It's so good it's almost wasted on making fun of somebody like Monday Matt to be honest. Almost because it's I mean it is great. But yeah, like you sit there, you, you agree with me though? Like it's almost so good that you think, "Wow, this guy could be doing this to anybody." Uh, but yeah, it it has been pretty epic. Speaking of music, uh, Dick's running. Uh, I don't know if Jim knows about this. Dick is uh, recording a, a little Christmas album about mundane Matt. You know what? I was just looking oh. that up. It's not me. It's one. Of, it's uh, My Room Records who sends a lot of music into my show. I think it's I think it's Fatsmas dot fun. Or something. He's doing a Christmas album so, dedicated yeah. to. What's the uh, what's is the name? What's the name of the album? Is it Asterios Abuses Women? That should be a bonus track. That's the base side. Yeah, <laughs> that's a bonus track. That needs to be now. I think it's Batsmas Carols. That's close. Maybe you heard it wrong. Or is but, it yeah. Batsmas for baseball Batsmas? Is that is that what it is for Asterios? Batsmas. Is that, Fatsmas is that his fun, motto? Right? Baseball Batsmas. <laughs> <laughs> Asterios and women and abusing doesn't <laughs> appear anywhere in the URL. <laughs> in the yeah. URL, just the yeah. URL title. <laughs> <laughs> oh god all right mr lister says beto dropped out yes i realize thank you for reminding me though dead kulak says if biden is the candidate he may die and i'll laugh tuesday with the diamond shout out to tuesday zyklon steve says can we get an n-word tower in chat for rand i disavow now dick what's Give me going some on? of the money <laughs> dick Oops, that was the wrong one <laughs> dick what's going on with the with the whole asterios thing Oh, God. Uh, this seems like a lifetime ago that we're talking about on Monday, I guess. Um, you know, uh, the guy was the guy was running his mouth. I heard from fr fans that he was running about his mouth about my private life. And it pissed me off because it seemed like he was cash using me as currency. And now I did overreact. You, Go ahead. Let me, <laughs> now, I just want to ask you real quick. Now, what kind of like was it malicious how he's saying it? I mean, first off, if you're saying that shit out of school, I mean, that's a violation no matter what. But. Like what? I guess in what man? I'm not asking you what he said, but like, what was the manner of it? You know what I mean? Like, what was? How I would you felt describe? it was private and disparaging, and I right. got this. I got the feeling as though it was. Be, I was being used as a currency, so he could he could gossip with a bunch of with fans. Uh, it pissed me off. I had had maybe one or two drinks, and I laid into <laughs> him on Twitter, but. The problem is, um, I don't. You asked if it's malicious. I, I don't know. I don't know. Stupi stupidity and uh, and malice kind of blur um, at some point. I think everybody. Why not both? Yeah, I think people att attribute things to stupidity when they want to like someone, and malice when they want to not like someone. But uh, I just got sick of it. I got sick of all the all the uh, the duplicity and the one story here and the and the lies that I know about. Uh, to find myself, and then immediately after he comes and asks me for fifty G's. So now I explain guess, like, that because I didn't know. Now wait, I didn't know. Hey, Dick, I didn't... I'm hitting you up for money. I need money to <laughs> not give me some money. secrets. Yeah, give me some money. No way. I need wait. some money. And wait. again, just wait. so you don't play no. a shit, give wait. me the money. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> so I didn't know the full story on the 50 G. So why don't you tell me what that is? Somebody on here, I think it was Hazen Cruz. By the way, Hazen Cruz is going to come in on Wednesdays uh, going forward uh, along with the other nice. cornucopia of hosts. Uh, here I heard you guys talking. It was like two Elvis impersonators talking <laughs> to each other, like their accents and shit. He also just, has the southern twang. This is this is true. Um, I pictured those two guys riding those fat guys riding motorcycles together. <laughs> this, 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 is, this is that podcast. I know what those guys had a I'm podcast. This Wednesday. is what it would be. Nah, but but he uh, he mentioned the 50k. Now, from your perspective, obviously you're a principal in the in the whole uh, formulation here. Uh, what happened with the with the 50k? Uh, well, after the after Maddox's law, lawsuit got tossed out, there was a possibility of a countersuit, and Asterios called into my show, uh, rolling out his GoFundMe legal offense fund, which was fine. But then he he uh, he he brought up uh, he brought up me paying for his countersuit, which is fifty thousand dollars. I thought I asked some reasonable questions about it, but uh, he didn't he didn't seem to think so, or he didn't want to hunker in for a for uh, another year long legal fight for entertainment purposes, which is what it would be. And then I never heard from him again, or I heard from him once or twice after that. It was always weird. Everyone was always weirded out by it. I was very weirded out by it. And I, I was beating myself up for the years and what the hell happened? What, you know, what was the, what was the, how could that have been handled differently? But um, that's what happened. And then I come to find out, you know, from a guy a year later that he's running his mouth and, uh, talking about my personal life, which with which pissed me off, uh, and that was the result of it. Uh, it was not. It's not behavior I'm proud of, but what can I say? You you can't. You, if you want to have overreacted, you can't go back and do that. But you can always just apologize for an overreaction. <laughs> this is That's true. my motto. But obviously, Fuck things it. were already kind of a little bit frayed. Like I mean, because yeah, yeah, and I, you know, completely from the outside, of course, and I've never talked about this ever in my life. But I mean, I I always thought it was strange how Asterios just kind of like. I mean, I, I never, you know, what I mean, like disassociated. I think in that text he talked about, oh, mm. maybe I'll reengage, reengage someday or whatever when I want to, or I, I don't know. I just thought it was really strange uh, from well, the then outside. He goes and does a show in. with a, a pedophile lover, so I guess we're, <laughs> we're not that toxic after all. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I think he goes and acts. He goes and acts like a massive bowl of fruit for over a year. Did you really overreact? I don't think yeah. most people felt. But so. it seems strange from you. To you, just on the inside too, like just like what the fuck? This is kind of weird. Like, why all I'm is saying, doing this? Ralph, is if you, you when you come in uh, when you come into my house next week, if you tell anybody what you see here, we're gonna have we're just gonna be a big <laughs> fucking problem. I'm gonna spurg out all day, every day. I Wait, what happens if we get that? Ralph back and you know, he needs a cushion to sit down and he's like, "Dick said I can't talk about it." No, but it would be like all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, but it would Don't be like all of a sudden a if time. I if I never mentioned like never. Actually, it's even worse than that because he was on your show like an official part of your show or whatever. But it'd be like if if somebody who was a big part of my show, I just never mentioned them anymore. Like I never mentioned Dick. Like uh, I came back from L.A. We did all that stuff, and I just never spoke about you again. And just I don't know. It's just it just was really strange. Uh, well, the, the, it's also that you need to put together a TED talk if you're pissed off at anyone on the internet anymore. Like, oh, why, well, what do you, what do you mean? Why are you pissed off at that guy? <laughs> well, hey, everyone, welcome to my 17 minute fucking PowerPoint of why this guy's the devil. Uh, I just took it personally and acted like a bitch. That's all. That's now. Let me ask you this: to be the Go full, ahead. the full Cock. talk, <laughs> 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 the full. Uh, there's, there's a. Uh, Somebody Go. In. Is there any way to mend fences on this? Mend fences? Uh, well, liquor liquor starts and solves most of my problems, so I'm not. So you say could no. mend things with the stereos, you say? Yeah, I, yeah. I don't see why not. Uh, right. If I could mend things with Maddox, then uh, sure, I could see things going well. But uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, I just got a bad feeling about the whole thing. Um, I don't see anything improving, but you know that's just me. All right. Dick oh. is a cock. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it wasn't me. It was stereo. Well, you know that any if anyone asks me if we're cool, I have to say yes. So anyone besides Matt asks me if we're cool, I have to say yes.
Oh, 80 user says, oh, I already read that one. Hold on. Where am I at? Uh, let's see. Oh my goodness. That was uh, the weirdest shit with Matt. Hawkamania117 <laughs> says, Juice Stereos, uh, and he uses a, a certain substitute for, for Stereos' last name, abuses Palestinians. Pro Truth oh. Antimedia says, I have a huge Gorka drop. All right. He says mm. he has, he says Ooh. he has a, yeah, he but said, it'll just be a toilet flushing effect. <laughs> Wait, he says he has a Gorka drop. Let's see. All right, what's the Gorka drop? All right, just... can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes, we can. Okay, so you know the point you uh, the other day when you were live streaming, he talked about how he was praising the the Hungarian rising of 1956. A guy called in and Gorka was all, yes, that was uh, amazing. I wouldn't be alive today if that didn't happen. And it was explicitly an anti-Jewish uprising, for those who know their yes. history. Yes. Oh, yeah. if, if you look up David Irving, um, Hungary, in YouTube, you'll find him giving a talk explaining how in 1956, anti-communist uprising was originally started as an anti-Jewish pogrom because the, com the communist government was so filled to the brim of, with Jews. Well, didn't, well, didn't, well. His, uh, didn't Gorka's mother work for yes. David Irving? Yes, and I was about to mention yes. that and ask Shit. that to the panel. How is he just not going to address that whatsoever after he tried to smear Nick Fuentes? And I, and I mentioned this on the show and on Twitter. Gorka was a member of an arguably of an arguably a Nazi organization himself, or at least a Nazi adjacent or or praising organization. And his mom worked for Please David don't, Irving. Don't take away my depends. I <laughs> no, need but, the, man, so he's a member of. Hold up, hold up. He's a member of that organization. His mom worked for David Irving, and he's trying to smear Fuentes as the as like the Nazi. I don't know. It's just kind of it just boggles me. It's mind amazing what you'll do for money. Yeah, but if you go back and listen to that clip, uh, you'll notice that. Uh, that uh, Gorka gets incredibly uncomfortable when the guy calls in about the Hungarian uprising because Gorka knows. Yeah. He's kind of got a funny looking nose, though, I think. I'm just pointing that mm. out. Do, do you think he might no, be um, a, a rootless cosmopolitan? We don't he does know. have Thank three you. citizenships. Thank well, I'd like to make one three? last thing. Can I mention one last thing real quick? Quickly. Um, Go. Now I watched. I heard that Richard Spencer is really like salty, so I w listened to him on GFG. And one thing that I noticed that was really funny is how bad he wants this to be an alt right thing. This is pure Ted Pike, True News, Michael Jones, paleo conservative energy, and the alt right is dead. Nobody wants to sit around and jack off about ethno states anymore. It's over. I don't know. I, I well, haven't Spencer's heard. Spencer's always had a hate boner for Fuentes. No, Fuentes, look, like, I that, haven't heard. That's look, been going back for yeah, a I while. I haven't heard what like, Spencer said, but thank you. Thank you for calling in, man. Yeah. yeah I, hasn't I, Spencer I always been, like, explicitly hated Fuentes and call him, like, a smarmy little kid or something? All right. Yeah, they're not on the best of terms. I think that's safe to say. Reno Miles says, Dick, I need Dr. Phil episode four to five. Please, man. Oh God! What a what an emotional roller coaster this week. The ten year holy grail. Oh, my Doctor Phil episodes are out. We're gonna Ralph. We're gonna watch those when you're here. Let's I wanted do to it. Save it for you. I actually download. So I knew they would get taken down. I had yeah. the intuition. So I downloaded them, and I was going to watch some and maybe even play some of the show. But once you put that tweet out, I decided not to. I was like, No, no we got to do not, it. Yeah, I was like, I'm not gonna watch any. Yeah, we'll just wait. Till you guys there, need to so. record your watching of it and uh, re-upload it as uh, transformative that. content. <laughs> I well, Dick, if I can ask you a question about this, and it's not a Coming spoiler because I think you'll clearly remember this this particular part of it. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's a bit where um, where Doctor Phil says, "Well, most of these people here are genuinely looking for help." But you, Dick, you're looking to make money off of this. And you just yeah. smile and say, yeah, of course I am. And I was just wondering, like, <laughs> why else would I be on this show for pigs? Yeah. It, it, it seems like he, was, and the he, he looked like he was genuinely annoyed. And he was, like, genuinely taking a swipe at you. And I'm like, but, but you you approve, like, you, you, you're the dude. You're the one who ticked the, ticked, ticked the box. And you knew exactly what Dick was there for. So why are you looking genuinely outraged that Dick's here to sell a book? 
you know, like you knew I was a snake when you let me in the door. Yeah, I, I, Dr. Phil made more money off of that than I did. Like he he uh, he had some guy lined up to be a misogynist, but he wasn't funny. It was some old guy who was sad and <laughs> genuinely angry. And then they found me and was like, oh, this fucking asshole will work, will work for free for a whole week. Just get him in here. He's a soundbite machine. Uh, I think Dr. Dr. Phil knew what was going on the whole time. He's uh he, he knows exactly the deal. Yeah, there. come on. So Look you don't reckon well, you don't reckon that was a genuine dig? That was just there for the telly? No, that's a that's a chick wrestling is is Dr. Phil. <laughs> that's a woman's mm. version of wrestling. Now, that's what all, about the the, the Goose Wayne yeah. thing? So yeah. I saw I saw Goose Wayne. I mean, there's no way. Like I I I listened to him on your show and I think like he was partially afraid to break character. I think so uh, too. You saw did you notice that too? Like I was like, yeah. "Come on, man." Like Nah, come on. I'm I'm a lifelong wrestling fan too, and it's like, uh, come on. I know I know what's fake. You weren't running around town like you're Batman. Come on. No. Yeah. Same with his girlfriend. Um, yeah. They're good at it though. They are. They're good at it. Now, they're can school. I can I bring up this one's a little bit less known, Dick. There was this one part where uh, this woman came up to a mic and she uh, <laughs> she she was saying that she she wouldn't date you. Uh, or she would be at the back of the line. <laughs> Do you remember that one? I mean, that's a that's a bit of a deep. Lore. It sounds familiar. That part sounds familiar. Okay. Did you ever find your uh, your rosebud? <laughs> your white whale. my white whale. No, I really, I really <laughs> want to like get her. If you like rosebud more, I I really want to get her <laughs> and that old broad um on the show to watch it or maybe watch it live or something like that. Um, yeah, but we'll we'll watch it while you're here. We'll uh, I'll try to get everybody in on that one because it's uh, it's probably the, it's the second best thing I've ever done after the lawsuit, after the lawsuit. But uh, I'm really excited about it. I can't believe they were. I got a I, recommendation. Go ahead. Sorry, when you when you get up to that bit, that bit where you say, "Well, if you hit the treadmill, you'd be at the front of the line." Pause it right there, and then slow the playback speed down to zero point two five speed. You will see her eyes dart back and forth around the room about six hundred <laughs> fucking times before she claims that she didn't hear what you said. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> um, I gotta find uh, her well. and buy her a nice new trough or something. That she's <laughs> and alive. Ralph, uh, uh, chat saying uh, check your DMs. Uh, Jim wants on. Check the D. Okay, I'll be. Ethan serious. Ralph, it's me, Medicare. <laughs> Jim, do you have any predictions for Ralph in I LA? I believe in the Holocaust. Yes. I wanted to ask you that. Well, I, you know, I, I, I'm afraid for Ralph because he's not going to have Coach there to save his life, right? But, <laughs> <laughs> who's going to run out of the street and save him? Oh, I don't. Yeah. Wow. That's true. Ralph, I'm not as protective as Coach Redfield. I'll, <laughs> I'll just let you get pulled in. <laughs> oh, well. Three more. I'll have to I'll have yes. to be on guard without coach's uh, guidance there uh, in Los Angeles. Oh man, yeah, that's coming up, man. Monday. This is where Monday. it all ends, Ralph. It's just a lemonade, trust me. <laughs> so it's Ralph. Hey Ralph, these you are just some pixie sticks. Just snort these. <laughs> <laughs> it's candy, Ralph. Oh, is that Rakita? <laughs> I see in the hangout. That yeah, is yeah. Nick Rakita. I was waiting. This is great. Yes. Everybody's in the same spot. I can apologize to everybody for fucking over <laughs> your subscriber platform. No, yeah, you really. son of a bitch. You better write me a check. What the hell's yeah. wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> it's self in here. I can apologize to her too. Nick, how's it going, man? What's up? Hey, good, man. How are you? Pretty good, man. It's been one year since we were gone off YouTube. We have a big show going here. How you how you doing? What what's been going on with you? What's the burning let me just ask you this right off top. What's the burning issue on your mind or that has been on your mind the past seventy two hours? The burning issue on my mind the past seventy two hours. Uh shit. Um, well, I just took my wife to see Joker and I'm really Ooh. concerned that I turned her into an incel and now my <laughs> night is ruined. Uh, <laughs> is she she talking about, uh, society and stuff? She's talking about you get yeah. what you fucking deserve. Is that, did she, did she utter that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. She keeps saying, R R U. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, last night I read a, I read an article for, as part of my Halloween show. And it was, it was about this chick who apparently, um, she immediately joined the alt-right and became a racist after her boyfriend went to the gym. 
and I'm not even joking. That's how CNN categorized it. Is her boyfriend started lifting weights and telling jokes, and then suddenly they were both racist members of the alt right. It was the greatest thing uh, that could have happened. So I'm I'm Makes a little sense. concerned. I, I listened to Jim before I joined the alt right. That's a, <laughs> that's that's a good one. But also the the oh they read books a lot. That that's another one that I've heard. Like oh they well they the, read a lot of books. Like, these these guys were burning books, so I I don't know. They that was <laughs> that was apparently what they do is they they sit around burning books and listening to Richard Spencer. That was I, I learned a lot from this article. It was very helpful. So I'm I'm concerned about that, and I'm also concerned for my children. That yeah, they will... I only listen to Richard Spencer while I'm working out. <laughs> oh, <my man. laughs> the really... effeminate lisp really powers me through those last couple of reps. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, uh, oh, now the the meth guys from Breaking Bad that I'm going to to be my new bank are really going to be upset that I said that. I'm going to have to. Apologize. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, that's been on my mind too. Just just the the nonsense that people have to deal with, um, particularly Dick here, trying to just uh, here. Let's just have a place where people can process credit card transactions. Oh nope you you saw you said a joke once. Uh, too bad. Get out. <laughs> It's, that's always on my mind, though. So I don't know if that qualifies the last 72 hours. No, it's good enough. Clifford C. Clavin says, Dick, just ask the payment processors, are we cool? <laughs> uh, I'll try it. <laughs> uh, that person, Irwin, is their screen name. and something else, but I won't say. It says, Matt Jarbo loves the taste of Tyrone's hot loads. Cass, Cass Michael hmm. says, Dick's new co-host praised, praised the Deadspin Journos. Cast Michael says, I don't know what that's about, but whatever. Cast Michael says, as badass, he's a kick Vic SJW. Rob Mac 7733 says, Dick, how good is it to have the full doctor? It actually says Dr. Pill tape. Dr. It's fucking great, Phil. man. And they can't, it can't ever be scooped out of the internet again. That's the best yeah, part. Yeah, it's out there forever now. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's great. It's cringe and wonderful at the same time. Gordzilla 37 says, can we get an Australian version of Ram Ranch tonight? <laughs> Gordzilla 37 says, Wait, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I do, no, by the way, I do want to say reason. this. I do I do want to say this. I do want to do a Christmas Carol version of the kill stream this year. So I will I will put that out there uh, now while everybody's here to see if anybody's down. But I, I am thinking about doing uh, surrounding. Of course, we'll, we'll sing some of the Monday Matt songs, too, if that. If that actually happens, we have to I... sing fats. In this yeah, panel. exactly. That's what I'm saying. Well, I mean, I'll, t I'll tell you what. I'll do a version of "I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas" <laughs> if you agree to do it in blackface. <laughs> <laughs> do it now. Wait, do what it. do what do I have do to it. sing in black? You're gonna sing though. What do I have to sing in blackface? Well, no, 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 no. You you just still be the image. I'll be the voice. <laughs> Uh, do I have to decide we'll get, right now? We'll get to paint you. <laughs> yeah, I have. Ex <laughs> Listen, I have experience in this field. Oh, uh, yeah, you know. I'll send you my resume and a portfolio of my work. If Nick's down to give me the expertise, then then I'll agree. How about that? <laughs> well, uh, I'll compare notes and and figure out how to do it. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're down. That that'll be that'll be a great way to celebrate the birth of uh, baby Jesus. I feel like. Godzilla 37 says alt right is just a label for those that are uh let's see Godzilla 37 says J aware we're not going away Ice Griffin says Richard CIA Spencer hates Fuentes color me shocked Sp Spanish Inquisition says shit wave speds have resorted to a logging flam sad I haven't seen that but yeah Augie says uh, the crew yeah I don't know Augie says the crew is back great to see Fuck Goika, and when is Medicare doing his morning show again? Well, you see, I had a great morning show on this one oh. platform, but you know, it was run by oh. fucking communists who couldn't handle oh. the banter, and they, they, they uh, you know, uh, made me exit from the platform. They actually, oh, the, God, you know, I actually, right. no, they fucked up. You Look, know, I actually, wait, wait, wait. Let me say this. Let me say this. Right after that happened, of course, I was asleep because I don't get up that early. Because I'm usually asleep by that time. But anyway, so I got up later. Yeah, I was asleep. But I got up later in the day, and the guy I talked to here on staff, he messaged me. He said, hey, can you 
can you message Jim? Like, what's going on? And, oh, it was a mistake and this and that. And I sent you by the end, of course. <laughs> of course, by the end, it was too late. It's you know, a coincidence. I was just, yeah, I was like, oh, man, you guys fucked this. up. I was like, you guys fucked yeah. up because I already know you're not the type. Like, oh, they kind of uh, just spit in your face by just taking well, you, you off. Know, like the, oh, I was like, oh, man. I love it. You got, somebody, actually, you, you got somebody in your chance like, get over it. Well, fuck that. I'll just string nah, money into No, nah, like, I was like, I'm not going to cut my head on this. Uh, real, yeah. uh, but real, real, real quick, Jim, there is, there is a, there is a chance because they've been, uh, they've been paying some uh, more edgy content creators to like stream exclusively here now. I know uh, Seth Sintaj. Oh no, I'm, I'm aware uh, of what's going on behind the scenes. I had some of those exclusive content creators message me and say, like, I, I promised I won't say, but essentially apologizing <laughs> for a mistake. Yeah, that that's way. what they were trying to say to oh, me. Yeah. Like, oh, please tell them we're sorry. I was like, I don't think it's gonna do any. I mean, you're just, I mean, I would just say leverage it, get some money from them at this point. It's like, oh, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, I was going to ask, money. is there any, how many like, hats are they going to have to buy? Now, uh, is, is there a way that you would stream on DLive again, or was that just such, I, you know, I mean, I was enjoying it. You know, I was, do, I was doing my little morning show. It started off as like 500 people watching. I got up to like three, 3,000 after a month or so. And, you know, we didn't fuck with anybody, we stayed in our little hole. Yep. You know what I mean? Like we we weren't trying to get on the front page. We didn't go bother other streamers. You weren't sniping people on. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to be left. Uh, I, this is why I miss stream me. I, they just they didn't give a shit. <laughs> they let's do whatever. Really. Um, now you know I, I I I guess I shouldn't burn bridges, but uh, fuck it, hand me the kerosene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I knew I knew they fucked uh, up, and I was like, oh man, what are you guys doing? And it was over something dumb. I someone... forgot. I, actually, I forgot exactly what it was over. Now, what was the what was the reasoning that they gave again? Uh, well, I heard a couple of different reasons. For oh that. no, I know what it was. Oh, oh, I, I know what it was because I re <laughs> I restreamed. Um, How the was, fuck I, do you no, know? I was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I do, I do, I do, because um, I was restreaming Jim's, um, his post stream after he got kicked off of D-Life. He did the YouTube stream right afterwards. It's because you were going after um, uh, Razor, oh, yeah, whatever the, the fuck rapist. his name is, the, the rapist, because he, you know, yeah. you were talking about sexual assault, not like endorsing it. You were going after a person who was like clearly a person. Oh, yeah, oh, you're, yeah, you're, that's you're, right. tell you're telling me they banned me for going after a rapist yes yes <laughs> okay i hope you learned your lesson oh yeah i learned my lesson I'll That's be honest, because i got word. i got um <laughs> because when i was restreaming it i got like i got angry dms from the staff there it's like hey you, you can't be doing that it's like oh okay so this is what it was yeah but they yeah. reversed on that immediately i don't know no, it's no, just no, a shame did. i mean that, yeah, that is fair they did you know they tried to get a hold of me within the, the next day or so and tried to apologize i get it yeah, um man. But if, if BitChute ever allows streaming, I'm never leaving BitChute. Oh, uh, BitChute. Yeah. I was going to ask you about uh, BitChute yeah. uh, because I've been uploading. There's there's quite a decent audience on BitChute now. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, that, it's really uh, been taken off. It's yeah, not I, like it was. There's a good there's a good base there. Yeah, go ahead. Well, yeah, I mean, I've, I've heard other people from like YouTube say, oh, you're not going to get any views. But I mean, I've had a oh, couple shit. of videos go over 100,000 now over there. So, I mean, there, there are definitely people over there watching. Yeah, I mean, it's still not. I also noticed necessarily where it needs to be but like the audience is it's not just you know it's not well, it's, ghost town over there now. i mean I, I can go watch yeah. somebody make a fucking joke i can watch murdoch murdoch uh people are putting up whatever the fuck they want really as, as long as it's not egregiously illegal uh bitch, yeah. pretty yes. we, we saw your video jim we know you can put up <laughs> yeah you know i was gonna <laughs> ask you yeah. really been enjoying really uh, away with that shit. has it kind of sparked like a um, like you're, I don't, I don't know how you would say it, but kind of just uh, oh, yeah, sparked are. your creativity, made it more fun. Now that you can say a little bit more of what you want, put and this now, joke now that in. I can and use not... the words that I want to use. Yeah, yeah. Now that I can put the. Well, I mean, yeah, because now I get to do dolphin porn. Now I get to show you how <laughs> fucked up furries really are, and not have to explain it. I can show you these degenerate fur fags doing the shit they do. Exactly. Oh, I'm you sorry. Is that your did you appreciate? <laughs> did you did get you a woman penalty, having... penalty for me saying that? I'm sorry. <laughs> fur frick. We call them fur fricks. I'm sorry. Uh, I thought it was fur figs. Yes, figs. It, That's, that's our workaround Wait, lately. Ralph, <laughs> did you just ask him if posting a picture of a uh, tranny getting their dick cut up has really sparked his creativity? Is that what you? <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty creative. Well, when you think about it, trans surgery is pretty hot. It's highly fucking creative. It's pretty hot. Is that what you said, Rand? 
<laughs> that was a Freudian slip. Whoa! It was. It, it was a. It was a Freudian slut right there. But uh, Tim, <laughs> did you appreciate having having Bitchute personally tweet out? We don't recommend anyone watch your video. But that's, <laughs> I, well, I, yeah, I, I love the fact that they did that. You know, um, yeah, it, it's really relaxed. I, I mean, yeah, if you're gonna go there to try to do something illegal, they're not gonna let you do it. But if you want to laugh at fucked up shit, they're not gonna care. All right, let me read this. Seneca Chief says, which one of you would win a drinking contest? Ralph. Ralph. No, I'm really... Ralph. <laughs> well, what, 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 so, right what are we defining the winning condition That's as? That's terrible. They, they, <laughs> give me the, they give me the win. I'm like Floyd Mayweather retired, and they try to give me the victory. Oh, man. <laughs> That's not a good analogy. Floyd Mayweather keeps coming out of retirement. <laughs> I mean, it's <laughs> probably true. But still, all right. Reno Miles says, "Didn't Noel have his credit card stripped from him?" I didn't see. All I know, what is going yeah. on with Noel exactly? I know I, I I messaged him before the show. I know he's had some problems in Ukraine or whatever. I think he left Ukraine. I don't know exactly. He um, has some problems stateside with a, a grand jury subpoena. Yeah, but I was going to really? try to get him on the show, and he's not. You know, he's not where he used to be and stuff. So. Well well, I caught I caught part of his uh, stream where he went into it, and like from what I can gather is he's had people uh, DDoS him, and like it's a very um, dedicated person, so he's had to since start kind of uh, tracking, I guess like users on the site, and because of that, now like federal prosecutors want him to relinquish the details of that and he can't delete it because that would be destroying evidence so he's like he's kind of pissed off about that i watched um i watched niles last stream and uh he, he didn't have he didn't have a lot of kind words for the united states government i gotta say he said something along the lines of um in regards to him being subpoenaed isn't it interesting how they make more grandiose demands as their power on the world stage wanes Uh -oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna commit suicide soon no. oh no don't say that oh. Nurex, Nurex says hey dick the new news babe is a real peach uh, oh yeah know. she's amazing she's upstairs too I should probably get back to her uh, <laughs> Null yes. no, I, I think I lost a merchant account on uh, on Null's shirts because I ran I ran them through there there was no problems with it whatsoever and then immediately after they ended uh the bank terminated that account that was Bank of America um it's really wild I don't know what to, I don't know what to make of it because everything that comes out is in a black box um and we're talking about selling t-shirts so like no one cares no one no one can possibly understand it but they got some kind of checklist and he's he's on it um I don't know maybe Trump's going to send a dog after no, if he if he keeps it up, but <laughs> he's just he's uh, monitoring the situation. Yeah. Reno Did you Mom. guys ever go ahead. think yeah, go ahead. that like uh, I mean, isn't it weird to be part of something that is so threatening to the largest credit card to the largest like financial powers on the earth that they have to shut down your shit posting T-shirt sales? Like, I mean. Honestly, no, because I remember being a kid and teachers like having meetings with my parents like this guy's just making too many jokes Like he's got to stop it. We got to have a meeting about this guy's fucking jokes like yeah, it's just always it's always now it's the government having meetings with my bank about too many fucking jokes. It's always been this way. Uh, I don't think it'll ever change, but uh, But like they won't shut down the credit card of you know, like Syria. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> yeah. But your t-shirts, man. Or like rapists, out. like convicted rapists with DNA. They can walk into a Chase branch and open up a fucking credit, open up a fucking savings account, but not me. <laughs> well, I mean, why would they why would they want to deny credit card processing to such an austere uh, Islamic uh, theologian? Why why would they ever do that? Good point. Reno Miles says, Jim, come back to D-Live, man. Stop being gay and edgy. Well, yeah, uh, yeah. I'll, let me, I'll, I'll be right back. Hold your breath. <laughs> that's, how you, that's how it'll work. Ice Griffin says, Jim, you give me a reason. You have to beat him in a breath-holding contest. Ice Griffin says, Jim, give me a reason to wake up in the morning. Nurak says, God damn it, I'm going to say it again. RIP stream me. Uh, Hawaiian oh. noises. Let's see. With the pumpkin. Mr. Lister says, send all zoo files to the dolphin caves. 
and I think. Well, they'd like I that. Think. I don't know. Yeah, we... say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a caller. Oh my God. Oh, uh, what is Bronx Blogger wants to call in? Oh no, boy. No, we're having we're having fun. Don't bring on Bronx. <laughs> I love Israel and the Jews. I mean, making we're fun queer, of a little queer. Please fun. put it in my rear. <laughs> I think you should have him on. I mean, we're, we are having fun. Do you think and so? He'll bring, he'll bring some positivity to the situation. All right, why not? <laughs> Bronx blogger, welcome. Oh, he left. Oh, he left. Soon Whoops. as he. I love queers. Oh, the people's internet sucks oh, again. He's back in. He's back in. All right, let's try him again. Mm, that's right. how he got sick. Bronx blogger. <laughs> oh, my God. Am I, am I on? Yes. He saw a twelve-year-old. He had to. No, realize. you're just. You're <laughs> <He's> just... <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh, There's a twelve-year-old somewhere in the AFK. He's hunting for him right now. Oh. <laughs> well, Christ. we'll we'll have to try him again. Here Data in society's finest. <sighs> Kropotkin, go ahead. You're on the kill stream. No. Okay. All right. Best caller yet. Ethan Ralph, it's me, Medicare. <sighs> I love queers and homosexuals. <laughs> Thank you for that. Bronx blogger, go ahead. <laughs> Bronx, speak! Okay, yes, stream muted. I got to use push to talk, man. I what the fuck? Turn talk. that Holy shit God. off. What's your problem? Push, push to receive AIDS. <laughs> No, oh, then he dropped okay, right again. Oh, come on. I left again. What the if fuck? Metaker wants to tell you something. Believe I don't me. know what's weaker, his connection or his T cells. No, come on. All right, Agent Smirnoff. Oh, no, go on. Uh, <laughs> where did Smirnoff go, by the way? Did he just completely drop out when I tried to bring him on? He, right, did. he did. He did. Out. What the fuck? Reloaded AK, go ahead. You're on the kill stream. Oh, hey, hey guys. I don't have Hello. too much tonight. I just wanted to mention what? What I miss? Nothing. Speak. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, uh sorry, I had to meet the stream. Um I didn't have too much tonight and I wanted to mention that uh, HN just posted a few minutes ago on Twitter about them maybe may maybe oh, yeah, tomorrow. maybe tomorrow morning. Yeah, maybe oh, tomorrow morning. Shit. Didn't know if you I guys wanted to talk about that day. for a bit about, oh, you know, shit. Jim and uh the 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 biggest roller in the in the the business, <laughs> Hot Wheels, the biggest so, role. That's, you know, oh. the biggest, biggest role in the business. Oh, thank uh, you. I can hear an electronic scooter powering up in the distance already. Thank you, Reload. I appreciate hey. that, man. Oh, no problem. Have a good night, guys. Now here's the tweet uh, from A Chan, the Infinite Chan account. Migration is still ongoing. Some boards have a lot of content. Existing accounts for boards that are already migrated should work just the same if everything goes right tomorrow morning might be it board migration will continue after the launch uh that is from uh, their official twitter account what do you think uh jim <laughs> i actually wanted to hear you weigh in on this about how dedicated hot wheels uh has been to to try to keep them uh off i don't know if off the air is the right word or you know well, offline. Yeah, they're, they're there's been a lot of bad blood between obviously Watkins and uh, Frederick. Uh, the thing that I that I found weird is, and, and I'm wondering if what's kind of pushing this on to go as long as it has, is didn't he go to meet with somebody who was a representative of NT Technologies? Yeah. And my thought is that they had they came to an agreement where they would do something but not try to reuse the name. But when they came back as Aitkun, I think that pissed him off so much that he's like, well, if you're not going to honor our agreement, I'm just going to fucking try to wipe you out. Yeah, because that's what I thought. Because uh, Frederick, uh, you know, slash Hot Wheels posted some tweets about it, and he posted some audio. I forgot the guy's name, uh, but it's somebody with NT. You know, Jim Watkins, his whole his whole group there that works there, and he posted that audio, and it seemed like I don't know. He would say things were cool, but it was more of like a ceasefire or whatever. And then all of a sudden, he just went on this. You know. It's well, yeah, because like, it was like a day or two after that that they said, "Oh, we're going to come back as uh, yeah. it's an eight an eight coon." Yeah, uh, but yeah, he's and the, then he's been hitting the Q thing really hard. Like he's he's speculating that uh, uh, Q on eight chan is actually wa not Watkins, but uh, some guy. What was the news outlet that he's connected to? Huh. 
Wait, you mean Watkins? So they got him doing double duty. When the feds hired him, they said, we need you to keep 8chan down and push the QAnon. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm sorry. What I mean, Watkins had a site called Goldwater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gold, Goldwater. That's what I'm saying. Uh, no, I, uh, yeah, because that's what Hot Wheels has been saying, is that Q on 8chan is the guy that runs the Goldwater. Oh, okay. Mm. No, I didn't realize he was actually saying that. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, there's uh, been a ton of back and forth. I've been, I've been watching this shit, watching them just go at each other. They get a new provider. He takes it down. It's been going on for like a month. Yeah, so they took him out. So they tried to host in China. There was a couple other places. I think they tried to use Russia, too, and that got shut down. I don't know what they're actually using now. Uh, I would have to see what what Hot Wheels. Oh, look, it actually pops up. Let me see if he's tweeted. It was some Russian uh, thing. Selectal or something like that was the person they went to. They tried Tencent, and they tried a couple others. Yeah, that was the last one. I think was the was the Russian one. Uh, all right, let's let's take some more calls and and we'll see. Let's see. Uh, Will be you're on the kill stream. Go ahead. Hey. Uh, hey. Let me mute the stream. Okay. Uh, so I have a question for Jim, and then I was uh dared to say something. It's not bad, but it's pretty funny. Okay. So, uh, do you think that Epstein is connected to the entire Finders thing? I, I don't know if he's connected to the finders thing per se, but I, I'm pretty sure that he's probably doing something very similar to what they were doing and probably connected to certain people that may have been involved in that. All right. Thank you. And then I, all I have left is this. All right. Thank you, caller. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, damn. Go ahead. Damn. First. You're on that the kill cold. stream. Hey, can that you hear me? Cold. Yes, go ahead. I got a question for Dick and Jim. Uh, what's your favorite football team? And if it's not the Chiefs, why are they better than the Chiefs? <laughs> oh wow, mine's the Raiders because I'm Mexican. So they, if you're if you're not into the Raiders, then uh, they revoke your card. Uh, they're dirty. They used to be dirty in an old time NFL that that could be dirty, uh, but now they're just losers. So. <laughs> and Jim. Uh, yeah, I'm not even a football guy. I, I'm just I'm a I'm a pathetic little weeaboo neat, and I play my video games. <laughs> so I'm the wrong oh, person. Manga, you weeb. I know it's terrible. Go Pats! Eight no, Chief sucks. Something. All right, all right. Thank you. I appreciate you calling in to this. As Passionate always. sports foul crowd. <sighs> Chiefs are hurting a little bit. You're gonna find him hanging from the bathroom. Chiefs are hurting just a little bit. All right. Let's oh, Bronx see. got frustrated and quit. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Just like his white cell count. I knew that was <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't like sports ball, then I guess the next question is, who's your favorite uh, Mario Kart uh, Carter? <laughs> my my favorite Mario Kart Carter? Well, I probably Bowser because I like I like watching that fat ass just whip around her, uh, <laughs> like a drag. There you go. There you go. It's just like the Chiefs. Donkey Kong for sure. <laughs> All right. Let's uh gee, I'm surprised. <laughs> you say you like watching a big gorilla ride things, Ralph? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Yes, wow. sadly, Brent. Is, that, that is sa sa sadly Nick we've made three attempts to get the big gorilla that likes riding things on the Nicholas, show and he keeps dropping That out. is disgusting. Where did that come from? Wow. I what are you talking about? I'm just I stating facts. Bro. I mean, I didn't I never <laughs> thought about it in those terms. Nurek All right, says, guys, I got to get out of here. My debit yeah. card's ev evaporating <laughs> in my wallet. I'm going to go I'm going to go door go to door use and it. open you those only have a few hours left before them. they cancel all that shit. Yeah, oh, I got to I got to live like a human while living is still good before they come, before I just wake up in a mattress in a lot <laughs> and they take my house away. Uh Ralph, I can't wait to see you now legally shit yes. in the street. Before, I'll see you soon. Before you go, you, you like before you. I go, before you go, Dick was yeah. uh, was creating a super successful podcast and making uh, out of you your know, plans. Was, was this all just like one like long convoluted scheme to get your hands on the Doctor Phil tapes to get yes. like, people that would find him? Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna quit. I'm just gonna stop now that the tapes are out. <laughs> it's actually just part of my plan to meet that that beautiful. That beautiful uh, rotund woman who challenged me. No one had ever challenged me like that on the stage before, and, and none has ever challenged <laughs> me since. I just want to meet her. I want to get this word out there so I can meet her, take her to dinner, uh, caress her supple wrists. 
Uh, ask her how her life has been for the last ten years. That's she'll, that's my that's my long. She'll plan. put it down so hard. You right. will, will you take? You will you finally one take one. those sunglasses off for her? <laughs> <laughs> no, I will give for the love making. You're saying I'll give her a pair of aviators. That's what that's what I'll do. <laughs> well, it probably is by now a highway to the danger zone, so that's appropriate. Yeah. Uh, congratulations. Ralph on your death Thank anniversary. Thank you. Death I appreciate day. that, man. See you soon, man. Have a good one. Yeah, see you guys. See you guys. All right, Take it later, buddy. Yeah. All right, let's see here. Uh, according to a according to a, a friend of mine who's DMing me, apparently Sargon called in to Gorka's show. No. Oh, did, did, did oh boy. Wait, he's dead. what? The joke is dead. No, no it's come on, it can't be. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting for I'm waiting for clips or anything, but if uh, if it shows up, I'll I'll definitely post it in. But he's saying, I'm yeah, really he's holding in. out hope that Sargon somehow runs for parliament because they're about to have an election. Oh, I've weekend. got an update for you. I've got an <laughs> update you. for you on that, by the way. Please uh, tell yes. me. Uh, well, uh, yeah. I, I'm sad to announce that he is officially leaving the Yuka party. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> by the Apparently way, they, they were mature. Oh, they were on volition, I'm sure. <laughs> they were mature enough. Oh, depends on the age of the party. I see. <laughs> well, he had, he had to leave. You know what? You know what they were acting like. No, oh, God, like damn it, of... God damn it, God damn it. No, I no. was going for it, and you fucking saw it. Look, <laughs> he literally, not even joking, he actually killed the UK party. This is not even, you know, just for God, if only somebody, had, if only somebody had warned him ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> remember when? He, remember when he was bragging and saying, "Oh, look at all these people joining the party and check out the polls." You keep well, you know, I'll high. tell you, I'll tell you this much, Ralph. I, I remember a lot of fat fucking retards on Twitter <laughs> telling me, "Hey, Jim, Sargon's gonna be a big boy in the in Parliament. You can't do shit about. Him. He's gonna be a big politician, Jim." <laughs> well, where'd they go? Oh, the diabetes got him, didn't it? You skeptic fucking morons. Oh man! <laughs> you guys just don't understand. This dishes, is all part of Jim. the twenty-year plan. This is—we're only on year three right now. We've got seventeen years to go. Just think about oh, yeah. how I started, I started to get an inkling that this whole thing yeah. wasn't going to work out when I was looking at the photos of I am Kekistan, and there was a whole bunch of guys who didn't need to wear a poo bear costume to be night entry to BlizzCon. He killed they an were, entire uh, political <laughs> party. Anyway. He killed an entire political party that had seats in the European Parliament. That polled at like God. anywhere from ten to fifteen percent. He completely buried the party. Now it's an afterthought, and it's a direct result. I don't know. It's I, I know it's, it's 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 such a fucking funny story. Yeah, they lost. They, they <laughs> lost. He actually killed it. I mean, it's all not their even, seats. Yeah, they lost their leader too. <laughs> it got replaced I, I, pretty I much by the Brexit party. Yeah, go ahead. I don't wish ill upon Carl. I hope he gets that dopamine one day. No, I mean it's oh, just think, uh, astonishing one day. how quickly. He did I mean, it. really, Ralph. Like all he's known for are his comments, and then telling people in interviews that both he and his wife were raped. <laughs> <Did you, laughs> by the way, did you see Jess Phillips the other day? Brought him up again on the on the Parliament <laughs> floor. Uh, yeah. We played it a couple of days ago. She actually brought him up again uh, because she wants reform on who can stand for elections over there in the UK. You know, campaign electoral reform or whatever. And she cited, she said, we, ha we had a candidate uh, this past, whatever, May, uh, standing for election whose biggest claim to fame was that uh, he wouldn't, he claimed he wouldn't rape me or whatever. No, she said if he would or would not rape me. If he would or would not rape me, yeah. <laughs> Potential rape. <laughs> yeah. She's still dropping he, him he, in. He, uh, That's a terrible. Are considering that now? It's a terrible argument because he was so soundly defeated by the public. Why would you need to ban him? From yeah, anything? that's what I don't understand. I don't know. That's so dumb. I mean, unless he's been because charged or convicted. Yeah. <laughs> Touche. I mean, if, if anything, his political opposition should be encouraging him to join. The yeah, party to to say. He's a death knell. Imagine if he joined the conservative party. That was actually my advice at the beginning, but whatever. He didn't take it. Zycon so Steve's... apparently. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I was about to say. So apparently, uh, this is actually before all the Nick stuff. But Carl, we we have the uh, the Carl Benjamin clip in oh, the uh, before in the show links. Oh and no, we don't have that. Oh, but, no, but here's the funny. Here's the funny thing. They've actually scrubbed this part from their YouTube channel. Not like anything <laughs> before that. And I'm wondering Wait. if it's because of his is this uh, actually Sargon uh, run. 
Are Is you telling how? me? Are you telling me Seb Gorka of all fucking people is so embarrassed by Carl he erased the interview? No way. This yes. is real. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is real. Hold on. Let yeah. Me, let me pull it up. Give me a sec. All right. Uh, I have it over here. Let me put it in the in the chat. It's not very long though. All right. Yeah, it's only four seconds. Have, he must have found it disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the reason why. Yeah. Okay. There goes the link. Uh. Okay. There it is in the sidebar. It's like 41 seconds, I believe. You guys ready? Oh yes, I am. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right. Let's play it right now. If by some unholy miracle Donald Trump doesn't win in 2020, which at the mean, at the moment it looks like he's a shoe in, so I don't I'm not too worried about it. But That's him. I don't like to lean all in one direction because I feel like I'm missing something on the other side. Mm -hmm. uh, but if if oh, by it looks some like miracle he's taking he loses, um, I think a lot of people will become despondent and think, well, that's it. It was all over. Uh, you know, Donald Trump was the last chance that we had. And I don't think that's true. I don't think he is the last. I think he's the first in a line of people who will come after him to continue to try and restore the sovereignty of, of the English-speaking peoples. Because I really think that that's what it's coming down to. Holy shit, he's basically trying to plug himself. He tried to present himself as uh, oh, a yeah. British mm. Donald Trump. <laughs> no, I is. mean, he is two degrees of separation people. away from Trump. That's true. All right, let's oh, yeah, see. remember when he said that? When he was bragging about maybe interviewing Trump on his fucking gay YouTube channel? Yeah, he's like, I've, <laughs> I've met Nigel Farage in person, and Nigel Farage has met Trump in person. I'm only one degree of separation away from Trump, you know? I love but, the fact that he, he was so proud of meeting Nigel, and then Nigel just shit on him. Oh, dude, that <laughs> was the best. Shit on the, the thing that always <laughs> sticks in my mind is how he said, absolute legend. Absolute legend, mate. You, you know, Nigel? He's an absolute legend. Yeah, I know, Nigel. Sorry. And then he just, was, like you said, he just pissed all over him. Just completely. This guy's scum. Oh, man. that When he was on, that, I forget that what the morning so show many was. Times too. Oh, he, quoted, no. he quoted some comedian. He was like, oh, this guy's so great. And then that comedian <laughs> shit on him, too. It's just, <laughs> like, it's just like he's <laughs> scum. He doesn't belong in polite society. Nigel Farage particularly took delight in just kicking the fuck out of him. It was vile. Um, I, I have an anecdotal story about that. So, you know, Nigel Farage um, did, did come to Australia about a, about a year or so ago um, to do a, do a talking tour. And um, some people I know met him, and uh, he was at a bar. You know, he was drinking oh, beer, yeah. you know, good English lad drinking beer. Now, this was a couple of months before Nigel Farage actually went, actually teed off on Sargon. So I had a bit of, bit of forewarning about it because the lads asked him about it and said, so what do you, what do you reckon about this Carl Benjamin character? And they said, and I'm going to try and quote it as best as it was related to me, Nigel Farage rolled his eyes up to the ceiling, picked up his pint glass, drank everything that was left in it, put it back down on the table and said, look, I'm here to talk about politics. <laughs> Damn. Not the plan, show. Oh, that is like, such it, it's such a unique story like right ralph like i've, I've never I seen can't. anything like that a party get brought down that so fast, quickly oh uh, it's so it was so quick and so brutal and then yeah. uh, i remember what's his name batten gerard batten after the after the election he's just like yeah that wasn't you know what turns out that wasn't helpful to to do the whole so, so sargon in the middle of completely getting just lit on fire and decimated in the middle of, of all that, he made another joke about raping her that was even worse than the first one that he made. <laughs> yeah. Where, oh, where yeah. he said, where he said, oh yeah, you know, if there's enough beer, oh, maybe I could. Yeah, good point or whatever. Yeah, maybe I'll fans. rape her. Yeah, I was like, was oh, it in Gibraltar no. when he was that? Yeah. yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, he was on. Yeah, he was on location. I, I remember he was standing in front, like on some kind of bridge. In front of the water or whatever. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it was that, that was just there. after Batten said, "Well, we I've talked to Carl and he <laughs> yeah. he acknowledges yeah. it was the best decision." And then he goes right into, "Well, if he got me drunk enough, I'd fuck the bitch." <laughs> <laughs> just unreal, man. I couldn't. <laughs> what a fucking imbecile. <laughs> it completely just the party's dead.
Oh man! And then I I remember so Faraj originally Faraj was just going to take back control over the over UKIP, and so he basically kind of applied to be leader again or whatever, and they shot him down and said he wasn't qualified. So he just went and started up his own party. I mean, the Brexit party is pretty much they pretty much just took UKIP's entire voter share and everything yeah. good about UKIP, and then UKIP's just sitting over there known as the rape party. It's just like, a hey, broken husk. Would you, would you like to captain this vessel? Oh, yeah. you mean the one that's already submerged at the harbor? Just no a, thanks, I think I'll build my own boat. Broken husk known as the rape party over here, and nothing going on whatsoever. And you kept, luckily for Raj, you know, had no ties to you kept during the period where they were the rape party, so he's good. Well, so it's, the, it's the rape debate party. He's still not sure if he would or That's would true. not rape her. It's Schrodinger's rape. rape party. <laughs> he's considering it. He's not really know. committed to it, though. The Until thing they is, meet face to face and he has those beers, we want Jess to Phillips out. is actually one of the most detestable members of parliament. By far, yeah. You managed. You managed <laughs> like, to make you Jess ever... Phillips a, 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 a character, you know, a sympathetic figure. Nah, like, yeah. yeah, that that's that's a remarkable feat. That's like She's making a terrible. gynecologist gag. If like, you ever, you know, like, yeah, if, you, if you've ever, if you've ever actually listened to Jess Phillips, and we have played her on the show before, she really is annoying and terrible, and just wait, the isn't most... that the, uh, the 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 British milkers lady? Oh, I don't know uh, if I wanted that'd be sour milk. Nah, yeah, I'm not, I don't think you'd want the. I don't think Wait, you'd want the. Wait, didn't we, didn't we see those giant milkers on stream? Let, let me let oh, me define British rancid. Let me define British so. breasts for you: bananas with nipples on the end. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't think we saw the Phillips milkers. Um, who who are you referring Thankfully. to? No. Blessedly, we saw somebody who was talking about, uh, you know, the guy debating <laughs> whether or not he would or wouldn't rape her. And uh, we had a discussion about her giant fucking British knockers. I mean, the real the real trouble with the party. (laughs) (laughs) Nick, save us, please! I don't know what he's talking about. I swear, I don't know what he means. He does. He does know. We had a whole discussion about using her knockers. Attorney, attorney, please! I know nothing. I don't know what he means. Now now I know why. Now, yeah, now I know why. This a dream. Lawyer, (laughs) please! I don't know anything. No, actually, I remember this conversation now. No, no, I don't know any of these guys <laughs> fuck that get out someone someone in the chat said what about merkel's uh what about merkel's titties and i'm thinking if you squeeze on them like dust would just fucking erupt out <laughs> oh was it joe swinson who the fuck's joe swinson well somebody said it was joe swinson. Wait, wait, you're saying you, okay you guys were talking about joe sucking Swin- dude's tits <laughs> joe swinson no, is actually no. oh that's who it was okay Joe Swinson is the is the leader of the Liberal Democrats. That was the one you were talking about, but well, Joe Swinson is the leader of the Lib Dems. Yeah, I believe you agreed to making a no, Mrs. Cradle out of her tits. I did not. No, that's not true. <laughs> okay, well, I didn't agree we'll to that. To that's to not true. That's not true. <laughs> we'll have to go back to the tape. That's just not true. I'm afraid. But it is it hot outside? Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> Fucking dark mode when they go already. Fucking wow. hell! Yes. We can just keep hollering over each other all day. You were trying to say something, Nick. I apologize. <laughs> oh no, that was fine. I'm not going to bother. <laughs> let's just go back to talking about. Let's go back to talking about UK politicians' tits. Speaking of which, I think Sargon is the best pair of all of them. <laughs> 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 Zyklon it, Steve, fine pair of tits. Zyklon Steve in the Lino chat says, Bibble, did you go trick or treating in the suburbs? <laughs> yeah, the nice ones. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so, Bibble, when you go trick or treating, do you like, uh, no, I don't want any candy. Let me see them feet. No, I, I go with, and I ask for the candy, and then uh, they ask what I, what I am because I'm a full grown man, and I say I, I'm a guy that breaks into people's houses when they don't want candy. Yeah. <laughs> every, time a, every time a black man turns up to a suburban home unannounced, it's never a treat, it's always a trick. <laughs> 
Chaos Man says Jim Co pills are the best black pills. Let's see. Shin Chen 256B says worried about LSU next week, Ralph. Go Tigers. Not that worried. Uh, but yes, there is a big game next week. I won't actually probably be able to see it live because I'm going to be watching Logan Paul versus KSI. So I have to check the score on my phone. Uh, but I will I will stay up to date on that football game for sure. Yellow Lantern 15419. Got a one-month subscription from Rosanoff. Let's see here. T-Dubs, 425 with a diamond. Rebel Celt with a diamond. Mike Hancho, resubbed. Nurak says, can we see the pick of Sargon getting fish thrown at? Uh, I don't know that I have that right off top, but if somebody has oh, it. Oh, he did get a fish sardines. thrown at him. I heard about that, yes. Yeah, I'll find it real quick. Yeah, that's the classic. Yeah, I, I'd offer to get it for you, but it's hung and framed on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it really is amazing how that whole, oh, his whole experience in, in electoral politics just complete disaster. Start to it's finish. in the but show. But it did right? get worse. Oh, Gator found it. Yeah. You A could dead... say it was very short. Oh, nasty, brutish, and <laughs> short. That's short. what you would say. Holy shit, this pitch is amazing. Let me see if I can pull this up real quick. Yeah, it is pretty good. Hold on. Oh, what is that? What? So, Jim, have you been? Oh, following look at this! The, uh... Look at look at this! The 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 Chad high res Gator versus the Virgin low res Flamenco there in the family. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! But I was gonna ask Jim, has he been following the uh, the Destiny drama? Uh, no, I know. I, I knew a little bit about it. I mean, I've been kind of caught up in the, the Blizz thing and then the Fuentes thing. Uh, kind of like the last stuff outside of that would have been what was going on with Nick. And uh, is it Mad Black Atheist or Entertainment? Yes. Mad Black yes. Atheist, I think. Yeah, or both. Didn't he use it's, both? It's, yeah. he, he has like 12 channels. Yeah. Uh, well, now he's just now he's just uh, the commission or something, which he completely ripped <laughs> off from a game company. He just stole all of their IP to make his channel. So that's great. Is he, is he still coming after you, or did he stop finally? No, he stopped. Uh, I think I think he got a phone call. I think from the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, which um, which told him <laughs> which told him to stop, you know, threatening to murder entire towns online. <laughs> which just yeah, not a good be. plan. <laughs> it's probably a good idea. Well, he also ripped off. Uh, he ripped off his uh, Gable Larping Group, the League of Villains, from like a, 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 an anime. Yeah, that's yeah, not a lot of. What's in Naruto? You no, know, it's uh, my Zero Academia. Yeah, he's uh, he doesn't seem to have much in the way of personal creativity. We'll say. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, he said he was gonna. He, didn't he tell you, Ralph, that he was going on like vacation, never coming back? Yeah, and, and then a he week was later, like two days later. He not was even back. a week. Yeah, I was about to say two days later. He was filing DMCA's and putting out new videos and. Now he's back. I don't know. I haven't talked to him since, but yeah, he told me on stream he was he was gonna go away for a while. Him and his family had to move because his address was out there now. And yeah, so he, I love that. By the way, he tried to come off as a victim after he basically yeah. was saying he was gonna kill next kids. I'm he said it was <laughs> it was because he was black too. That was part of it. I don't know if you caught that, but yeah. yeah You're gonna was... learn to duck, D. <laughs> <laughs> you. Well, we also learned that anime really? was also <laughs> anime was also more racist than racism. Uh, well, that was right. good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the anime crowd racist completely. They never really accepted him because he was black or something like that. I don't know. But I actually, it, uh, Nick, uh, mind, I'm uh, not you, quite sure that was the primary factor. <laughs> Nick, do you mind if I ask you a question uh, about something I saw like two weeks ago? Sure. Um, so there's this article that came out about a town down in Texas where this uh, kind of like good old boy, non-qualified guy got made a magistrate or a judge. I, I don't know how it works down there. Um, but basically, he was running his courthouse and letting uh, people that collect debts, like, set rules. So he, the debt collectors would tell the judge, we want you to add a $50 fine on if they don't show up. Uh, we want you to issue uh, arrest warrants if, they, uh, if there's a failure to show up to pay a debt. And they're doing it. <laughs> that's fantastic good good job we want debtors prison back apparently <laughs> or, yeah that's the thing but i mean it, it, it's literally doing that one per or one lady on facebook said that um when she got a surgery performed at the hospital that the, this lawyer is hired to that's making the judge do this stuff 
um, that they got a debt collection notice two weeks after getting out of the hospital before the hospital even sent the bill. Wow. So, um, wow. How, how legal is it? Because it seems like there's some crazy shit going on in this town. Yeah, that's I. I'm not familiar with the situation. I'll uh, I'll look into it. I have no idea. Uh, it, judges oh. are elected in Texas. Okay. Um, so, but the, there's typically some sort of requirement on it, um, and to let them just run roughshod. The the problem of ultimately with with the way we do judging at all levels is that uh, eventually they say, well, there's an appeals court above us, right? They let them resolve it if. As long as it's not something impeachable, um, it'll get resolved by the appeals court, which, of course, is ridiculous, especially if you're asking people who are going through debt collection to the point where they're going to jail for it um, to suddenly pay for, you know, an extra step of process. Oh, oh they're going to but, jail for uh, $300 bills. These are like, oh, you know, <laughs> like, you know, 300 bucks, and then they'll add a $50 fee on for not showing up and arrest you, put you in jail. And then when you pay bail, they don't give you the bail money back. Uh, they give it to the debt collector. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, what a great system. <laughs> yeah, I'll send you. I'll send you. Like, I didn't know if you had heard about it, but I was like, "Holy shit, this can't be. This can't be on the level. There's got to be something going on." I I haven't heard of it. I do know. Uh, I I have a connection to a pretty big debt collection firm down in down in Texas. So maybe I can get someone on there to uh, to kind of talk about what's going on. I'll see what yeah. I can do. Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, right. of course. L let me read these. Colonel J in the stream element says, "Hey Jim, is it even hot outside?" Probably not. It's a little, a little human out there. <laughs> Skull Kid says, sending support to the one, the only kill stream. Also a little shilling. Do you like metal? Like songs about cultural degeneracy leading to the deaths of a certain 42%. That's also 0.6%. What? Check out Corpse God's new song, Clown World. Keep up the good work, bud. Okay. Thank you. Hertu says Hot Wheels had been screaming harassment from his association with HN despite him bending the knee, rewarded as the traitor deserves. I think Dame would probably agree with that. Um, let's see. Yeah, fucking traitor. Fucking. Traitor deserves yeah. stares. Oh. <laughs> imagine, imagine being so scared of Brianna Wu that you completely throw everything that you've ever created in your entire life away just to go after that one fucking website. Like even so, like Josh doesn't like Jim Watkins, but even Josh is at this point like, dude, Hot Wheels, just let it fucking so go. I, yeah, actually, I want to get him back on because we had him on in August with Josh, and I thought that was like right after the El Paso stuff and all that. Um, so I thought that was a pretty big show. But – you know the the position he was taking then is a lot different than what he's you know how he's positioning himself now which is just outright stomp out eight chan completely no matter what on that show he was saying well you know if they did this did that you know i don't necessarily have a problem they just haven't been running it right their pr is wrong and stuff like that he, he seems to have completely uh kind of changed position since even since august even from august to september and especially now in november uh, he's he's uh, he's very stridently uh, against HN. Uh, let's see. Murray Murdizzle says, Tell Masterson I sent him a message on Twitter. I run telemarketing rooms, and I have a couple of, couple of solid merchants, one who we've been using for almost a decade now. We've been shut down by a dozen others, but this one doesn't give a shit. All right, I'll keep that. I'll, I'll tell him about that. Hyphen says, Ranbot cucking to Ralph by not talking 80% of the time. Mug <laughs> All right. Well, let me let me fix that because I've only got 18 minutes before I've got a hard out. Oh, Mug Rannies at Ranny says mods are great people. By the way, he didn't say great people though. Uh, Critical says Goose Wayne is 100% a troll. Started on Instagram for clout off Joker 305. Here's proof it ever existed. Chat will love it. I don't have that, but I'll look in the in the media. I like Goose Wayne. I just Critical DMG. Yeah, nice guy. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Critical DMG says, Our dog severely injured his back, paralyzing from his waist down. It's absolutely heartbreaking to see him like this, energetic to dragging his back legs in an instant, again with a small injury. Any help is appreciated. I think that they sent me a go for me. I think it's time for that that car ride where one less person comes back from no, the vet to be quite honest. Man, oh. No, no, come on. I mean, the man's not wrong. Uh, 
Still sad though. Ugh. It is sad. Come back a little lighter. Is that what you're? <sighs> yeah, a little lighter. That's what he's saying, Ralph. <laughs> oh, that's that's distressing. I gotta say, uh, Shin. <laughs> Shin Jinping. I'm just. Says, why am I the monster? I'm just saying. Everyone was thinking it. Shin Jin, Jinping says, "My name is Ethan Ralph, and I endorse the mobile game Azur Lane." Uh, we also have <laughs> Spanish. That was a cheap, that was cheap buy right there. God damn. Not a uh, not Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> Spanish Inquisition gifted ten subscription psycho dad says we got the crew back are we ready to start gamergate 2.0 yeah i'm sure vegeta fajita says waiting for the <laughs> bibble versus jim Bloodsport. reno miles says it just happened did reno, you hear did, yeah i, I, I just lost at him. yeah it was, yeah it's it 112 and 0 brutal <laughs> reno miles says nba wants on he said duck reno miles then says i want to give nikki props for shouting <laughs> at nba uh, yeah the best part of that stream was actually Nick screaming at NBA when you finally when you just put him in his place and he he got really quiet like he just completely <laughs> you sunned him to use a term from the streets you, <laughs> you sunned him he was just sitting there like yes sir oh sorry sir I'm sorry sir he got real quiet <laughs> didn't say shit oh man it was it was bad for him I mean, it was great well, for I'm, me and you I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> It's great for me and you. For him, it wasn't great. But, uh, let's see. The Otaku King says, "Ralph, you just got to get you just got to get that whip out, and all that all that back talk uh, comes to an end, doesn't it?" Oh, oh come no, on no, now, no, disavow, completely, <laughs> completely disavow. The Otaku King says, "Ralph, what do you want for Christmas?" I don't know. I haven't put uh, a lot of thought in it. Uh, I'm gonna have a nice Christmas though. Clifford T. Clavin. Uh, with the salute, and then he says, "Nikki Rackets, come down to Tarrant County, best barbecue." I have a feeling I'll be back down there before too long, <laughs> one way or another. Now, uh, I know, I know your Texas, audience correct? isn't your audience isn't huge on the Vic stuff, but for the few out there, I yeah, think uh, I think you might be underestimating uh, quite a, there's quite a, lot a lot of them follow it, yeah. Yeah, well, I never want to presume. I never want to sure. presume, but but there's uh, there's probably going to be some interesting stuff coming out of that next week. Um, so there, uh, I'd say stay tuned uh, to that one. That's that's the little teaser. But um, I'm I'm remaining cautious on overhyping it. But but uh, I have a feeling we're going to see some fireworks coming out next week. So. Rebels. Rebel Salt says, "Ask Jim, is yeah. there still any mm -hmm. bad blood with Josh?" I uh, love Israel Josh. and the Jew. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Josh from Kiwi Farms. No, there's no bad blood. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't aware there was any. Uh -uh. In the I, I, yeah, I guess I don't know where it started. <laughs> yeah, I, was like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. I think I, I, I think like people were thinking that he was really serious when he was uh, going off about you monetizing like shirts and stuff. Oh, I. I I love Israel and the Jews. I, I do. I do. I do love Israel and the Jews. <laughs> it's not, oh God. All right, let's. let's oh, I've got to. I've got to do a. I've got to do a follow up here. Um, so ahead. I was under the impression that um, that that dog in question was uh, was permanently paralyzed. Uh, Critical in the chat said, "Rand, you can't," which is just like saying hello in Australia. I've spent uh, I've spent two weeks uh, getting him to walk again. He wants to run and play though. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought he was oh. permanently paralyzed. Wow. I that's what you're talking about. <laughs> if, if it's just an injury, no. Why he's are you saying to take that? Him to the vet Man, you wanted to goodbye. have the dog put down and he could still run. There oh. goes Rand killing healthy dogs. What the fuck? Yeah, that, that's Ian Alex Malshan. Jones' job. You got to cut <laughs> yes. down on the carbon. No wonder Ian Malshong Jr. over here. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Pepto Bismol, you're on the kill stream. Go ahead. Hello, all my N words. Hello. Uh, well, at first, I wanted to give Jim a couple slash extreme suggestions, but I don't want him ending up with two bullets to the back of the head. Oh. Uh, so instead, <laughs> instead, I'm gonna show this vodka I bought yesterday that tastes like mm. fucking Lucky Charms marshmallows. Tell me It's what? called uh, <laughs> buttered popcorn flavored vodka by 360 Vodka, and it is. Delicious. It's real how good. Long, uh, how long have you worked for the company? <laughs> um, I, I just started, actually. Did yeah, you? Yeah, getting, getting out there, getting the word out. 
<laughs> exactly. You know, they started, they started me on something easy. You know, getting all the, the kites and the Jews on. No, board. no, wait a minute, sir. <laughs> no, come on. I love Israel and the Jews. Pepto, thank you. I do you. love Israel. Pepto, I appreciate and you. The, arguably the most pro-Israel stream on the internet. The right? number one late night stream in Israel, the Ralph Retort kill stream. He was just talking about flying. He was just talking flying. about kite flying. He's just had a little bit too much butter flavored uh, vodka there. Something yeah. happened. I'm not sure, but of course we we disavow. All right, let's take another caller. Let's see who it could be. Smirnoff, go ahead. You're on the kill stream. Damn, that Sargon is one sick individual. You know what I heard he said on his server? What did he say? What's that? He let uh, children. He's gone. <laughs> no. It's a question. He it's left. Question. I thought he was about to spill the beans. Oh my god. He was the guy who linked me the uh the, the Gorka clip, by the way. Oh, uh, he was finally about to spill the beans, but I guess that's not gonna Oh happen, by the way, though. talking about cogs and all, uh, have you played this clip of Destiny that I put on the <laughs> what? Show link? Hold on. A clip of Destiny. Oh boy. It's a big oh, yeah. an argument. Oh wait. Did you play that already on your show? Oh, Destiny saying he's. Yeah, you gotta a scroll cut? back up a little bit. Is that the one? <sighs> yes. Destiny saying he's speaking. A Is that what you're talking about? Okay. Speaking of um speaking of Destiny, yeah, I was, I was delighted that Meringue Bad um went and cut in that little bit where I destroyed Destiny in a debate with uh, one one sentence back in the streamy days. All right, let me put it uh, in the in the hangout chat. Oh, shit. Let me paste it again, because I think I fucked it up. All right, there we go. All right. There it is in the Hangout. No, I haven't played this, but if you're requesting it, of course I will play it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, the context is that he fought his black friend over his usage, usage of the N-word. Yeah, oh, we, we did this, didn't we? We did talk argument. about this. Yeah, we did talk about this. Um, they ended up breaking up, breaking up their podcast, and uh, Destiny's been on a jihad mm. against them, kind of. Yeah. Well, it's really funny though that this individual right here, who's uh, spurking out about his like private usage of the N word, uh, he was banned from uh, uh, either AG, one of the one of the games done quick events for uh, saying the saying figgit, essentially. Figgit. All right, let's go ahead. We, we, so, how much of this should I play, Dommy? Like a minute or two is on the... Okay. All right. So oh, it's at... timestamp. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm at 7.30 right now. That's why I'm yeah, asking. Yeah, 7.30. Okay. Yes. All right. You guys ready? Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah, yes. uh, did you drop this for the on-air crew? I I'm did. still looking at Sargon getting hit Yeah, it's fish. up on show links. Uh, Dominic's oh, okay. higher up. Yeah, scroll up a little bit. I'll put it, I'll put it down. <sighs> there you go. There you go. Okay, there you thank go. you. You got to pay attention. No, I don't... It's like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> still <laughs> This Chilean just putting shit everywhere. Come on, Rand. Stay on the ball, dude. Yeah, yeah, Come hey. on. Look, no, I don't look like, like Chileans, you know, they're a little bit hit or miss. You know, ball. that'll be Come four on. cents more. So, well, now no. I've said fire to all metropolitan Come transport. We have a like superior that? Chilean here. Come on, let's go. You ready? 7.30. I'm ready. All right, right now. And we're to the Like, there are things that I can do to try to maintain friendship with somebody. But, like, I'm in a poly relationship. The reason what? why I'm in a poly relationship <laughs> is because no! I don't give a fuck if my girlfriend goes and fucks another guy, because I know she's coming back to me at the end of the night. Because oh, <laughs> I'm a no! close fucking person. Yeah, that's what that. she's telling if you, I'm Tiny. Gonna, if I'm not going to gatekeep the fuck out of who my girlfriend fucks, do you think I'm going to chase you around? Do you think I'm going to chase you around and see who the fuck you talk to? What? It is so hard for you to no think that I'm not wrong. racist because you've got people like Hassan whispering I don't in have to ear. stop N saying the N-word. My Even girlfriend fucks straight. Of, like using it as a pejorative, not like you're being fucking old blogger or something. Not like you're like, yeah, not like you're quoting a historical document. Way. But you're saying you are an N-word with a hard R. Ha -ha. I mean, does it? Go? Oh man. So 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 instead of the switch, the bull lets him keep the N-word pass. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Do you think that's progressive, Nick? Yeah. What do you think of that stance? Just letting your girl just fuck whoever she wants. And... Oh and... yeah, that's she's definitely yours at that point. Less right? stressful that way, though, right? <laughs> just, just. <a> little bit. <laughs> she comes back. <laughs> that's why you. She that's comes you back do. every night. She comes back every night because he's paying for her cell phone and giving her a place to live. 
but she actually <laughs> loves him, of course. It's nothing like the. Yeah, and uh, I, I wonder if she's ever tired it when she comes home from work <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, no, uh, cuckoldry is not acceptable. Ever. <laughs> that's all I have to say about it. I think that's, if you want to maintain dignity, at least. Go ahead, Bibble. No, I just slipped, I just slipped over right. when I went to the kitchen again, but at least I can say the N-word. Hey, Nick, I think you finally found somebody for that stream with Drexel. Oh my god, if I could get Destiny and Drexel on a stream. <laughs> <laughs> now, is, this it, is, a new is it clip. possible he defends well, wouldn't, wouldn't Drexel it? say, I'm going to fuck your god girlfriend, you still can't call me the N-word? Yeah, I'll just... Start. I'll just uh... Wait, 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 wait. Go ahead, Bibble. Go ahead. Do you think he, he defends the N word so so uh so harshly because he uh he's had too many Tyrones, you know, over and his girlfriend yeah. <laughs> is told him to sleep on the couch too many times? Is that why he's like <laughs> I don't have That's anything like else to say it? Look, he wants he wants he to watch from not. inside the bedroom instead of outside the bedroom. That's all. Oh, um, oh. Yeah, I'll I'll call Drexel and ask him if he can relay through Destiny's girlfriend the message that I'd like Destiny on the show. We'll, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> It'll go through. Reno, Reno oh. Mall says, Bibble, stop interrupting Rand. Clifford C. Clavin just resubbed for a month. He's on a three month streak. Then he donated some diamonds. Spanish Inquisition says critical, send me the GFM for Doggo. Uh, Agent Smirnoff. Yeah, send that to me too, by the way, because I lost it. Agent Smirnoff says, Sargon said not enough cookies were baked in. Agent Smirnoff says, in the cookie cost, just disgusting. Reno Mall says, now wait a minute, Destiny. No. All right, let's roll through these callers. We'll finish up. Uh, Rising see. White says, clean up crew, Destiny. <laughs> Grand Inquisitor, you're on one. Inquisitor, you're on the kill stream. Go. Oh, uh, hello, Ralph. You sound ex absolutely exuberant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. It's Go been ahead. a good stream so far. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I think chat has some kind words for uh, the mods, especially Monday Matt. Do they? I'm sure they do. We'll just, we'll just have to imagine it. But go ahead. Go ahead with your statement. <laughs> what? Go ahead Sorry. with your statement. You're speaking over me. <laughs> Oh, I just needed to say that. Uh, All right. Shout out to the mods. We love the mods. That's what you wanted to say. Thank out. you. <laughs> Rabbi Shekels, you're on the kill stream. Go. Who is all your guys' favorite banks, and why is it Israel? Thank you, sir. Ah. I love uh, Israel and the Jews. I do. <laughs> it's true. He does. I mean, it's how, the truth. How it's could on you go tape. Wrong? I can't deny it. How could you go wrong with that? All right, let's take another caller. Kropotkin, you're on the kill stream. Go ahead. Um, fuck. Yeah, well. It'd be like that. Yeah. Well, I, do. I know how it goes. Yeah. Fuck. Well, I appreciate the attempt, though. Thank no, you. No, no, no. I got it. I got it. I got it. I remembered. Oh, okay. So, um, you get ready for that 13th step in L.A., Ralph? The 13th. <laughs> My name is Ethan, and I want to suck Jim's cock. <laughs> Tonight's the night. Well, here you go, buddy. I have to open those open those lips, Ralph. That was an opportunity, Ralph. I have to I have to do that in Los Angeles. Disgusting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, caller. I hope you burn in hell. Thank you for calling in, though. <laughs> All right, Viridian Cavalier, you're on the kill stream. Go ahead. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yep. Yes. Uh, let's go. Ahead. Thank God, finally. Um, Question for Jim and Nick is: I don't think they've ever heard me before. Her bud. Why do That's you wear the mask, Viridian? You're uh, breaking up a little bit. Yeah, it's being God. leaned a little closer to the mic. Let's go online. Okay. Uh, you can hear me now. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. From the sound of my voice, how old do you think I am? Uh, well, I'm gonna how have old to guess, do you I'm, think? I'm going to have to guess probably 40 or 50. I mean, after that role in Independence Day where you played the dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, the answer is very surprising to people. I'm only 22. 
How many cigarettes did you have to smoke to accomplish that? And what brand? Because I want that voice. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I never touched cigarettes before. That's the thing. Uh, you should try it. <laughs> no, do not. Holy shit. Do not try smoking. It's 70% of normal capacity, so not my best interests. What uh, what happened, man? The, the the quickest way I can explain this story is basically I was born twenty four weeks premature. The hospital I was taken to just recently got their neonatal intensive care unit, so I was there. Basically, the uh, breathing tube they. Didn't anchor it properly. Is it true that you're actually Bane? <laughs> are you um, are you starting a revolution cared. against the rich? Is it? Can you confirm or deny that you were actually Bane from the comics and that that's a real character? Oh, uh, Bane from the comics. Well, I wish I was. Bane's <laughs> fucking buff. <laughs> All right, go ahead, man. Real quick, finish. Uh, Jim, question. Have you been able to play Fire Emblem Three Houses yet? No, no. I love Israel and the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta. I have to say that uh, every couple of minutes, it's uh, part of the <laughs> part of the deal. Yeah, Kate, she's back down. They van us. Yeah, yeah. The only way you can not commit suicide after that stream, right? But um, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Have you played it? Oh uh, no, I haven't had a chance to yet. Actually, I was going to do uh, Luigi's Mansion Three first. Ah. Also equally good game. Also, before I go, I have a joke. Um, Sarga, God damn it. You, you should have brought me on early. I had it, but... Um, fuck, 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 fuck. You already said the best joke ever. You said Sarga. He's checking up. He's getting no, 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 no. Um, Sargon took a coat hanger to you, Kip, like Lucy took a coat hanger to Carl Jr., <laughs> oh, oh, no. No. Okay, that is my joke. I am going to go. Thank you for having me on. I'll Thank sunset you. myself. I completely Take it disavow. Easy, man. I disavow. Now that's what I call dark mode. Oh, all right. That Ralph, before you before you bring on another caller, I've got to um I've got to punch out. It's not actually for all those what? A-loggers out there, my son's birthday, but uh, I've got to go to my son's birthday. We're we're doing it on a different date from his actual birthday. It's a little oh, too close well, to Christmas. So I've got to go I've got to go play with the Zergling now and um and and thank you very much for dragging me in. Half an hour after it started. That's all good. <laughs> I had to I had to make sure you you were good. Thank you, Brand. We we don't have much longer to go anyway. A few more minutes, but thank you, Rand. I appreciate That's it. All right, yeah, take it easy. All right, well, you guys later, Rand. Well, what do you mean a few more minutes? This is a five-hour stream. That's what the chat said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. get out, Rand. Have a good weekend. <laughs> yes, they do really say that, don't they? <laughs> they do, they do. All right, peace out, gentlemen. Later, man. Uh, Terry yeah. Chester says all mods get the oven. Cliff Clifford T. Clavin with the Ninja Gini says shout out to Joe and Norm. Cynic in Chief says, Collar still sounds better than the Lemon Fuhrer. Uh, <laughs> Reno Mall says, Gator, how you doing, man? How you doing, Gator? Ethan Ralph, it's me, Gator. Oh, Holy shit, is. it's Gator. Holy shit. <laughs> Gator. It's actually, Gator. Death. <laughs> it's death, death to a certain people says, Logan Paul will sunset KSI plus his family. And then he says some other stuff that I won't repeat. Uh, but I am I am looking forward. I don't know what that fight's going to be like in the Staples Center, but I do know they're going to have actual professional boxing fights before that fight, too. So it won't be a complete waste of money. I will still have pretty good seats <laughs> to see decent actual fights. And then whatever happens with KSI, Logan Paul, uh, you know, we'll see. But at least there'll be decent fights before that. But, yes, I will be there a week from tomorrow. Uh, I don't know about this LA thing, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes next Ralph week. Ralph will be uh, present to watch the hate crime in person. Next time you hear me on the kill stream, <laughs> I will be in Los Angeles in Dick's studio. So uh, we'll we'll see how that goes. Spanish Inquisition says five hour stream also end out. Excuse me, with a certain anthem. 
Nah, I know I know exactly Ooh. how I want to end, and I, I know exactly what I want to end with. But uh, let me roll a few callers in before I do that. Uh, Kyler, you're on the kill stream. Go. Oh my Hello. God. Yes. Hey. What's going on, guys? Hey. Um, What's going on, man? What's did we disturb you? What's happening? Uh, I was just eating. <laughs> all good. Uh, so anyway, I was thinking I had some stark, cold, ugly truths that your audience needs to hear. Is that right? In order of least shocking to, to most shocking. If you're ready. All right. Okay, number one, Victor Vagina, or whatever his name is, the anime guy is innocent. Uh, number Victor two, Victor Vagina. Uh, I don't think that was his name. Where the fuck his name is? Victor no, it's right. Like, That's... Like, <laughs> no, you had it right the first time. <laughs> That's Vic Vic Vagina, obviously. <laughs> um, number two is uh, Stereos Coconuts abuses women. Oh, three. Yeah, he does. Oh, uh, is that true? No. I think I got and, the story of that. One time I punched a hole through a door because I got mad. I was oh. drunk. An attractive ex of mine was oh, here pressuring me. Come on, it's I go, Don't go, right. Turner. I'll fight tonight. <laughs> if you treat me wrong, I will destroy you. As you can clearly hear, this man is an unhinged madman. Uh, I would not trust him around anyone, women or yeah. people in general. Sounds like Ron Sawyer. Jesus Christ. Christ. Anyway, uh, number three, Monday Matt is an unabashed pedophile. Number oh, four. Yeah. <laughs> number four. <laughs> yes, I agree. <laughs> number four. Number four is allegedly I heard, not making a definitive statement, I heard that Tommy C pays little kids to pee on him at the public pool. So oh, yeah, no. those oh, thank you, Kyler. I, I appreciate it. I, that. I heard it. I did heard it somewhere. I'm not saying that happened. Oh, uh, Tommy C. I don't know. I uh, thank you for calling in. All right, let's let's try to roll some more people in real quick. Ingress, you're on the kill stream, but you're muted, so you don't have long. You better hurry. You better hurry. Up, oh, still muted. Oh man, sorry. Can I just say, Nikki Rackets, are you sorry that you kept interrupting Rand when he was trying to talk? Yes. He had some really important <laughs> points to get out there, and you kind of just stepped all over him. I uh, I don't I actually unironically hate interrupting people. That's the you know, the do, nature actually. of not sitting face to face. That you just interrupt people all the time. Mm. I would much prefer to interrupt people face to face. Then I do it on purpose. Uh, hmm. Let me take in. Let's see here. Uh, Hazen Cruz. Oh, but you're muted, sir. You need to unmute. Oh, there you go. Oh, there, there he goes. I he just wanted to honk the horn. The <laughs> that's all. That's all he wanted to do was honk the horn. Oh my god. Uh, let's He's see. got a slide whistle too. Let's see. Uh, Shiggy Diggy, you're on the air, but you are also muted. Oh, and then he left. Shiggy Diggy, no. Yeah, I thought Nick. That's uh, that's all you guys did in court was just interrupt each other and pull out like evidence that hadn't been, you know, put into uh, put into record and all that kind of stuff. Is that not true? No, that well, so don't ask this to me like this is cross exam. Damn. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, well, that that and ask the court to take judicial notice that uh, opposing counsel is a giant weeping vagina. Yeah. Uh, okay. That, that too, but. Yeah. <laughs> See, I don't, I don't know how it works because every time I've been in court, I've just been trying to think up my next lie. So I don't know. Don't worry, you're, you're basically a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> you made, you made it. <laughs> all, it all right, let's try a couple more. Chick, chicken sandwich, but you're muted. No, God, chicken sandwich. Come on. There you go. Sandwich. Well, Jesus Christ. Sandwich. You got me. Hold the fuck yeah. up. Yeah, there we go. With, yeah, what's wrong with you? You got me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with you? Oh. Yeah, I got you. He left. Is that it? <laughs> Savage, what, what's going on here? I think he looks like the stream. He's afraid. Fashion going, away. go ahead. What? Hey, Ralph. No, yeah, go ahead quickly. Hey, uh, I just wanted to congratulate Bibble on a, all his extra free time after getting fired from his job. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we saw yesterday you were you were a principal, allegedly, you know, and you got fired for questioning the Holocaust. And 
Uh, now that's not true. I got fired because I said I couldn't confirm. Wait, <laughs> yeah, that's right. I mean, no, that's not me. That's not me. That's not me. That's oh, that, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, well, I will say, man, if it was you, I'd buy you a beer because that shit's like forty-five minutes from my house, bro. For real. Just saying. Yeah. All right, guys. Y'all have a good night, man. Sunset. Thank you, Fashion Boy. I appreciate it. I ain't gonna take up everybody's time because I know Nick's about to do a stream. Nick, are are yeah, you man, doing I a stream gotta tonight? Run. Yeah, I'm, uh, say, yeah, I'm doing. Like two yeah. minutes from now. Yeah, I know so gotta... exactly why I was about to get you off. What are you about to do the stream on, though? <laughs> Quickly, plug it. Quick, plug yeah. it. Uh, you can come check out my show. My wife's going to be on. We just saw Joker together earlier tonight, and uh, we're going to talk about that, yeah. some other stuff. And then if uh, if she takes off at some point in the show, I'll talk more about Nicholas Sandman, who just had uh, permission from the judge to move on to Discovery against uh, the Washington Post, which is crazy because his case oh, was shit. dismissed, but they reopened it. So, very uh, good. Your wife's awesome yeah. too. Yeah, it's fucking and wonderful. So that's cool. You guys have a good one. Thank you, Nick. I appreciate you joining us, man. Yeah, thanks, man. Have a good night. All right, you too, Jim. Okay. What are you gonna be up to soon? Oh shit, I don't know. I'm gonna be playing a lot of fucking uh, <laughs> Luigi's Mansion Three. I know it's exciting, isn't it? That's have you played plan. some already? Because I thought about getting it, and I have so many. I went and bought a GameCube the other day, and I've been playing some retro stuff, and then Outer Worlds as well uh, have you played it any yet or are you just no, i i just picked it up this morning i haven't even had a chance to play okay. it yet but uh, i like the series so uh, i'm gonna be doing that like a dork uh, like a fucking nerd that i am so that's what I'm. yeah somebody up. actually sent me luigi's mansion the original on gamecube oh it's a good uh, game yeah which i thought about playing that so maybe oh you know I'll... yeah it's really good you should check it out man yeah maybe i should play that first thank you jim i appreciate you coming back on man oh yeah, and, and, and jim real Real quick before you what? go, I have to do my uh, my my duty to the uh, to the Merchants Guild. Uh, people <laughs> have constantly asked you to watch uh, Seth Sintach. If you like uh, ER's video reviews on uh, different movies and uh, TV series and stuff, he's like that for video games, and he's fantastic. No, I know. Yeah, he's got good videos. Okay, good. You have watched some Seth of the videos. money. <laughs> I, 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 I had to do my duty as a member of, of course of the he knows I, come on of course he knows but yeah thank you man i, I appreciate you coming to, on i just oh, wanted more. to say jim yeah jim if you uh if you ever want to try again you know where uh, I'm, I'm at coming, i'm coming to that rematch yeah <laughs> oh, it's gonna happen i'm gonna take that i'm gonna come at the king back. you come right. at the king you best not miss all right take it easy <laughs> later jim have a good one <laughs> have a good one <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see here. I think that's it. Let me read through. Uh, a horrible gamer says Antifa bragged about giving kids fentanyl for something. For something, that wouldn't surprise me. Oh, Spanish, Spanish like, was it? yeah, for hollow. It says for hollow, but it says holo instead of hollow. But whatever. Spanish like, position gifted a one month subscription to Metal Slug. Let's see. So and so says Chang knows that Mike Enoch is a so and so. Call him out. Kiosk man says. Uh, sunset the mods. Uh, it says some other Jeez. stuff, but I can't. Uh, I can't read. Reno Miles says Nikki Rackets is such a Chad. Wowbagger says honk honk. Ecstasy of thinking says fuck you, Jim. I love you, but the finder scares me. Reno Miles says we want Jim versus Ethan. Ethan Thanksgiving game off. Uh, we will. I don't know. If he's up for it, sooner or later, I would like to have a rematch of some sort. <laughs> oh, boy. Here comes Owen 14 <laughs> Of some sort, I would like it. Spanish Inquisition. No, come on, Gator. Wow. Come on, man. You're going to do me like that? You're not going to give me any kind of support? Come Look, on, Look, man. Dude. I'm just going by the Vegas odds here. Gator, come on, <laughs> this man. what the odds makers tell me. Come on, I just man. want blood. The odds say that I will Ralph, do better than I look at your gunt. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Donnie. How are you even still alive? What's going on in your country? Well, that's that's why you know what? That's what was. I meant to ask you. No, that's what I meant to ask you. What's going on in Chile? Oh, People are sticking war. dildos it's up their ass, war. and yeah, basically a civil war is going on. Uh, What's happening down yeah. there? Oh, there's a big, uh, basically like a coup. A bunch of political parties: the Communist Party and the Progressive Party or like Puente Alto or whatever, they want power, right? So they organize this mysterious protest where mysteriously buildings <laughs> started to fucking go on fire as if it was pre-planned. The oh. media calls re reported as it's a, a mystery. Like, spontaneous protest. Yeah, yeah it's all like a coincidence. coincidence. A mystery, yeah. 
And now we have our queer president. Uh, I love queers and homosexuals. Yes, As... our queer president giving all to these parties. Uh, disgusting. I saw a, no. uh, I saw a screenshot with a guy with a dildo up his ass there down the main Chilean street there. I heard yeah, in Chile to uh, because everything's getting so bad, people are trying to hide their money, and people are actually having to take diamonds and eat them, and then shit them out. And then eat them <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> that's a little far fetched. I don't think wow. anybody would ever do that. Is that no, that's true. It's one hundred percent true. It's true. See, this yeah, is what the helicopter. My money safe, people. Yeah, you need Dame, you need to channel Uncle Augusto and uh and fix some of these problems. I think you're the one to do it. Yes, you have to kill the communist. <laughs> Go fund me. <laughs> Dame pays us a helicopter. <laughs> uh, they're forcing my hand. Let's see. Wowbagger says honk honk, ecstasy of thinking. I read that one. Let me see. I read that one. Spanish Inquisition says, do it, chat, sunset me. By the way, shout out to Spanish. Uh, gifted a lot of uh, subscriptions tonight. Thank you for that. Pensive Cowboy says, Buildings going mysteriously. Any dancing nearby? I'm sure there's mm. no dancing. Oh, evade. Nearby. Did you see any, like, yeah, did you see any dancers near the building? No, nah, it's not. By the way, if you look at the screen, uh... you're actually looking at killstream.live. That's the new website for the killstream. Uh, I don't have much on oh, there. Yeah. As of yet, uh, I'm going to be adding some stuff over the next few days. Uh, but it does have all the podcasts over on the right. It has the latest episode on BitChute over on the left. You know, all the links uh, that you might need for the show. I'm going to add some recaps and some writing and some other stuff over on the website. Uh, but there it is, killstream.love. I will uh, show that there. And who knows? It's good to set up the website. Who knows? One day might be streaming from killstream.love. That's another reason I went ahead and got that. That's another reason I went ahead and got that URL because I'm looking towards the future. You never know. L obviously, we, we're we're lucky to be here on D Live, but you never know. Uh, so Killstream.live uh, will be the be the hub there. Uh, so yeah, go ahead. Who was going to talk there? Oh no, I, I think I figured out also what Bronx was doing in here because he uh, he stopped trying after Dick left. So. You think he was uh, trying to run a victory lap on this? I don't know what was happening that, with Bronx because we tried to bring him in a couple times and he just it didn't work. So well, he is retarded. So you know, I mean, there's that. <laughs> I so don't he know. He tried to claim that he was somehow behind Henrik getting deplatformed, but nobody buys that. It was the yeah. ADL and the SPLC. That was that was it, especially the ADL. Yeah, that shit. I don't know. I don't know what Bronx was up to. Uh, I do know he's had problems with audio and Discord and all that, so maybe. But yeah, it was, it was a little strange. It is flu season after all, so he's got some uh, bigger problems coming up. We want Bronx to live. Oh come on, we want him to live a long and healthy life. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm trying wow. to think. Uh, I really don't have anything else except that uh, on Monday I will be in Los Angeles, California. For the next kill stream. Also, the Discord's off. There we go. Okay, it's updated. Uh, so that's that's it. I mean, I got a lot of traveling to do. I actually have a bus ride that I'm taking up to the Northern Virginia area because I didn't want to drive my car up there and then pay for all that parking. So I'm taking a bus trip that's like three hours uh, up there. Then I'm going to catch the flight to L.A. Then I'll be in L.A. on Monday. Uh, I guess uh, sometime in the afternoon, Eastern time. Uh, so it should be it should be quite the experience, uh, and I'm ready for that to happen. Pensive Cowboy in the Lino chat says, Pause blogger dies of a certain disease live on stream. Um, I do think the, the audience might actually enjoy that, yeah. but uh, So, yeah, we'll see what happens in L.A. next week. Not just the audience. We, we have Dick Masterson, of course. I'll be at his house. Nick Fuentes is calling in one day. We're going to try to set up some other stuff during the week. Uh, I feel like we had a pretty uh, fire program tonight. We had Medicare. He hasn't been on here um, since, what, the end of January. I think it was January 23rd or something like that. Um, and we had Nikki Rackets. We had Dick Masterson. We have, of course, the one and only Dame Pesos, the king of Fridays, the Killstream king of Fridays, Dame Pesos. We had him as well. Yes, I am great. You are great, exactly. <laughs> and uh, I feel like we, we had a pretty good program had, here. 
Go Mr. Ahead. Medicare. Ethan Ralph, it's me, Medicare. <laughs> it's yes, Medicare. He came yes, back. The saddest yes. part is the Holocaust. He came, he came yes, back. that's very sad, Medicare. It, it, oh, it and I also want to shout out Full Blast Forever again uh, for the YouTube uh, reload up. He had like, I think, close to a thousand viewers also on YouTube. So yeah, add check that. that. We, we had like two point something here on D Lob and then another thousand on YouTube restream. So shout out to everybody watching there. Come over to D-Live. There's nothing to be scared about. You can come over here and watch, too. Uh, but that being said, I do know some people come have over, some... Come over, your watch hard. Yeah, watch come over here and watch us fine. But I will say that I do know that there's some technical issues with D-Live, and some people, you know, have some problems like that, so I understand. Uh, but anyway, that's it. Bibble, DLive.tv slash Bibble, Randbot. I don't know where he's at, but... We love Randbot. <laughs> a free uh, cat or whatever. Yeah, every cat. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dame. Dame, what are you going to be doing soon? Oh, I'm going to have uh, muchos videos. And I'm going to also, muchos. I want to shout out the downvotes on Monday Mass YouTube channel. <laughs> Only if it's an honest opinion, you can give your honest opinion. Exactly. About Don't, Monday Mass, yeah. On the Monday Mass well, YouTube Well, wait, Dame, does it have to be about the video or can it be like a downvote? saying that he's a, a flag no, it has to be no it has to be oh, your honest opinion has no, to be honest no, no, honest well no i honestly think that he's a a, a fat flag it <laughs> no we only support honesty. honest no, yeah. being honest no honest if you honest honestly opinion. believe it yeah. <laughs> uh don't make pesos you have to appreciate the honesty <laughs> <laughs> Dame, thank you once again. Gator, uh, dlive.tv slash Gator, the Gator Gamer, over on YouTube and on Twitter as well. Uh, Gator, thank you, man. As always, buddy. Uh, Bibble, thank you as well, sir. Thank you. Flamenco, thank you. Yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be streaming after this on uh, dlive.tv slash Flamenco. I knew it! And, I knew uh, you would be! <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, I'm gonna be playing some more Darkest Dungeon and uh, ah, my, go my, watch him, go watch him. My D guys Love are gonna keep mode. on dying. Darkest yeah. mode, dlove.tv slash bibble, dame. Thank you, sir. Play something, hit something before I before I cut you guys off. Yes, thank Medicare. Yeah, thank, thank Medicare. Yes, thank, thank you. Medicare. Thank you. Ralph. thank you, Jim. I appreciate you. Oh, I, love, I love your gut. Thank you. Oh, that was a nice thing. Thank you. I love your gut. Thank you. Oh, Thank you, guys. What? I appreciate I you coming me. on. I appreciate you coming on the kill stream. That's it. That's it. That's it. The next time you hear my voice, I will be in Los Angeles, motherfucking California, United States of America. That's it. Let's hit him with the throwback. Uh-oh. Should we hit him with the throwback? Can I even find it? Oh, I can find it. Can I? Oh, I can find it. Can I? This is it. One year gone. They said we were dead. They said we were through. We topped 2000 tonight. You know it. I know it. They're going to know it eventually. You cannot fucking abort the retort. I'll see you guys on Monday live from Los Angeles, California. Farewell.